Hello there and welcome back. Well, we've got another amazing hour here um, with these fabulous Papercraft Society boxes. And these are brilliant. They're a way of you getting hold of all the goodies that you need with the tuition, with the inspiration from a fabulous group of people. And today, our demonstrator is the lovely Lou. How Hi. are you doing, Lou? I'm very well, thank you. Are you? Yes, it's been more of a reasonable time, this one, isn't it? We were both here at 7 o'clock this morning. Yeah, I was just thinking I'll say good afternoon, but it's not, it's not it's afternoon not, yet. It's no, it feels like it should be. <laughs> it's still the morning. Now, when we met up at um, 7 o'clock this morning, we had a very busy hour. Lots of you taking advantage of these boxes that we've been chatting about. And I was saying that subscription boxes and kind of receiving a package with all sorts of goodies in there, something that we all love to do. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. If anyone, um, maybe you subscribe to a magazine, for example, you know when it comes through the letterbox, it lands each month. You can't wait to get inside and see, see what you've got and go through everything. And that's the exact same feeling you'll get with this. Um, it's a really sturdy quality box and the contents inside are always worth at least £60. Wow. So you know you're going to get a lot in there. I love it. And the thing that I love about this is they're each personalised to different designers yes. from the team, which is brilliant because you get all sorts of different slants, different colour combinations. You because you are very much involved with the way that these boxes come together. Uh, absolutely everything. Okay, so we almost, we get given a budget and then we uh, design the outer packaging. Obviously, we have to have photography done and everything for the for the booklet. We design some of the projects in the booklet as well, but we really can have our say on what the products are. So um, stamps, dies, if we want to hand draw them, we absolutely can, as I have for mine. Um, so yeah, free reign. So it really is looking love into it. a little bit of our own style. And I love this because you kind of drew on that blue tone, which I know you love, love it. blue. Yeah. Now, within the set, I'm looking here, I'm seeing stamps, I'm seeing dyes, I'm seeing papers, I'm seeing all sorts in here. These are really good value for me. Now, I've got some of the elements that you're actually going to receive. You can see you've got full size elements there with things like your watercolour inks there. The dyes, the dyes correspond beautifully alongside those stamps, so you can stamp and die cut your images. Probably notice you're playing cardstock, and of course you've got those blue hues and different tones featuring in there. But they're all going to complement the beautiful items that you've got. Now, I'm holding this very, very carefully because these are actually die cut elements elements and if I do move that some of them may well fall out but you've got multiples of these fabulous papers have you actually drawn these papers yourself no so most of the papers we've chosen from stock but the front oh, die cut pieces I've hand painted oh, so I wow. started with those with all of the florals the leaves and the sentiments there and then we chose the papers to match those um, the stamps in the set and the dies I designed at home so you Wonderful. won't find those anywhere else I love it and you do get them all together they're down at the front here so of course they're they're perfect for you to work with um, and again beautiful style so you've got kind of your florals in here you've got little elements that could almost be snowflakes as you can see there sparkle I mean the sparkle sparkle all year round aren't you not just at Christmas loads of very I love that kind of frame that you've got there with the little dots in that imagine oh. it got a, kind of like a metallic or a gold embossing powder that's sparkle. exactly oh. what I had in mind when I uh, created that that was that took a long time to, to get that designed but um, gold embossing powder is what I was thinking with that absolutely lovely now of course when you actually get your kit home you will get a little book um, in there that will give you loads of different projects loads of different eyes um, ideas um, and this is where you can be able to create beautiful things like the card that I've got here these projects and it's brilliant you've got everything in there you just need to add a bit of glue really a little bit of glue maybe your card bases if you yeah. you've got card stock so you can fold the card stock to make a six cards if you want to um, but if you like larger cards then just add your card bases you've got um, a5 pattern papers so they're going to cover most size of card base anyway. And yeah, just adhesive. If you want to bring in your own colouring pens, maybe some of your other dies and stamps, hopefully these will work with lots of things you've got at home as well. I love it. Now, if you know Alu, you will know how fabulous she is with regards to her brush stroke letter. And in this one, there's a feature um, with regards to that as well. Yeah, so we're not just talking about card making. There is home decor in there as well. And with this, what I wanted this box to do, because it was supposed to reflect me and my crafting, was give you card making um, tutorials and projects and but also a little bit of lettering so for the complete beginner we have got a brush pen in there we've also got a paintbrush and a watercolor ink that I'm going to show you in the first demonstration um, but there is a guide for hand lettering too I love it and you also in every single box depending on who the designer is you'll get almost like a postcard which they've penned themselves um, when I say pen themselves they've kind of put putting the words there I love this I am an artist I make mistakes um, that look beautiful and I love that idea and they of course lose little signature on there and uh, these can vary sometimes they're hints and tips like 
you can see with this one, they might be instructions to create a project, but you get that. And that's almost like a reference guide that you can go back to time and time again. I think in one of the other boxes, it's all about hints and tips about die cutting. So very useful little library of cards. So make sure that you hand on, um, hang on to those. The thing that I love about these boxes is giving you a little insight into the designer's world and their passion for crafting. But also it gives you the opportunity maybe to try out different um, kind of crafts and different projects. You will get your little wallet that comes with this as well. Um, so the wallet is down at the front here. And these are brilliant. And Lou, you've got yours. I know we'll see this when we come yeah. to the, the demonstration. But it's kind of where all the papers and elements are all maybe packaged together. Yep, so all the A5 elements. So your, pa your pattern papers, any die cut pieces, your stamps and your... Um well, dies there. All of those sheets are kept in this wallet. On the spine is the name of the collection and the box. So if you want to stack these in your bookshelf for later on for easy access, you'll be able to see all of the names. It's really nice to gather them up and have a collection of them together. Yeah. There you go. Now, if you fancy getting hold of yours, this particular one, you need to be aware that 40% of the stock has gone. Just looking at £24.99, as Lou quite rightly said there, the products in here, you're looking at at least £60 worth of products that you are going to be able to craft way beyond that first kind of uh, crea creation that you're making with regards to these the cards the home decor projects and of course the stamps and dies are going to go on and on and on you'll be able to use those over and over again so do check out the other ones that we've got on the website we're going to concentrate on Lou's with uh, regards to the first demonstration and I'll show you some of the others that we've got available so Lou what are we up to okay so first I'm going to do some stamping and some die cutting um, I'm going to go into this wallet actually and be able to show you what you see yours won't be used yours will be nice and filled up brand new um, all in in the plastic packaging but obviously mine is used so the idea with the dies is that they overlap many of the stamps so um, here I've got some tags for you I've got some beautiful corners so I've got like a snowflake corner that will cut a design into your card little snowflake apertures but of course you'll also get the snowflakes fall out um, I've also uh, added leaves in so you don't have to go with the winter theme um, but my favorite piece of all of this and probably the one that took the longest for me to draw on the stamps is this half wreath this okay. semicircle here which is quite hard to see actually but I'll stamp it in a moment and the idea is I wanted to give you a big wreath or a big floral piece stamp but I thought if I give you a big piece that doesn't give me a lot of room for anything else so I had the idea of if I do a semicircle you can do two of those and make a circle Clever. or of course you can just use it as a half so I'm going to take the stamp off they're really good quality stamps as well they cling beautifully with these so just take that off and I'm going okay. to fold everything up I'll come back to those in a moment. I love that wallet. <laughs> I know, I love the wallet. And in fact, I was uh, a bit obviously before, um, it, it was about, was it October time before we went into, I think, lockdown two? I've um, lost track, there's been that many. <laughs> we, could, we could go out a little bit in, in small numbers. Um, I actually was wearing something that was blue and I thought that would look really nice as a clutch bag next to me. <laughs> I couldn't use it, of course, because it's paper and if it's raining, there's no chance. But I thought, it looks really, really pretty. But you can stamp on fabric, couldn't you? Make oh, some yes, mm. absolutely. So I'm just going to stamp this I'm using my grey ink pad now this comes in the box as well okay um, why did you choose a grey ink pad for the lettering aspect mostly oh, okay. well for two reasons I can show you the other reason in a moment um, for two reasons or three okay I'll go threefold if I remember back <laughs> I'll raise you on yep. your three <laughs> three reasons firstly you can stamp some of the sentiment stamps and brush letter over them with the pen so there's your first reason um, the second reason you can create a really fun wood grain effect <coughs> uh, we've got wood grain paper in the pack but this helps you to just create another one and I'll just show you that on the reverse of here how you do that and it is detailed in the project booklet okay. but simply by dragging your ink pad you can create your own wood grain paper oh, I see. just build it up because I love whitewashed wood yes yeah, so you're starting yes. to build that and then you can use the edge of it as well Clever. to create sharper lines if you want to Lovely. so that's the second one and then thirdly I also really love and you're going to see it here is like the no line stamping and coloring effect okay. so you stamp an image you color it in and you don't see the lines afterwards which I love compared to seeing black lines within the coloring inside mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to bring in the watercolor ink okay. now I could do at hours and hours of shows with this ink because I absolutely love it it's we were looking from different suppliers for the best quality watercolor ink without it limiting the amount of other products that we could have in the box because of course we didn't want it to cost a ridiculous amount and mm -hmm. then not be able to give you the sequins and the twine and things like that um, but we found this ink and I said oh, I'll try it though and we managed to get a really big bottle and I adore it. I really do. I'm not just saying that. It really is a fantastic ink. Now I'm just going to wet my brush 
and add a little bit of water to this. Now, as you can see, hopefully, if I bring this over here, you can really change the tone of this ink by adding more water. So there, I've actually got three shades. I've got the deep dark blue there, which is when it's completely um, saturated, when it's got no water into it. Then I've got a really nice bright blue here. I'm ho hoping you can just about see that. Yeah, okay. A really nice bright blue. And then with the addition of plenty of water, you can have a nice pale blue as well. So using the one colour of ink, we can get lots and lots of different shades. And that's what I've done um, with lots of my cards that we've got there, lots of the backgrounds created. I mean, all you've got to do is splatter a bit of this, spritz some water, dip a card into it and smooch it and you've got a fantastic background with lots of different mm -hmm. tones and hues of blues in there or shades of blues so all I've done is I've, I've separated the blue I mean I only used a drop as well and this really will go on for a long long time and I'm using the paintbrush and I've just gone in and I've painted the leaves in these different blues and I've gone round two of these so this is one and I'm not I have got two prepared already I'm not going to sit and let you watch me do this but as you can see when I'm placing it on over the grey of the leaves we've got the different shades there oh I see so you're picking out the different colors from the um, the palette yeah. you've created nice so <coughs> I won't sit and paint all of that at the moment there is watercolor cardstock also in the kit oh, okay. so um, you haven't got to worry about looking for that either so it's, if it's your first introduction to watercolor you've got everything you need brush ink and of course the uh, paper but the palette doesn't come with it but you can use a bit of plastic or a glass mat as a palette instead so then we have the die, and I think I did show you the die in here, but I will just remind you, here it is. So the die will lay over that stamping really easily, and you can cut out these wreaths. So like I say, I've got two, and that will then form a circle. Or, of course, you could form, if you wanted to, a swirl. Yeah. You know, you can really play, really play with the shapes. And the reason I did a circle is because imagine that with that gold or that, that yes. dotty effect in the middle, it would look absolutely beautiful. So there's those. And then I need to build up my cards. So I have got this glitter card. Now, obviously, I've got lots of this at home, so I won't worry for today. But usually, I would take the centre out of that and save it for something else. Okay. Um, the glitter of the gold uh, glitter card, sorry. Is it perfectly matches the sequins, so they're the exact same colour gold. So you know that if you use the sequins together, and sequins are coming back in fashion, I Ooh, think. Oh, thank you. I love my sequins. I know. I mean, <laughs> we often think of them as being quite really bright colours and things, but actually you can get some really nice pastel sequins now, different uh, iridescent ones, uh, and they can look really classy on cards. Um, I bought these, I've added these to the kit, firstly because they go with the glitter card, and I do love a little bit of sparkle. Um, but also in there, we've got the big sequins here, but you'll also notice there's some glitter in the bag, and that comes from the manufacturing process. It's actually the small pieces from the centre of the oh, sequins. <laughs> They're, yeah, the tiny little bits that you'd usually stick your needle through and, or your thread through. Well, um, you're, you're into sewing way oh, more than me, so obviously. Oh, the sequins. Yeah. Those are cup, cup so, ones. Sorry? They're cupped, those ones that you've yes, got. Yes, they are, yes. <laughs> so, um, so you get even more sparkle then because you of do. all the different angles. So with these, all the tiny little centres are in the bag as well, so you can actually use those tiny, tiny little bits of gold if you want to, to create even more sparkle on your card in small amounts. And then we've got these beautiful background papers. Now this is cut down from an A5. We have got two sheets of this included, and I'm going to glue this on <coughs> here. Now I'm going to use a wet glue because I have got the glitter. This doesn't shed this glitter card very much at all. I've had maybe one or two pieces come off of it, and to be honest, that's questionable because it may have come from the sequins anyway, okay. from those little pieces <laughs> yeah. we were talking about. Um, I don't want to say it's absolutely 100% no shed because I can't guarantee that, but for the most part, I don't get glitter everywhere when I'm using it, which is a bonus. So I've then got my, I've got my sparkly border there around that really beautiful, almost like a galaxy effect paper, Gorgeous. which has a gold effect into it. And then I need to place inside of here my, or on the outside of here, my wreath. And I can do that with a foam because I want to lift this up. So I can run a foam around it. I'm going to do it in a few little stages because there's a few elements of the wreath that are quite skinny. And I don't want to run my foam tape past those. So that will go around the rest of it, hopefully. And just by doing this, I'll get a bit of a drop shadow. Now, you can, of course, layer these up as well. So you've got a really full wreath, if that's what you like. Um, but I've liked, I've actually made a card using this as the edge. So okay. I've used the die and done a partial cut. Um, and that looks really nice just on an edge rather than using the two together. 
So this is, like I say, it's entirely up to you how you use them. I'm just using this to measure and just judge roughly where the centre will be. I'll do the same on this one as well. I could have put these foam tape pieces on the back already, couldn't I, if I was more yeah, prepared. Don't worry. Um, it's, it's nice to be able to stand and watch them all coming together. Just to let you know, obviously uh, we were giving you updates as, we, as we've gone with these kits, but this particular one, over half the stock has gone now. Um, a lot of you joining us for the second time today with these uh, wonderful kits. So if you have just invested in yours, don't worry, you can go back to the 7 o'clock show this morning and Lou was doing a demonstration with these as well. And all the demonstrations Lou's sharing with us are bonus de um, kind of demonstrations. Yeah. You've got loads of different projects within here that you are going to be able to craft with. And they all come in the fabulous little inspiration booklet. It's got a lovely photo there of our Lou on the front there. So mm. there's loads <laughs> of different things in there that you're going to be able to create. Not just your cards, all sorts of projects, perhaps for your home as well. And of course learning skills that you're going to be able to use over and over again in the future. So 651834, if you fancy joining all those other people that place their orders for these, then details are on your screen. Lovely. So I've got my wreath there and that's all raised up with foam pads. Um, I've then got another piece of glitter which is left over from cutting this out and I'm going to die cut it because you can do that. Um, we've got some tag shapes in the die set. So I've got um, three large tags like you'd expect your rectangle shaped tags and then I've got an oval one but what I've done is I've kept the eyelet separate on the oval one. So it can just be an oval plaque or you can add in the eyelet for the string or the thread or the twine or whatever it may be. These are the kind of dies that we would go out and buy because yeah. they're usable dies. It's not like you kind of giving us things that you found at the back of the warehouse or anything like that. These are oh, things no. that you've thought yeah. about that are going to be useful that we're going to use over and over again. So if you are new to crafting, maybe you've just invested in your die cutting machine or you know that you're going to get one at some stage. That's the other thing. At the moment, you might be thinking, well, I haven't got a die cutting machine. But the stamps, of course, you can be using at the moment. And then when the time does come, because as I say, quite often crafters will progress to a die cutting machine, you've got the dies all ready to go. Of course, the beauty is you can keep it all together until you are ready to use those with your indexing box as well. Yeah, so the beauty of these dies is most of them will overlay the stamps, so you haven't got to worry about fussy cutting your stamps out. There's some florals in there that are really beautiful once they're cut, they're coloured and they're um, cut out and there's lots of other pieces as well but then we've also got in there a there is a wood grain background that you can just stamp if you'd rather not do that dragging technique that I was showing you um, there's a pin, pin dot and lace like a vintage background they will fit inside some of the tags you know, there's so much in here I, we, I could easily spend two or three shows just going through this kit and still not cover everything that's in it some beautiful papers. Of course, you've got your selection of your papers in here. You've also got your cardstock, which you can use as your bases. And you're getting two repeats of each of these. And of course, you're going to get all those fabulous additional elements as well. I love this one. Which one's Ooh, Yeah, yes. it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, I only chose that for the inside of the wallet as well, just because wonderful. it's so pretty. <laughs> So, just to finish this, so I've put my love, the word love is one of the die cut pieces, so that's all cut for you, just pop that out, and that's one that I hand wrote. So, um, with the die cut pieces, the stamps and the dies, um, for my kit certainly you won't find these anywhere else, um, because I've hand drawn them exclusively for this, so you're not going to walk into a shop and find another company to use that design as well, which is obviously always... Um, a risk sometimes when you're buying things but with these they're definitely never going to be seen again so you won't have that sentiment already in your stash and of course you're going to learn how to create your own sentiments as well with that brush this that is, yeah this is the idea I want you to be able to learn how to now there is a template from if you look through the project booklet there's a template that you can go ahead and download later on for that home decor piece and that will walk you through brush lettering then with the brush that's included in the kit so I've made sure that it's sized for the brush that you'll have um, and using the watercolour ink as well. So you've got everything already. You've got the paper included in the kit as well. So really it's holding your hand and saying, right, as a beginner, treat it like a beginner's class. You've got the tools. Here's the tutorial. We've also created videos. I haven't mentioned this. There are also videos out and about um, on the social and things. Just search Papercraft Society and you'll find videos using lots of our dif different boxes as well. Love it. There you go. And uh, that's a nice thing, isn't it? Not only have you got the inspiration from the book, but of course you have got those video tutorials as well. And the bonus of all the additional ones that um, Louise made uh, King, well, during the course of the different shows that she's brought to us. Love that. Very, so very we've got effective. The I have to move it just so you can see the sparkle. Oh, yes. <laughs> got to show that sparkle.
cool. Now, of course, that is Lou's fabulous uh, goodie box. And, of course, you're going to get your book clip there with that fabulous photo. And I love it as well. There's a little bit of editorial in there. So if you have followed Lou or maybe you're just new to Lou, um, then you'll be able to learn a little bit about her crafting history there and also what her passions are, many of which she's sharing within this fabulous box. So if you're wanting yours, at £24.99 is your price. Do pop it into your basket. Take advantage of that deal while you have the opportunity. But um, as I say there, um, over 50% of the stock has gone. Oh, so 60% now, my goodness. So um, at 6513, sorry, 834, if you're wanting to get hold of that one, please do add it into your basket. But do be sure to check your basket out. Of course, with Flex Travaganza, you have got the ability to get hold of that one and spread the cost over two payments of just £12.50 plus your post and packing. So it's worth thinking about. Now, I did mention that we have got additional boxes for you as well. This is the box that's been brought together by the lovely Helen Griffiths. And you can see with regards to this one, you have got loads of fun to be had. We're looking at Christmas, and I love this. I'm over the moon to bring you this Christmas crafting box to play with. And I love this because you will get that in every single box. On the inside of that lid, you have got a little sentiment, little kind of phrase there or words of encouragement. It can be all sorts. It's literally down to what the designer decides to put within there. Again, the colour schemes, the palette, the different products. These are something that the designers put together. And I love Love this one you've got some very useful elements with this one including your clear ink, um, ink pad there your embossing pad how often do we need these you're getting that included and a beautiful um, silver tone embossing powder with this one I can't believe that you are able to include a cracker die with this one as well Lou. yeah so there's a cracker die you've got the cracker pulls or I call them snaps you've got jokes in there as well so um, there's lots to make crackers but I think there's also an awful lot that you can use um, for other times of year and for other projects like cards and scrapbook pages. Love it. Now you can see the snaps there. So with those snaps, you have got 10 of those in there. Um, and as I say, they're perfectly sized to work alongside that cracker die. Got a little bit of silver ribbon down there as well. Absolutely beautiful, as you can see. That's going to coordinate. But as you work your way around here, you'll see that you've got the fabulous dies featuring within here as well. Everything is so fabulous coordinated. And that's the key thing with this one. You want to have everything working together. Now, of course, Helen, you can see she loves Christmas by the things that she's brought to us in this pack but you've got all sorts so let me show you some of the other bits and pieces very much a kind of nutcracker theme with this one so you can see there you've got these lovely little die cut elements they are foiled as well so of course you can use those in different projects um, with regards to these i'm just going to try and be careful because i don't want to lose any of these onto the floor you've got your different papers with regards to these ones as well so you can see they're merry christmas and that gorgeous blue coming through do like that one um, lovely one. Oh, what's this one got oh there goes some of the die cuts um, see this is a pretty one see this one I don't think is particularly Christmas I think you could use that all year round really effective and again this one as well I mean yeah, you have got your baubles I suppose with regards to that one but I love these kind of slices of fruit that you've got here um, and of course you have got oh you're all important cracker jokes to go inside your crackers so what, let me let's have a little look. Um, why? Um, oh no, I can't read that one out because there's a brand involved. Well, kind of. Um, what's the best present in the world? A broken drum because you can't beat it. Oh dear. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, so you can see, even when I read out a joke, it's. Yeah, it's rubbish. I have to they are good. There's loads in there, and these are all perforated. So perfect to go in the little crackers. Yeah, all perforated, ready to go. So you can pop them in. Um, you just need to choose your own sort of a treat to go in the middle, and they could be anything, couldn't they? I love it. Um, and maybe you want to make up some of your own, as, um, own ones as well. Now, of course, the beauty with this set is the stamps that come alongside um, the, uh, the bundle. Obviously, you've got your stamps here, your clear stamps, some beautiful elements in there. Again, some of these potentially you're going to be using all year round, because certainly the little flowers, the ballerines, you know, especially you'll be able to use those but then of course what you can do is if you wanted to and this is something that I might consider doing is getting a hold of the box but not opening it when you receive it perhaps pop it away with all your Christmas decorations up into the loft and then maybe November time when you bring them back down again then you can open up the box and have a little look now we've got our lovely Helen should we have a little delve into the book to see what we've got in here so again the editorial a little bit of an introduction into Helen and uh, what she loves to craft with the crackers of course Featuring again there, as you can see within there, um, loads and loads of tutorials, loads of um, little elements. And again, I'm guessing if we do go to social media, we can kind of video, find videos for these as well. Absolutely. I think the best way to tell you to search is just search with the hashtag, hashtag Papercraft Society, um, and you'll find lots online, whether it's Pinterest, Pinterest probably the best one to go to, to be honest. Um, Craft World as well, that's got lots there. There's, they're everywhere.
Look at there you go. So if you want a new Christmas box, then the details are there on your screen. If you want to get hold of those, do pop them into your basket. The details are there on your screen. Couldn't be simpler. And of course, if you do want to go for multiples of any of these boxes, as in the different ones, then you can add them in. In fact, if you want to go multiples of the same one, then you can do. Because some of these are featuring as brilliant little kits that you could potentially want to be giving as gifts to people as well. Um, so yeah, pop them into your basket. Now, one of the most popular boxes that we had at seven o'clock this morning was this particular box. Um, half the stock has gone before I even show you this particular one. I love this one because I think going from winter into spring, this is an absolutely perfect one to you, for you to look to. Many of our hobbies that we love, our outdoor hobbies, our gardening, die-cut elements, as you can see, with regards to this one. And that's where Linda has really hit the nail on the head with regards to this design. Again, you're going to get things that we've seen similarly. Um, you're going to get your stamps. You're going to get your dies that work alongside these. You're even going to get a construction die with this particular one. You'll notice around the happy there and around the butterflies, you've got a very angular design. Well, one of the projects that you've got within the, um, the magazine is this fabulous little house card. I'm just going to pop the papers down just for the time being. And it shows you how you can create that kind of fence that's going around the house there. Or it could be a box or, or however you want to adapt it. And of course it will fold flat so that when it gets to the other end then obviously it can pop back into shape. You're going to get your card as well and you're getting a lovely range of cards including some gorgeous pastel tone glitter cards. They've almost got like an iridescent look to them so they're multi-toned. Then of course you're going to get your beautiful printed um, card in here or papers and you are going to get your additional plain card stock which you'll be able to use for your card bases and your construction if you're wanting to as well some of the projects that you've got are so cute though i mean have a look at this this fabulous little card here where the die that is included and we did see lou working with the die at seven o'clock this morning you've got this gorgeous scalloped edge that's actually got like a lacy detail that can be cut in as well these are all projects that are featuring within the booklet that comes with your kit and of course you have got the stamps you have got the dies that will help you create these the moment they arrive i love these really pretty color palette with this one lou it's really beautiful perfect for springtime yes but i think most crafters out there you'll have different card stocks at home and papers and things so the dies and the stamps things like that you can absolutely use with everything you've got at home if you love different color palettes as well but what i really love about this is when you get the the pearls in there the ribbons all these different things in these boxes they all match so you can really pick up that box and take it to your caravan or or take it down your garden in the summer obviously take it down your <laughs> garden and do your crafting and you know that you've got everything that coordinates i love it there you go and lots of inspiration again there from Linda. I love that one. Everyone has the potential to make beautiful things. And you certainly do when you're investing in a kit like this because everything is coordinated and brought together. I mean, the stamps, the dies alone are worth going for. But you're also getting a stencil within this one as well. And you're getting the gems. So there's loads and loads. And three ink pads three ink pads all color coordinated to go with this fabulous kit there so you can understand why it's proved to be such a popular bundle 24 pounds and 99 pence three zero five three four zero um and now i don't know are we demonstrating with this box now i can i'm ready yeah oh lovely <laughs> let's go for it then okay so i'm going to um use i'm actually going to use the die let's open this wallet up so you can see how it comes to you when you get it home but obviously more full because I've used an awful <laughs> lot of these as you can see so the dies now I want to show you the window box die which is a bit of a kinetic die really and that's okay. this larger one that's included you also do get the mats and layers with the beautiful stitching detail so you can add into these there's a fantastic card there somewhere that's been created um, to look like a shed or a greenhouse or a garden house and they've used these panels to build up the doors and the windows and things as well so that's really clever um, really clever working out I'm sure that's one of the projects that will be inside of that project booklet anyway for you so I've taken a wood grain style paper now this is from my stash uh, there's lots of other papers in the kit but you can it's just showing you how you can absolutely incorporate your own ones as well you don't have to of course just stick with what's in the kit so bring in your own stash also this is just adding to it so I really wanted a wood grain so I thought no I'm going to I'm going to add that in so just run this through you get lots of clicking and cracking just because it's a big die with um, with big gaps but because of the length and the width of it you can actually use this still through what I'd call your smaller or mid mid size die cutting machines so for example um, your big shot so those a5 sort of size plates you can still use these dies through those and that goes for all of the dies in all of the paper craft society boxes you don't need a big a4 platform like I've got here I just bring it in for convenience to make sure I've always got the right machine 
So with this die, it might be easier if I show you on the white side. We have got score lines and we've got cut lines around. So if I just quickly fold along those score lines so you can see them. So we've got this will be your front panel. Now there's two different ways of using this. You could use it with the bottom open and you could fold over. If this wasn't a single-sided paper, of course, if this was double-sided or a cardstock, a solid cardstock, you could fold it open and that way, sitting on your card, that would be like a, um, a pop-up box. The ones could that... you ink that? So if you've got kind of brown ink. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. yes. I'll just use a double-sided card or like I say, just a plain card stock. Yeah. We've got lots of plain card stock in the box as well. So that's one way. So the bottom is empty, but you've got these side pieces that fold down and then they could fold up and you can fold the card completely flat like so. So you know the pop-up boxes, pop-up mm -hmm. cards that we've had before. Alternatively, if we just turn this around so this is now the base you can actually fold these all together glue oh, okay. them in the corners and then you've got a true box if I turn this round you'll have a true box with a bottom now that obviously will not fold flat for yes, your card yeah. but if you want a box that will sit on the front of your card maybe you're making a three-dimensional card a or a home box or yeah, it's, yeah it's supposed to be a window box and then we've got the tabs on the sides as well here these will fold in There's score lines there so they will tab just to glue onto your project so there's different ways of using this and I'm sure there's lots of others as well um, now the way I want to use it is I do want it to fold flat but I also don't want to have the the flat coming out the front and down so I've actually tucked them in so that's going to do two things it strengthens my card and it's also going to disguise those and color the inside of my card the same as the outside so I'm just going to add a little bit of wet glue just to tack these down on the inside like I say this is going to make this nice and strong so this is going to be one of those sort of three-dimensional card but it'll all fold flat for me in an envelope when I want it to I've taken, this is a really pretty paper, so it's like a, a mint green with a really ditzy print on it and little white daisies. It's absolutely gorgeous. Reminds me of sort of country kitchen fabric. It's lovely. So I'm going to put that onto the front of my card base just with a wet glue like so. It's really good quality cardstock as well. I want to say it's about 180 GSM. Really um, I may be corrected though it feels like it's about that so when you're gluing you won't get any of that warping that you sometimes get mm -hmm. with the thinner papers or the, the wrinkling and then I need to fold the two side pieces for this wood panel and just add glue to these and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lift these up and I'm just going to put the front down to give myself a guide and work out roughly whereabouts that's going to go. Okay. So you can you can now bring in something, I don't like to use a pencil, I like to use a pokey tool to mark things. Um, this is just getting, so, you, so you've got a rough idea, so when you're gluing, you know, and you look away, you think, oh, okay, it's, it's central. So I just scratch a very light line with my pokey tool there, so I know that I've got a line there, and then I'm going to do it on the off opposite side as well. Now this, this wet glue is fine, it won't dry immediately, it won't really dry until it's touching too quickly, until it's touching the paper. So now I'm going to fold these back and I can glue my panels down. So using that line that I've just made, I'm just going to pop that along so it's level with the base of the pattern paper and I'm going to fold that down, making sure that's all straight there, like so. And I'm going to lift it back up once I think that glue's dry enough and pop this one on here. And that should be, hopefully, right angles. Now, the best way to check is if I now fold this down again, that should fold completely flat. And that will give me a perfect right angle when I have that up. So that's really simple. Sorry, I lifted that up. Really simple construction, but I've now got the perfect right angle there. Once that glue's dried, you can manipulate that a little bit but I can I fold that completely flat. Card. <laughs> Sorry? It's springy card. It is a springy well. <laughs> card but so when you've got it like so I mean I'm going to add lots of other dimension and bits to it but when you've got it like that it's going to be a dimensional card but of course when you pop it in the envelope everything will fold completely flat as well. You'll just need a slightly longer envelope but as I said in the earlier show if you are wanting to have elements that overhang your card whether it's when they fold flat or just all the time anyway just trim your card base down ever so slightly so it will still fit 
it the pre-made envelope for it if that's, that's the way tip, you go yeah that's it. so what i also wanted to do is i wanted to add in another layer in here now you can do this two ways you can die cut in fact i can do it this way i've got another a, a second die cut of the same um the same paper and the same what's the word from the same die simple word I couldn't remember and I'm just going to cut a strip from it the reason being I've now got the score lines in the perfect place here so I'm cutting a strip from the top of this that's around about maybe a centimeter and a half and if I look I've got my two fold lines there and that makes that the same width as that and I'm just going to cut maybe half an inch off of each tab there and if I now zigzag these tags tabs sorry if okay, you can see yeah. i've folded them different directions i can put glue on here and glue on here pop that inside there and that should fit if i stand that upright it should fit perfectly inside oh, here okay. and then everything will still fold flat so i'm actually making myself a little pop-up box quite easily Clever. so glue on both sides I'm trying to think of the best way for me to do this so you can see it's probably not going to be the easiest that's all right just go for yeah, it we're, we're watching from over do it well. anyway do you have to think about whereabouts those tabs sit? Uh, no, so the first one I'm going to put level with the top and around midway point. Then yeah. all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my card down. Okay, yeah. And keep folding. The only trouble here is my tabs a little bit long. Okay. So but It's easy enough. You can yeah, this is the beauty it, yeah. of using wet glue. So pop that in again. Once you've got one end secured, if you fold everything flat, the other end will pick up and catch at just the right place there Perfect. if the glue's still wet after me taking it away and gluing it so there, there you go I've got oops sorry I keep moving it because I'm not looking at where the cameras are looking <laughs> so there I've got my extra piece of wood in there so now I can put a double layer of embellishments on that so when that Makes stands up coffee table card as well yeah yeah <laughs> definitely so when that stands up now I can put my embellishments on okay so embellishments i'm looking at a lot of the die cut pieces there's lots and now i've probably used three quarters of the sheet because i just love them and they're so quick and easy to pop out and use um but you can use your own stamps there's florals in there there's foliage as well that you can be using so it's entirely up to you what you add uh, there's butterflies bumblebees of course all of those now i'm going to start with these carrots and a little line of glue just underneath and i'm just going to place those on that that back panel that I just put on there and just glue them so they're peeking out from behind and then the same with the slightly longer ones so carrots have got a radish in there it looks like we've got a turnip or a parsnip or something as well I don't I'm not very good with my veg <laughs> I'm impressed <laughs> turnip. I'm sure it's a turnip I think <laughs> oh I'll take that I have, that. I, have oh. grow, I have grown my own but I think it was pure luck that anything actually grew so there I've got my rows of vegetables um, I'm going to have some Wellingtons in front Aww, there cute. some little boots and I'm just going to glue those to the very front of this making sure that they are reasonably low down now if you stand your card up you can work out how low you can actually put them without interfering with the card standing up Wonderful. Yeah, and with the die cut, you're actually getting a couple of pairs of wellies, some pointing to the left and some to the right, so you could put some either side there. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just going to put this back down flat again. I'm going to open it up so it lays flatter, flatter for you to see. Um, the watering can, I wanted so it was almost stood on the mud as such, mm -hmm. actually in the, in the flower bed or vegetable patch there. So I'm going to glue the back of this and put it onto that plinth that we've got running across the middle. I apologise if at any point my head gets in the way no, here. No, so. you're doing fine. I'm just thinking how much fun it would be making these cards in what flower beds. They could be anything really oh, that you have in here. Absolutely. All things popping up. Definitely. Um, the flower pot I'm going to put at the front, on the front on the other side. So that's going to come down here we've got some tools as well that we can add in it's just all so much fun um i'm going to stand oh see we've got decisions to make now <laughs> and it's really just playing children are going to love these you could actually send one of these cards and you could have it with um little little hook and loop fastenings mm -hmm. instead so that the person can pull up and reposition things and 
you know, it could actually be seasonal then, couldn't it? Because you could have Even, different flowers. Um, I suppose if you, you've got some seeds in your, your garden that you're wanting to share or um, a, a packet of seeds that you've bought, kind of stick them to the back of the, the yes. card sort of thing and make it into like a little gift card. That would be really nice. I like this radish. This is going to be a bit of a naughty radish. Oh, OK. It, it's a stray one that's just sort of fallen it's down escaping. and been left there. <laughs> yeah. And then I've got... Our fork. I'm sure there's probably another name, a proper name for, for yeah, I don't a fork. Know. I don't know. I think it's still a fork. It's, it's kind of like the, you have a trowel, don't you, which is a small shovel. Yeah. So I think it is. It's still and quite just a fork. Stick that with the ends of the prongs. I'm just using wet glue for this. I've not used any special adhesives or anything. It's cute. And then lastly, I've just taken. So this is actually um, like a, a marker for your seeds. Oh, right. um, that you pop in the ground usually and write what you've planted there. So this is a die that comes in the pack. Oh, As you can wow. see, I've just die cut the back of the some of the excess from this pattern paper, and I'm just going to tuck this under this cut this um, handle here again, oh, yeah. just with wet glue. Just lift that up, pop that there. Now we have got also incorporated in here. There are things like butterflies and bumblebees, so you can have them all buzzing around as well. But if I just stand that up, obviously I have used a lot of those die cuts there, but I think that is so that is really so cute. worth it to have everything in there. Isn't that really gorgeous? That is amazing. Love it. Thank you. Thank you, Lou. You're very um, welcome. What a clever little idea. And it's a bonus project, because don't forget, that project that we've just seen come together isn't included in the book, but of course you can go back and watch on Rewind for up to 60 days. Also, do check out Papercraft Society as well on social media, because there's loads of tutorials, loads of videos on there to help you along the way as well. But if you wanted to get hold of your box, please be aware that 60% of the stock has now gone, and if you're wanting yours, you'll need the item number, won't you? So it's 305340. Can I make a suggestion? Question, though, before you check out your basket, do add in this additional pack that we've got here. This is a brilliant um, set because what you've got here is you've got a magazine, again, with loads of inspiration in there, loads of uh, little elements that are going to help you craft, but you are only paying $9.99 for it. It's phenomenal value for money. You can see there instantly you've got some fabulous little sentiment stamps with these, some gorgeous florals as well. There's butterflies. It's a lovely little set. If you've got somebody that's completely new to card I mean, Mother's Day, Father's Day feature, in here as well. Both of those are coming up in the first half of uh, this year, aren't they? So they're things that you're going to be using instantly. But then you've got the gorgeous botanicals within here, gorgeous designs that you're going to be able to use in so many different ways. Then you've kind of got your cogs, your gears with these, your butterflies, your damask flowers there as well. Really does hit on a variety of different styles with these stamps. But then you've got the embossing folder and the dies to work with these as well. Now the die, you've got the fabulous little butterfly in the centre there. And then you've kind of got these kind of scribbly um, circles that are going to die cut that you can mat and layer and you'll find out different projects of how you can actually use those within the card. The embossing folder as well, you can see that lovely um, damask style there. It's kind of a bit of a weathered look so it's got a bit of an antique look to it but again it's something that's going to feature within your projects in your uh, magazine. Now you can see from the cover of the magazine you've got loads in here so you've got 174 elements and ideas to get you crafting. You can see the dies that we were touching on there being used there as well. Lots the sentiment stamps as well and throughout here you've got a whole host of different experts helping you along your way to help you create with those fabulous elements as you go now one thing you will notice when you thumb through this magazine and you'll probably be able to see if I just turn it on the side there you'll probably be able to notice it from when I flick through here from this here right the way through almost to the back cover you have got gorgeous paper so that's almost like uh well i'd say heading for half of the magazine are these gorgeous papers and they're beautiful papers lou i mean you've got so many different styles within here oh they're stunning so there's a bit of a vintage theme running through them lots of different colors so really it depends on how you team these colors up because you can go with the grays and the pale browns and get a really masculine card because there are some steampunk elements in there as you can see cogs and things there's greens there's yellows there's blue so you can go for a springtime effect there's those lavenders and pinks as well so you can go very feminine um, so they're really going to suit every occasion and you've got toppers and tags and ribbons strips and things like that you can cut out there's actually 82 elements in total in that pack wow and I love these because they're good sized pages as you can see there still flicking through them there then of course you've got more inspiration at the back there with the ideas and potentially using some of those dyes that are featuring in here as well so if you fancy getting hold of it I mean 9.99 that is such an affordable price isn't it as I say if you've got a young 
craft and maybe they come and visit and you don't necessarily want them getting their hands on your crafting goodies then this is perhaps a little set for them to have all of their own because they've got everything that they need an embossing folder they've got dies they've got sentiment stamps loads within here absolutely brilliant value for money and of course it's flex extravaganza you can get hold of that one for just a fiver plus your post and packing today and the second payment can go through in a month's time 911338 if you want to lose we've got about 10 minutes left Lou so I'm going to come back over to you for dinner if that's loads okay. of time yeah absolutely um I won't go back through the magazine because you've pretty much oh, just sorry. done that so I'll get straight away. <laughs> straight into crafting um so we've got two stamp sets here and they are beautiful if I just show you we've got our stamp set with our sentiment on and these are really covering every sentiment that you could possibly need for your generic birthdays anniversaries just to say special days things like that we've got some foliage and some flowers in there as well and then we have our images now these are like those vintage feel or vintage themed elements that perfectly match the papers that are inside the magazine and um, then to match the th vintage theme again we've also got our um, vintage or distressed background I will emboss this if I get time after the card I've made because I'm not actually doing it in the cards and I really want to show you how that looks and then the two dies as well so these are beautiful because you get that uh, overlapping circle and this die then cuts out that small butterfly too so you're able to cut that out but I'm going to make a really really quick card using particularly these stamps um, I'm going to use some of the sentiments as well actually um, but very very quickly my favorite stamp of this entire set is it 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 was a tie it was a tie between nearly all of them uh, but this background actually repeats very very well when you add it side by side it just works seamlessly so I'm going to show you that now I've opened my card flat so I can do my stamping onto it um, put it onto an acrylic block it clings perfectly uh, I'm going to bring in a pale color and this is just a pale blue that I've already got in my stash at home and ink that up so this looks like that um, really vintage sort of wallpaper things like that really gorgeous this would look amazing embossed as well you're getting so, 21 stamps within this yes set. you are 21 I mean, stamps my goodness and then you've got all the the, the two dies and the embossing folder and the papers yes. and uh, then all the inspiration because we you know we often pay this sort of price for a magazine alone anyway don't we for all that in point yeah. inspiration anyway so you can see there we've got the two the two pieces there obviously this one I made a little bit darker than that one but the two work really well together and because they've got this distressed edge you could fill your entire background with this really quite seamlessly and there is an example I think it was Ingrid in the magazine has done this with a black on white to really show how well it works so then I'm going to stamp over this I'm just going to pop this away this is like I say this is going to be a very very quick and simple card if you ever need a very quick one and I'm going to use this beautiful wildflower stamp here I called it earlier I called it a weed I'm sorry it's not a weed it is a wildflower <laughs> Um, I don't know what the difference is actually because wildflowers well, weed. This, I'm sure I've seen a stamp somewhere that actually says that about when is a, a weed a weed and when is it a wildflower because they're all they're, wildflowers they're all beautiful aren't they <laughs> exactly. um, there you go there's a card that we were just talking about a few months ago with them um, Ingrid there Love the yeah. technique. She's just repeat stamps that lots yeah. of times. It looks really, really pretty. It looks like it is one big stamp, which Amazing. is coming from a smaller one. Wonderful. So I'm now going to use a nice bright black Versafine ink just to really pick out the detail in this stamp. But what I really wanted was a solid silhouette. This one is so detailed and so fine. We do have some gaps in it. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press down once. Okay. I'll lift that up so you can really see the detail that's in there. In fact, mm -hmm. I didn't press that down very well at all. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat stamp it. And okay. I'm not worried about lining it up perfectly. I want to go half a millimetre or so away from where I did the last time. And what that's going to help do is just fill in some of that and make it look more of a solid black. There we go. So it looks oh, more yeah. more silhouette -y. And then I'm going to do the same. Silhouette-y. That's a new word, I think. It is now. More silhouette -y. I'm going to do exactly the same with this so when you've got the gaps in the leaves that are there so you can do your colouring in and things of course they then don't look as much like a silhouette I'm going to do exactly the same with this make sure this is fully inked up so this is another floral that we've got in the sentiment set so I'm just going to press that down then I'm going to lift it up move it ever so slightly and press it down again and that's made it thicker and darker and looks more silhouette -y. <laughs> and then lastly just for this I want to add a sentiment um, I'm going to say thinking of you because I think this 
any sort of silhouette like this works really well. If you need to do something like a sympathy card, Good point, yes. uh, something like, oh, I haven't added my butterfly. I'm going to do my butterfly in just a moment. Um, just ink this up fully. Pop the sentiment up the top there. I'm going to only stamp this once, of course, get a nice clear impression. Oh, nice. Um, I just need to add my butterflies. I've got two here. So I'm going to lay them down. I think I'll do. What should we do like that? I like doing this. I like to. I like to work out where they're going to go and then pick them up. That's a good tip. Yeah, and then you know they're going to be perfectly placed. Just to ink this all up. Again, these are absolutely stunning butterflies with lots and lots of detail in them. There we go. And again, I'm not going. I'm not oh, going to have them so as silhouettes. Pretty. I think with butterflies, the wings are a little bit transparent anyway. You can see through them, so that's absolutely fine as they are. So just as a little card, if you do need a quick note for somebody, that just works really well with a little bit of colour in the background. Of course, that can be absolutely any colour. It doesn't have to be pale blue. Um, but what if I have I got time? Yeah, let's get yep. straight for it. Let's, let's have for it. a little go with this embossing folder just so I can show you. Um, how it works because it is stunning. I'm going to use one of my favourite ever metallic papers and that's a rose gold colour. Couldn't tell you what brand it is now. I've had it in my tote for so long because I, it's one of these where I don't want to use it because it's too nice. <laughs> I'll just trim the end off there so we'll have a solid piece at the end. But it, it's got a bit wrinkled up now. You know when um, things are in your bag for so long the corners get a bit dog yes. and oh, I wish I hadn't saved it now because I've ruined it. So I'm just going to take the plate out of my um, die cutting machine that will allow my folder to go through. So this is the average size embossing folder, six by six. So it will go in your machine the same as all of your other ones. So you may have to change your sandwich, the sandwich of your plates, of course, just for it to fit in. But there's usually instructions either on the machine or um, in the box or something on how to emboss. Um, just reading the back of the magazine cover here, I mean, you get in a 68-page magazine, you're um, getting 21 stamps, as we mentioned, you're getting your two die, um, die sets, but you're getting lots of elements, obviously you've got your circles and your, your little um, butterfly in there, 28 paper designs and 54 coordinating toppers. Yeah, oh my there's, goodness, there's, there's a lot in there, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so worth it. And there's that embossing folder, Ooh. isn't that? I'm just hoping you can catch that. Oh, yeah. Beautifully. It's really, I love that it's distressed, that it's not a perfect print. You have some missed spots and things. If I just turn that down, you can see that is part of the design. It's not that the embossing folder's <laughs> missed it. Works really well. But then the back is equally as yeah. nice if you want very, to go inking that effective. as well. So really, really beautiful set. Um, I mean, all that for nine ninety nine. It's unbelievable. Well, isn't this it? is it, and that is the thing because you're getting obviously the contents of um, the box with all the different dies and stamps and the embossing folder, but it's the tuition as well, isn't it? This is the thing where you're going to have the guidance to, to help you use those pieces. Now, um, being very busy during this hour, sixty percent of the stock has gone. You've got all sorts of different designs. So of course, we touched on the design there, lovely Ingrid creating there. But again, elements being used over the side here, as you can see, the keys and the butterflies featuring there. Step-by-step -step tuition with these and of course you've got those fabulous papers, double-sided papers that are featuring within there all the way through. And every single one of the projects, when you come to them, it will give you a little guidance as to the elements that you're needing. Um, lots of kind of tuition with regards to time scales and of course the lovely Sam creating some beautiful cards there, as you can see, using those papers throughout. So it really is an amazing set to go for. And as I say, just so, so affordable. So if you're wanting to get hold of this one, then the details are there on your screen. Do pop it into your basket and it will all come boxed with those goodies in there. So your stamps there, you can see your butterflies, your sentiments, your embossing folder and of course the die as well. 911338 if you're wanting those and it's a fabulous premium magazine as you can see there. Magazine kit number one if you're wanting those please do so. Now of course we have those wonderful boxes as well that were featured during the live hours today um, and these are lovely. Now this one has been a very popular one, the Linda Parker one. This is one that's featuring all those gorgeous pastel tones already for springtime and of course we saw a lovely demonstration earlier on from Luke with regards to that one. Three ink pads as well, $24.99 for that particular one. Another choice with regards to those boxes because of course you've got Helen Griffins with her Christmas themed box featuring the Nutcracker and all of those wonderful different elements that we saw, those different colour tones. So if you're wanting to get a hold of these then uh, do uh, take advantage of the details on your screen. It's been a popular one. Get Cracker Die in that one and your snaps at um, five, sorry, 715672. Of course Luke Collins has been with us throughout both of the shows. 7 o'clock this morning and obviously the 
Lily Live Eye that we've just bought to you at 11, featuring her own box as well as some of the others that we've been looking at. And of course, within Lou's box, you're going to find all sorts of fabulous elements with that gorgeous blue. I do love this box, Lou. You really have hit the oh, nail on the head you. with this one. Thank you. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'll be crafting with it for years, I'm sure, because things like stamps and dies, they don't go out of fashion. True. So, um, yeah, I'll be using it for card making, tags, all sorts. Love it. And of course, you're going to learn some of those skills from Lou with regards to your brush lettering as well, which, of course, once you've got that and you've got the tuition that you can download and those practice sheets, you'll be able to do that for a lifetime. It's a fabulous skill to learn. Lou, thank you very much for your shows today. You're very welcome. Thank I you. I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> uh, and thank you to you guys as well. If you've got anything in your basket, particularly those magazines we were looking at, check your baskets out. Don't want anybody missing out on these. And don't forget, for extravaganza, you can spread the cost as well. I'll see you later. So it's 12 o'clock. It's time for us to have a fresh look at the One Day Special. Um, do make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to join you at 1 o'clock with the lovely Paul Church and Crafting with Clarity before we head over to the Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Echanda. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on her channel. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. 
We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. And a very good afternoon to you. We are here with the one day special and the lovely Charlene. Good afternoon, my darling. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I've had some food, so uh, me too. Be, yeah, this is, this is what we need to power through, don't we, my yes, darling? So we you. can come back. Boom, boom. <laughs> exactly. She's been there since six o'clock. Well, not literally sitting there since six o'clock <laughs> yeah. last night. We've had all the one day special shows. Now, these are um, uh, 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 sort of a new configuration. We've seen them before, but uh, back by popular demand, I'm pleased to say. Yeah, I mean, it gives um, people the opportunity opportunity you only bought part of the collection yeah. to get the other bits now because they're all on as you know like individuals apart from obviously the um, dies exactly. which come with the stamps but you wouldn't want to buy the dies on their own no. really would you because no. they're outlined dies exactly you need them together so we've got that opportunity as well as some lovely papers and stencils and other bits and bats on the show so do shop ahead now we've got 48 stamps here that we're looking at designed by Anne Marie for Dolly Dimples and uh, they've all got individual names you can get these sets individually for £10.99 but of course the savings are in in the collection and they are really are adorable I still can't remember all the names but apparently this one's me <laughs> <laughs> they can be anybody, can't they? Of course Fiona? it is. Well, just, uh, my producer Meg decided that that one's me. And I said, I'll take that because I liked her yellow check trousers. The blue jumper, I have exactly that. She's got a lot of hair. <laughs> so I love that. We were looking at the trees earlier. What's brilliant is about you can interlink, you know, all, all the hats and stuff with them. That lovely little girl. It could be first day of school. You were doing the little Robin. Uh, well, not Robin. He's a little birdie. He could be anything earlier, weren't you, uh, Charmaine? There was a long leggy birdie before. There was a long. <laughs> yes, and we had some splats. There we go. Um, um, this fabulous, fabulous. They're so they're so full of character. Really, really versatile, gorgeous. And then this one is e Evie, Eva, Evie, Eve. 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 I always want to stick something on the end of the name. And then we've got those lovely accessories of uh, the rocket and the kite and the goal and uh, the football and the, and the footprints. Yeah, that brilliant idea earlier as well from so, you know, just the footprints alone could be a baby card, baby. new arrival. Yeah, yeah definitely. You know. um, um, I don't know. To me, it's like footprints in the sand. Yes. Footprints in the snow. Yeah, exactly. Making your 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 making your mark. The world. Making your mark. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, fabulous saving and uh, two flexify payments. We've got that on. So although we have got the flex extravaganza event running, you can actually get this on two flexify payments. Of Twenty-two pounds and forty-eight pence zero nine five six zero four. Now, Charmaine mentioned uh, the dies as well because we have got those on the show. This card as well was the one you finished now uh, with us earlier yep. in the morning show, eight o'clock this morning. Isn't that beautiful? Now, this is coming. This is one of the stencils, the rose stencils on the show, and we've got the accessory there of the frames and accessory uh, stamps. But these are absolutely, absolutely stunning samples. Uh, Anne Marie's. There we go. We I love the way the crown fits all of them. Yes. E Eve and Eve with her big crazy hair. Yeah. Wouldn't you just love big crazy hair like that? That's me with brown hair. Little notebook yeah. there, yeah. Yeah, little notebook there, little boxes. And again, you'll notice the interplay of stamps and, 
uh, the papers that we've got on the show today, like that one, for, for instance. These are absolutely gorgeous. This one is Sam's. And every time I pick it up, I drop the lovely tag out of it. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. You could, yeah, you could, they're, they're so characterful. You're probably looking at it now and thinking, oh, that reminds me of such and such, and uh, uh, that, that could be my friend Sarah, or, yeah. Oh, they just amazing. I love these samples. They're just beautiful. Your journaling, your art, you know, your mixed media, your artwork, your cards, your gifting, just gorgeous, aren't they? Scra scrapbooking. Scrapbooking, yeah. Mem memory albums as well, where you you know you can pop little keepsakes in and things, and yeah. just jazz them up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely, just beautiful, so characterful, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, and they lend themselves to just you know not sort of having to be realistic at all. Just let's let's jazz it up a little bit with all the different colours and what have you. Do you know, I we'll didn't think about shrink plastic in them. How tiny oh. would they be? Oh, I'm not that'd be that brilliant, would be wouldn't it? So tiny. I wouldn't do the feet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no, no I wouldn't attempt that. What are you saying? <laughs> so, they would be so, so tiny, but I think they'd be so cute. Look at that, the dangly legs, we love that. Oh, it's so good with a little ribbon there on the front. The dangly legs there, beautiful. And the way the faces are just popping out the side there. Anyway, that's the stamp collection, 095604, two by payments. And the biggest saving if you're a Freedom Club member there as well, £20.99. If you want the complete collection, and that is with the 48 dies to correspond as well. Now, you can't get the dies on their own. You can get the stamps on their own. But uh, in order to have the dies, we can do that for you on three by payments of £31.63, 892.985. And as... Um, as Charmaine was telling us earlier, you know, this is a special price for her chander and you won't get these prices even on her own website. So, well worth the saving. Now, there it is, 48 stamps, 48 dies, three flexi by payments of £31.63. Like we said, if you want any individuals, they're 1099-958179. This is Belinda and Eva with a little doggy there. Kelly and Mia are up next with the pigtails. <coughs> Bella and Juliet, or Fiona and Juliet. <laughs> uh, Maud and Tom. I, lo I love Maud. She's brilliant. Fred and Kane. They're wicked, aren't they? Uh, we've got the toys there as well. And then accessory set one, set two, frames number one, and frames number two. I love that set. Actually, it's more, it's more cost effective to get that as a set for £29.96 because you're saving. Was it, was it £14 you're saving? Yes. That's having all four of them, and I think they're fabulous. And I know Charmaine worked with them this morning. I love, love, love that set. 542625. So just to flag that one up for you. And we've got a happy hour deal. Yeah, our happy hour proved, got, became limited. I don't know if it, where we were at right at the end, but it was limited uh, when myself and Charmaine finished this morning at nine. And this is a different happy hour deal. So I'll flag it up now so that you can take full advantage this hour because it'll go back to its original price. You've got a bigger saving than you're spending. So you've got 50 sheets of A3. Now, this is what I love about it. Super smooth card. Yeah, 250 GSM. And I love the fact that it's A3. It's that bigger canvas to work on. Um, and, you know, if you want to take it down, you can take it down to two A4s if you want to. But you've got the choice. Yeah, we can't enlarge, but we can go down. So it's nice to have that bigger canvas. And then in the mix, we've also got 250 GSM um, black card as well. 25 sheets of that. And the watercolour card. I'm oh, sorry, mixed media card, forgive me. The mixed media card. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. 12 99 great stash builder there. Big saving there. 811122. So make sure you pop that in your basket. Make sure you check out for the end of the hour. Okay, Charmaine, but let's come to you because we didn't uh, we didn't we finish just... we didn't finish this one. Yeah. So I do a little recap on it. I've used a mixture of a mixture of stamps. I've used the Dolly Tops frames number two, and um, yeah, I've used the Dolly Tops frames number two. Did I? No, you didn't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know their names. I just neither do I. Obviously. No. <laughs> so we've used the doll. We used the Dolly Tots frames number one. Number one. And we used. Um... And I keep smiling from that. Actually, one, I don't it? think we did. <laughs> Well, yes, you did, because that, is, that, is that number one? It's this one. It's no, we used that one on it. another one. We actually used the accessories. Gosh. Oh. Okay, I really okay. need to sleep, don't I? 
<laughs> we use the accessories. Oh, I'm going to get shot down in flames here. So we use the accessories. We started off with this um, um, flower one here, which is a nice a nice size for a background one. So yeah. you can see that we placed it on. Uh, inked it up with two inks at the same time. So I went in with a lighter shade and then went in with a darker shade. Just kind of mixed it up. And then did some, whether you call it shadow inking, second generation or ghost printing of not re-inking down here. Um, then we re-inked with these here and same. So we just used part of it, turned it and placed it there. Then the next um, stamp that I used, oh, actually I think we did the this one first, if I remember you rightly. Did. Yeah, you did, yeah, you did that one first. Me. Create the diagonal. See, I don't know what I did yesterday, let alone a few hours ago. So we used um, another stamp here, which is this one at the top. You can see because yes, I've not cleaned it, it's orange. You that one on so we used that on the accessory yeah. kit. So that's from set one. Uh, but you get all four of them together if you're going for the bundle. So we did all the way down there or I think we did this way and then coming in and then this one is this little one in the center so I'll show you on here this little one here and a crisscross of two colors there and there and then we've used some words and the words have come from accessory kit two which is we've used keep smiling I banged that in as quick as I could and pop that one back so that's as far as we've got there we made the card to start off with um, using the template out of the template kits yeah um, and it's got it's glued here and it's scored so if I yeah so it's it's scored here mm -hmm. and it's glued together there so you've got the back piece this piece is the inner bit so you've got a matted and layering piece and I use an alcohol pen just to go around the edge and kind of colored that in I didn't use red card I've just worked solely on my mixed media card so let's add a little bit more to it so I have stamped out one of the lovely uh, this is Katie and our oh, Kate, you, where is she? No, she's not. Yes, she is. Is she? No, she's Mia. Sorry. This is Mia. Oh. Um, so she comes off of this stamp set. And again, if I slide this over, you can see that you actually get a couple of little extras in there. So you've got an added extra of a second butterfly. So you've got two sizes as well. So I think we're going to go with some butterflies on this one. So we've got Mia stamped out and coloured in and a few little dots there. And we'll use this set and add a couple of butterflies. So we'll go for the large one and the small one. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you. Thank you. Right, so I'll pop that down and grab a block. Now, my blue came off my block, so I've added um, alcohol pen to it, just so I can spot it when it vanishes from me. So we're going to ah, put them on, one that idea. way and one that way. And then I'm going to stamp in a colour. What colour shall we give them to mix in with the rest? Rather than stamping in black, I'm going to go for turquoise as one. And we pop her there. Now the Mia stamp for ten ninety nine. It comes with the, the other ca uh, character there as well. Individually, that's sold out now for ten ninety nine as a singular stamp set. So now that's only available either in the complete collection or the one day special. Just to flag that up. Oh, I wouldn't have used it if I'd have known that. That was fine. I'm going it's to nice cry. to see the other elements there, because there's, there's yeah. a lot in that you set. Can, anyway, yeah, you get there the crown, is, the butterfly, lots. the bird, mm -hmm. the heart. The... I, lo I just love the crown. I think the crown is so yeah. cool. And you can mix it over. And the woolly bobbly hat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Especially in this feather as well. So, we get that one on. There we go. And we've not done a whole heap of um, c colouring, but what we have done, uh, obviously I've stamped her and coloured her in and pop that down. And I fussy cut her out instead of um, doing her on a background. But we have got, um, no, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave her off. I'm going to leave her off and we will just pop that one like that. I'm just giving it a little bit of a curve on the back and then I am going, I've, I've got another one prepped with her as well. I must like me. She must be like my go-to girl. <laughs> I think it's a hair, big bunches. I'd have loved to have my hair like that, but I don't have enough of it. There we go. So you're going to sit there, my dear. Oh, don't squash my face. There we go. Isn't she so pretty? 
Very cute. Very cute indeed. And then I think that is enough. You could go in and add more yeah. colour. You could colour in these flowers if you want. But I think she's actually enough on that card. So, so I think it's quite a nice, simple card. I think so too. Yeah. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Charmaine. Thank it didn't you. take long to do at all with the collection of stamps. I just want to flag up um, that our happy hour deal, quarter of the stock's already gone. And it isn't any surprise. Uh, you have got 50 of the um, beautiful A3 super smooth 25 of the black 250 premium card there and the mixed media 25 there as well you're saving 14 pounds you're saving more than you're spending 12.99 there great stash builder and especially i love the fact it's got the a3 super smooth in there for just because you can take that down to a4 but you can't go up you can't do the reverse can you so uh, a fantastic stash builder there great savings only till the end of the hour while stocks last and our last happy hour deal with charmaine uh, did uh, Get, get very limited towards the end. I don't know where we ended up at the end, actually. 095604. Very busy for the stamps as well. You can't get lovely... What was her name again? Mia. Mia, on her own now. She can only be available in the One Day Special, the Complete Collection. Um, the Complete Collection at the bottom of the screen there, with, accompanying with your 48 dies. You can't get those on their own, I'm afraid. And you have got a £20.99 saving on those stamps. 48 stamps for £44.95. And we can split that into two flexi buy payments for you. And it's definitely one of those why not deals where it's uh, more, more fruit. What's the word? More Frugal. Fruitful. Yes. Frugal. Yeah. <laughs> fruitful. It's my new more one. Fruity, uh, to, you know, spend the £5.97 and get the greatest savings there. 095604. Over 40% the one day special has actually gone let me show you this one very quickly as well this is beautiful look at this again all those characters there fantastic uh, these are the accessory stamps there that's the papers we've got on the show look at those there's 30 of them 15 designs you get two of each brilliant bargain um, love these I love the cutting out of the shapes look oh the that's birdie. the one that's the one with the stamp the birdie I forgot to I put him yeah, in there but you gorgeous. see the two the two big guys so I've stamped out the birdie yeah and then if I get the uh, the frame one yeah it's hiding here this one move that one oh I see the so corner. if I spin it round like that no way yeah that's genius. Absolutely genius. It was only when I was cutting it up, because I like to cut into things. So yeah. the first thing I do usually is I stamp them out and I make masks. And you I, I've forgotten all my masks yeah. today. They're on one sheet. And I make masks, so I test the stamps. Uh. And then I, I fussy cut things out, and that's my, you know, that's my mask done. Yeah. So it's, it's a job in itself. Yeah. And then when I started stamping them out and colouring them and cut them out, I suddenly spotted eyes. And it was that's only when I was doing it on a Facebook Live, I was like, Ooh, I did not realise. It's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. I love this rocket on a spring there as well. Bedoinga. Yes, and you've elongated that frame as you were showing yeah. us this morning, the proportions. There's our birdie. Mm. We've got some uh, cutting out there and layering up. Just I love the windows so we can see the characters beneath. There's our rocket. There she is, just yeah. having a coming off the page there. That's, that, that's a perfect example. I say perfect. That's really, I don't know, big headed because it's mine. Um, if you turn her around, turn that page back. That's a perfect example of what, no, so we can see the backside. Oh, I'm sorry, so sorry, turn I'm the being... page yep. of why I like the dye. So, we've got, <laughs> so I've, I use the coloured in one for her legs on one side. Yeah, and brilliant. then we've matted her, yeah, we've matted her on black on the other side. Yeah. Does I'll that make sense? Yeah, yeah, totally. You were showing us how to do that this morning, firstly cutting her out and then layer on your black because the dyes themselves just cut out with that lovely white border, but you can take that away as well if you don't want that. I love this. This is fabulous, Charmaine. Just, just brilliant. And then we've got those in the papers as well, the typescript on the black and the white. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, in your journaling, your scrapbooking, you know, your, your to-do list, your happy planners. Yeah. You can, yeah. yeah, they cross over into Beautiful. so many genres, don't they? Just gorgeous. Little and the topiary trees stood on top of each other. Yeah. Well, I must have been on form that day. <laughs> oh, you were on fire, my darling. Absolutely. Oh, that's fantastic. another one as well. If you go back to the back page, the black page there, the yeah. dirty one that we're looking at, you see the tab that's sticking out? Yeah. Um, the grey one there. Is that's, that on the frame as well? That's another fret. That's the other fret. Oh. So if I bring that one over, there we go. It's this piece here. Wow. And in fact, I know how I have one prepped. Yeah. That is that one. Folded over. And then I fold it in yeah. half and glue it back and front so you can see you've got a nice pretty really? backside as well as the front. See? Genius. Absolutely genius. Why, thank you. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> take Big that fan. One. You can have that. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it's just because we mustn't just think the stamp just has to be used as it is. I mean, that's the perfect example, isn't it? Yeah, Breaking chop, chop into them because they're yeah. shapes. They're, yeah. they're great shapes to Beautiful use. Beautiful shapes yeah. in themselves. Yeah. Fantastic. 
Complete collection, £94.88. Three flexify payments, therefore, you're on that. 892985, £31.63. I'll mention those accessories then, if that's all right, very quickly, Charmaine. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the frames that Charmaine was just referring to. We've also got the accessories as well that she was just uh, using there as well. £29.96, and you are getting a £14 saving. So this was the one we were just referring to then. I love this. You were using that earlier with our bird with the long legs. Gorgeous, love these Flutterby Girls, True Sparkles, lovable. Like, and we were using that one on that card previously. And if we move down, well, I'm a massive fan. I just think these are so versatile, so brilliant. That was the lines. You know, something so simple can be so, um, can bring so much to the project. And I, I love that. It could be a tree trunk, could be a fingerprint. Uh, and there again is that other frame with our little cuckoo bird, birdie eyes there. And £14 saving. Don't get them separately for 10 99 I will four. Gift the other one even if you've got one of them. £29.96, Oh, yeah, those beautiful papers. Yeah, they're, oh, they're gorgeous. 30 sheets, 15 different designs. That's sure if I looked at that, is that that one? Yeah. And uh, you get two of each. Gorgeous quality, vibrant colours, just beautiful. Absolutely love them. And you can see them here in conjunction with the stamps. But in some of them, you know, you've got borders on there as well, so you don't have to use them as is. Um, they're, they're fantastic. Just for, for if you want that background, that initial background on your cards, on your papers, on your sheets, on your inserts. Really, really beautiful. That was uh, Ali's created. That one, 60% has gone. Just to flag that up for you, 60% of those has gone. I'm not surprised. <coughs> you've got a £9 saving there, and they are Fabulous, and you've got two sheets there of the typescript. So you can just see that at the bottom peeping out of the. If I, if I what an easy way for you, and it would be to show everybody. Never mind, show in a corner. There we go. Love, fly, wild, down, up, think enough. Bon voyage, travel journey, chip, dream, possible party, friends, laugh, women, friend, wishes, just well, flowers, especially. There's loads on there. So you've got it on the black typescript as well as that fabulous background. Yay! And then you've got the white as well. So you've got those in there as well, to each of those. Fabulous. 1499 Right back to Charmaine. I've lost a piece again. What am I like? You've lost. What oh, have you lost, my mind. darling? <laughs> Things just go walkies today. <laughs> they do. I'm just, I'm just but we're in the okay, I thought we're up. Okay, here we go. So we've got the, right, this is the template, which is upside down. This is the template. And what I've done is I've cut out, cut out this one. Yeah. Okay. And then if you mark it however you want to mark it, but I'm using a, um, a scoreboard here. So you yeah. use whatever devices you've got. So I can see roughly it's there and there. So this is my first mark. Does that make sense? So this yes. is my score yeah. line. And then again, that's my next score line. Uh -huh. And then my next score line, I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it around like that and make sure that that's all lined up together. I should have had it cut out, it would have been easy. I think it's that and there. Oh, top of my head, I hope this works. Luckily I've got one already pre-scored. So we've got that scored. Okay, you're not doing this very good today, Charmaine. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I did. Right, okay, so we've got that scored and then you can either do it with a ruler and a score line, a ruler and a, a bone folder and crease it. And you get your score lines like this and you go there, aren't you? And that one again. So it's got two scores, and this will fold flat into a C5 card as well. But when it stands, so if I just move that out of the way, you can work on a nice flat surface now. And take my scoreboard. You are going, uh, if this is the front side and this is the back side, that one's going over. So I'm working with my cream card. So this is a 300 GSM cream smooth card and then score that one the opposite way. So one mountain, one valley. I think my table was mucky as well. Yep, it is. And that one, that way, then that one, that way. And then it opens like that. So if yeah. I turn it the other way around, you can see that it's gonna stand like so. Beautiful. Okay, so yeah. that's that's the most complicated part of it. Oh, right, okay, so lovely. cut it out, draw <laughs> around it, use it as many times. So when it's flat, it goes in a C5 envelope, yep, yeah? like yeah. that, or a skinnier one if you make your own. So we've just popped that one to one side. You then get two pieces in it, which you place down your drawer around and you cut out, 
and you get the, the layering piece as well, mm. which is just slightly smaller um, than what, yeah. you know, than the yeah, other one. Layer, okay, yeah. so this is the one that we're going to make pretty, and this one is the one that we're going to decorate. And I'm actually going to use that one because I can't find the one that I've actually cut out, but luckily I know I have another one. So we're going to decorate that. And what we're going to do with the backing papers is we're going to place it over so I can see that. Yeah. I think I do it that, that way around, and then you won't be able to see the gubbins in there. And we're going to decorate that up there and there, I think. Yep, yeah. so I'll get some glue. There we go. And, and we're getting um, in those, des oh, in the, yeah, 15 each of those uh, beautiful papers, two of each. And uh, in, the, in the templates, you've got five templates, four packs but this, this, you can actually make five the french oval the ornate square the bird house and the fancy edge card and it's that one at the bottom there um that can make two different um coming up to it now yes see, that's two so it's actually five different designs in there for 9.99 that uh, charmaine is using 287404 but you can actually you know tweak with them and do your own different things so now i've placed the paper on so the paper's on the top and i've just used pva glue i start in the middle and then a crease out from either side and we get rid of all the air bubbles. Does that make sense? Yes. Then I do exactly the same on this side. Now if I wanted, I could actually do put another piece on the back of that so you've got a pretty pretty back side because when this goes on here, you're gonna see it from behind. If you want to be that well, it wouldn't be frugal, it'd be the other way around, wouldn't it? Generous on um, decorating <laughs> up, and some people do like to do that. So I grab my scissors now, and I'm going to cut this out. So if you want to do a little recap when I cut out. Sure, I'll mention the happy hour. Um, yeah, nearly half the stock's gone. I can't see it lasting to the end of the hour. I'm not, it's a great deal, Charmaine. What's that? Yeah. Especially the fact that you're getting the mixed media card in exactly. there as well. Exactly. What's so good about the mixed media card? You can use it for so many different things. Um, it's not got a massive high ch uh, chalk content in the card, so it mm. won't suck the life out of your alcohol pens. Okay. Because um, they need to sink underneath and evaporate. The white uh, smooth mm. is ideal for um, alcohol inks. Yeah. Uh, and if you would, if you chop that down, obviously, if you chop it into a um, A4, so you chop it in half, you're going to get um, 100 sheets. If exactly. you chop it again down to your A6, into your A6, yeah. or your, sorry, your A5, A5 sorry. you're nice. going to get 200 pieces to yeah. work on. If yeah, you work on smaller pieces, chop it down again, do the maths. Yeah. You know, it's, it's yeah, as exactly. simple as that. But if you work with alcohol, it's absolutely awesome. Um, if you're using um, sprays, lotion, and potions, it, it's great oh, for all of those. It's, it's phenomenal. And, isn't well, it? What, what more can we say about black? Could, it's fantastic yeah. for matted and layering. We all seem to like to do that. Yeah. Um, even with construction as well. Um, I know it's a 250, it's ideal for die cutting. Mm -hmm. um, it's ideal for construction if you're putting extra papers on top of it as well. Right. If you're starting off with a 400 gram and sticking a 400 gram um, to it, it's gonna make things too heavy. Yeah. So you can drop down a little size as well. Brilliant bundle there and uh, beautifully explained by our lovely Charmaine. 12 99 you're getting 50 of the Super Smooth A3, 25 of the Mixed Media and of the Black and all 250 cheers then. 811 122, half the stock has gone. 12 99 14 pounds saving. Honestly, in the weight of it, it's just fantastic. That's uh, a great start or stash builder as it were. Love that. Love that happy hour deal but only while stocks last as well. So. And the one-day special, of course, £49.94. You're saving £16. More if you're a Freedom Club member, £20.96. And we can split that into two flexi-buy payments for you as well. 095604. You're getting 48 of these fabulous stamps here. And there's so much that you can interplay and mix and match across the board there. And uh, if you want the dies there at the bottom of the screen, complete with the stamps. Some of the individual stamp sets are sold out now. So have a little look on the web. Um, but the whole collection with the dies are at the bottom of the screen, 892985. Quick bit of inspiration, then straight back to Charmaine.
Aren't they gorgeous and all those colours? And I love the fact that actually on the packs themselves of the stamp sets, you've got some ideas in terms of inspiration. But when you actually start to play with them, when I look at these samples, all the different colourways just changes them up completely. And you can mix and match those hats and those crowns and all sorts in there. Absolutely brilliant. Great for the boys and the girls. Big boys, little boys, whatever. Uh, so yeah, a great uh, collection there. Two flexible items for £24.97. £10.99 on their own, so get it while you get the savings. £20.96 if you're a Freedom Club member. Big, big saving. Okay, Charmaine. Okay, me. Right. Uh, me, me, me. Right, so what I've done is I've placed some glue just on the inside here, avoiding, if I bring it in, avoiding these two, you know, sorry, avoiding this area and this area. Um, and then that's how, if I open it like that, yeah. and I'm going to turn it and stand it up, and you can see how it will stand. So that's my first layer. Um, of course, you don't have to use both layers. Right. You know, it's up to you. You can use one or the other. So that's how it stands. Mm -hmm. You can, I have seen the girls doing it the other way around. So if I spin it that way, I've glued it on now. And then they've added like to this, so it, it opens like Ooh, that. yes, yeah, Which I changes see. it up. Now you could do yeah. two of those either side. Yes, coming yeah. together. But remember, when you're folding it up, you've got to make sure Over one that. falls first and then the other one yeah. falls. So yeah. you can mix the stencils up. So if I turn this flat again, and then I'm going to be working on this piece to go on top of there. So it's all going to tie in because the papers all mix and match with each other. Okay? Yeah, lovely. Right, so put that one to one side. Fiona, please remember where I've I know, I've got my eye on it. It's not just gonna, uh, yeah. foggy. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with a stencil. So this is a stencil from set number two. And I'm going to get my ink pad and dots and dashes or dots dashes and, and dashes. dashes so is it? Yeah. It. Oh, you've, you've picked my favourite set. Uh, screw heads and steels and shards and s the shards. The shards is mm. just... I had no idea it was going to look so good until I saw some of the samples and I was really quite taken with it. So that's one set. Not that I'm biased, but that's my favourite. Uh, £14. No, no, it's nine. How much is it? For three, nine? Oh, 14 97 yeah. And then we've got another set. Um, the roses, the maize and... Cosmic, yeah, there we go, 1497, 5519913. And our third set on the show today, Entwined Circles, that looks amazing. Cells and seeds there as well. Oh, is, is that, yeah, there we go, 1497, 5692934. So big saving on those stencils, a nine pound saving. So uh, well worth it. And that's the roses, the one that card, the card that uh, Shemaine did this morning. That was how pretty those roses looked on there using that stencil. So. Well worth it with that nine pound saving. I'm sure you agree. Gorgeous, right? So you just um, just cut it in two different directions there. On yes, the... I just turned it around. So I've got it going one way. I've got it going the other way. Mm -hmm. And I've just used the marmalade, marmalade, marmalade magoon, <laughs> marmalade magoon. A bit of, a bit of marmalade. <laughs> What's going on? What did you use there? Marmalade, marmalade blue. A bit of marmalade. <laughs> marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of marmalade. <laughs> oh, one day I'll learn to speak. <laughs> it's all so right. I have days where it's like I put the wrong teeth in. Oh, so. this one's going to be a tongue twister. So we've got <laughs> marmalade magoon, and I think that's probably because I wanted to use a spice marmalade. <laughs> I've merged so the, the spice two marmalade together. and the mermaid blue became marmalade. <laughs> marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> She's invented a whole new colour, folks. Marmalade. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. I know so many people. Uh, do exactly the same and give them actually extra names but that was just totally me being goofy <laughs> oh, so now I'm using set one and they're just Jenny Jenny oh no why don't shall I just mime instead <laughs> 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 what, what are you trying to say? Well, I don't just... know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Oh, dear. Uh, rewind. <laughs> They're great when, like you're doing now, just sort of overlapping. Yeah, just doing that. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I do want to do is put my teeth back in. What I'm going to do with this is because I've got some ink left on this, because there's another one, uh, another background that I've got, is I just want to spritz my stencil with what the heck's going on there. Are you going to give it a um, not, no oh, waste? You've got to press the button. 
I'm going to give it a spritz with some water because you can see um, that there's plenty of ink on yeah. there. And I'm going to pick that up. If anybody tuning in now see me mucky backside, I'll think, what the heck she's doing? Right, so I pull that up there and then I can let that dry. Yeah. And when it dries and you're picking up these things by doing your cleanups, and obviously it needs a bit more, but we're just going to mop that one up. So um, when I'm cleaning my stencils, I do them um, quite... Uh, flat if that makes sense right so get that cleaned up i'm popping that to one side because the next sample that i'm going to do it was generated by doing that so i wanted to show that so I bring that one in so back to the templates and there's lots and lots of templates in the kit isn't there there is you can actually you've got five templates uh, in the four sets um for all the different sizes so we've got the one that uh, charmaine's working with here's another example uh, that was the one as well that charmaine was working with this morning um, this is the one that's almost like a twofer, where you could get two in the design. See the little box there at the top as well on the right hand side? Here it is, a uh, little sweetie box. It could be a little favours box. Isn't that beautiful? That's another one of the templates. And it's premium card there that they're printed onto. So uh, you can use time and time again in terms of tracing round and, and, and using them. But make five beautiful different project cards there. Uh, it, even though you've got the four templates as such, you can actually make five or, or adapt, as uh, Charmaine was just showing, you know, the adaptation of that one we were just looking at there now, the French Oval, and then the fancy edge card can make two different types there. 999-287-404, brand new today. We all see, we all see totally different things, don't yes, we? Yes, we so do. What I've got here is I've, um, using the toys now, so um, this is the toy, this is from the toys, so this is the Dolly Tots toys. Let's bring that one if you can see that one. That's Dolly Tots Toys. And you get the rocket, but you also get another rocket which is missing. But you've got the inspiration there as well, so we didn't need to pop that in. So you got a little tiny one as well. These, the little puff of smoke, or whatever you like to call it, if I turn oh, yeah. it around the other way, I see a chef's hat. You oh, see yeah. that? Yeah. Looks like a chef's hat, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I suppose it could be a fancy speech bubble as well. Could People... be the top of an ice cream, but it can be. Oh, used. yeah. Oh, oh, here we go, food. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We can't help ourselves, Sorry. can we? Right. If I hear the ice cream man, then I will suddenly disappear. There, there we go. We've got that there, and I'm just going to take this one a piece of tape in there. I've kept my dies together because me personally I find that easier. You can pop them out, they come out really easy. You want to pop them out, but I like keeping the collection together and, oh, and then yeah. I can keep it with my stamps. That so would just drive me that do lally if I, if I separated the collection you were looking for something in it and it was somewhere else. Yeah, you've got to put oh, them in a little no. bag something. So. That would drive me do lally. I will say as well the uh, happy hour deal is gone limited and we're only halfway through the show so I'm not surprised given the quality and the offer. 50 of the A3 Super Smooth, 25 of the 250 GSM Black Card and the Mixed Media, 25 of that and the White. £14 saving, 12 99 811 122 Please check out your baskets because we are now limited. Okie dokie, rocket time. Here we go. So if I turn it over, I can take the, uh, the negative bit off, the wasted bit. Then we can pop that one off. There we go, gently. There we go. And then that can go back with the stamp set. So we've now got a little rock, rocket. <laughs> rocket. Oh, what is wrong with me and my brain today? It's just. You've uh, had a very hard time with your toothache. I hope you don't mind me telling everybody. It's not <laughs> easy, bless you. <laughs> Talking doom and gloom. I've got well, toothache. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's sort of. I think things like that just affect your whole being, don't they? I know it seems like such a tiny thing, the tooth or whatever, but it just. I think it's because it's in the head area, isn't it? Just <laughs> it's oh. in my head, yeah. Well, I just, I just, I just feel for you. I really do. There's nothing worse, and I can't make it better. Oh, it happens. It happens. She's battling on with crafting. Doom and gloom. I've got too fake. <laughs> uh, we'll get it sorted. Right. So I'm just going to pop one of the lovely little characters on there. That's coloured in and matted and lead. So she's on there, and then I'm going to use the um, the rocket. Come on, Charmaine. You can say it. We're going to use the rocket and I'm going to add the rocket so it's just popping in there. Mm -hmm. So this has been die cut with that lovely little border there. And then when you turn it over, you can see that you've got um, a backside there. If I had put black behind it and doubled it up, then it would have a prettier backside than the alcohol ink that's showing. And you know what? I forgot to put my puff of smoke on. But I think that I want to use that and turn her into a chef. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's got the check trousers on there. Yeah. <laughs> she's off, off into the kitchen. 
<laughs> to, yeah, she's a space chef. That was a brilliant idea, not mine there. I won't take credit for it. <laughs> she's a space chef. Yeah. She's going up to space. I've got a little bit of uh, glue up there. Just wipe up the old panties. And um, yeah, she's going off up, up into space and she's going to be the space chef. Uh, space chef. See, you can't even say chef, I need now. Space chef. <laughs> And then what I want to do finally to it is a quickie, 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 if I can grab it. And remember, move that card out the way. That's, this, it's there, still there. That yeah, one's there, thank got you. Got thank you, my lovely assistant there. Got that one there. And it could be a greeting, it could be a birthday card, it could be an anniversary card, it could be a card for a chef that goes up into space, it could be one for a spaceman, whatever you want to do. But it's just using uh, just two, two different ones, little elements out of the collection, and I think it's a little bit quirky. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. Thank you, Charmaine. Yeah, using the one day special, those 48,000 litre stamps. Here's some other gorgeous, gorgeous samples there. And again, intermixing the uh, the frames and accessory stamps that we've got on the show today as well, and the beautiful papers. And you can see how that works with the stamps. You've got the splats there, you've got the flowers on the paper, but you've also got that as a stamp. There's your frame as well. There's your papers again, and there's our lovely stamp. I think that one's mauled, isn't it? And then uh, Charmaine was showing us this morning at 8 o'clock how you can elongate that, that frame as well. There's the stencils as well with your seeds. Uh, lovely little doggy. She's sold out individually on the stamps now. Uh, you can only get her in the complete collection, either of those complete collections. I don't know if that's Kane or I don't know which one that is, but I've decided that's how I'd look if I had blue hair. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's the kite from the accessory kit as well. All those lovely stamps in there, really beautiful. There's Eva, Evie, and uh, yeah, look at that on the on the tags, aren't they lovely? That's Kane. Kane is it was Kane. Hair, the quick oh, hair. Kane was the one the hair going off the side. There. Yeah, lovely. And Fred's the one with, um, you know, he's like strutting his stuff. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> look at that. It looks beautiful. Oh, that was just a bit of plastic that was you found or, or what? That is beautiful. I love that. Just surrounding that, if you're doing your journaling and your note making and your scrapbooking, it's absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, another another fabulous sample there, handmade by Carolyn. Carolyn, uh, thank you, Carolyn. Gorgeous. Forty nine pounds ninety four, sixteen pounds saving, but twenty pounds and ninety nine pence if you are a free club member. So that's been bigger saving. The entire forty eight stands for forty four pounds ninety five pence and can be split into two flexi by payments. Zero nine five six zero four. If you want the complete collection, that is split up. into three. Flexi by payments, and it's at the bottom of your screen right now, 892985, and that gives you the 48 dies to match. So uh, that's split into three payments. And uh, don't forget, the Flex Travaganza event is still running as well. And those papers, uh, we remember we're limited on the happy hour deal as well. We've still got the papers, those lovely stencils also, and accessory stamps. So shop ahead of them there. Right. Oh, you've used a few of the stencils there. Lovely. The maze. Yeah, so this is the maze, and this mm. is a clean-up from the maze. So where did really? I put the other one underneath oh. there? Okay, so you see how I did the clean-up before? It's done in the same principle, but Ooh, like but because I'd used a few colours at one point, I've then gone in and mopped it up wow. twice, so that's what it's about. So you can see that this one's drying off, and it looks like a mucky mess, but once you start layering some I more over the top of it, yeah. it, so, it totally changes things. So you're just adding colour. So I do use my, some people call them mop-ups or clean-ups or whatever, I do use those pieces. Yeah. Grab a piece of card and on it goes. Right. So we started with the background so that this should be, this should, in theory, be fairly quick. What I've also done is um, I used um, some texture paste oh. through the same stencil yeah. and then used the same colours that are in there over the top when that had dried, put the stencil back over the top and right on the up. Back. So I've already done, so that's dried and it looks yeah. really, really fabby, it really stands out. Yeah, doesn't it? So um, I've got a strip of that left over from another project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that into two pieces, a skinny one and a fat one. Mm. So that piece no way in you, this. <laughs> the thriftiness. Wait, what are you talking about? Have you got your knife the right way round? Oh, it's a craft knife. Oh, my knife, yeah. I thought you said my mic. No, <laughs> where's it gone? What's going <laughs> Sorry, my dear. Oh, I can't speak and now I can't even hear. So we could pop that on there so I can see roughly. I want to take it off to about here. So I pop that one down like that and I'm going to take a V into it. V that Ooh, way. V okay. down. Yeah. Yeah, knife is the right way. And V that way. Ooh. Well, could have done this with scissors, it'd probably been quicker and easier. We do that with the second one. Just go through those two, and the same on that side. It is the right way. 
Yeah. Oh, yes, I see, like a little yeah, flag yeah. pennant. That's it. Yeah. So we've just got a little V in there. We'll do it with scissors on this one. So we've got that one there. I want to take it down to about here on this one. So a V in there and a V in there. Lovely. Okay, so now we've got those two pieces and those two pieces. So we're going to glue that down. Why I put my lid on, I don't know. Glue that one down. And I love using, and to me it's like a twofer. You haven't had to do much work because this was just clean up, yeah. let it dry. And then we're going to take this one. And this one's coming in there. And this one's just a little bit taller than the other one. And as I said, again, this was a piece that was left over from another project. Yeah. And I just didn't want to waste it because no, I, I mean, it's looking fantastic. You just know that just little strips sometimes yeah. work the wonders. Put them there. And I'm going to pop this one down here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to, I will, will trim that bottom off so it's got a nice, neat bottom. And then mm. next one. It's just going to go there, and then I'll trim that bit off. And now we will have the tabs that have come from the frame. Yeah. Oops. Stay. The tabs that have come from the frame, I'm going to bend one in and get my glue. One side and the other side. And I'm going to do it halfway. Just line that up. What? So would you, um, I know you were telling me earlier, Charmaine, you, um, the, one of the first jobs you do is you, you make your masks out yeah. of all, after you stamp all your, uh, your stamps, you, you make your masks. So I noticed you've got all your lovely collection there and you've already die Would you do that again? Would you, would you then colour a load and die cut them out and mix and match and just have a little pot or was that for demonstration purposes? Uh, this is for demonstration purposes, oh. uh, really. What I, right. It's a nice way of working though, isn't it? Yeah, what I do is... Me personally, crafting for myself, I get the stuff out I want to play with. Yeah. I start with that, then I rummage all around and end up bringing a load of stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> I work in a space like this. But the first thing that I do is I stamp the stamps onto some paper. Yeah. It can be any type of paper that, that you want. You know, it could be newspaper if you wanted. I stamp the stamps out and I check them out and I make sure that they're, they're all, you know, perfect. Yeah. And that's something that I've got to do anyway as soon, it, soon yeah. as my stamps are ready. So I've yeah. got to test them. So it's two jobs in one because I want the masks. Yes, and then course. I usually put a temporary adhesive. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I forget. Um, I usually put a temporary adhesive on the back of them. Mm -hmm. And then once I've put the temporary adhesive on, I can then peel it on and off. Uh -huh. And I can, ooh, don't move you. I can peel it on and off and cover the stamps up without... Um, messing with the images and then I can mask things off and I have got one here I'll show it in a minute okay. um, I have got one that's been masked so I mask the area off um, for later purposes then when I start crafting mm -hmm. I'll start with one image and I'll stamp and colour it in or if the characters like this I might stamp the whole lot and just colour the whole lot in. Yeah. And I will get a feel for colouring in those yeah. stamps as well. Yeah. I do want to change the colours of the hair. Um, can we chop the heads off and mix them around? And that's why I yeah. fussy cut them out. So I always tend to fussy cut things out. <laughs> and I want to fussy cut things out for quite a few reasons. I want to know that have I produced something that is easy enough for somebody to cut out? So like, uh, no, we haven't got time now. I would show you one. Uh, maybe in the next hour we'll show you uh, yeah. me fussy cutting something out. So we're going to take... A, um, another flower which is, and a piece of grass. So I've gone in and fussy cut out some of the grass. Whereas you've got the dye there that you can use as well. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you and your abilities. Yeah. And what I like about the dyes is the fact that you can have the characters, because I've got the little flower there, I'm going to have the little blade of grass in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm now going to grab... Ooh, the pencil and splat. So we pop him in. Him, that's rude. He is Fred. So I get Fred and the ink, black ink, black ink. Where are you hiding? Go for the one in the pot. So he is just going to be sneaking his little cheeky face. Get in there. Add the grass. 
in there. And I don't think I inked his body. I think I just did his face. I want... Oh, that's not too bad. There Thank we you. go. And we just give him some hair. Just so, so does that make sense to you? Yes. Ed? No, so I'm always I, curious about people's processes. That's yeah, why I don't know. I wouldn't normally do that. Yeah. This is this is for prep because obviously I'm one of the slowest colouring in in us. There you go. That's what I'm going to call it. Mm. I colour in really quite slowly. But that's um, part of the enjoyment, I, I guess. We're not, yeah. we're not trying to be breaknecks. But it's then, a, you know. what I found with these is they're quite quick, actually, compared mm. to some other ones. But I find it very, very th therapeutic. You know, my personal opinion, I just drift off and that's that's where it becomes hard for me. On right. Air. So, we've got his face in there. And I'm going to just give him a little bit of skin colour. So he's a cheeky chapper. Mm -hmm. I should have let that dry before I go in with the alcohol inks. And then I'll give him a wash of like um, a light grey on his clothes and I can build that up. So this would be easier to do. Just, here we go. And a little bit of blue. How's he looking? Little looking sentiment fantastic. on that. It's just a little bit different. Yeah, if we mount that it. onto some black. It's fantastic, Charmaine. If we mount it onto some black, just... Yeah. Just gives you an idea. It should have been a bigger piece. It looks so good. It looks different, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so just a di different, love different it. card. Just yeah. from your clean-up operation there and mm -hmm. your little scraps there, absolutely fantastic. A ready-made card and a bit of a stamp there, fantastic. Hope you got that happy hour deal. I'm not sure there's any left, but uh, we're just thinking about having that card near. But just a couple, few more left there. So please don't miss out on your 50 super smooth, 25 of your black and 25 of your mixed media, 250 GSM deal there. Um, we'll put that at the bottom of the screen in a moment because we're looking at the happy hour deal. Sorry, we're looking at the uh, one day special, which is 48 stamps, and you get a saving of £20.99 if you are a Freedom Club member. So let's have a little look at some of these beautiful samples. There's Sam's. This one is Sam's as well. Gorgeous. Whether you're doing the calf tags, we were talking about journaling, we were talking about um, scrapbooking. This is like almost like a little notelet holder isn't that beautiful if you've got some construction card there yeah so cute just in your planners as well oh, oh that's what it is sorry i didn't realize it was like a little notebook holder or oh. it's supposed to be a pocket so it's the pocket that's in the it's, books and oh. i just turned it into a uh, notelet that's you know brilliant. for business cards yes, and yes, i did that brilliant. on the live as well i love that isn't that fantastic <laughs> just gorgeous Simple. love this as well just for your notes because so many of us have the planners and things to do and to rem remind me and this, that and the other. If you do, I'm going to create a little notebook. That's a lovely card. Yeah, beautiful. Mounted on your black card there. There's Anne Marie's. The goal and the rocket. And there's this lovely swirling stencil there and uh, the cell stencil there as well. There's that puff of smoke and then a little bit of a doodle around the outside. £49.94, 094604. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. See in the notebook here. I like this person. There we go. My producer Meg's decided that's me. But I've liked seeing it because I've seen it with blue hair and white hair. Have you uh, seen uh, the ones on the back? Hey. There's some behind oh, you. Yes, we've got, you've got bunting by you as well. Oh no, shall I grab the brunting? brunting. You grab the bunting and I've I'll got, grab got the some brunting. here as well. Oh. Let me grab some of these. I'll see if I can get it off. There we go. And see, that's using your, the, see, uh, the seeds, the dashes and dots stencil as well. Uh, here we go. Who have we got here? Yeah. Oh, sorry. So that's Sam's and that one's Alicia's. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. Really gorgeous. And then we've got all those lovely journals. You've got the bunting there. I've got the bunting. Rather yeah. than hold it up as bunting, I thought we could do it on the overhead. Yeah, lovely. So that could be, if I place that there, that could be a card. So you've got the little dog and the little flowers and the tree and the little heart. And then you've got the backing papers. And this is uh, part of the backing papers as well, where you can cut a stamp. And then again, you've got lovely characters. Um, one of the backing paper, fussy cut out. Just Well, it's not fussy cut, it's a straight border strip. Um, there on the top, nice, nice, simple, fast. That maybe that's what demos I should have done. Um, making a lovely um, flower Ooh, out of the backing yeah. papers. One of the backing papers is a solid. That'd make a nice card that's as well. Gorgeous. Wasn't it? And then that one's so cool with the football. And again, <laughs> it's the backing yeah. papers, and she's used strips of it. So there's one that's border. No, actually, it's full piece border strips, and then some just some twiddles around the edge. Same again with the little hearts. That's one, and all she's done is um, some pink around the outside edge. And this one, oh, isn't that cute? There and she's decoupaged up. She's fu fussy cut the papers. Yeah. Um, and then decoupage them up. 
and then finally nearly that one on oh. there. Over to you. <laughs> oh, I love them, I love them. Just thinking, why would we buy bunting ever again? Let's just make our own. I loved all the different sizes as well. She's yes. Done. The short, the long. This is our Sam that's done this. That's Sam, yeah. lovely. You've got, you've got a great design team. They're absolutely fantastic, as are you, my darling. Uh, website now, don't forget all, all of the, you can shop by brand, Dolly Dimples, of course. Some stamps are available on their own for 10 99 Some are sold out. There are those fabulous stencils. Stance, stencils? Oh, uh, nine pounds saving. It's catching. <laughs> <laughs> nine pounds saving. Not sure where we're at with the happy hour deal. Check that out in your basket. Limited, limited, limited. Big 14 pounds saving there. You've got the templates there, 9 99 And uh, you've got the uh, accessory stamps and uh, frame stamps. Oh, we've got the houses there. I just showed you that on um, a couple of uh, the samples behind me here. There's lovely houses. They look like Tudor houses. I love this uh, card here. With this, uh, oh, and seven-day savers, yeah. The cellophane bag collection is brilliant if you sell your wares or want a professional finish or you like to keep your projects together. Um, but, yeah, look at this. I, I was wondering where these were, but they're on the, on the web. Are they fantastic? They look like, they look like, looks like Stratford. That's what the houses look like, or Warwick. They were a happy hour in the first show, and I thought it ah. had sold out. But if there's any stock left, they'll oh, probably, I see. We'll right. probably well, put I'll them on on If there's any left. Oh, it's they sold out. Oh, that's terrible. I've just showed you what you can't have. <laughs> uh, right, Charmaine, thank you so much. <laughs> we'll see you at four o'clock. Uh, let's have a catch up on what's coming up on Hachanda. OK, coming up next, we are crafting with Clarity and our lovely Hayley. And then we've got the, oh, the Crafty Kitchen with Punjaban, lovely curries, and then crafting with Clarity to follow. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint but with me, Hachanda and the SAA I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Hachanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good 
that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hello there and welcome. It's so good to have your company. We've got a fabulous hour ahead of us. So I'm really looking forward to this because we are going to be spending an hour with clarity and, of course, fresh cuts. Now, we've got details coming up on the screen for you in just a few moments, but we are talking incredible savings, some wonderful bundles for you. So I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look because we've got deals like the one on the screen there where it's pretty much a half price deal. And these are prices that are certainly worth taking advantage of. Now, naturally, I'm not here by myself. By the powers of Skype, I've got a fabulous Paul Church joining me. Good afternoon, Paul. How are you doing? Good afternoon, Hayley. Happy New Year to you. And the same to you, which is a little bit scary, really, because uh, we're getting through January. It's a rate of knots. I know it's flying by, isn't it? I mean, the whole last year was ju was just a blur, um, and um, this year looks as if it's going to be quite exciting as well. Well, this is it. Now, of course, we've got the details up for one of those deals that we've got for um, our viewers this hour. We're talking about some incredible savings during this hour. Now, am I right in thinking that normally when we are buying these particular dies, we're looking at around fourteen ninety nine for these? That's right. So, yeah, so we've got a beautiful collection of our um, fresh cut floral aperture um, dies inspired by designs from Tina Cox. Um, and what you're getting is you're getting the, the, the apertures, which gives you that large, beautiful corner and a smaller corner. And then in addition to that, each of them have got their own separate sentiments as well. And because they're separate dies, it means you, you can mix and match them across the board. Um, so as you said, Hayley, these are 14 99 each individually and we've done them so that should be 74 pounds 95 and we thought new year new hobby let's do something exciting let's get fresh and um, we're bringing to you at that uh, amazing price of 37.45 now i love it now actually i've got myself into a bit of a pickle hang on there you go <laughs> <laughs> it's so much better when you do it paul now with these obviously we've got the card bases and these are designed to actually cut into the hard um, card bases as you can see there but when you're just simply layering them up you get some incredible results you do and um, the one of the bonus things about our dies Haley, as you know is um they're called aperture dies, and the reason we called them aperture dies was because what it means is that you've got more versatility with them. So you've got those cut out onto, I think there are five by five um, card blank there. Um, and as you can see, it just gives you that beautiful instant artwork. But if you were to cut it out of an eight by eight or a seven by seven, the design stays within that card blank, so it doesn't matter on the size but it also gives you that flexibility. We've also got the nested square dies on the show today. We've got a good saving on that as well. But it means that you can cut out an outer frame as well if you want to turn them into toppers. Well, this is it. And you can see here, we've got some larger cards that have been created, obviously using them in a variety of different ways, whether it's a case that you're cutting them into the card, whether you're using elements from them. I mean, that's exactly the same dies used in totally different ways. 
That's right. So you've got that snippability to them as well, where you can, I mean, that pink one that you're looking at, the pink and grey one, um, this mirror one, um, that's taken the same die cut out twice and just overlaid in opposite corners. So Very you clever. can build up and create a completely different floral frame. I love it. Um, and this one here, a little bit of paper piecing going on as well. Um, using the embellishments from them as well. That's right. I mean, that's very clever. So that's taking all the corners. I mean, you've got like a butterfly effect, check, cutting it out in different colorway. This one's gorgeous. I'm guessing, is this one from Sheila, this yeah, one? Yeah, you know, Sheila's style. Yeah. Um, but isn't that beautiful? Beautiful gatefold card. Um, and it just looks so elegant just in the white on white. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we are incredibly busy for these. We kind of thought that we would be because when we're looking at these individually at £14.99, you'd be looking at an overall price there of £74.95, which, let's face it, is a considerable amount of anybody's money, quite an investment. But have a look at the details on your screen. You are saving a whopping great £37.50. And, and you've got the ability to spread the cost over two payments because, of course, we are talking for extravaganza, which gives you the ability for you to pay just a £18 and 73 pence plus your post and packing but everything will be sent on its way to you so if you consider that if you were going to go for one of these by themselves you'd be paying 14.99 plus your post and packing pretty much what you see on the screen there but for that little bit more with your two payments you are getting them all and the possibilities are endless with these because of course they each come with a sentiment but there's nothing stopping you it's kind of chopping and changing these around Paul Absolutely. And that's, again, you've got that first facility where you can take the love and best wishes. You can take off the love and, and then you've just got best wishes. Um, you can use all the sentiments, even on your other dies that you've got. They'll, for me, they'll become like a staple that you could die cut a load of them, pop them into a bag in different colour card, and then you're good to go with your sentiments. Well, this is it. And I know, I mean, your design team are amazing. And the lovely Sheila is back again with this one. Just showing the versatility that when you're playing around with these, they don't have to be kept in a frame at all. I mean, look at that. That's amazing. It's gorgeous. It's like a Christmas tree effect, isn't, isn't it? That gorgeous. Um, and what Sheila's done, you'll notice that she's done sort of, you, you're looking at on one side, you've got the front of the die, and on the other side, you've got the reverse of the die to give you that beautiful mirror image. But it, it's just, again, sometimes the monochromatic looks make yes. them look even more elegant. And I love this one here because you can see how Dee has actually used something else in that area where potentially you might would normally have had the sentiment. That's right. I mean, these are also great, right, for picture frames. So you could put a picture of someone behind it. Good point. Um, during the course of the hour, I'm going to be using our beautiful parchment poppets and popping one of those, popping, popping a poppet behind the Ooh, frame. I'm glad um, you had to say that and not me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, again, they're just, for me, these are quick and easy cards. If you just want, when you were showing the black and white samples, Hayley, it's an instant card quickly so you realize you've forgotten someone's birthday there's no effort required you can just literally cut it out and the job's done love it now we are very very busy rapidly rap uh, rapidly approaching should i say 20 percent of the stock has gone so 208325 now i've mentioned that they are available individually at 14.99 but we have got them in as a pick and mix as well so it might be that you've got some of these and you want to kind of fill in some gaps within your collection well you can do pick and mix is brilliant value for money because you are saving 10 pounds on each of these sets that you're going for where you're going for a set of two but you decide it could be that you're going for your on special day, on your special day alongside your thank you. It's entirely up to you which of those you choose to share. share. But do bear in mind with your pick and mix that payments that you're making there of £19.98 and pence is actually more than the first flexi buy if you decide to go for them all together. So if you haven't got all of these and you are thinking about just getting a hold of a couple of them, please do make your considerations before you check out your basket because I'd hate for you to place your order, complete your order and then suddenly think, you know what, I wish I'd gone for all four of those. But if you do want your pick and mix, the details are there on your screen. As well. Now, of course, Paul's mentioned that he's got some demonstrations, so we're going to speedily go along the counter because we've got some incredible savings with regards to different elements. And Paul did touch on the fact that the nesting squares. Now, nesting squares, nesting re um, rectangles and circles, we've got all of these for you, so do jump ahead and have a little look. Now, I know usually when we have these on air, we are looking, well, you can see on your screen there, normally looking at £24.99 
Oh my goodness, look at that saving. You are saving £10 on each one of these nesting sets that you go for. Bring them right the way down to just £14.99. And, and again, for extravaganza, you can spread the cost over two payments if you're wanting to. Turning them into two payments, it's just £7.50. These are incredibly useful. As you say, Paul, they work alongside those dies that we've just looked at if you're wanting to kind of trim them back and make them into toppers. Absolutely. So for me, these um, we've got the squares, the rectangles and the circles. They've all got a £10 saving on them. But these are like your core essentials. Um, and you've got so many different sizes to them as well. So it's perfect for your matting and layering. Not everybody's good with a craft knife or a guillotine for getting the perfect sizes. Um, and again, as we said, we can take that um, aperture card and turn it into a frame. But I mean, look at that one there. So. Um, Sheila's done that one, has she? She has or... indeed, yeah. She has indeed. So basically, Sheila's used the nested squares to create all those matte and layers quickly and easily. I love it. And perfect spacing between them. So if you fancy getting hold of those, you've got 11 beautiful dies featuring in there. You've got them in their half inch increments. They do work alongside other dies I'm sure that you'll have in your collection. Of course, they do work alongside the circles and elements that we're looking at coming up. So if you fancy those ones, £14.99. Similar sort of scenario with the others. This time with the rectangles, because of the sizing of these, you have got nine of these. But of course, these are fabulous because you have got the smallest one there, which I think is the perfect one should you want to use it for your sentiments. Nice useful set again, Paul. Absolutely. So again, really essential and these work fantastically. So sometimes you don't want to cut a square out of the aperture die. You want to create more of a rectangle. Um, and again, you can use your trimmer, but what it does, it gives you that beautiful beveled edge, which is just being picked up on that gold mirror card. And so what it does, it gives a really nice, luxurious finish to the card as well. It Gorgeous. sort of embosses it. That's it. Perfect. Absolutely well gorgeous. Well done, Holly. That's good. She's, she's all right. We'll keep her on for another couple of weeks. Um, <laughs> now, the details, though, of course, on the screen if you do want to get hold of them. And, of course, do bear in mind that you can kind of chop and change them. I love the idea that we've seen there from D. It's almost like a Polaroid picture card there where you've got the square sitting within the rectangle. So they do work together. So do take the opportunity, whoops, Daisy, to go for more of these. Now, I'm going to speedily tell you about the circles. Same deal with these ones, £14.99. Again, you've got 11 circles. And again, they interchange, as you can see there, multi-layer them, and you are going to create some fabulous apertures. It's one of the most useful sets you can get in your stasher circle, because it's one of the trickiest shapes for you to cut out. £14.99 if you're wanting these ones, 782377. I'm going to speedily tell you about some of the other items that we've got, because Paul's got quite a collection of demonstrations. Oh, in fact, we're going to go straight to Paul now. I'll tell you about all of those others a little bit later on. But if you can't wait, jump onto the website and um, place your order that way. Paul, what have you got planned for us? Okay, thank you, Hayley. So I thought what I would do, I'd just do a very quick demo just to explain a little bit more about the aperture and how easily they, the dies cut out. So what I want you to do, Hayley, is out of the five designs you've got on there, choose any of the designs. So we've got happy birthday, thinking Ooh. of you, thank you, love and best wishes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be boring. I'm going to go for happy birthday. I like that style. I love happy that flower. Birthday. It's gorgeous, isn't it? As mm. I said, these are sort of designs inspired by the lovely Tina Cox. So what you'll notice, all of our dyes have got this beautiful blue coating on it. You can see it's like, a, you know, like you buy the um, frying pans that have got a special coating on them. Okay. Our dyes have that. And what that means, it's easy to release from the card. Um, so I'm taking one of our card blanks we've got on the show. Um, so I'm going to position that just in the middle. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of low tack tape and just attach that's my card so it doesn't move around. Okay. okay. Now, our dies work in all leading die cutting machines. Um, so you're only restricted by the width of your card based on the mouth of your um, machine. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to quickly run that through so that you can see how easy and quick it is. Now, the whole idea behind the fresh cut dies was that Barbara's always loved the effect of paper cutting. But as you can imagine, it takes time um, and you've got to be good with a craft knife. But with the dies, what it does, I mean, you can see how quick it is just to run through a machine. So now we'll go to the reveal. So we're going to lift that off, pop that to one side. I'm going to bring in my little waist bin here. Okay. Look, you've got all the waist on there. So we move that out of the way. I'm going to carefully 
remove the low tack tape. Now sometimes low tack tape becomes high tack tape, so just pull it away very, very gently. Okay, the die has just fallen out, literally just like that. I can give it a couple of taps and that's completely clean now. I haven't got to spend five, 10 minutes poking out all the little bits and pieces. And that's one of the benefits of this special coating. Makes it nice okay. and easy. Then the actual card itself, I can just give it a tap. Look, all this detail. I'm just gonna use a little tool just to sort of brush over. Now these are not stuck in, they're, because they're so small, it's just being held by the card itself. Okay, so that is now all completely cut out. If I bring a white piece of paper underneath, look at that. Wow. Beautiful instant artwork. Quick, Beautiful. easy. You imagine trying to use a craft knife to cut this out. I would I mean, need an would probably lose, Exactly. Mine would probably lose some of the leaves and the flowers. <laughs> So what we're going to do also on the show, we've got um, a real good offer on our 12 by 12 designer papers. We have indeed. Um, we've got a pick and mix option. They're £17.99 each. And if you buy any two of them, you can save £10. Now, the whole idea of the 12 by 12 papers is that so that what you can do, if you cut them in half, so you've got a 12 by 6, these make perfect inserts to go inside the card. And what it does is it gives that touch of luxury. Oh, wow. Okay. But look at that. So this is, I mean, again, and you've got the double-sidedness to it. So you've got that beautiful insert when the recipient opens it. You, it looks like luxury, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. And so I, love, again, I love the design, the colours that you've got on that one. Beautiful. Which one is this pad? And um, this one, I think, is from Shenandoah. Lovely. This one. So again, when you, I've got the reverse of that. Ooh. But look how different it looks. So you've got that beautiful colour tones to it. You can go. This one, I love this one. This one's really nice. This one's from Northern Lights. Oh, and I mean, look at that. Oh, like 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 that little hills. It? Yeah. So what it does, it gives you a card instantly. So if you're batch card making, you've got to make some invites for something or you're making your cards to sell, we don't have a problem of you doing that. The more you can sell, the better, because it means that you're going to get some money back on what you spend. I think that's my favourite. So I like it. that one. Well, what we'll do then, hey, we'll pop this one inside. Okay. So my top tip for popping it on the inside is we're going to open it up, and I'm going to pop the tape, the double-sided tape, just down that edge there. So that when I pop it in and I bring that card in, what it means is that when the person opens the card, it automatically opens to reveal the message That's inside. Clever. Okay. So if you was to go into a card shop and you buy these really expensive cards, they've got a beautiful liner and an insert. So you're getting that same type of effect. And if you think you're going to get 48 sheets of the 12 by 12 designer paper, um, you've got 12 different designs, four of each. So if you was to just chop those up in half, that's 96 inserts wow. from one pad. Oh my goodness. And so if you go to the pick and mix option, that's 192, I think it is. Yes. Inserts, if you just use them for that purpose. And you're paying just £25.98 for that. You're literally talking pennies to add that designer look to your cards. Absolutely. And it, for me, if you're selling your cards, that little bit extra, you can charge a little bit extra as well. That's very true. Now, we've got the details on the screen for those designer papers. So if you do want to take advantage of those, these are there. We're going to go straight back to Paul in a few moments for his next demonstration. But here you can see you've got those gorgeous colours there, Rainbow River featuring in there as well, which is one of my favourites. Absolutely adore these. 12 by 12 gives you the versatility because you can use them in whichever way you're wanting. So if you're wanting to chop them down into your 8 by 8 papers, you can do. You can use them for your scrapbook and your memory. And just look at these. I mean, absolutely beautiful created originally this particular one using alcohol inks and those kind of upo papers giving you some wonderful results but what i love with these is that you have also got that more subdued look on the underside of these so whichever side you're planning on using you know you can get fabulous results every single time and the beauty is you've got your pick and mix so you can choose there's loads of different ones that you can go for that particular one is one of the originals northern lights still a favorite of mine it is an absolutely amazing one and uh, if you fancy getting hold of any of those go jump onto the web Website, you'll see all the different options there um, at 377266. So, Paul, what are we up to with the first demo? 
Okay, so I thought we'd do a little twist on the um, design. We're still keeping it simple, but it's still quick and easy to do as well. So this is where we're heading. So I've gone with our beautiful craft card blanks that we've got on the show. Um, and then I've taken some of our designer paper. This is a petite topper. And then you can see when I open it up, I've used a 12 by 12 to create that luxury insert on the inside. Okay, so again, in the black and white, it's really elegant, but just by using the petite toppers, you can get a completely different look to it as well. Okay, so to start off with, what I've done, I've taken one of our card toppers, so they're five by seven, um, and then you've got it, they're white on the back. Okay. okay. So only the card that's single-sided, the paper, the parchment, the 12 by 12 is all double-sided. Okay, so I'm going to take that and then I'm going to go with the Love and Best Wishes floral frame. Wonderful. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to pop that face down onto our card. Now I can move it around and decide do I want to go a little bit more pink here. All this is going to be um, thrown away. This is a waste. Okay. So I'm going to pop that on there. And can you then be careful where you same. can position it? Because when you've actually placed it down there, it's almost like a perfect border down each side and across the top. So has a bit of thought of gone into it with regards to that, or have you just gone straight into an area that you like? Yeah, no, I can go straight if I want to. If I if I haven't if I just want to make it easy, I could just cut two inches off and I've got a five by five square. Perfect. Um, job done. And that'll give you a nice border all the way around. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to position that there, but I, I sort of like that. So, I mean, I could go at an angle, but I've just got to be wary of my frame, so okay. to speak. Okay, yeah. So, if I go there, I'm going to take my sentiment, I could take any of the sentiments, and I'm going to pop that just on the inside as well, because okay. I'm going to cut that out at the same time Lovely. from the waist area. And then I'm going to take my nested squares, because I want a narrower frame, and I'm going to pop that around the outside as well. Now those nested okay. frames, I bet they're never very far from your work area because they're something that you're going to use every single day. They are, to me, with my die cutting, they are the essentials to have like the square, especially the circles, because as you said, Hayley, it's really difficult to cut out a circle and have a nice edge to it. Um, squares, rectangles, yeah, okay, you can get away with a guillotine and a craft knife, but for me, because it gives you that beautiful um, embossed edge to it, especially on pearlescent cards and mirror cards, um, it just adds that little extra touch to it as well. It certainly does. So I just taped all that in place, and then all I'm going to do now is just run that through my die cutting machine again. Wonderful. Now, okay, don't so forget. Just pop it on there. Um, I just saying to my viewers, we're very, very busy for these. We've got the details on the screen there for obviously those nested squares. They're proving to be very popular, alongside the rectangles and the circles again. So do take advantage of these while we've got these savings. Don't always see these savings. And of course, you do have the ability for you to actually spread the cost over two payments. Very quickly, I'm going to bring the details up on the screen for you as well for the dies that Paul is working with. You are loving these. They are flying out. And I'm not surprised. Rapidly approaching half the stock has gone of these. We're only about 20 minutes into the hour so just very quickly wanted to remind you that you don't have to wait to the end of the hour to check your order out in fact I would encourage you to check your orders out as the hour progresses because when we are as busy as we are at the moment you could potentially miss out on any of these so place your order you can come back and watch the demonstration it's gonna be on rewind for up to 60 days but please make sure that you are getting the dies that you want Paul back to you Thanks, Hayley. Okay, so I've done my, my die cutting and then I'm just going to carefully remove the tape from the, the bits and then pull out all the bits that I need. So what I've got now, let's remove that tape there. There we go. Pop that to one side. Look, the die falls out straight away. I've used that waste to cut out my sentiments. I've now got my beautiful design already cut out. I'll just pop that die to one side. But what I've also got as well, because I use the die to cut out. I'll carefully... I've now got another frame oh, that yes. I can use on another card. Clever. Okay. So it, it's pros and cons. So basically, I've created an aperture within that topper that I could use for something else. Lovely idea. Okay. So we've got that there. We've got this bit here. We'll just get rid of that. Let me just pop that out. Whoops. All fingers and thumbs. So then we'll just take that out the die. I mean, look how easy that falls out of there. Okay, so we've got our love and best wishes 
nice and beautiful. Isn't it amazing how the colour just changes the look of it as beautiful. well? Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay. So when I bring my finished cards in, you'll see that I've created an aperture in the middle using the circles. Oh, that's nice. And, you, and what it does, it allows the designer paper to show through. Okay, so it sort of adds to it. So I've taken the 12 by 12 and I've already cut that down to size because I've chosen the same um, design. Okay, I mean, even that just matted and layered gorgeous, on top. gorgeous, yeah. Gives a nice look as well. But what I want to do, I want to sort of create that illusion with the, the aperture. So what I'm going to do now is bring in my nested circles. And I know which one. I've popped it to one side, the one I'm going to go for. And the easiest way of doing it is if you put it onto your card, you could sort of have a guess, really, on where you want to position it. But what I'm going to do to take that guessing out, if I lay that over the top, I can obviously see where the die is because obviously it's all open. And I can think, right, OK, let's move my frame over a little bit. I'm going to move that over to there. And then once I'm happy that that die is in the right place, then I'll take my low tack tape hold that in there and now I know that that's going to be central to my design. Love it. So we'll run that through the machine again. It's all these little sort of tips and tricks really just to sort of keep you going and sort of just come up with it. But for me, just having something like that in the beautiful cut, this is from Indian Summer I think this one's it from. It is, it is. Um, we were so all having a, we're having a little bit of a guess in the studio as to which one it was. Um, and of course Indian Summer feature, I can't hold these up for too long so I'm going to give you the details very quickly. You've got all of those coming to you. Please don't pay £4.95 for your post and packing on this. Become a Freedom member because of course then just for an extra pound you've got a whole month's worth of post and packing. Um, I always say that if you're spending a fiver on the post and packing, you don't, why would you want to save £10? pounds and then give half of that back as your post and packy doesn't make sense does it 377 266 if you're wanting those okay so now we've got that our beautiful aperture so again the die is just the basic shape so good for your card blanks because you can create all different size apertures um, to use with your other crafting as well so I'm going to fold that over and we'll just give that so you've got a really nice top quality card there Classic, so again yeah. you could stamp something in there yeah. you, and because you've got all the layers you can create frames around the outside as well well, the nice thing is as well so with those dies, different sizes, if you're wanting to spotlight a lighter project that you're working on as well, you can cut a little mask to whatever size circle you need. Absolutely. Um, and, I mean, I, I'm on for this hour and we've got loads of different demos in this hour. And then I'm back at three o'clock with another collection of dies at a really good price. And I'm actually going to use, it's, they're more sort of like a background die. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm, just by using the nested circles, it's going to change the look of it. Okay. Perfect, look at so that. So we're just going to pop that on there. Look, But doesn't the craft card work really well with this colour tone? Looks gorgeous. Okay, so we've got the inside there. So we're going to repeat the same process as we did with the other one with our luxury insert. We're going to bring that over so that that's in place. So look, you've got that beautiful sort of colour tone. Now, I've got choices. I can stick with love and best wishes, or I could... What I'm going to do is take a pair of scissors and I'm going to get rid of the love. I'm going to oh, keep the love for somebody else. How can you else, take I the think. love out of it, Paul? <laughs> I'm going to take the love away and give the love to someone else. So there you go. Look, we can have love. We can give love to somebody oh, else. That's right. As long as you're not throwing okay. it away. No, no, never throw your love away, Hayley. We can give that to someone <laughs> that's else. Good advice. Definitely. So, and then I'm just using a, a wet. Um, glue pen, zig glue pen or a zig, really great for the fine details. And then my fingers are clunky, so a pair of tweezers. And then we can pop that on there. Whoops, glue stuck to my fingers. <laughs> it's good glue. There we go. Lovely. It is a very good glue. So there we go. So we've got that one there that we've just made and that right. one there and it's using the same papers but you can see the background is a slightly different tone because it's the other half of that 12 by 12. 
Love it. And so quickly and easy. And these are confidence builders. So, Paul, can let you get ready for your next demonstration. Um, and these, as I say, confidence builders. So if you are new to die cutting, new to card making, then using dies, good quality dies, I've got lots and lots of different possibilities, is the key thing. Now, step away from Paul just for a few moments. So if you are looking at placing your order, now is the time to do it. Our phone lines, you can see, are on meltdown. We are very busy on those phone lines. So if you can place your order via the website, I do suggest you do it that way. That way you can secure your order, make sure that it's on its way to you. Because let's face it, when you are making a saving of £37.50, you do not want to miss out on these. Now, they are available individually if you're wanting to get a hold of them at 14 99 Not even going to bring the details up for those, because I don't want you to be paying 14 99 for one when your first flexi bite is just £18.73. It doesn't make sense does it but if you're wanting to get a hold of yours do check out on the website we have got them available individually and also in pairings as pick and mixes but the biggest saving is with the bundle that you're looking at here 208325 don't forget to add in obviously your um, a pick, um pick it well it's not pick and mix Ooh making me pick them up again they're so heavy um, you're going to choose any two of these with regards to designer paper so you've got all of the ones that we're familiar with your rainbow river fabulous indian summer that we saw paul working with and the original northern lights there as well fantastic opportunity for you to stock up on these 25 pounds and 98 pence for two of those as well and don't forget your nefting dies they're all on the website right paul are you ready for us to come back to you I am indeed. Right, okay, so this is where we're going to put a part, Pergamano parchment pop it and we're going to pop it behind the frame. I'm sorry, Paul, we didn't hear you then. What did you say? <laughs> we're going to put a Pergamano parchment pop it and pop it behind the frame. Is it going to go with a red lorry and a yellow lorry? <laughs> I'll let you do the driving, Haley, on that. <laughs> right, okay. So here we go. Look at this. Look how gorgeous is this? Um, so this is beautiful artwork designed by the lovely Marina Fedotova. Um, and we launched these back in August as part of our um, Clarity Birthday event on Hochanda. And what I've done, I've taken one of the beautiful parchment designs and put it, put, uh, popped it <laughs> behind the frame. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the poppets that we've got because we've got a fantastic deal on these. Yeah, on, we've on got the TV details show. up on the screen for anybody that wants to get involved with these. But yes, talk us through it. Okay, so I've got mine in the folder. We're looking at the collection on screen. You've got a £13 saving, which is the equivalent of getting this storage folder um, to keep them all in. Now, there's three different collections in this series. We've got the beautiful Whimsy um, collection. Um, beautiful artwork. You're going to get 36 sheets in the Whimsy collection. You've got um, three designs of each of them. There's six different designs and you're going to get three of each in the colour and three in, uh, of each in the black line art. So what it means is that you can then add your own colour to it as well. Now, just because these say Pergamano, it's not necessary just for parchment because what you can do is you can see there I'm using these to go behind an image so when we go through and look at the designs you can see these are absolutely gorgeous beautiful okay. so this is some of the designs from the whimsy collection then we have the flower collection so you've got little birthday cakes you've got little characters and the way in which they've been laid out on the paper on the parchment is so that you can get more use out of them. So if you want to die cut a frame, you've got that space. Ah. We could have put like eight different, we could have put eight of them on there, but then you're limited on what you can do with them. And you've got them in three different sizes as well. So it's perfect for working with your different cards. Okay, so we're just looking at the, the colour designs on these ones. I mean, look at that, you've got the beautiful little so pussy cute. cat in there, little bunny rabbit. The, for me, these are, they're sort of elegant looking, aren't they? They are. They're gorgeous. And I mean, the finally, artwork, perfection. And then finally, we've got the Christmas collection. Um, so again, it's the same concept as before. You've got six different designs. You're going to get three in each of the colour and three in each in the black line art. So let me show you one of the black line. I've got mine in my folder and I've got the... If I pull this out, let me pull this whole section out just so we can have a look. So I put a piece of white card behind them because it's easier obviously to see. So you've got one, two and three in the colour. 
But look at this. Oh, oh they're so, so this sweet. Means that you can do all your colouring in, but they also work. I've got a couple of samples I'll show you in a moment. How that you can just use them as a black and white line art, especially if you're cutting out in the black and white card. So let me just show you that. I thought it was interesting. You can buy that as a complete bundle, or you can buy the sets individually. You can indeed. So this is the one that we were heading to. And then we've got one of the flower ones. Oh, with and the I've frames. Same dye with the frame as well. But again, the white on white, it just makes it look so different. Then we've got, this is what I was talking about with the black and white. Ah, oh, yes. See, so even if you're not into your colouring in, it just looks, it's beautiful. It really, let me bring it around here. So you look at that. Ah. Oh, Absolutely so gorgeous. sweet. And the detail. And it's all on parchment. So if you are into your parchment, then you can do all your white work and everything else. There's oh, a little okay. bit of white work here just to bring out. So again, you can take it to whatever level that you feel confident doing. Very clever. I love the saving on this one. £19 saving if you're a Freedom member. Wow, it's got Freedom on it as well. That's yeah. really good. All right. OK, so this is the one that we're going to aim towards during this demo. OK, really nice and simple again. So this time I'm going with the Thinking of You design. Um, so again, if you've gone for the whole collection, you've got five different frames in there to do the different um, work with. So we're going to take our die. And again, just I've taken a piece of one of our white card blanks and chopped it in half. I've got my nested squares because I want that nice edge to it. I'm going to position that on there. A little bit of low tack tape to hold it all in place. But you can see, Heidi, I mean, if you, especially batch card making, how quick it is to just run it through your machine and get that beautiful line off um, without having to sort of spend hours with a craft knife um, cutting it all out. Well, this is it, because, I mean, you could see it literally in front of the TV, couldn't you be creating these card bases and have them ready, not knowing how you're going to use them or the occasion you're going to use them for, and then having quite a stash of them that you should just pick up and use when you need them? Absolutely, and whether you have them as frames or whether you have them as card blanks already done, it's entirely up to you. And if you go with the white card, what I'm going to do now is change the colour of it so if you're limited on just having black and white cards or you've only got white cards in your stash, um, then we can change the colour of it. So we're just going to lift that off. So I've now got this frame that I can use for another oh, yes. card. So I'll pop that you to one side. You can put that with your love. You could. I could, I, could, I, could, I could probably make a card of all the little bits that we're That's not true. using. <laughs> that could be a challenge, couldn't it, between the hours? Um, <laughs> So again, we're just going to release that there, and then I'll just take the, the little brush just to release that. But you can see it's only being held because they're so tiny. They're not, I'm not having to poke them out because they're stuck. Um, it's just they're so detailed in design. This is it. Now, we've been very busy for these folks. Nearly 60% of the stock has gone now of these. Don't forget, you are getting a set of five, well, it's actually five die sets. So you've got 10 dies in total for just £37.45. It works out at £3.75 thereabouts for each one of those dies. They're phenomenal value for money because you're normally paying £14.99 for just one of those die sets. Do your research, check on the website. You will see them available at that price. Of course, do go for them with the bundle that we've got here because it makes sense with that saving. Okay, so what when we look at my finished cards, you'll see I've only got one corner in place. So what I'm going to do is remove the other one. Now I could take a pair of scissors um, and do that because it's quite easy to do. But we've got the Pergamano ruler on the show that has the where's my one with my groovy grip on it. There we go. It's got the groovy grip on it. Okay. And what that does, it stops it sliding around. So when I hold that in place, we're going to go with the steel edge of the ruler just there. So now, when I put a little bit of pressure, one finger, it's not sliding. Wow. Look, I'm pushing and it's not sliding. That's clever. If I go to my ruler that hasn't got the grip on, I'm going to use the same finger. Look. Oh, yes. It slides. Yeah. So basically what it does... 
it says that especially if you're working with parchment and you want to sort of cut, um, you don't want to be sliding around all over your parchment. I'm just trying to find my craft knife. That There it is. Right. And I'm going to take my craft knife. I'm up against the steel edge of the ruler. And all I'm going to do is just trim to remove that corner. Okay. So again, because it, I've got that steel edge, I'm not cutting into my ruler. The groovy grip is stopping me from sliding around. So this one is going to go with the love. Lovely. And the other bit of card, right? <laughs> okay, so we'll use that <laughs> with something else. Okay, so now we've got a piece there. So again, I could take another card blank and I could just pop that on top. And even the white on the white looks quite elegant. But I want it to stand out a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in my blending mat. Okay. I'm using one of the artistry ink pads. Now, these are great. We've got these on a pick and mix option. Oh, my. Okay. Um, and what you'll notice is that the, whatever the colour is, you can see it in three different places. So we've got cotton candy there on the lid. Mm -hmm. We've got it on the little lip that's just there. And then we've got it on the edge. Ah. So if you've got a load of them stacked up, you can see exactly what colour. Clever. In addition to that, look, you've got this little oh. lid, this little flap. So your blending tool pads can go in there as well. So if you've got one for each colour, then it's great for doing that. But Clever one of the idea. other great things is on like a hinge Ooh, system. Okay. So it means you're never going to lose that lid. You're yeah. never going to put the wrong lid back on the right, on the wrong ink pad. Oh, that happens all the time. So, mm. Absolutely. But look at that. You've got a nice then base for you to, in which to work on. You can see it clearly um, oh, that way. You can see if you've got a series of them laid out because some of the colours you think, oh, they will look the same without the lid. So it's a really good point that you can actually see what you're working with. Fabulous. And uh, Pick okay. and details are up on the screen. So jump onto the website. You'll be able to find all the different colour options. There's loads of them and you can choose any five for 19.99. Okay, so I've switched some onto my blending mat because I know, because this is my ink pad, I know it's really wet and I don't want it to be too wet. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to take one of our stencil brushes and the blending mat gives me the control to get even coverage on my stencil brush. Okay, so I've loaded up my brush and I'm going to test it on a piece of copy paper. Lovely. Just to give you a time check, Paul, you've got about 12 minutes left. 12 minutes super duper and then all I'm going to do is just brush over and see now what it's doing that in that edge that um, from the nested square is really jumping out okay let me come in can we see that oh yeah there we go you can see so if I'd cut with a craft knife and a ruler I wouldn't have got that beveled edge to no. it Okay, so I'm going to just go quickly all the way around. And I just want a little bit of colour. I don't want it to be too intense. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I haven't loaded up the brush anymore. I just want a really nice, and if I splay it out more, I can get a nice sort of even coverage. Okay, so there we go. Yes. So we've now got a really nice, so, I mean, it doesn't look much, but when I pop it onto a white card, it really stands Makes out. Makes it pop, yeah, lovely. It does. Then the next thing we're going to do, and I'll do this really quickly. I've chosen the, the pop it I want to go with, okay, and I know, so if I pop that frame over the top, she's too big, the frame's too small for that pop it. If I go around... That's clever, auditioning decide, them, yeah. Maybe I want a smaller pop it in there rather than the larger one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go onto the back of my design, turn my parchment over. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go, where am I? Let me just work this one out. This one, I'm going to put the frame over there. Hang on, confusing myself now. Let me have a look at my card. So that is going to, she's going to go there. That's going to go like that. There you go. Got it in the end. I'm the sorry, it was no use, no help whatsoever there, Paul. <laughs> See, that's one of the great things with the parchment is that it works both sides as well. Ah, true. So one side will be a lot, will 
will be brighter than the others, but sometimes you may not want it to be as bright. So then all I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my Nessie to And what I've done, because obviously I want to use her on another card, what I'm going to do now is bring in my nested squares and work out exactly where I want to position that. Okay. Wonderful. And then I'll take a little bit of tape. Paul, we'll half the stock has yeah. gone of those nested squares now. They're flying out. Wow. Yeah. Now, I'm not surprised. They're 14 99 No. Exactly, they are an essential, and once you've got them, you've got them. I mean, that's like all dyes, isn't it? Once True. you've got them, you'll use them all the time. So we're just going to quickly run that through the machine. Let me bring that in whilst we're looking at that. Wonderful. Um, and of course, if you do want to get those dyes, you can spread the cost. But do look at the circles and the rectangles as well. It's worth adding those in alongside. Absolutely, especially the circles, because as you said earlier, Hayley, a circle is really difficult um, to cut out neatly. Okay, so then all I've got now is my, ooh, there we go, is my piece already cut out. And then to finish it off, you pop that on there. You take another of our card blanks we've got on the show, all pre-scored. They come in 5x5, five 6x6, by 7x7, five, 8x8 by seven, seven, eight eight in black and white. That goes on there. You position that in place, oh. and then it just needs a little sentiment. So we could take one of the... We've got the sticker bundle on the show that's got the um, Christmas and celebrations. You've got Barb's and Leone's all in there. You have indeed. And then... You can then just decide, let's just go very quickly and we'll go hip hip hooray. Oh. These, these little stickers are great, for, especially if you're die cutting, because it's instant. And there's another one, quick and easy done. How fabulous was that? Very, very quick. Probably got about 10 minutes left, Paul. So I'm going to do a very quick recap and then we'll come uh, straight back to you if that's OK. Um, so, yeah, of course, the stickers, those are available. Jump onto the website and check those out. Star of the hour has been these fabulous floral frames. Now, Paul is going to be back with us. Is it three o'clock Paul's back again? Yep. So we are going to see more from these. But, I, um, oh, actually, we won't. It's different products then. So, yeah, take advantage while you've got the opportunity. So, yeah, if you do want to get hold of these, you've got 10 dyes coming to you. Within each one of these little sets, you've got two dice. So you've got obviously your aperture that you're creating with your corners that are attached. But as Paul's shown us, you can snip into these if you're wanting to. And then, of course, you've got the sentiments. And the sentiments are interchangeable. So if you decide that you're wanting to use that particular corner but just say thank you, then you can do. It's not an issue at all. And, of course, you can turn them into whatever size card that you want, especially if you're using those additional um, kind of nested squares with these. Three quarters of the stock has gone. We are phenomenal busy. So glad that you're taking advantage of that saving. That is an amazing saving because you'd usually be paying £14.99 for just one of those. We have got a pick and mix where you can choose two for £19.99. But to be honest, that flexi buy payment that we've got for all five of these is less than the pick and mix price of two. So it makes sense to go for all of these together at, um, at that first flexi buy of £18.98, um, sorry, 73 pence, and then the second payment in a month's time. Um, so if you do want to get hold of them, please do so. We have got mm, pretty major queues on the phone lines now, so it's about 11 minutes. So um, apologies, we'll probably be have gone by the time you've got your order placed. So the website, the app on the phone, if you can place your order that way, please do so. So 208325 if you're wanting to get hold of those. 80% of the stock has gone. This is when it's important. If you can order online, please do so. Because in 10 or 11 minutes time, we not, might not have stock of these available. So jump onto the website if you can. Paul, back over to you for the last eight minutes or so. Perfect timing. So what I want to do is just show you how you can change the look of it by using a circle die. Okay, so this is where we're heading. Oh. Okay. It's an illusion, isn't it? Yeah, that looks good. But basically, that is that white is one piece. I haven't cut a circle out and then cut this red out and stuck that on top. That is one piece completely. Oh my goodness, we've just had an okay. update on the circles, 80% of the stock has gone. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can just change the look of it. What we've done over the course of the past hour is we've done simple. I mean, this isn't difficult. I mean, this, I'd say this is even more simpler. Um, and before I run out of time, I just want to quickly show you this one that I know I'm not going to get to. Ooh. But this is where I've overlaid two, the same design, cut it out twice, oh, just okay. to create that double frame. And that's using the beautiful Antarctica paper in the background. Okay. Now, can we see right. these these frames in action via um, things like blogs and YouTube and stuff like that? Just because we were won't see yep. every, every demo. Yep. So um, we have our um, Clarity YouTube channel. So if you go to the ClarityStamp.com website, there's a YouTube channel you can go to. I've done a number of um, YouTubes over the years using the dies. Brilliant. And today, at three uh, um, after the three o'clock show, I've hijacked. Don't tell her, I've hijacked Barb's blog. BarbaraGrayBlog.com. You've not put you in a broom and cupboard a... again. <laughs> <laughs> and I've done a step by step of one of the demos I'm going to do in the three o'clock show. Brilliant. So we'll probably post that. Will probably go live about quarter past half past four. So check that out. But then, and there's a beautiful step by step on that. Fabulous. Right back to our circle. Right. Okay. So back to the circle. Really, really simple. White piece of card or a colour of your choice. And all we're going to do, I've gone with the happy birthday one. We've got that beautiful sort of open flower. I'm going to pop that on there. doesn't matter whether I go at an angle or I go like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my nested circle dies in. Okay. And all I'm going to do is, what did I do earlier? Hang on. Next one up. I thought that's a bit strange. It doesn't fit. Of course it won't. <laughs> it's the next one up. And I'm going to cut that out just like that. Okay. okay. Now, I won't run it through the machine because I've got one already cut. So tape that down and run it through the machine. They cut both and at the same time. Get, ah. Both at the same time. And that's what you get. So basically, you've got, there's a die there that we've cut out. And then there's a circle die around the outside. That's clever. So it gives the illusion of the square is actually sitting on the circle, but it's not. It's all one piece. Very clever. Okay. Then what I've got on this one, I'm going to do is something a little bit different. I've taken some of our double-sided adhesive sheets Ooh, and I've used okay. the next one down just to cut out the next size down of the circle. Okay. So again, just run it through your die cutting machine. Depending on the pressure of your machine, you may, may need to go through twice, but you'll know. I mean, it's it's fairly easy to do. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel back one side of it. So you get um, four A, five A4 sheets in the set. So, <coughs> excuse me. Now, you automatically think I'm going to work on the back of the die. Now, if I go like that, all that's going to happen is it's, it's going to stick to my mat. Oh, and yes, I'm going of to course. Start to lift yeah. it back up again. So what I'm going to do is pop uh, that piece under there that I've taken off. I can now go over the top, press down. Okay, so that's now stuck. So now what that's done, this is all nice Perfect. and sticky. Yes. Okay. I've got my happy birthday. Lovely. That I'm going to pop just in the middle. So again, we'll just use that to press it in place. And now we're going to go bling. Ooh. Okay. So we've got the Perga glitters in here. So you've got a set of six um, colours in here. You've got a hint of blue, pink, green, gold, silver and copper. Comes in this lovely little carry case so you don't lose them. Brilliant. And I think I'm going to go with a hint of green. Lovely. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle that all over there. Now, I'm not really a glittery person because normally you find it for days later, but because this is <laughs> anti-static, um, it's really good because it doesn't look, I mean, it, it's coming off my hand straight away, where sometimes it just stays there for ages. I'm going to tap off the excess, give that a bit of a flick. I'm going to put this on the floor just to save time. Okay, I'm going to pop it under there so I don't tread on it. <laughs> There. But normally you'd pop that back in the pot and then okay. back in your little box. Lovely. And then what I've done, I've taken a piece of, um, this is a beautiful um, Amazonia 
um, 8 by 8 designer paper. Gorgeous, really love yeah. this colorway. So we've got this on pick and mix option. We have as well. And it's double sided, so I can decide which side I want to go. I want to go more vibrant. So we're going to pop that onto there very quickly, onto another of our car blanks. Pop that down there. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the other side of the double sided adhesive off. Remove that, so I've now got a big sticky topper. I'm going to pop that just there. And I'm going to use this just to rub it down to make sure it's stuck. Gorgeous. And just as you're doing that, Paul, limited stock now with those floral frames that Paul's using. And then there we've got our beautiful, look at that. Look at the way that the, the that light catches. You can see that hint of green, can't you? But what it means is you still get that beautiful colourway of the paper behind it coming through. So just a comparison, that's just with no glitter. And then this one has a little bit of bling Isn't just to make it fabulous. look fabulous. I love it. Paul, you've shown us some fabulous demonstrations with these. Um, we've only got a minute left, but long enough for me to say thank you. Thank you for obviously your demonstrations and your inspiration. And we're going to see you back again at three o'clock. You will indeed, yep. Another um, set, we've got some beautiful botanical dyes, um, eight different um, dyes, absolutely gorgeous, with some good offers on it as well. Fabulous. Well, the offers have gone down a storm during this hour, so I envisage that you can have a very busy hour. Now, there's a lot of you that are adding your goodies into your basket. I'm going to say bye-bye, Paul, for now. Um, but um, bye -bye. Yeah, lots of you have got your goodies in your baskets. Please, please, please do check your baskets out. We are leaving you with phone cues. I only hope that if you're at the back of the queue if you're getting on the phone now and placing your order I only hope that you have done it in time to ensure that you are taking advantage of the deal that we've got on your screen we've been busy for the squares as well those nested squares and the circles and of course those fabulous papers as well lots of you've been taking advantage of those pick and mixes as well everything that Paul has used is available on the website so you can add it into your basket and check your baskets out but make sure you do come back and join Paul at three o'clock for more from Fresh Cuts we'll see you later bye <music> So, yes, what have we got next? Crafty Kitchen. I'm looking forward to this now. It smells amazing already. Then we're back crafting, um, crafting with clarity before we have a final look at our current one day special. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest, and a crafter here at Achanda. I got into crafting years ago. Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn, there's always something that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leone Loose show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Loose shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda.
Did you know you can watch Ochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to Achanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Welcome to the Crafty Kitchen here at Hachanda. Now, of course, we do have God in for this amazing hour, um, Punjaban, uh, the amazing company. And we have got two guests, not one, but two guests, Gorjit and Simran. Hello, Hi. welcome. Hi. How are you going? I'm very well, and you? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, before we get into details, can you tell us a little bit of the story behind your wonderful company? Yeah, so um, it started about 10 years ago now. Um, me and uh, me and mum, um, I was at university. She would um, she would send me up the, the curry parcels, and uh, while I was studying at, hard at uni, uh, my friends uh, sort of caught on to what I was doing. So um, while I was kind of having, they were having burgers and chips and things. I'd have my curry sauces, and um, they said, "Oh, good. Well, can we have a bit?" Tried it, absolutely loved it. Kept coming back. I had a couple of people I didn't even know, and they. Um, they were knocking on my door saying, are you the lad with the curry? <laughs> uh, and I think, yeah, then it, it sort of dawned on me. I think I got, uh, I reckon I got about three weeks of mum not knowing. She sent more and more and more of these parcels up. And then I, uh, I said to her in the end, you know, mum, this is what I'm doing. I've sold a few. And, and by the time I'd graduated, m clever mums as they are, she'd... Uh, She'd learnt to jar it without any preservatives and additives and, and all those Be things. On because you still have got that ethos of no preservatives or additives. Exactly, yeah. It's, at the core of it, it is absolutely all about home cooking in a jar. It's all about what my mum sent to me uh, in that jar is exactly what we have. So. And we know that mums loves us, and mums wants the best ingredients, the best flavor as well. And we were talking before about how important is that build up of flavor. 
Yeah. Now, here we have got two different options for you, brand and new. Uh, now, the first option is mild to medium, and then we have got the medium to hot. Now, what do we get in, in this bundle? So, in the, um, in the mild to medium, you've got the classic uh, Punjabi curry sauce. That is like, the best way I describe that, I always call that the Indian lady's gravy. That was the be-all and, uh, and end-all of, of sauces. So you can really experiment and make different sauces with that one. You've got the uh, Bombay potato uh, curry base, um, curry sauce, and that one is obviously for your potatoes. You can put uh, cauliflower in there. You can put spinach in there. Um, got a lovely tomatoey base to it. Beautiful. Could we put um, aubergines, for instance? Absolutely. Yeah, oh, I think Sim's got a, an aubergine curry today, haven't you? Oh, yeah. fabulous! So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Yes. You've got. So you've got our best seller, the butter chicken curry Ooh. sauce. Um, now, if you are doing veganuary or you're still bit, we haven't put the butter in there. We've, we've put in a different, so it is vegan for you. So yeah. you, can, you can make your chicken, you can make um, paneer, you can make chickpeas, it, but it's our best seller. It, everybody absolutely loves it. Oh, amazing. Um, and how many portions would we get from one of so these you're, you're on average, you're about a four, family of four, I always say. Um, I always... I mean, probably do three of me because uh, yeah, I like a, a, a large meal. Um, but you know, probably six of Simran. So oh, well, yeah. it's you know, it depends. It's all it average, depends. So, yeah. Then we also get, of course, the the, the next one we were getting is a tasty, a tasty tamarind. Yeah, so tamarind is is really zesty. Got a lovely fresh zest to it. Beautifully done. So if you like um, a papaya or um, a damzaki style curry then the tamarind one is for absolutely. you, absolutely gorgeous and fantastic with chickpea and sweet potato as well. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, really and then nice. of course we have got the classic tikka masala. Yeah, the tikka masala. I mean this tikka masala is slightly different to what you'd normally get. Um, again, we are about home cooking, not the restaurant style. So this is mum's take on, you know, the home cooked style of tikka masala. And um, yeah, it, it, it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, they're well, all made. I I kind of still are now, even though we are, I am from some distance uh, from in the cook kitchen area, I kind of smell, I kind of start smelling the beautiful, and it's, it's what I call, call it, it's a journey of the flavor, the, the smells obviously, yeah. uh, it's gorgeous. Then we are also getting, still within the mild to medium, uh, you are getting the chutneys, you are getting the mango uh, and apple and the papadam. Do, do we need to, these ones can be served straight out of the jar? Yeah, absolutely. They are. You can serve them straight away. Um, you can have them with your curries. You can have them with some samosas. You can have them with a cheese board. They're absolutely beautiful oh, with a cheese board. Oh, just on a bit of yeah, a bit of cheese and crackers. You might still have some left from Christmas. Not sure, but mm. you know, if you do, then uh, dip away. They are. Stunning, oh really, really nice. God, that would be amazing. And of course, you are getting also the naams included as well, but also you are getting the tandoori marinade paste. How do we use the marinade paste? So the marinade paste is so, so simple to use, and it is very versatile as well. So with the marinade paste, you, um, you put the paste in, you, you add your yogurt, um, you coat your meat or your vegetables, whatever you want to use on that day, and, um, and that's it, you know, oven, grill, um, or pan fry and it will come out. Oh, bar barbecue as well? Barbecue, yeah. If you're brave enough to have a barbecue now, <laughs> you deserve a barbecue. I love a barbecue. Oh, well, um, but uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, the other thing you can do is if you're, if you're quite adventurous with your curries and you fancy uh, sort of slightly starting more from scratch, you've got a bit more time on your hands, um, use the paste and add your onions and your tomatoes and things and you can actually make a curry from scratch with the paste as well. So it's another whole meal yeah. there if you like. So of course that means that these these amazing sauces and paste and you know chutneys kind of can be the starting point, but we can be more creative if we wanted, absolutely. or we can be lazy and just straight out of the jar. Absolutely. So although we've um, we called them a sauce, in in what we would call them in the in the Indian in the Asian mm. culture, we call them a, a turka, and turka means the gravy. It means. <sighs> So it's, it's a slightly different uh, texture. It's a slightly different, um, it's not the runny sauce. We haven't added any water. So you can really take it on that journey, on the flavor journey, 
and, and create the, how you want it. You can add the creams, you can add the vegetables, um, you can add water, however you want to do it, really. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can see that Simrad has already put the... Is, is this the paste that she is? Uh, what, what are you doing so, there, Simrad? I'm making some biryani here. So this one will be the corn biryani. So I've basically used a bit of our marinade, popped it into um, the pan, seared off some of the corn already in that and added a bit of paprika as well to give it a little bit more colour. Then I've popped um, some of the bay leaves, the cardamom and the cinnamon back into the pan um, and then you must ensure that the um, oil is very very hot just so it releases a lot of the flavours into that. Um, once I've done that I've added half the jar of tikka um, and then I've added some chopped onions into it as well just to make it a little bit more softened. So uh, just to recap, so we can mix and match as well, so marinate and Absolutely. then the curry sauces. The best, if you really want the ultimate, the ultimate curry from what we've offered here, is my suggestion is to, this is just personal I guess, I always marinate the meat or the vegetables first and then add it into the sauce double hit of flavour, it's absolutely stunning, really, really Indeed. Nice. Right, so the multi-medium, uh, over 10% already gone. What do you get in? Well, we have gone through it, but you can see it here. You are getting the authentic curry base of the curry uh, sauce, mild. You are getting the Bombay potato curry sauce, butter chicken, tamarind curry, tikka masala, classic marinade, the garlic marinade, the papadam chutney, ap apple and mango chutney, garlic and coriander nam, and plain nam. Now remember they are uh, vegan friendly, so they, the only thing that they, you need to understand is that it contains mustard, but as long as you can eat mustard, that should be fine. Uh, are gluten, dairy and nut free, and no additives or preservatives in the curry sauces. 28 pounds and 99 pence is the price. That is a mild to medium. Of course, now we are going to see the medium to, to hard, which have got the, exactly the same item number, but it's then you choose whichever ones. Now, I know that I will go for mild to, me, to medium because I, you know, I'm a Spanish. I don't have that super hard. But you were talking to me about, Gurjit, that about how the, the harder one, it's a build up of the heat. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we don't. A lot of people have a misconception that oh, curry is going to be so hot and if I put chilies in it, it needs to blow my head off and all this stuff. It, uh, my personal view, it's a bit of a myth. Really, chilies should give you a bit of flavour. So my, my recommendation, a lot of my friends say to me, how do I know if I'm a, in a good Indian restaurant? The way I always say it is you have one bite and you see, do you get flavour first or do you get heat first? Yes. And if you get um, the heat first, what tends to happen, they've overdone it on the chilies or they've, um, they've added the garam masala and it's just too, just too much. Um, what we do, especially with these as well, um, they're, they're fresh chilies and it's done so it's not over egged, it's not Absolutely. overdone. So therefore you'll get lots of flavour, lots of build of heat as well rather than just a hit of heat and then I can't taste anything. Even in our spiciest one, the naga chilli, which is my favourite, it's, I would call it very sensible. If you, as long as you like a spice, you will, you'll love them. Yeah, th that's a very good point because uh, we were talking about how uh, you know I like that depth of flavor. I wanted that build up of flavor. Now, if somebody wanted to go for both of them, could they use a little bit of the hot to uh, medium to hot to spice up the me the, the other one? Ab absolutely, yeah, definitely. Um, I think that would you know you can definitely we do it all the time, don't we, Sim? You can, we mix and match different jars. Oh yeah, say, most yeah. So definitely. So you can you can say, yeah. oh, I fancy a bit more of a tomato clang. I'll add some Bombay potato into this one, and and that type of thing. So you can really be experimental. It's not a jar meat, and it's quite boring. I mean, I think Sim's got some really great recipes today, uh, based on uh, veganuary. Um, and th th there's, there's all sorts coming out today. Indeed. Well, let's go through what we are getting in the medium to hot quickly. Uh, so we are getting, of course, the uh, classic Punjabi uh, the curry sauce. Uh, then we have got the Kima uh, curry sauce, uh, you can see. All vegan as well. All vegan, absolutely. Uh, this is your favourite. This is my favourite. Yeah. Uh, Naga chilli. So this one is the extra hot. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like I said, I like it because it's got both. 
that's why I like. Very rarely can you get a jar or a takeaway that's hot and tasty. Yeah. Uh, and of course, then we have got a tikka masala, which is medium, uh, the Bombay potato, which is mild. And I love that you are getting those milder ones within the medium to hot. So mm. you kind of, uh, that's fabulous. Paparama uh, chutney, mango and apple chutney as well. And then moving to the bottom, you are getting the naan packs as well. So you are, and then the tandoori marinade, uh, you can see that there and the tandoori plain naan bread, the garlic and coriander naan bread, and of course that they are dairy free as well, so that is really important. Uh, tandoori and marinade paste with the garlic infused. That sounds amazing, uh, but I can tell you the smells of the whole studio. And it's, this is this is the build up of different comes waves of beautiful flavors. That's yeah. what I feel. It's, it's just not just one definite intense flavor. It's just that waves. Absolutely. I think we've both made the mistake, haven't we? We're yes. saying we're both coming hungry and I am uh, I'm, I, I honestly feel like I'm, I could I close my eyes. I'm at home here. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's the what we've been brought up with yeah. all our lives. Well, your mom, uh, yeah. you know, Charlie, of course, it, she's the one who created all the yeah. recipes. Absolutely. Yeah. So mum, mum hand makes, you know, um, all of the different products, she's created them from her own recipes um, and to be exactly what she sent to me at university. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's yeah, fabulous. Yeah. Right, you can do that. You can taste authentic home cuisine from these flavors from, you know, and it is, it is amazing. Uh, if you want to go for the medium and the hot, uh, well, 481-548 is the item number, and then you choose whether you're going to, go, to go for the mild to medium or medium to hot, 28 pounds and 99 pence. Remember, you are getting all of that. You are getting five of the curry sauces, uh, which, uh, you know, an average of four servings in there. You can add more water to go a little bit further because remember they do not contain water unlike many supermarket uh, you know sauces then we have got the garlic marinade you have got the classic marinade the papadam chutney the apple and mango chutney and the garlic and coriander nam and plain tandoori nam right uh, well uh, now shall we see some cooking because we are ready to see that right same right but what, what are you yeah, doing so uh, the second thing that I was gonna make today is also a nice sort of little snack um, so what I've got here is um, some sweet potatoes. So what I was going to make was some sweet potato filled with chickpea curry. <gasps> so it's oh. almost like a dinner or a snack type thing as well. Um, you get a sweet potato, you just prick it with a little fork, um, cover it with oil and pop it into um, the oven for about 20-25 minutes um, or maybe up to half an hour just so that it gets a little bit softer. Um, I've done one earlier today um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop out the filling and pop it into a bowl. Okay. Uh, is there any um, recommended olive? Uh, uh, sorry, uh, oil for me. Oil. I'm a Spanish so yeah, I always say olive. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, any type of a specific oil that you recommend? Um, I tend to cook with um, olive oil um, only because I think it's a little bit healthier than the normal oils but I know that all of our jars are made with rapeseed oil as well which is, very healthy which is well. a healthier sort of version of an oil as well so yeah. fact. I think it's yeah uh, my personal I, 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 we're certainly not nutritionists so we can't, <laughs> no, we can't back one or the other but yeah. just from what what I know I mean I think it is quite personal I think rapeseed oil is is the one and and, and olive oil is is obviously very good as well. So yeah. I, I don't think it actually it matters hugely. Something. Yeah, I don't think it's going to impact, and you're not going to be able in to cook flavor, with one yeah. and the Absolutely. other. I think it's quite a personal. Yeah. You know, whatever you've got in the cupboard, and I think that would is the best way, isn't it? And what of course, you, Rod, you you were uh, mentioning that you could bring paprika into maybe for the color, but also for different flavors, you could uh, spice it up or spice it oh, down yeah. in a way. Most definitely. So when we cook at home, we use these as a sort of base, and then we just kind of put little bits and pieces into them so you can put extra chilies in them you can put um, you know uh, salt pepper whatever you fancy really anything to kind of bring it or, or keep it to what you guys like to eat at home um, so you can be creative as, as much as you like with them um, sorry I've just I've just mashed up some of the uh, sweet potato and then all I've done is added some of the chickpea curry into it um, that I made before again that was really simple to make all I did was add half the jar of um, the AC sorry authentic base mild and <laughs> um, the classic base there 
and then all I've done is popped in some chickpeas and just let it cook through together and just added some coriander right at the end just to give it a little bit more flavour. Um, and all I'm going to do is scoop it back into here and then top it up. That's literally it. It's so quick and simple to do. I mean, that's it's ideal, isn't it? You know, something, a midweek meal, a Wednesday night, you know, you're a bit, you're a bit tired, you've come back from work, do you want to be making everything from scratch? Actually, let me just use a jar of Punjabi. I know everything in it is healthy and, and um, you know, good for you. And I was thinking about as well, like uh, you w w had a tin of chickpeas, so you, we don't even have to cook the one, those ones from scratch. Absolutely. I know like, yeah, Sim, Sim Mum, they can do it from scratch, but I can't remember the last time they did. <laughs> Honestly, I, can you? Because we're always on the go. We're a yeah, family that's, that's always working or something's going on. Um, so it's... Yeah, it is, but th and that's for I think for us is very important because we we want something that you can uh, make it into quickly uh, to feed ourselves, or also maybe you know maybe you want to um, make something really special. This kind of gives you the whole scope of flavor for that. Look at that! Doesn't it look? So, so what are you putting? So up? I'm just actually putting some tamarind sauce just Ooh. on the top and I thought I'd also put some mint sauce on it as well. Wow. Um, so all this is is just mint and some you can use um, soya yogurt or um, any other sort of types of yogurt if you wanted to as well. Ah oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Oh, I, well I'm going to tell you I cannot taste it but but I can smell and what I really want to say is that the flavors are so beautiful and they kind of vary like they come in like that that wave of flavor that you can smell different sorts of smells within and all incredibly aromatic absolutely yeah you because it's all individual spices you see so we don't use a chili powder or a curry powder or it's individual flavors and spices and that's what that's the smell you get that's the that's the taste yeah. you get and it's yeah it's stunning i mean um, it's, kind of, it's kind of come comes in and you i mean i cannot describe exactly which which spices because i'm not that burst into that but i know that it's a no, not a monotone it's it it, it is it's, it's like a symphony of, of a smell absolutely. you know it does the thing is you can feel it, you know some of them that are warmer some of them are more citrusy and then of course all that coming through in a beautiful composition very aromatic and also is you know curries I'm afraid to cut uh, to go cu a curry because I don't know how to build those flavors up yeah it, it is a bit of a knack I'll be honest it is a huge knack when before mum sent this to me she actually gave me the recipe she actually said here's here's what's in it this is a cooking times this is the method and i followed it to the dot and it just didn't come out the same it just didn't happen and i just i really do think that there's something in the experience in yes. the in the culture in the way you're cooking and um and what you've got here is all of mum's experience all of her um family cooking in a jar that she's made for you, it's, it's quite a unique thing yeah, really. Uh, it, well, one of the things that I kind of, uh, well now, uh, the next team for the next show have come in and as soon as they arrived they were like, <sighs> because this is the smell, it's just such a beautiful, and not saying that it's a pungent smell or it's a strong smell, it's not, it's, it's that, you know, the fragrant, what you want to cook at home, what you want it to be kind of surrounded by that warmth and the home cooking and not overpowering, but of course I'm sure when you taste it, it will be like a complete, you know, depth of flavor, all those layers of flavor there. Yeah, definitely. There's going to be a lot there. I mean, I was trying to convince uh, Simran to, uh, to let me have a try, I think. What do you reckon, uh, Simran? We'll, we'll have a... I'll have a spoonful later, shall I? So what are you, are you doing at, at the um, minute? At the moment, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually trying to make some of the uh, vegan burgers. So what we've got is some vegan um, mince, which was here. Um, I've added some breadcrumbs just to bind it together. I've also added some coriander and the main thing is our marinade. So I've used our classic marinade, but you can use any other marinade as well. Garlic works quite nicely as well. Um, and all I'm doing is binding it together. Um, and then 
I've added a little bit of paprika and cumin, just again, because I kind of like those, those tastes um, more to, towards our family. Um, and all I'm gonna do is round shake the patties and then fry them in, shallow fry them in the pan. Um, and that's it, that's, that's what I'm gonna be doing now. And that's like a perfect example that we can cook our own, we'll say Western recipes, like, you know, burgers or meatballs, but with a touch of that Indian depth of flavor and the spices. Can we, do we have to put uh, um, certain amounts of paste or sauces or can we be as as free as we want? Yeah, you can, you can definitely, you know, go all out and experiment, I say. Um, you know, we, we're always um, messing around. I think, I think the thing is with this is once you've got the sauces and the marinades, they do give you those, they give you that, that barrier of safety. You know that you're going to get... Um, you're going to get something that you can't really go too wrong with. Okay. You know, with the sauces and the, and the paste, they are they're full of flavour, so you can really just, just have a mess about and a bit of an experiment and, and express yourself in the kitchen, indeed. which is a lot of fun. It is indeed, and I think lots of us are thinking about that now that we are, you know, having to cook out at home all the time. Uh, now, one question I have is uh, expiry dates as well as how do we preserve it best? Yeah, so um, expiry dates, you'll have a couple of years on these. Um, and then, so a lot of people assume, oh, there must be artificial preservatives in these now, and there's absolutely no artificial preservatives or additives. Um, the reason they last so long is, is that's what spices were made to do. If you've got proper fresh spices, that's what, that's what happens. So, um, you know, you've got all the flavour. And I personally think, um, actually, there is a sweet spot. The older the jar, uh, in, the, in our case, the better it becomes out because it sort of marinates yeah. and matures a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think the word vintage is probably a bit too far, <laughs> but I'm going to say I've, <laughs> I've had them all the way through, you know, up to up to the two year sell by, and some of those are they are honestly amazing. So, yeah, Thank it's. Um, it, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll certainly enjoy them yeah. no matter when you have them. But hopefully they'll be gone in the next few days. Yeah, uh, well, uh, that, of <laughs> course, it, that will happen if you check out your baskets because uh, we are very busy for both of the options. If you want to go for medium, uh, mild to medium, or, um, of course, medium to hot is your choice. Or you could go for both of them and then mix them up uh, as well. And that kind of, you build it up. Now, shall we look at exactly what we get into mild to medium? So let's have it. Uh, so we have got the authentic curry, uh, authentic curry base, curry sauce, mild. We are getting the Bombay potato curry, the butter chicken, the all-time favorite, uh, tamarind curry, curry sauce, the tikka masala curry sauce. And remember, these ones are home cooking taste. Uh, so you have got that no preservatives in there. You have got also the classic marinade, the garlic marinade, the papadam chutney, the apple and mango chutney, and then you are getting the garlic and coriander nam, so you're getting two of them, and two of the plain tandoori nams, I mean two two nam in the package bag. Right, 28 pounds or 99 pence is the price, 481548 is your item. And then the medium to heart, uh, you can see it, as well. So that one has got the quinoa curry sauce, the authentic curry base, a curry sauce uh, and hot. Then the naga chili curry sauce. Remember, this one is extra hot. Then you are getting the tikka masala curry sauce, the Bombay potato curry, the naga chili marinade, again hot. And then we are getting the garlic marinade, the papadang chutney, apple and mango chutney, garlic and coriander nam, and the plain nam. All of them, of course, are vegan friendly. They don't contain any any dairy, uh, they are not nut free, so our Charlotte uh, can uh, have them. Uh, they are also gluten free and no additives or preservatives, so no water to dilute it. So you, if you want it at home to dilute them a little bit, you can add a little bit of water. And remember, you can spice them up or bring them your own favorite spices if you want it to the mix. So you can be lazy cook or you can be very experimental with them. The mild to medium, nearly 40% of the stock has gone, so now it's in the lead. If you want to check out your baskets. Now, 
Remember that you can mix them up with your, you know, with your burgers. You can use them with your vegetables. You can be your own creative chef or just follow the recipes, which by the way, in your website, you have got very good recipes I have seen. So you, yeah. we can follow those ones as well. Yeah, definitely. There's, there's a lot of different ideas and things as you, as you can imagine that we've come up with. Um, we are also, we are a very small company and we have quite a lot of people that, that will literally email in or uh, call us and you could literally get through to mum and she'll give you some ideas or oh. get through to Simran and, and so it's not a case of, oh right, customer service and what, you, you, uh, we're a small company, family business and um, we really want you to enjoy these. Now I kind of, you know, I wish you could uh, have a small vision at the minute because now there is a little bit of sweetness coming in. A little yeah. bit of savory, but a kind of, I can, it's just such an aromatic flavors. It's just warm, but it's not too like overpowering. It's just that perfect blend. Absolutely. So that is, um, that's a good nose you've got. So that, that's the caramelized onions from the keema. Oh, uh, I see. So Simran's just put in the, the keema curry sauce. Um, which has those lovely, because keema actually translated means um, mint lamb. Oh, um, I see. So, so in order to go with the mint lamb, you need that lovely caramelized flavors, and that's what you've got. Um, but again, you can do all sorts with it. Uh, in this case, uh, what, well, I don't know what you're doing. I was about to say but you could, do, doing... you could do maybe a something like with lamb, so you could do lamb chops with that sauce. Oh, yeah. We, we've, done, we've done that. We've done uh, slow-cooked lamb uh, shank. In, we use a, uh, two or three jars in the slow cooker and wow. then just leave it in there and it just breaks off and you've got this lovely, yeah, so it's oh, absolutely awesome. And then of course the vegan burgers, if you are vegan, I mean, look at that, I mean, they look so tasty. Yeah, so and that's the um, apple and mango uh, chutney as a relish there. Of course. Well. Yeah. So, so, so everything is included with the chutney in there and then the sauce as well. Oh, that's amazing. It, it's fantastic. I mean, honestly, that I'm eyeing that up for dinner tonight, I think. Yeah. That, <laughs> it's, um, it's healthy for you. Again, not a nutritionist, but yeah, in my opinion, um, it, and, it, and it's just very... Yeah, well, we so love fun. the story that moms want the best for their kids. And clearly, you know, your mom created all this for you. Therefore, it's not going to feed you things that are not good for you, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, mom hasn't, she hasn't changed the recipe. It is as it was when she sent it to me. And I think we just, we don't want to be just another supermarket curry sauce. We want to be, you know, we want to always be able to say to people, this is what my mum sent to me. And, and I love that. And of course, you are loving that. And you are also shopping ahead. And you have seen on the website, we have got the cooking boxes uh, that you can find on the website. Uh, this is what you can find as well here. Uh, in the mall, you are getting the authentic uh, curry base, uh, the butter chicken, the garlic um, uh, uh, marinade, the classic marinade, and the uh, uh, sweet mango and per padam chutney, 14 pounds and 99 pence. Then you have got the medium choice, which will also have got the authentic curry, um, curry sauce medium. Uh, then you are getting the tikka masala, then the garlic marinade, the classic marinade, the mango and apple chutney, and the papadam chutney. Uh, and then the final option, hot. Uh, we have got the hot curry base, the naga chili uh, curry sauce, the garlic marinade, and the naga chili marinade, the mango and apple chutney, and the papadam chutney. 14 pounds and 99 pence which whatever option you go for six four five zero seven zero maybe that you want something a little bit you know to a smaller and you know kind of a, a box i think i'm very tempted to go for the whole uh, of because i like that it comes with nuts which by the way they look amazing i love that it comes with all those five different sauces and and this is important isn't it to have a taste of all the different flavors that you get in each sauce yeah, that's, that's exactly it. What we wanted to do is give people a real variation so that it wasn't just, oh, well, I get six of this. Well, actually, you can go on that flavor discovery and you can try different things and, and, uh, and experiment with them. And, and you can have, you know, you've got, you know, so many different options in these packs. Okay. It's, uh, it's such good value.
Right, same run. And what are you doing now? So um, here I've been making some stuffed peppers. So um, what we what we've been doing here is um, I've just added some keema sauce to the actual pan. Then I've added some corn mince to that, um, and then I've added some peas and rice and things like that to that as well. Um, and all you need to do is just pop your um, peppers into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes just char grill them and then literally stuff the peppers coat it with some cheese or something like that pop it back into the oven for another five ten minutes just until the the cheese melts and that's it away you go um, in this pan here i'm doing some aubergine potato and pea curry i'm going to add a little bit of spinach to it as well um, and some coriander and i'm using the tamarind for that one um, so the tamarind is a very sweet sort of flavour. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite nice in terms of using it with, um, you can use it with corn mince as well. Um, we've used it with chickpeas before as well, um, but you can use it with anything you like as well. So any of the recipes today you can use with meats and uh, so chicken or anything like that if, you, if you fancy it as well. Yep, yep, you can use it with fish as Do well. Do you have, a, is there anything that you would say, well, I would just stay away from the sauce, the curries? <laughs> Um, I can't think of anything actually. Can you, no. Can you think of anything? I wouldn't. I mean, like, when you say fish, I immediately think of tamarind prawns, very oh, famous yes. in the oh, south of, of India. You know that type of thing. I mean, there's. It really is. There's so many different options. Uh, a few years ago, we had the. Um, you know, I had that thing of there's nothing in the house. What am I going to do? I'm. I'm really hungry. Happens quite a lot. Um, got some Bombay potato um, base and put it in with some salmon. And oh. it worked perfectly. Oh, the bombo potato on top oh. of the salmon as a bit of a um, a topping, really, and it it works fantastically, yeah. healthy, yeah. Um, and we do it quite regularly now. Uh, now, I uh, we, one of the question we would have is like, okay, so I am not a very good cook. I get it home. What should be my first attempt? What should I be my first step? Uh, well, type of dish. I think. Just to see how you um, how you go, to see what uh, you know in terms of the spices and things. Just do a classic. If you eat chicken, a classical chicken curry, or maybe you do some corn pieces if you're doing the uh, yeah. veggie vegan options, um, uh, or even some chickpeas. Um, some chickpeas in the sauces. Very very simple. It, the steps are on the back, so there's there's three steps, and you've made yourself a curry within literally within minutes. Um, and it will just come out perfectly. Now, um, is there, um, so, so can we burn the sauces? I mean, should we be constantly, re you know? So you can make, you can't burn them as such, can you? No. Would you say? I mean, you can't burn them. You can, you can make See, them a bit too thing. dry. You can yeah. kind of make them a bit too thick almost. Okay, yes. So if you didn't add the water and you, and you simmered, simmered away, um, which I know is one of the methods that Sims actually use for one of the dishes today. And you simmer and make it thicker. But you can do that and then you may not be able to feed the family of four. That's, that's, true. that's the only thing I can think of that you might need to look at. So if you follow the instructions on the back, you'll be absolutely fine. Um, and all you need to do is add the, um, add the sauce. Um, now the way we suggest is you, um, you actually, if you're doing a chicken curry, is rather than fry the chicken off first, you, um, you put the sauce in, add the chicken in raw uh, with the water okay. and let it simmer. So okay. it takes in all of the flavours, you're not sealing the flavours out, you're, you're actually cooking the flavours in and it comes out beautifully. Yeah. And if uh, we wanted to batch make, for instance, I'm on my own, so if I wanted to use the full, you know, I wanted to cook four portions and then could we, I freeze three of them? Yeah, so that's, that's exactly what happened at university, that's exactly <laughs> that, so I made probably 15 portions at a guess mm. and I would freeze them all and just take them out as and when I needed them um, so you can if you if you do live on your own um, these can be an absolute godsend just cook them once pop them in the freezer and you're ready and and you know they come out that marinating effect that curries can have uh, the second time they're brought back they can they can taste even better. Oh, absolutely, oh, that is amazing and of course the origins in that uh, that look they look amazing I wish I could taste it because the smells are so beautiful. They are rich, but they are not overpowering in the sense that, you know, I can feel all the, or I can sense all the different 
how you can say it. I guess it's difficult to explain it, but it has got that kind of depth of different, and, yeah. you know, coming it, in. It does. We've all tasted. I've I've heard stories of we've all uh, tasted and smelt the curry sauce. Yes. You know, uh, sorry, the, yeah, and the, and the curry, um, you know, the curry spice, the masala, garam yeah. masalas, and things like that. And you know, I think back in the day, a long time ago, when curry first came to Britain, you, you'd get a lot of this, well I just use the, the curry tin yeah. and just do that. But well, we're, we're trying to take it the other, you know, keep going further with it, keep trying to show the authenticity as much as we can and how we actually eat it. Um, and that's what this is. I mean, and you can also see the easiness, the ease. I mean, Tim's obviously making all these dishes. They're not actually, they're not massively prepped, are they? They're, they're, we're just no. making them as we go, and it is really easy. And this is also a good way to use leftovers, because I think in like, if you aren't having some uh, baked potatoes, for instance, then you can just use pieces of that, put it in, the, in, in, in a pan, a little bit of aubergines, you know, roast it. Could we put some of the sauce, for instance? I love soups. Uh, roast the vegetables, then blend it in. Could we put a little bit of the sauce in, and then kind of to make the, the, the yeah. soup a little bit. I think, yeah, I would. I mean, I, um, I would think you'd probably go a bit spicier, yeah. just so with the soup it will kind of hold its, you just to give it a nice bit of flavor. Uh -huh. um, what do you think, Simran? Well, uh, spicier in a, in a soup, just to give it a, a Oh yeah, dash. most definitely, yeah, um, you could use that. Would you do a marinade or not? Yes, yeah. marinade is good. So yeah, you, you, you could flavor. marinade the vegetables, then yeah. kind of blend them into a soup Absolutely. and that would have a very kind of uh, yeah. powerful, well, powerful or depth of flavor. That yeah. sounds amazing, doesn't it? Don't you want to have it? Check out your baskets because actually the mild to medium is now half the stock is gone. Right, uh, of course, look at those dishes. Look how gorgeous do they look. I mean, you, you are saying, of course, that this is home cook uh, food, but they look restaurant in the terms of pr how pretty they are. Yeah. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's more uh, Simran skill as well. <laughs> if I was cooking on here, the food <laughs> everywhere, and, but it still tastes good. Uh, well, that's the <laughs> important it, thing. All, that's the thing, it always tastes good. Um, but yeah, it's, um, I think, yeah, we, when, when we say restaurant food, and, and it's not, that's not a slight on restaurant no, no, food I at know, all. That's yeah. a, it's a whole style of cooking on its own, yeah. and that's absolutely brilliant. Um, but what we're trying to do is just show the other side, that's all. We're just yeah. trying to show. It's a bit like, uh, well, how do I, how, I usually give the example of sometimes you can go to a famous carvery place yeah. that everyone goes to, yeah. or you can go home and have mum's roast dinner, absolutely. and they're, they're quite different, and, and this is very similar. You can go to an Indian restaurant and have my mum's Home cooking. Yeah, and, and you can have home uh, cooking, uh, well, actually, and have it authentic. I love that you have got all those different flavors included in here. I love that they are vegan as well. Uh, also, the fact that you have got like up to two years to use them, so that kind of means that hopefully you will not because you will love them so much that, you know, <laughs> within a few weeks it will be all gone. But can we go through again what we are getting? Because it is incredible amount of different flavors as well. We are getting the classic Punjabi. Uh, can we, for instance, the Bombay potato, could we use these uh, with protein or uh, better not? Yeah, definitely. So as I say, salmon is one of my favorite things of to go course. in Bombay potato. Um, you could do chicken. Chicken, we go in all of them. Okay. As, as far as we've seen, chicken and turkey and things, we just you know, we put it yeah. in. Um, but we've kind of just given you the suggestion. So when we say Bombay potato or um, keema and those types of things, it's just a suggestion of what we've used them for. But you know, really, you could do, you can do, do a do. lot of different things. I, and I love that. And then, of course, we have got the curry sauce. And then, of course, we have got the uh, butter chicken uh, curry. This is, this is the, uh, the, the most popular one, isn't it? By a, by a fair way, to be honest. That one sells best, best than, um, than most of them. And I think, so where we're from, um, my, you know, the family heritage, yes. my mum and dad, are, they're from the north of India, mm -hmm. uh, the Punjab, mm -hmm. obviously. And, that's where butter chicken actually originates. So it's a bit like me meeting a chap from uh, sort of Cornwall and having a, an authentic pasty. Yeah. It's the, it's it's, the speciality. Yeah. And this is our speciality in the same sort of way. Uh, well, I mean, and you can have it too if you check out your baskets now. The tasty tamarind, that one you were saying they want more citrusy. Yeah, so it's got that zesty, um, zesty sort of sweet flavour through it as well with the caramelised onions. Um, so. Yeah, lovely with chicken. Uh, we always use chicken thighs as well, worth mentioning. Yeah. Um, rather too. than a lot of people use chicken breasts, that's fine. 
authentically a lot of chicken thighs. Um, and, yeah, more uh, flavor. Uh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, like, I prefer it thighs yeah. Yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, now, also, this could be work very well with uh, you know white fish as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Any any sort of fish dishes. Prawn dishes in the south of India with tamarind, oh, right. so famous, really, yeah. really famous. And oh, tasty. king prawns, we oh. and, and also scallops. Oh, yeah, that yeah. Really, really nice. I don't. Making me uh, more hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry <laughs> right now. Uh, but the smells are so beautiful. Um, right, then we have got the tikka masala, then the papadam uh, chutney. Can you tell us a little bit what is inside of the um, papadam chutney? Inside the papadam chutney, is a, it's a lovely. Um, tomatoey, zesty tomatoey uh, sort of flavour and base to it. Um, so it's got it's got all your spices and everything there, um, and it's got it's got all your uh, your your everything you need really just to give it that lovely nice kick, zesty yeah. kick. That's and you so we're saying I, I love this idea with the cheese okay, yeah. board and yeah. some uh, you, you know you don't have to go to go for the traditional you know if it was a Indian yeah. food you can then just mix it up with uh, you know pop. Not a popadam. I meant, um, oh, you know what I like um, as well. You know the rice, you know the rice cakes, which are very bland. Yes. You can add something like that. Absolutely. And yeah, then suddenly definitely. you have got something light, but with full of flavour, thanks to the. Uh, yeah, definitely. And, and a lot of people will be eating the rice cakes and things at the moment, <laughs> trying to be healthy and yeah. and low in calories and all that. So just a little bit of a dip of something will just. Uh, just make that a bit more bearable, I think. Yeah, uh, of course, or cheese crackers if you prefer. Mango apple chutney, uh, that sounds so good as well. Yeah, yeah, that's been, we've we've had that for a little while now, um, and it's always been popular. And Every it, time people try it, they come if back. If we come to the side as well, I want you to see, I mean, that is, uh, to me, showcases all the different good ingredients that has got inside yeah, it. Sometimes, I don't know if people have had the same experience, but I've had a, a chutney before, and it, it tastes like a syrup. It looks like a syrup, and this is but this is fresh, um, fresh ingredients. So when we say apples, you will actually find apples in there. Mm -hmm. When we say mango, you will see mango chunks. So it, it's all in there for you. Absolutely. Uh, and of course, you are getting also the paste, uh, and you are getting the nams. Uh, you are getting two nams of each type, and then of course you are getting the tandoori marinade paste in the classic style, as well as the garlic one. You can see them there. Now, of course, that's the mild to medium. And now we have got cues on the phone, so please do check out your baskets if you are on the website uh, hochanda.com. That will be the easiest and quickest way to order here at Hochanda. Then we have got the, of course, uh, the medium to hot as well. We have got in four, five of the carissas, including the classic Punjabi. Then we have got the kima, which is again medium, uh, but you can mix and match to make it a little bit more intense. Then we have got the naga chili, of course, extra hot. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. That's if your you're, favorite. Uh, if you're feeling a little bit uh, sort of like you want a bit of a. Um, I was going to say a beer and curry Cake. night, but uh, I don't know, know like if I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> Cake, yeah. I always have a, a couple of beers with it, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Yeah, so. well, but, you know, yeah, of course. It's, um, yeah. Of course. So it's, it's uh, you know, you can have a little bit of craft beer, since yeah. we are a craft channel. So there you <laughs> go, craft beer. <laughs> and drink responsibly, of course. Yeah. Uh, then we have got the tikka masala and then the Bombay potato as well. Uh, and then, of course, we move into the papadam chutney and the mango and apple as well. You are getting those ones. And then you are getting the paste as well. So you are getting the classic uh, marinating paste uh, and then the naga chili infused um, marinade paste. And, of course, the two sets of the garlic and um, all of that 28 pounds and 99 pence remember that just the bottle one bottle of curry sauce uh, is four portions so you would have here 20 portions remember that if you are like me and you're on your own you can batch cooking and that when then you can freeze it and then you know it's a home cooked uh, ready meal uh, 481548 is your item number now Sim what are you doing now next oh, so <laughs> sorry I was just carried away there you are so, in your element. Uh, I know. Um, so what I did was in a shallow pan, um, I basically had the Bombay potato uh, base and all I did was reduce it down, reduce it down right until it's that thicker sauce like you were saying yeah. before, so you can do that. Um, and then just to show you a little bit of a different depth, you can use it as salsa or you can use it as toppings and things like that. And what I've done here is I've actually just put it as a topping with a little bit of breadcrumbs as well onto a chicken fillet. And I'm going to put that into the oven um, and then just 
add a bit of vegan cheese or any any kind of cheese you like um, and then just um, let that melt and that's it that's all there is to it if you've ever had a parmesan parmesan yeah. yeah it's that same sort of thing isn't it a lovely Absolutely. chicken and a tomato base to it we've been on before and we've um, we've made pizzas with the bombay wow. potato. so you use a naan bread yes uh, put the bombay potato on top um a bit of cheese uh tandoori chicken one of my Ma with mushrooms as well, that could be really nice. Yeah, mushrooms, yeah, absolutely. Mushrooms, peppers, oh, yeah. uh, capsicum peppers. Um, those are yeah, fantastic. The, with, the, the, with the nuns, do we need to have any specific to cook them, to prepare them? Just to sprinkle water in the oven? With the nuns, um, so, yeah, you can put, just so they don't dry out, just a little sprinkle of water. The best way of cooking them, it doesn't actually say this on the pack, this is my, <laughs> my uh, interpretation mm. of it. Best way cut them in half and put them in the toaster right uh, and when you put them in the toaster it cooks both sides evenly yeah um, it's quick and it's just yeah then yeah, you can just take away and and yeah oh, so gosh. very quick what I would say about the naans is I don't know if it comes across on the on the camera but the they are, they're actually hand stretched so you know sometimes you get a uh, you get a cardboardy naan yes. in the in the supermarket you get this this thing that isn't really an arm that will be the closest thing to fresh naan that you'll ever have. It's right, so you know, we are uh, we are just five minutes away from the end of the show. This is how quickly it's gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are having such a lovely time and the smell is just so beautiful. I wish you could just smell it. It's just, uh, so Sam, what, where, where are we up to? So basically, I'm just waiting for the um, chicken parmesan. Oh, yeah. Or, or, parmesan, yeah. yeah. Um, but here, what I've done here is, um, oh, we seem to be having something with the with the um, <laughs> cook here. Um, all I've done is pot some keema, the yep. keema sauce that I had left over, and a little bit of the tikka. Now you can actually do that. You can mix and match the sauces as well. They create so many more depths of flavours that way as well. Um, I regularly do that when I'm cooking at home and I'm making, say, for instance, a chicken curry. I will mix the tikka with an ACB medium. Uh, sorry. ACB authentic base um, just because it's got a little bit more onions in there a bit more caramelized in flavor um, so I mix them and I'll just literally cook my chicken off that way it's it's so nice as well if you can do that as well and of course that would mean for instance if you are you lo loving for instance say like the keema sauce and you are using and you have got just a little bit you can then use it with something else and then of course that will go f even further yeah definitely there's nothing worse than wasting food is that yeah Nothing yeah. worse. And so, because there are so many different ideas, as we've seen today, that you can do um, and mix it into your various uh, cooking styles, uh, fusion foods, you know, you know you're not going to have any waste. You know you can really use them in everything. Now, Sam, is it that uh, pasta or curgetti spaghetti? Or? So this is um, just spinach um, fettuccine. So, oh. um, yeah, so that's on a bed of, of, of spinach fettuccine. But what you can do is you can pop your um, pea protein meatballs, which is the ones that I've used here today. Um, but you can use normal meatballs as well. Um, with lamb or turkey meatballs and literally just cook it exactly the same way. So add the sauces into the base, pop your meatballs in uh, pre-cooked um, just so it sears off mm. and then literally a um, bit of handful of spinach and just let it cook through and that's it. That's all there is to it for that uh, one as well. Well, uh, it looks amazing. This is one of the dishes that you have made but of course you have made quite a few more in this short amount of time. Could you tell us exactly which ones you have made so far? Yeah, so um, these ones were the sweet potato um, and chickpea curry um, sort of uh, sweet potato boats I guess uh -huh. um, and all I've done is pop the chickpeas into our authentic base um, classic base sauce let it reduce down so it's a little bit thicker in sauce and then just um, popped our sweet potato in the oven scooped out the flesh and just mix it in with that you can use any other any anything else that you want to as well um, this is our corn biryani so we've got our biryani kit um, and all I did was just pop some spices into the sauce or and then separately um, cook the uh, corn in the marinade as well just to sear it off and then added that to one of our bases which I used um, which was the tikka masala half the jar um, and then just let it cook through and reduce down that water I've also made some stuffed uh, peppers here and some 
aubergine and uh, potato and pea curry as well so it's a little bit more authentic on that um, and I've also made some burgers with the marinade as well and I've used some of our um, chutney our mango and apple chutney just as a little bit of a relish so sometimes you know you can use that as well with cheese and crackers and things like that so it's a little bit more versatile and then lastly I've just I've just literally used pea protein meatballs um, popped it in the sauces that I had left which was the tikka and the keema and just let it mix through and just popped it on a bed of bed of spaghetti I'm going to be pulling out the last one wow. as well so here we've got that chicken fillet um, just on you can have that yeah Oh, wow, I mean, we are all very impressed about what you cook, but also about how can you cook all these different foods and be so calm? <laughs> <laughs> we, we need a sim in our kitchen, yeah. actually, we do. You know, you know uh, although Sim is amazing, I'm a very lucky lad. My mum my mom cooks like, uh, like this and my wife cooks like this as well. But uh, it is so simple. When it was sent to me, it had to be simple because I didn't know how to cook or I didn't. Yeah. Uh, so it, it is... Um, yeah, it is. Amazing. It is, it is simple, but it is simple, but because you have got the complexity of flavor within the sauces. That's this is the beauty of it. That you can be uh, calling me not a very good cook, or you can be an experienced cook, and of course benefit from you know home taste, home cooked food, uh, and of course that is with the sauces delivered. Vegan sauces as well. That means that you, if you are doing ve um, veganary or you are vegan for life, this will be for you as well. And if you are not, you still will get all the depth of flavor. And now, what do we get in the mild to medium? Well, we have got it here. The authentic curry base, curry sauce, you are getting the Bombay potato curry, the butter chicken curry, the tamarind curry, the tikka masala curry, the classic marinade, the garlic marinade, the popadam chutney, as well as the apple and mango chutney, garlic and coriander nam, the plain tandoori nam as well. You are getting two of each of those nams. And that is the medium, mild to medium. And of course, if you wanted to spice it a little bit more, if you want more of a kick, go for the medium to hot. And this is what you are getting. The keema curry sauce, the authentic curry base curry sauce, then the naga chili curry, the tikka masala curry, the Bombay potato curry, the naga chili marinade, as well as the garlic marinade, popotam chutney and the apple mango chutney, and of course the garlic and coriander nam and the plain nam. Remember that they contain but all of the products are gluten, dairy and nut free and no additives or preservatives. So unlike many other sauces that may have a little bit of water in there to make them go, you know, to look that you're getting getting more these ones they don't so then you can make them last longer if you want or go further but that's your choice right it's been an absolute pleasure and now what would you say somebody who has never attempted to do a curry before would they is this all they need as well as some protein or some pasta that's, or rice that's they, it uh, yeah you I would say your your time is now um, this is your opportunity to really have something authentic in your in your cooking so um, give it a try. Give my mum's cooking a try and you won't look back. Yeah. And of course, I remember that you can re-watch this show and see exactly what Sim has been doing uh, for 60 days. So imagine receiving a bundle of mild to medium or medium to hot sauces, and then you can re-watch and get inspiration from Sim. Remember that, of course, they do have got on their website recipes to follow as well, so that kind of even explore more possible ladies. Right, of course, thank you so much. Uh, I also remember Flex Travaganza. You can split the cost in interest-free payments, so you would pay uh, only 14 pounds and 50 pence today and why not going for both of them so you pay only half of that today right and of course check out your baskets thank you so much we look forward to seeing you, you next thank time thank you so much Thanks. cheers thank it's been a, an absolute pleasure check out your baskets After the break, crafting with clarity. Then at four, a uh, look at the one day special by Dolly Dimples. And then at five, Saturday surprises. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet. 
either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on Echanda. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftoscope. It's Flextravaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6 p.m. to Friday the 15th of January at 6 p.m., we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flextravaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture of this shows on Achanda. Welcome back everyone, what a fantastic weekend it is. Uh, lovely to have your company, my name's Derek, if we've never met, if we're old friends, hello again. Uh, welcome to an hour of clarity, which is brilliant. Um, lovely, lovely clarity, of course, bring you amazing products and manage to bring you something different all the time and fire your imagination in so many different ways because they are such a talented bunch of individuals. Let us go straight live to Kent 
to the Garden of England. Now, this was totally unarranged, but we appear to uh, have matching <laughs> shirts, Paul Church. How did, how did that happen? Very similar, isn't it? Yes. Happy New Year to you. How are you? To you as well. It's nice to see you again. It's nice to be back here at Hochanda. And you're looking very, very organised there. Everything around you looks very, very tidy. There it does. But don't look on the floor. I'm okay. glad the cameras can't see the floor because yeah. it's just covered. It's, it's all <laughs> just for the cameras. Uh, we've got some big, big, huge, whopping, humongous savings from Clarity for you in this show. I'm really, really pleased to be here as well. Uh, we've got amazing, brilliant aperture dies for you. Let's have a look because they've all got bonkers savings on them. You'll go to. It's going to be a bit of a race to the finish, I think, in this show. To be honest with you. Let's start with our first set then, um, and this is a set of four beautiful aperture dies. You've got the Chinese lantern dies, you've got the Queen Anne's lace aperture die, you have the honesty aperture. I have to say that is one of my all-time favourites from this collection. It's really, really lovely. And you also have the poppy seed head apertures as well. Now. Let's talk price tag for a second, because you also get an inspiration book with this as well, which is, is awesome. It's so full of amazing clarity-like masterpiece that you can achieve kind of inspiration, which is great. Now, let's look at our usual price on this one, £70.95. And then let's look at today's price, which is £29.95. So instantly, that's a saving of £41. It's kind of the equivalent in this first set of having two, and that's where you stop paying. The other two dies, which you know will go on forever and ever and ever, and there will be lots and lots of different inspiration, plus the inspiration book that comes with this from the team of incredible talent at Clarity as well. They come along in this deal for free which is awesome. So that's a massive, huge saving. And look at the intricacy of these dies as well. They cut in. Uh, so for me, straight away, the appeal there, I think, is something like um, paper piecing, uh, which I absolutely adore. I don't know if you know, Paul, but since we last saw each other, I've become a little bit of a crafter, and I have to say that paper piecing is now one of my new obsessions. Wow. I mean... These dies are absolutely fantastic. I mean, they're upside down at the moment, there Derek, we go. that's it. We're, we're back in the UK now. We've left <laughs> Australia. <laughs> well, it's like this year. <laughs> it's a bit yeah. upside down, Paul, at the moment, isn't it? It is. But again, what you're looking at there, just die cut out of black cards or white cards. Um, it just makes it, it's just instant artwork. And the reason we call them um, aperture cards is because it doesn't matter what size card blank you cut out of, it will always stay within that card blank. Um, and what that means is it gives you more versatility in relation to the design. So with our dies, you've got the, the beautiful, quick and easy, just die cut as they are, and you've got an instant card. You can cut them out using our nested squares and rectangles to create toppers to pop onto a card. These dies also have that snippability element of them where you can remove parts of it and it doesn't take away from the design either. Um, so again, real beautiful, elegant. These were designed by our good friend, the lovely Mel Turner. Um, and when you look at her designs, I know for, for a fact these are some of Barbara's favourite designs. They're awesome. Um, we do them, we've got them in the dies, we have them in stamps and stencils. It carries along across all of our sort of product range. Um, but with the dies, I mean, look at these, the versatility and the different uses that you can come up with. Um, and the bonus thing, I mean, the fantastic saving we've got on this collection here, for me, what's key, not only is the saving, but it's that II book. And the yes. II book stands for Ideas and Inspiration. Let's have a little so flick what that through means that, shall we? Is, so these are samples that the design team have put together. Mm -hmm. And when you look inside, you'll see you've got a beautiful full-blown picture of the actual finished piece. Mm -hmm. You've then got a spotlight on the area. And then you've got a list of ingredients and a how-to. So it doesn't matter what collection you go for, whether you go with the, um, the, um, the seeds and the pods or whether you go with the flower and foliage, you're going to get this book. But you can use this to go along with any other dyes you've got in your collection. It's all about the techniques. This is a bonkers opportunity as well. I have to tell you, 
Um, because at 29.95, it, it is like having double what you should have and the book of inspiration as well. And you know when that comes directly from the talent that creates these wonderful pieces of art, um, I think that's, that's pretty good. That is clarity at the very, very finest, let me tell you. Uh, 29.95 uh, for that collection. There is a uh, second collection. Of course, you can split the price down of this into two as well because Flex Extravaganza is very much in play right now, uh, which is brilliant. So that would be, what, around about 15, 1497 um, over two payments there today, which is really, really good. So 584804. Now we have a second collection today as well, uh, which is flowers and foliage. Again, phenomenal aperture dyes. Something that you know that if you cut in just two or three different ways, die cut it in just two or three different ways, instantly you have that incredible inspiration. So you've got the mountain ash there, which is lovely with the little um, berries in there as well. I think that's really good. The Casablanca lilies um, are there, which are big and blousy, lots and lots of big petals on those. And you also have the wild seed heads aperture uh, there as well, which is uh, lovely. So. Um, what was the inspiration by the, behind this particular um, collection, Paul? So again, um, designed by the lovely Mel. Um, so she came up with these eight beautiful designs. So what we've done is we've got the two different collections. So you've got the um, seeds and the pods, you've got the flowers and the foliage. And again, with this second collection, you're also gonna get that II book as well. So it doesn't matter and you think, okay, well, I like that one or I'm not sure about that one. So you've got, we did it in, to give you choices. Um, and to bring you those savings as well. Now, if you think, oh, I like that one, I like that one, I like all of them, then what we've done, we've put a complete collection together where you're gonna get all eight of the dies plus the II book. And when you break it down on the saving, it's a crazy saving. It um, is, because this second set of four now is in the same situation as the first set of four, where it should be 70.95, it's 29.95, so that's like paying for just two of the dies and getting the other two and the II Inspiration book in there for free. But, as Paul alluded to there, so we'll whiz straight to it, the entire collection, so taking all eight of those, the saving here is 71 pounds. So I think I've got this right, Paul, that with the big collection where you take all eight of those, what you're actually doing is almost the equivalent of paying for half of what you have. In fact, pretty much less than that, I think, isn't it here? Oh, you've frozen, Paul. Frozen in action. Um, okay. Let's talk about the saving for Freedom members there as well. You make a saving of £76.99. Now, the, the wise amongst you would have noticed that actually this turns in to a why not kind of deal. Because of the saving that you're making here, it's almost worth, if you're not a Freedom member so far, of becoming one whilst placing the order here as well. Because one very much balances out the other, in fact very much outweighs the other because of all the benefits of freedom membership uh, for the whole month. But this is awesome. So that would get you all eight of these incredible dies. Um, let me show you some more samples while we're reconnecting um, to Paul. So this is the, uh, this is the seed heads um, uh, one there. Just cut out, oh actually it's just cut out a black card over uh, a mirror board card there, which is really, really quite clever. Uh, that one was from D. Let me show you another one. I'm very conscious to get these the right way up as well. Uh, there you go. I'm a little bit upside down. The world's a little bit upside down. But aren't they? I mean, just cut out of black and white. Again, using those nesting squares and just offsetting them one over the other um, in your mats and layers there. What a clever idea and what a sophisticated card that actually makes. Let me bring another one in, which is a little bit bigger, this one. So there you go. Oh, there we go, this way around. Uh, this one by uh, D. Again, beautiful. So in the, in the backdrop of that is just the most delightful papers. We have got 12 by 12 and 8 by 8 paper pads, which are incredible value, by the way. And I would urge you to shop ahead uh, and have a little look of those as well. Um, so this is using the uh, Mountain Ash dye, which is lovely. Paul, are you unfrozen now? Have we melted you? I am indeed. It is a bit nippy down here in Kent, but yes. Technology gremlins. 
Um, amazing, amazing saving. I was just mentioning the, the size of the saving if we go for the complete collection. And as soon as you see anything like this, of course, you do want it all. I kind of, I've, since we last met, I am a crafter now, of sorts. And, and I know when you see a collection like this, you do want everything you see in front of you. But to have that almost like back up to what you're about to do and demo this um, this set but you've got that back up extra inspiration as well for when those days where you think oh, I don't know if I've got my mojo today that II book the ideas and inspiration is just absolutely worth its weight just sitting there next to you it's like an extra friend to say right here's here's some ideas it is. It's like you'll watch the TV, you'll showcase, um, we get seconds to sort of show off the samples from the design team. And you'll watch it and you'll think, oh, I like that, I'm going to buy it. And then a couple of days later, you get it home and you think, now what was the one that I like? <laughs> so by having that book, it gives you that prompt and you go through and you think, ah, that was a card, that's how it was done. Um, but it also means that whatever other dies you've got in, the collect in your collection, that you can think, Oh, I like that, how that's been done. I could do it with this die, I can do it with that die. So really, it's sort of like a little encyclopedia that you can just flick through. And as you say, if your mojo's gone, or it's gone for a walk or something, and you think, oh, what? Pick up the book, flick through it. It will sort of really kick off some ideas and, and inspiration, hence them being called II books. I have to tell you, Paul, that it's very, very popular um, so far. It's very, very busy. Um, of the entire collection where people are taking the complete collection plus the II book, making that biggest saving, of course, particularly if you're Freedom members, we're approaching a third of the stock. We are actually there at a third of the stock, um, sold out and gone. And I can see why. Actually, this is the perfect time of year to be introducing We've done a lot of Christmas projects. Um, we are in the darker months of the year, although a little bit of snow has brought a little bit of brightness right now. But actually, this is the time of year when you want to get into those new colour projects, particularly for home decor and things like this. And this is an amazing way of, it might just be that you make a nice triptych of artworks from these die cuts and impress yourself and then move it into your card making as well. So many ideas, Paul, but I'm going to hand over to you because, uh, of course, uh, that's where the talent is and you can give us lots and lots of ideas I'm sure along the way okay thanks Derek so I thought what we'll do I'll just explain um, exactly about the aperture dies and um, we spoke briefly about that whatever size card you cut it out of it will stay within that base but what I love about these designs not only are they sort of generic they'll cover men's cards children's cards but as you say it's that beautiful instant artwork. You could just die cut a load out, put them to one side, and when you need a card in an emergency, you've got them. So I'm gonna go with the, this is one of my favorite ones. This is the Chinese Lantern. Um, and I'm just gonna show you how quick and easy it is to create a beautiful card. So I've got my die, and I've got one of our beautiful six by six card blanks we've got on the show. So you get them in five by five, six by six, seven by seven, eight by eight, in both black and white. So I'm just very simply going to pop that onto the front of my card, take a piece of low tack tape. I mean, I could go to the top, but just for ease, I'm just gonna go right in the middle. And all I'm gonna do now is just run it through my die cutting machine. Now, our dies have been designed to work in all leading die cutting machines. They're quick and easy to use. Um, and our dies have also got a special coating. You know, they're like a blue color, aren't they, Derek? Yes. And what that is, it's got a special coating on it, like in a frying pan to stop your eggs from sticking to the bottom. Well, these dies have got that similar coating to it. And what it means is it doesn't matter how intricate your die is, it, the card or the paper will fall away from it. And it means you haven't got to spend time picking out bits and pieces from the die because you want to get creative and get on with the card. So all I'm going to do is just gently remove my low tack tape. So gently peel it away. That's a brilliant little innovation actually, go. isn't it? It's the simplest of things, but actually if you're a paper piece, sir, that's that really is a godsend, isn't it? Yeah, and, and it is, it's sort of, it's all about sort of, look, I mean, that die has just fallen away. I'll just tap it on my hand. Yeah. And that die is completely clean now. Lovely. There's nothing left in there, okay? Nice and easy. And then when I bring this in, look, this is all going on the floor, so I'll have to get the hoover out later. <laughs> but I'm just tapping it. No okay. one looks at the floor, and Paul. Then, 
No, they don't. They just walk <laughs> over it. <laughs> so let me just pop that into my little bin just there, pop that to one side. And if I get a piece of white paper, I'll just reach over and grab a piece of paper there. Now you can see we've got that beautiful artwork. Okay, so even that, just with the white behind it, is elegant. Okay. It is. Now, also on the show, we've got our beautiful 12 by 12 designer papers, and we've got that in a pick and mix option. You can choose from Indian Summer, Northern Lights, Rainbow River, and Shenandoah. And that's also got uh, a £10 saving on it as well. So what I've done, I've taken a selection from the different pads, and I've just chopped them up into um, 6 by 12 so basically just cut them in half. And then if you fold them in half, what you can do is you can create a luxury insert to go oh, wow. inside. So that's using the softer side, but because our 12 by 12s are double sided, you've got the soft tones or you've got a more vibrant zone tone. And you can see how the look of it changes. And um, so that one there is from Shenandoah. I can go with a bit of Indian summer colorways to get a, a softer look to it. And again, you c it, it's amazing how a piece of paper can just change the look and the mood of the card. Do you know, one of those in, in one of those cheapest chips frames that you can pick up almost anywhere, and you can almost change the look of that seasonally and just have that round the house, couldn't you? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, look, I've gone for the more Love vibrant it. side. Look at that. Really it vibrant. Just absolutely. It's got that beautiful colourway to it. And you know you were talking about sort of artwork on the wall and changing it and having like a triptych. I've got these. Let me grab this one from up here. This is one that I have on there. So this really does explain how what I've done is I've taken an 8x8 eight eight piece of card and I've just die cut in the middle and then behind it is the 12x12 12 12 papers. So it really does bring it out. So again, if I hold that maybe onto the, the overhead camera, you can really see wow. how that looks. Okay, so we've got that one there, for example. And look, you're talking about a gallery. What day should oh, we have? So this one here is using the mountain ash. We've got the wild privet. Uh, we've got the Chinese lanterns. Look at that. We've got the Casablanca lilies. So again, it's very, very simple. And all it is is just a beautiful design of papers behind it, which really makes it stand out. That's gallery worthy, isn't it? It is. So again, I mean, these are on the website. These are our 12 by 12 frame outs, and you will find them on the website. Um, but you can see how you can, it's not just for card making, it's about artwork as well. I think it's absolutely awesome. I mean, just, just those few ideas, that's got everyone's mind sparking straight away, hasn't it? See, that's the thing with Clarity, isn't it? Because, because it's developed by artists and because their design team and the team behind Clarity are, are just such a talent, it makes the rest of it really, really simple for us. Because actually, that is, again, and I don't like to use this phrase very often, but that's a one-pass wonder, isn't it? Straight through your die-cutting machine, no matter whether you cut it in, in black, in white, in pink with green spot, instantly you've got something there which is super, super impressive. I love that idea of actually, um, and as Paul was showing there, um, making that very, very simple fold over card um, in black there and inserting one of the papers for one of the paper pads in there. I have to tell you that 40% of the entire, this entire collection that we've got with this huge saving, I mean, anyone that isn't a Freedom member right now that wants to go for this, I would say just do it because actually it makes so much sense. Everyone's making a £71 saving, regardless of whether you're a Freedom membership um, a member or not. But if you start as a Freedom member today, that Freedom membership is basically paying for itself for your saving, which I think is brilliant. And of course, plus all the extra benefits of that, which come with your Freedom membership. This is £53.92 as opposed to, well, 76 99 more than that. Um, and listen, at this time of the year, when you've got the opportunity to split that down into smaller payments as well, everyone can split the price of this down by, is it three, Charlotte, or two, two or three, isn't it? It's two of these, right, so two payments of 26 96 26 96 for big feature dies in the die world is generally what you expect to sort of 
too set to be, isn't it, really? Um, and he, which is ridiculous. Um, I think this is such a, an amazing deal. And, of course, it's very, very busy. It's the weekend, and we've all got more time. It is the perfect timing for this show, actually, because if you think about it, I don't know whether you've done it yet, but... A lot of people, trees down, decorations down, houses looking a little bit bare, um, lacking a bit of colour, lacking a bit of that joy that came with the Christmas season and everything else. It is just generally one of those January's a bit of a <clears throat> month, isn't it? Especially at the moment when we're spending more time indoors, we've got more time to look around us um, and see um, and pick holes in things. But if you've got nice you know, nice walls like this. I'm not suggesting many people's walls are like this unless you've got a, a grand west wing library. Uh, but if you're looking at a bare wall space and you're thinking, that needs a bit of something, combine it with the paper pads that are on the show today as well on, a, on a, an amazing pick and mix. We probably won't see those live in the show, so have a look at them and shop ahead um, of those because they are really, really cool. In fact, what we'll do is we'll go and have a little look on the website. It is very, very busy, both on the website, both on the app and the telephone lines as well. If you've got any questions, you can always pick up the phone and give us a call. It's 0173 602000. Um, I nearly forgot the number there. You'll have to forgive me. I haven't been here for a little while but I'm getting back into it now. Uh, the self-adhesive sheets that are on the show as well, really, really good. I have to say, those um, ultra-fine perga glitters, I definitely, definitely would love a set of those. Lots more on the show as well, including word sticker books there as well, some of which de designed, of course, by uh, Barbara Gray. But there's also, in one of the sets there, um, uh, one of the sticker books has been designed by Al Leone as well. So there is lots more in the show that we may not get to see. Plus the nesting dies, by the way, that are massively popular. Use those in conjunction with these aperture dies as well. Because that um, example that I showed you earlier, where the mats and layers were just offset, one black, one white, just offset, that will have been done using the nesting um, dies. In fact, I should show you that the right way up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm a little bit round the corner today. Um, there you go. So they're all, all the different layers um, using those nesting dies as well. And the square, um, the squares, the rectangles and the circle nesting dies are all on the show. In fact, there is the details for the 11 squares there as well for 14 99 It's a massive breadth of sizes on the um, nesting dies as well. So I would definitely add those um, to your order at the same time. It's such a busy show, Paul, and I'm so, so pleased because actually it's the, it is the right time of year for this kind of thing, isn't it? Because it gives you the chance to turn over a new page, make some new starts. I mean... It, just seeing the way that you've decorated the area there behind you, um, it's nice mm. just to introduce some new bits and pieces. And this is really, really simple. It's not major, major um, work. This. this is this is something that gives it you that not. kind of instant yes. It is. It's, technically, there's no skill required to running a die through a machine. There really isn't. So, I mean, if you've... You, you, you run it through and you've got instant artwork. That's it. It's as simple as that. I, I can't make it any... It's not difficult. Um, but it's like a new year if you're looking... If you're already sort of maybe into your stamping or your parchment craft and stuff like that, and you think, I want to try something different, then that's why we thought new year... Some, we'll bring back some fantastic designs that we've brought out over the years and a, a fantastic saving to get people at home safe, inspired. Um, it, yeah, it's just a good way to, to get started if you want to go down the die cutting journey. Right, listen, so um, we, we're going to see some more. What have you got next for us? Right, OK, so for this one, it's a technique called trap the scrap. And Barbara came up with the idea when we first launched our dies. Um, back in May 2018 was the launch of our very first fresh cut dies. And it was with this actual collection. So basically, trap the scrap is where the bits that we would throw away into the bin, we're actually going to use. So basically, you're going to get two for one. Um, and what I've done, I've actually hijacked Barbara's blog today, which is barbaragrayblog.com. And I've actually done a step-by-step. -step. This will be posted later today. So if you miss out on bits and pieces or if I have to jump ahead, then you'll be able to see that on Barbara's blog later today. Wonderful. So nice and easy. It really is. And it's very addictive. So we're going to start with this card first, which is what here, if I bring this in... The colour in the background is actually the scrap. 
the bit that we throw away. Now, if I hold it up to the side, you can see oh. that it's not, you can see it's like paper piecing. Yes. But the easy way of paper piecing. Yeah, it looks it really very accurate, is. Paul. It is. It, it's precision. Precision paper piecing and quick paper piecing. Brilliant. So to start off with, what I'm going to do is I've taken the, the beautiful honesty die. OK, so we'll take that off of there. Just take the tape off that's holding it in place. OK, so the same principle. These are four by four sturdy dies. OK, and what I'm going to do is I've cut a piece of card down to size and I'm going to die cut that out. Now, the key part really for me is the next stage. So this is what I've once I die cut it. OK, mm -hmm. that's what I get. So again, beautiful artwork. If I wanted to, I could snip areas away. The choice is yours. But really, the key part for Trap the Scrap is the next stage. So I've taken a piece of our beautiful Amazonia Petite Toppers, which is five by seven. And I've just taken two, uh, an inch off the bottom, so it becomes a five by six. OK. And what we, I can have a look to see where I want to position it. But the key part to this Trapping the Scrap technique that Barbara came up to is a really sort of magic ingredient, and it is water. OK, that's it. Normal household water. And all we're going to do is very, very lightly spritz the dye with water. Now, you're not going to soak it, so it's not going to damage the dye or anything, and especially because it's got that coating on it. And then what we're going to do is position that onto our piece of card. OK, now you can tape it down if you choose to, but I've done this a couple of times. So he says famous last word. <laughs> I'm going to transfer that onto my um, cutting mat. OK, pop that back in. I tell you what, knowing my luck, technology yeah, and just, thinking, just for I am safety's just, sake, just for safety's <laughs> sake, I'm just going to tape it down just there. OK, so that's now holding it in place. So I've got a nice area at the bottom. Then I'm going to take the rest of my sandwich and we're just going to run that through the machine. So what we're looking at now is this area around here, all the waste that we would normally throw away. And this technique, it really, it's very addictive um, and it will work with any of the dyes that's in the collection. Um, and any of our other aperture dyes that you may already have at home. I know we, I did a show at one o'clock today and it was really, really busy. And you'd be able to do the same sort of technique um, with those dyes as well. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to remove that low tack tape and then I'm going to flip the die. So I'm going to move that out the way. So you put your hand in place and you turn it over and then you let it rest onto your mat. OK? Yeah. So that's that. And then all I'm going to do is just gently peel away the actual die cut. No, look at that. Right. Nice and easy. He says. So this is the bit that we would normally use to make a card, isn't it? Because yep. that's what the die does. It die cuts. Yep. So, but this is going to be our second card. This is going to be this one here. OK. Uh -huh. But what we're interested in is the waste. OK. Normally, this all goes in the bin and you wouldn't give it a second thought. So what I've done, I've taken a piece of our A4 self-adhesive sheets and I've just cut it out so it's just slightly bigger than the 4x4 die. I'm going to remove one side of the backing and then I'm going to hover over the top using my two fingers. And what it means is, because this is really ultra, ultra sticky. Uh -huh. OK, then I'm going to press down and press on the back. OK, so you rub it in. And what this is doing, this is now trapping the scrap. And then I gently peel away the paper from the die. And if anything is still left in the die, at this point, I can still push like there. See how it hasn't picked, stuck yep. that bit there? Yeah. I can just push that back in and it's got it in the right position. 
got a little bit there. So you just go round the outside slowly, and then it will fall away. No, look at that. Okay. So we've now trapped that scrap. Okay. Then, remember we cut this bit out? I said, I didn't cut it out, but I said this is what you're going to cut yeah, out yeah. from earlier. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this bit. So this, make sure the die is the same right way up. And then all you're going to do is the same two-finger trick again. You're going to hover over the top. I'm just going to, I'm going to come into this so I can get my head. Yeah, Let yeah. me just make sure that that's flat. It's easier for me to get my head over the top of it. And then all you're going to do, find two points and then put it into position and press down. Oh, okay. I tell you what. So that, you imagine you're doing that bit by bit. You can do it bit by bit if you want, but it will take you a lot longer than it will. Yeah, but there's no way you can keep that perfect square in the same way, Paul, is there? That is genius, no. isn't it? And is, is the secret, exactly. is that is that water at the beginning, Is that does that just give that little bit of adherence to the scrap, to the actual die? It does, die? yeah. Yeah, it just holds it in place while you remove the die cut. Um, and then it, it's, it's just instant then. So then what I've done, I've taken a piece of the um, 8x8 Amazon, Amazonian paper yeah. and just matted it onto a card blank. And then I can peel off the back okay because this is now i don't need any other adhesive because yep. it's super sticky i can position that just on there so because it's the same color palette it's the same design but it's double-sided so I, i've got that same color tone and then what i'm going to do to just to add my sentiment, I'm going to go with the Clarity Christmas and Celebration. We've got the bundle on there where you've got Barbara's words on there. You've got the Feel Good Factor stickers on there as well, separately. And let's have these ones have got Christmas. Uh, let's go for, let's go nice and simple. Just say congratulations. Oh, no, here we go. This one wants to be stuck on. This one is saying, wishing you a fabulous day. Okay. For me, these little stickers are perfect if you're into your die cutting because it's quick and easy. Okay. So that's card number one. Okay. Card number two, we're going to come back to. Remember, we, this is where the piece that you would normally use. Yeah. I've taken another piece of the double-sided adhesive. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the backing off again. Now, this time, what I want to do is I'm going to pop this down, but I don't want to be able to see the words. See how it says clarity stamp all over it? Uh -huh. If I can read that, I mean, I'm in trouble. I've got it the wrong way around. I need to have it so it's the shiny side up. I'm going to pop that on top of it. And then what we're going to do is position that on the back. Okay. So now, when I turn this over, I've now got, that's all sticky. Uh-huh. Okay, nice and easy. Now it's time for some bling. So we've got the Perga Glitters on the show. These are ultra-fine, iridescent, and uh, they're anti-static. They're absolutely gorgeous. You've got six different colour hints in there. We've got a hint of green. We've got a hint of gold, copper. Um, blue, pink, and silver. So it's nice. And you've also got the lovely case to keep them all in so you don't lose them. So because we've got beautiful um, gold orange tones, I'm going to go with a hint of copper on this one. And then all I'm going to do is sprinkle it over the stickiness. I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to rub it in. <laughs> All right, nice, nice and blingy, but look, it doesn't stick everywhere. Yeah. And tap off the excess, and because it's anti-static, it doesn't, it's not on the card. Sometimes you have all the residue on the cards and, yeah. and everything else. I'm just going to pop that to one side. Then I'm going to take another card blank. Let me pop the lid on there, so I don't knock that over. Then again, just take the backing off. And what will happen, you'll get a really nice colour coming through 
from behind. See? Nice and easy. Then another little sticker word. We're going to put that. We'll just go back to the, the stickers. And let's go for happy birthday to you. Pop that just on there. And now we've got our two for one. <laughs> Wow. I have to say, Paul, I'm, I'm really lost easy. for words. This is what I do for a living, speak. Uh, but that's genius, especially because, you know, I, I am a baby steps crafter. I'm, I'm starting. I'm, I'm on the first part of my, my crafting journey. And that's why I wanted to be back here, home at Hochanda, to get a massive variety. I know that most of whatever I may earn, my two and six, two shillings and sixpence a week, will be coming straight back into Hochanda one way or another through orders. That is genius. And that, that one technique that, that Paul has just shown us there will make us look at all of the dies that you've got in your collection right now in a completely and utterly different way because that's just opened your eyes to dies that have been sat in the bottom of a drawer for a long time that you thought, oh, one day, one day. This complete collection of these aperture dies, now you've just seen that one technique there, which are your favourites here? Everyone's going for the full collection there. You can completely understand why as well, because you are getting... Say again, Charlotte? Wow! Right, so while Paul, while Paul was doing his demonstration there, we've gone up to two-thirds of the stock of the entire complete collection sold out and gone. Gosh, and we've still got a lot of show to go yet, by the way, and there's still a lot more that you want to add into your basket when you're ordering this complete collection of these dies as well. Um, you'll definitely want the, um, the papers, which you, you can get in the 12 by 12 and 8 by 8 as well, whichever ones you decide, and they're in a pick and mix with a brilliant saving. Sorry, I'll confine myself to this collection. This, I just want everything on this show, sorry. The adhesive sheets I want, the sticker books I want. Um, I, I do want absolutely everything. I, yes, I do want the Perga glitters as well. I think this sample, and I keep coming back to this sample, and I don't think this has a name on it, this sample, so I'm not sure who created it. Um, but this, I think, is the best example, actually, of that perfect combination of these aperture dies, and just simply cutting out that aperture die and simply using the nesting um, dies, and I'll show you the nesting dies um, in, in a wee while as well, and just simply offsetting the mats and layers, black, white, black, white, and just offsetting the angles there, and you've got instant artwork. We've got so many examples as well that Paul showed us earlier of these incredible dies being cut out. Um, and they are, they are extraordinary. Every single one of them. I'll show you the front of the car rather than the back. <laughs> I just want to enjoy all of these. I love that. Um, with the additional flowers here, this has been done with the mountain ash dye uh, by D. And it's just lovely. Again, it's usually one of those wonderful papers um, on the inside. That's from the Indian summer uh, paper pad as well. Um, it's beautiful. The addition of some flowers there, you know, again, didn't necessarily need the flowers at all. It's nice. You can decorate up as much as you can. I love this. Again, this is just very, very simple. Just cut out in a monochrome. This has been lifted up as well onto foam pads as well. So it's given that little bit of extra depth and dimension. Again, by D there as well, using the wild privet die. Um, and the square nested dies um, and just just bringing those levels up. It's just beautiful, honestly. The breadth and depth of what you can do. And I love, I'm going to go back to these early samples that we saw where you can completely and utterly just create gorgeous works of art. That's using the poppy seed head one. That's This one's uh, made by Sheila onto a canvas panel there. And that's, and that's simply um, being, being cut out hasn't it? With a, with a nesting die behind, I, I guess. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. And, and, and Paul, I wonder if we can just quickly go back to you, just to see um, the examples you've showed us of the, of the artworks that you've created, very, very simply, by die cutting them and mounting them. Because actually, you're right, going back to the point you made earlier, there is no, no skill in running a die through a die cutter, um, absolutely. But when you've got the intricacy and the precision of these dies, you've got instant artwork, so that's giving you one life for the dies. You've got your card making, that's giving you another life. So these have many different lives, these dies, not just simply one-dimensional, are they? Exactly. And that's when, when Barbara um, was talking about um, 
let fresh cut dies and how it was all born it was all because she loved the effect of paper cutting but obviously time's an issue if you're doing that and a skill it really is with a craft knife and everything else um so she did some investigating she asked some questions and then came up with the, the fresh cut dies and that's where it was all born um, and when you look, for me, this collection of dyes is all about the artwork and the style because this transfers more for me, I think. I mean, you've got a beautiful sample on the counter from Dee where she's done a big canvas board, which is on the front cover of the II book. Um, and it's about taking it to different levels. And especially if you're selling your um, cards or your pieces of art, as I say, this very, very simply, um, is just in a beautiful 12 by 12 frame mount uh, with a piece of the 12 by 12 paper behind it. Um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, to me, what makes the die stand out as well is the designer paper range because it lifts it, it changes it. This is a beautiful black and yellow. You could have reds and pinks behind there. And it really is... There's no, I mean, again, this one here, we've got a beautiful, this is the wild privet. Um, again, the softer side of the design of parchment, the paper. Um, the beautiful Chinese lanterns. Again, you've got that color tone, the ways in which the papers have been designed. You've got that vibrant side and you've got the soft side. The gorgeous mountain ash again, and then the lovely Casablanca lilies. So it is about looking at it and again thinking, right, well, I do want to try something different. So let's give die cut a go. I've got the machine, I've had the machine for ages, and it is just a piece of card running through the machine. It's so true and it's so beautiful. And it's, and it's funny as well because when you look at the price of your entire collection for the dies, you might pay not far from that for that kind of thing that someone else has cut and mounted and dyed in a way that you love. Do you know what I mean? And actually, you've got the opportunity yeah. to do that over and over and over and over and over and over again in thousands of different ways. We've got to look at the paper pads quickly, Paul, because they are, I mean, they are just awesome. Um, every single one of them, I'm, I'm just going to dive in and, and grab the Shenandoah one. These are pick and mix um, on these, so any two for the price that you see there, which is £25.98, so a £10 saving. They're all double-sided papers, as Paul was showing us earlier as well. So they've got a softer side and they've got a more decorative side, every single one of them. I love the fact that they're so beautifully tonal as well, almost like sh someone's shining a, an extra spotlight into the papers, and that's what adds that extra dimension and definition. And you really get a feeling of atmosphere um, with papers. They're not just simply one pattern that are, that are running through the whole thing you've got real interest you can see the story like you can you can see the sunrise you can see lava you can see landscapes you can see lots and lots of different things and again using those dyes that we've got in the collection today adding these to the background of those whether you use the softer side the more tonal side or whether you use that more sort of vibrant side um, with the different tones of color um, you know, it, it always works. And actually, every single person's artwork is going to be completely and utterly different. Um, so that's just one of the four um, paper pads. Do you want me to have a little flick through? Can I just go through Indian Summer very, very quickly? Because that's really, really lovely. I'm so sorry. I'm, t I'm too short for these counters. I'm just going to have to do a little bit of rearranging. I'm not as tall as Paul, you see. There you go. Let's see, let's see what I can do. Sorry, I'll just wreck the joint while I'm here as well. This is Indian Summer. And I just know we're going to love this. Again, just look at the tonality. You just want to leave yourself. You just want to dive. That's like diving into one of those big surfing waves, isn't it? You just, it takes you straight to the Caribbean on a surfboard. Not that I've ever been on a surfboard, but, you know, it just takes you straight where? They're there. There's atmosphere in every single one of these papers. And I love the tonal ones. I, I just think every one of them, you know what? You know you're going to use them. Actually, to be honest with you, what I would do if you're going for a pick and mix is probably pick two of the same. And then you've got a looker and one that you'll dare to cut into, because that's the thing with paper pads, isn't it? Um, you've, got, you've got the beauty of them, and you can't just keep flicking through them forever looking at them. Eventually, you've got to use them. That's what they're for as well. So if you do the pick and mix and you love one in particular, get two of the same. Take advantage of that pick and mix saving um, while you can. Right, while I rearrange all the chaos that I've made here, let's go back down to Kent uh, and Paul. What are you going to show us next, Paul? 
You were just talking about those beautiful 12 by 12s, which Barbara's um, created. So they're a unique design. It's not sort of like clip art or anything. She actually created those with inks and special papers to come up with those designs. And it takes a certain skill to be able to do that. Now, I'm not a messy crafter. Um, so to have those papers, and in each of those pads, you're going to get 12 different designs and four sheets of each. So it means you can use three and then keep one because you always want to keep one. But when we was, you were talking about that, I've got these um, frame mounts, um, probably not so good. But look, just by framing, I wonder if I can do, if I do it this way. Can we see that any better if I hold yeah. it up? Yeah. So you can see, look, that's just a piece of artwork. It doesn't yes. need anything else. Yeah. It's just a frame around the outside. Um, again, I'll just flick to another random one. Um, just there. Look, I mean, that on the wall, again, no skill required at all. But I thought what we do, we have a look at the, the dies again, because I know they're proving popular. And all of the dies, this is the beautiful mountain ash. So this is from the second collection, if you're going for the individual collections. It's square, but it's now become a circle. Okay. Ooh, yes, really how? easy to do. <laughs> Really easy. You've got two options. You can take the nested circle and create an aperture and then pop the die cut underneath it for it to come through. But what's even easier is if I take a piece of card and I take my die and all I'm going to do is just pop it on there and I'm just going to run this through the die cutting machine. Okay. So just attach it on there. I'll get my plates back into play, just like that, create my sandwich, and we'll run that through. Whoops, static. There we go. So what we're doing, hang on, am I doing this right? Yeah, I'm doing this right. I had to think about that then. <laughs> right, so what we're doing, so I'm just cutting out the normal square, so you can have a set of these to one side, and you think, right, okay, I can make toppers out of them, um, you can just put the paper behind them really really nice and easy okay so we're just going to remove that low tack tape from there very very slowly i'm going to bring my waste bin into play again okay and then all we're going to do we're just going to get rid of all the bits in there now this is a really really detailed line let me just move that out whoops move that out the way it's a really sort of detailed die. So they're not stuck in there. All it is is they're just being held. So I've got one of these sort of little brushy tools that just saves a little bit of time. Now, I've worked with many dies over the years, some of them really, really detailed. And you can spend 10, 15 minutes getting all the bits out. And then once you've done it on the card, you've then got to go back and do it on the die. Not yeah. the case with our dies because of that special coating. Okay, so let's just make, there we go, one just there, quick and easy. Okay, all done. Let's just pop that in the bin and bring that in. So look at that, just on the on the white, I mean, yeah. that, you don't need to do anything the else The atmosphere is there straight away. And you could transform that through the seasons just by using different colors behind, in front, Absolutely. pieced in, coloured in, yeah. whatever, you know, yeah, instantly. Yeah, just like that, quick and easy. So then what we're going to do now is I'm going to take a piece of the double-sided adhesive sheet again, and I'm going to repeat that same process as we did in the, the previous one. So that goes there, shiny side up. I'm going to go onto the back of the die cut, and I'm going to attach that to the back okay so still not a circle yet though is it no but but that again is another quick and easy card you could put gilding flakes on there you could use glitter um, and which I'm actually going to do now I'm going to take some glitter okay so what color should we go for this time Derek right That's these the are the pergola glitters got... aren't they let's go for yep. What about, what did you do last time? It was copper last time, wasn't it? I did copper last time, yeah. What about, what about a bit of silver for that one as well? Because it's, it's kind of a bit snowy okay. outside in some places, isn't it? So. It is, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sprinkle that 
just over there. And you know, I'm only going to use part of what I'm doing, but I'm not worried about the glitter that I'm going to, the piece I'm going to throw away because it's minimal. There's so much glitter in that pot. For some reason, it seems to rejuvenate itself and last a long time. So we're just going to pop that. It doesn't, though, but it feels <laughs> as if it does. I just thought I'd better say that but, just in case. People yeah, think, absolutely. Oh, yeah, just, just for the watchdogs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've got about five minutes, Paul. I have to say, if you want to get those Perga glitters, they are on the show as well. Uh, it's a really, really good price tag. I love the storage as well, because actually, trying to keep your glitters together, actually, I've noticed from the small collection that I've got, some are there, some are in that drawer, some are down there, and some are there. Actually, it keeps them all together really, really nicely. And it's a, a really nice, fine glitter as well, by, uh, by the looks of it, Paul. It's not needing any management. No, it's ultra fine. And the reason it's ultra fine is we brought it out to work with parchment craft. And on parchment craft, you need the delicacy of it. So it can't be too grainy like salt. This is ultra, ultra fine. And it just means that you can do a lot more with it and get that delicacy to it. So what I'm now going to do, I've taken our nested circles, which we've got on the show. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to die cut the circle out of the middle. OK, so I'll just find my plate again and we're just going to run that through our machine again. OK, so again, nice and easy, depending on the pressure in your machine. Um, because what I've done on that one, I took off um, the white backing on that one. And the white backing is a paper, whereas the yellow backing is a waxy paper, so it's a little bit thicker. So you just may need to, if you've done what I've done now, you may need to just run it through your machine again. But, he says famous last time, I feel confident that it has actually cut it out first time round. There we go. Look at that. Right, OK. So I could, he says, go to the wrong camera, I could, I can use that for something else. Yeah, that's a so frame, that isn't it? creates a nice frame. It is, yeah. So you could use that on another project. But what I'm interested in is this bit here. And then I'm going to bring another one of our card blanks in. Then we're going to take the backing off because it's now, because it's double sided. Okay. And then actually I'm going to lay this flat. And now I can pop that just there. Rub that down. So now I've got a really nice glittered car topper. Let me bring that in over here so you can really see oh, yeah. that sparkle. See? Lovely. So you've got a really nice shimmer. There. And you've got it's it's quality, it really is. And then all I'm gonna do just to finish off, I'm gonna take happy birthday to you from the Christmas celebration set. That works really, really nicely, doesn't it? So I that's think that was a good choice glitter. of mine, the silver, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. So you've got glitter and then you've got gilding flakes. So you'll get the same sort of thing. If you've got gilding flakes in your stash, you'll get the same type of effect. Fabulous. Paul, really can I nice. just ask you a very, very quick question? Because I've got a sample here from Sheila and it almost looks like she's used yeah. one of the, um, the dyes to emboss. Because this, cause this feels like it's embossed here rather than die cut. Yep, so what you can do with the dies, if you, you cut out the dies like I've just, um, when I cut out the piece earlier, yeah. um, what you can do, you can either use that as a stencil, yeah. so you can, if you cut out in black card, obviously you can run ink over it, yeah. but you can also use it to run through your die cutting machine as an embossing as oh. well. Oh, so amazing. Again, the, the die cut itself, not the die, the die cut that right. you cut out, so die cut you can it. use die cut oh, it and then it. the piece of the card you turn that and you can run it through depends on the sandwich combination Paul we needed a five um, hour show we needed a five hour <laughs> show can we have a five hour show next time um, <laughs> a little bit of experience goes a long way with me I've got so many more questions anyway when are you back um, Barb's back at the end of the month uh, mixed media Friday I think it's the 27th and then we're back on the 7th of February fabulous stay safe good to see you Paul uh, and take, you take great care, care of yourself um, oh amazing uh, as always please do check out your baskets I want everything from this show I have to say no exaggeration whatsoever I love it <laughs> Thank you.
Right, I'm off shopping right now. I'm going to leave you with Paola with the one day special, which is Dolly Dimples, of course, and the Dolly Tops. We've got Saturday surprises. I have no idea what that will be, but I'll see you in an hour and we'll all find out together. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Free Spirit is the home of some of the biggest names in designer quilting fabrics, like Kay Fassett, Tula Pink and William Morris, and have been proud to supply Hochanda for the last 12 months. Join us on Thursday the 14th of January at 6pm for the Free Spirit First Anniversary One Day Special. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche.
are you doing? Oh, I suddenly whisper. Hello. Hello, how are you? Anyway, <laughs> don't know what's going on. In my head, I wish I could share things, but there's nothing. There's nothing in my head other than a lot of crafting and, of course, a lot of savings. And the both of that is uh, you can achieve that with the one day special. This is the final life hour in which we have a look at the Dolly Dimples Dolly Tots. And, of course, we couldn't have Dolly Dimples without Charmaine. Hello, Charmaine. Unless one of the crew was there. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I can I say again how much I love your top? Thank you very much. And how much I love your dress. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, we like each other's fashion. That's yeah. really nice. If only I was a little bit smaller. Oh, uh, well, you know, <laughs> you don't want to be that short as me. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on uh, to the one day special. 48 stamps in total. Now, of course, uh, the 48 stamps in total is the doll, uh, Dolly Tots. Now, if I, we were, when we were prepping for this with the producer and director, we were kind of immediately kind of saying, this is so and so, this is Leone, this is Holly, this is, you know, Yeah, and Paula. I was giggling in the background, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I know, because you have other personalities here. Uh, the blonde guy would be Marcus, one of our directors. You kind of have got that sort of personalities coming through, and I adore that. But also you have got elements to build the scene. Yes, yes. I mean, you can build a football scene, you can build a rocket scene, you can build a home scene. You can build a walk in the dog scene, you can be playing in the woods, splatting about. It's just totally up to you what you want to do and how you want to use them. And I love when you have got a project like this because then you have got like almost like characters in a story. Yeah, it reminds me of like Disco Roller. And they're all there, they've not yes. got the roller skates on yet, but they're all like waiting and waiting and waiting and we're going to go and we're going to have a party. Absolutely. And we're going to jump about and play in mud and dance away and things like that. Now, of course, you can see, if you see here, oh, well, let me put her here, that's the same as Sam, but they look suddenly completely different characters. Yes, two different um, crafters um, colouring in and it makes total difference and that's what's great about having a mix of uh, DT people. They all do different things, they all put different spins on it. But then again, when you get them home, you give one character bright pink hair you know, add some little facial fixes and you've got a punk rocker, then you tone it down and use brown hair and you've got, you know, a regular Joe Brock blogs there. Absolutely. That, I that can, makes sense. It does. And of course, they are absolutely stunning images and really fun and, and colourful in a way that you have got, I love that you always do that, you give us an index uh, with um, index cards printed with the yes. colours. So then we immediately, because of course, when we open the clear stamps, we don't have any colour, but... Yeah. Clear stamps to me are boring. The yeah. visual is what makes you think, yes, I like that, and now I could do X, Y, and Z. So you've got a starting point there. You don't have to choose to use it, but there's a starting point. Absolutely. And, uh, and of course, you can see that also you are getting more than what is on the index sheet, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Because there was extra space, so we popped a few extra ones in there. Which and there's no point putting the extra ones on the front because it's the same one. We could have done it in different colours, really. So yeah, so you can have it yeah. there. Right, it, of course, that's the one day special. And now you have got a flexi buy option to spread the cost into interest free payments of £24.97. That £16 saving, of course, the courtesy of the one day special, well, is there. But however, if you are a Freedom member, well, it's even better because you have got a £20.99 saving. Now, it is a way not deal because it means that if you are not a Freedom member and you become one, you pay £5.97 per month, you have got also a standard P and P free uh, during the duration of your Freedom membership, which means that it's worth becoming one. Uh, and then, of course, purchasing the one day special. Right, 095604 is your item number. However, we do have got a complete collection. Now, that complete collection is the actual one day special with the stamps and the matching dice. And one of the things I really love is sometimes when we have got matching dice, we have got the matching dice for the, say, the characters, the major stars of the stamps. However, for this one, we get exactly every die that we need for every single stamp. I love the way that um, Charmaine was explaining how the dice have got like an outer line. Yes. So yes. that you can do a shadow. Yeah, so you can do a shadow on there, and the other thing is, once you've die cut it, you can take your grey, couldn't you? And you can go in almost like you're using a stencil because it's slightly got that little bit of a bump. 
plus if you wanted to do little dotty lines around it and fill it in it gives you that perfect edge to meet her i think actually in what in there somewhere will probably be some that have been colored in around the outside edge as you flick through okay. which is exactly what we're talking about right look you've got to spot them now <laughs> so like if you've got the black border on there you can fill you know the black edge you can fill it in with a bit of um the white secure gel pen yeah exactly. and just dot 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 or you could go um a running stripe around it and it really does mix it up and change it Absolutely. I think it kind of brings it into this, you know, funky century. If that it makes does, sense. doesn't it? Here you have got some. Yes, I've that, definitely that, done that. There the you one. go. Oh, I the, thought it was in the yeah, the, yeah uh, on the rocket, on on the flower, a bedonga, and just going round them edges of that black outline, and going black, white, black, white, and it's really, really easy to do. It's almost like it's been done for you. It's and the pen just glides. It makes you look really professional when you're on TV and doing it, but you're just butting up to that edge. Absolutely, and I, I love that. And here, of course, you have got those possibilities. Here is the other way around. Is yeah. the it is a white paper with black marker, and of course that is showcases all the possibilities. Well, some of the possibilities of if you go for the complete collection. Now you have got a five pound saving there, uh, and you of course you have got a flexible. This time there is three payments. What that means is, of course, you can flex it, pay £31.63. pence. If you're a Freedom member, you don't pay PMP on the first um, on the installment. And then anything else you want to add in the basket, then you can flex it in three interest-free payments. 892-985 is your item number for the complete collection. Then we have got the uh, frames and accessories for the Dolly Tots. Now, this is one of those sets that I really love. Not only because they kind of coordinate with the dolly tops, tots, but because they work really well on their own as well. They are one of those ones that no matter if you have gone for the one day special or not, these will complement and expand all you know all those different stamps that you have got at home. Uh, we are getting words in here. We are getting borders as well. Yeah, it's, um, they're a good all round staple. So it's a, a go to stamp, a go to set. You've got words, words in there, you've got your borders, you've got your frames, you can chop your borders up, you can make them into backgrounds, you've got background stamps, um, filler in stamps, whatever you like to call them. And you can, of course, <coughs> use the corner, like the frames, cut mm -hmm. them up, yeah. so you don't have to use them as the size they, they, they are. No, I mean, you can use them and cut out the middles, you could cut out the elements, you can um, fussy stamp and mask off and keep going and keep going and keep going and extend. Mm -hmm. So there's lots and lots of options for you. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that the flowers, for instance, are included in this one. The borders, the words, so much more. £29.96 is the price for the borders. Uh, now, uh, there has got a £14 saving, a fabulous saving there. Remember, flex again, that means that you can flex by anything about £5. 542625 is your item number. Right, if uh, every single hour of the one day special has featured happy hours, except the first 6 p.m. that they did sell out uh, within like seconds. Uh, now we have brought them back, some of them. Now you can see here that you have got the Dolly Dimples A3 Super Smooth Premium Black um, A250 GSM and Mixed Media, but look at it, limited stock. So if you want to grab it, please do check out your baskets ASAP. You have got a 14 pound saving, 12 pounds and 19 pounds is what you are paying which you can flexi buy if you want better than half price then there is the embellishments we all need a little bit of blink in our lives 9.99 is your price you're saving five pounds seven seven four seven nine six is your item number and we have got also limited stock worth mentioning so remember there are happy hours that they have been brought uh, back uh, to this hour but the stock is very limited uh, now this it was from 8 o'clock last night. I adore this size because it features arrows and hearts. Uh, arrow through the hearts. Uh, or, of course, leaves and even branches in there. I'm worrying about you. <laughs> you should. Uh, right, uh, 15 pounds saving, uh, 14 pounds and 98 pence makes it better than half price. Six, uh, three, six, seven, seven, eight, nine uh, is your item number. Uh, well, do not worry about me, uh, Charmaine, but we want to see you demonstrate. So that's the only thing okay I'm just grabbing a piece of paper and I'm going to start with the um, the happy hour dies so if I, I can lift them up and you can get an idea I of the two sets stories. together I absolutely adore this one and we've got some fantastic samples down there 
So you get the left and the right um, of these, and these are like quirky um, fantasy flowers. They can be whatever you want if you want to chop them about. And then you get um, the two, the left and the right, so you've got the opposites of these really delicate swirls, which are kind of like little coils. And then ignore the fact that I've got two leaves, I'm greedy. You get the two leaves, which are kind of curved, so you could make um, like a reef shape if you wanted, or you can do a trestle, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You have a D and two circles. I've not um, popped mine out because I quite like them together as a Polar. You get one I class as like a banner, a border strip, and um, two arrows left and a right. Obviously, your chevron, which can be a repeated one, and then you can make a stencil with it, and the oval in there as well. I don't think I've missed anything. I think that's all of them there, yeah. but uh, I could be wrong. Oh, and the double hearts, which is what I'm about to use now. So I'm going to take a piece of. Have you got some pretties to show? Because I like pretties. Have you got pretties? No. Pretties. The pretties oh. are right at the end. Oh, right. So I'm going to grab will, them. I've got my double-sided... I've got my... No, I haven't. I've got a piece of um, the backing paper there. Am I in a good spot? Yeah. And I'm just going to take a little um, bit of tape. In fact, I'm just going to detack that just to make sure. Yeah. Um, pop that on. So I'm putting both hearts through at once. It's not perfectly aligned, but it's quirky enough and it'll work for what I want. So you could spend a little bit more time and perfectly align it. And you don't have to do this, but what it's going to give me is, the only way I could describe it is, is like, well, you'll see when it comes out. I don't need to try and describe and muffle my words up. So out it pops. And I'll peel that back. And once I've shown you that, very, very, very simple. Um, Howla can show us some pretties. Yeah, yeah, I've got the pretties as so, well. Yeah. Got that piece there. We have end up with the heart that was in the centre, which has obviously cut out the big one as well. Yeah, come on, you. And we've got those. And then I could cut them out of a different colour, which would give me a centre for that one as well. Okay. So I will do that where you want to show um, the well, pretties. Yeah, because here we have got the heart that you just cut out of the smaller one. And you can see the arrows as well from that one there. And then, of course, you have got that one that you liked so much at the top of here. And then, of course, you have got the branches there. And then, of course, at the end, you open it up. And then you have got all those elements in there, elements there. Gorgeous. And, and this showcases how versatile in terms of the style they are. I'm yeah. going to show you a couple more because they are absolutely stunning. The hearts like decoupaging and then this one is, I adore it. I do. Uh, Lou Sims did that on a Facebook Live. Yeah. Um, I think she shared it. To, it was in um, Crafting Together with All Bronze, but I think she shared it to the Dolly Dimples Crafts Group as well. And she then she says that she doesn't do clean and simple, and she does that. We call it clean and elegant, my dear. That oh, is awesome I see. Card. Yeah, oh, well, I, I am clean and simple. She's clean and elegant. <laughs> Bless. No, your cards are lovely and elegant. No, no. The one that she did with the boots is absolutely amazing, which is the first one that's over there. So I have got my hearts cut out. I'm just going to pop that to one side. But if you show the boots, and the inside the boot, on the top of the boots, as if the boot was an actual um, vase, yeah. that's um, the same funky, funky flower. Isn't that gorgeous? It is absolutely gorgeous. Now that now the, now I want to alter uh, boots and yeah. then put it a vase inside it. Yeah, I did many, many years ago um, um. do um, a di different uh, medium products, and I altered a pair of my son's. Um, what do they call them? Steel toe cap boots. Ooh. Rather than throw them away. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, painted, I painted them up and they looked really, really good. So we've got these hearts anyway, and it's coming up to Valentine's Day, isn't it? It's, it's not oh, that yeah. long away, you know. Forget Easter and all the rest of it. <laughs> so I could layer up the two like that, that gives you a colour behind. I could leave five weeks tomorrow. Five weeks tomorrow. See, not long. It's I mean, day. I don't, yeah. I don't yeah. and you know, that's not for me, obviously. <laughs> five weeks tomorrow. Oh. You could send a Valentine's um, Day card. I could say, yeah, I could say uh, anonymous Valentine's, couldn't I? Yeah, just to wind somebody up for fun. <laughs> well, so one year, a friend of mine sent me a Valentine's, mm -hmm. and, and it, it, was, it wasn't like romantic or anything, but it kind of, I got it, I was anonymous, and I went like, oh, I have got some secret admirer. Then I found out it was just uh, a girlfriend who wanted to make me feel better, but they make me feel worse. You know? <laughs> it would freak me out thinking, who is it? 
it. Yeah. I'd like people to put their names on things. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Valentine's Day is always kind of free. We should do like a competition. Or I would, you know, sending, uh, you know, Valentine's cards or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we should make them. And then yes. guess who's made you that absolutely. one. Absolutely. That's, That's a good bit. That would be cracking, wouldn't it? Guess yep. who's made this yeah, one. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so this is a card that I started in a previous hour. And me being slow, didn't uh, get to finish it. And what I've actually done, if I've moved this one here, is where I've punched out the um, arrows, yeah. I've used that as a stencil. I've used some of the background sta yes. um, stamps there from um, the border frames and accessories in the background. And then I'm placing on, I've not glued them yet, but like we were talking about before, this little edge that's in there, I'm running that stitch around there and it's butting up to that tiny edge there. Yep. And I think you can actually see it better on the, um, on the negative where you know yes. it's pressed it. It's like that idea and you just put that little dot in. So we've done that. So we're going to get this glued on and then we can colour these bits and pieces. But how different does that one, that funky flower there look compared to the beautiful Perfect. ones that lose colour in? So you've got the options. That's just cutting it out of black um, and adding white so you don't have to be a colorist is that the word that people are yeah, using? I Ooh, mean, wow, me and a big I think that's the correct word, colorist. Colorist. No, oh, it's it's one that we use. I didn't actually want it there. I actually wanted it. Well, I wonder if I can manage. Right. Yeah, I can. I can. I can. I want it here to change the shape. Oh, Not that I don't I like see. the shape of the card, but I want it there to change the shape. So if I'm quick, I don't want it to come down too much. There we go. If I'm quick, I can just. Am I ever thinking that the 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 shape of the card is from the, your template? No, you are very professional, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so this comes in the template kit and you build it up, you get three pieces to it. You have the inside piece, the matting and layering piece, and then the back piece um, here. Oh, please don't tell me I've goofed up. You back, you get, yes, you get the back piece here, and you should really check to make sure you've got them all lined up properly. So then you've got a flat side, <laughs> Yo, few, a bottom. Few. You've got, yeah, you've got a flat bottom and uh, it will stand up nice and straight when you open it out and you glue the edge bit. We'll do that in a minute so you can see. So that comes in that template set. So you do get rather a lot of your money. I've added some bling out of the, um, you know, the little gems that are on as the happy hour as well. So these are happy hour dice and you don't have to choose, you get them both and that's a silly price. And then I've used the words which come in and I've chopped the colour away which are on those sheets on the backing paper. So I want this to stick out a little bit as well because I like things to be just a little bit different opposed to, uh, don't get me wrong, I do like rectangles and square cards and things but I like things that are a little bit different and shaped. So we've got laugh together is the two words that I've pulled there and I want to change the colours up instead of them being the cream I want them to tie in with what we've got so we're going for pink because I like pink. That's the pinky purple. There we go. So all I'm going to do to change those words up is just do some really fancy colour in. There we go. And these ones are the ones from uh, the papers, right? Yes. Yes. They're in the paper pack. So it all ties together. And oh, it wasn't. Uh, and then you have enough. got like all A4 with a printed here, so you can see. Yeah, so you can choose your own words. You can add, you could leave, you can leave a little bit of a border of the colour to jazz it up like I've done here. Oh, there you go. Same overhead. So I've left a little bit of a border and I've chosen some words, which is quite, quite funky. Or you can chop it out completely. So that sheet is from that one in your hand there. So the one in black. So you are getting both of them, two of each, uh, 15 designs as well with other backgrounds. But these two for me are the ones that I know I would be using all the time. And you are getting so many words as well in here. Love it. Right. Okay, so I'm gluing the arrows on. So I'm just going to move these, move these over. So I'm working a little bit flatter and I can see exactly what I'm doing. And I've just realized I've not actually glued the bottom bit down. So you can just sit on my hand and we'll just pop it in. Normally I would cover, cover it, but we'll just for, need for speed. We'll just pop some glue in there so you can get an idea. I can always pull it back later and do it at home. I'll get a stapler out and staple it. Why not? Added feature. Yeah. So <laughs> pop that one in there. So that's going to run across the top of the card there facing down. That one's already in position and the glue's just here. And this one is coming up from below. 
pointing to the together. See, that's where your Valentine's Day comes in, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so I didn't want too much on that. But the advantage of having both of them, yes, you can turn it over, but you don't get that edge, is you can then go in with another one on the back side, which would cover that if it's got an igloo on as well, and makes it a little bit of a feature. Kind of ties it, tidy, tidies it up a little bit. Does that make sense? It does, okay. absolutely. With the arrows on the other side, if you um, line up where you have done it, and if you want to go in with a pen and do your dot, dot, dot around, you can use this as a stencil to go right round the edge as well. So that's quite a cool thing to do. We're going to add these two bits here, and they're going to go like that. That's it. So one, two. It's just kind of layering up little elements. So one's going to go like that. Um, not as fancy as the way that Lou's done her beautiful uh, hats. What do they call it? Is it a, cri a triptych card or something where it's layered up like that? Do you know the actual mm -hmm. name for it? A triptych. triptych. Oh, um, why do I even try to no, pronounce uh, it, these things? Triptych is with three sides, isn't it? With a main side and then do something like a gatefold. Yeah. Um, so, so, so you mean... Um, when, hmm. you, when you've done an image and then you die cut it out and then you layer it up on top so it's popping uh, above like she's done with the um, hearts. Uh, oh, I have no well, idea what they call that, but it has got a name. I would call, uh, see the thing is, I would call it uh, decoupage, or I would call yes, it. Yes, I would call it decoupage. Oh, okay, too, that's fine. I think, <laughs> I think it's got a different name. Yeah, that, hey, that's okay. Who cares? As long as you have fun or doing a spot, it. Uh, uh, or a spot die cutting. Spot die cutting. Yeah, because uh, you make it into a uh, focus, a spot focus into there. So yes. kind of, kind of, and then of course you can then do like uh, this one is done. That the colouring is different with uh, it has been where it has been die cut or uh -huh. not. But th but I'm not sure because it, I like you. Like I grab names and sometimes they're not the accurate names. <laughs> it depends who shows you the first time. Exactly. I mean, yeah. Things that have that we're still doing absolutely. now are from like 20 years ago when we first started with all these And they have got And the names have changed. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It's, it's like... No wonder uh, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. <laughs> me either. Me either. I'm going to blame it on that. People changing names. Yeah. So we have um, the little heart and we'll pop it there. Yeah? So we pop that in. And right. Got one there and one there. And one there and then we'll pull off these backs and I'll let you tell that. All one. right, so we have had an email. Uh, well, of course, Charmaine uh, stakes uh, the element to it. It's a really good one. Christine, I believe, yeah, uh, uh, is from him. Uh, so, Christine, for uh, over 10 years, I think, she sent Valentine's cards unsigned to one of uh, her friends, male friends. And he confided in her, like, I'm getting all this in, in these Valentines, but I have no idea who they are from. And of course, it took her uh, some time to reveal that she was the source of them. But uh, it's just, I hope she did confess in the end, and I hope he took it well. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be. But this could be. When jokes go on for years, it's really, really yeah. funny because it tickles the joker. <laughs> I hope. But can you imagine if it was actually the beginning of a love story? That could be. It, oh, really. that sounds like a film, actually. It does. It? it would be a good film. A good, it? like, not as a joke. Don't send them as a joke. Send them as a reality, like you know. A love story. Oh. Don't, and don't <laughs> wait 10 years to tell the person not. Maybe too late, though, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he's married with and kids. And required, yeah. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Absolutely. Well, in these days, I mean, speaking from experience, it could be um, get married and then divorced and then, you know, something. Good point. Is Christine still friends? Yeah, exactly. Christine, yeah, do email us in if uh, you're still good friends with um, this uh, friend. That is fun, though. Oh. Once somebody, um, we're going to the supermarket and my kids were little and they said to me, will you pick, some, pick me something up? I know they said, I said, oh, they said to me, they weren't going to the supermarket, they were going to the garage and it was quite late at night. And they said, do you want anything picking up? And I said, oh, just get me some snack, you know, something, something to eat. Because they were all getting snackies. Yeah. They come back with a tin of blooming dog food, a cat food. <laughs> and I went in the kitchen to find out what they'd got me. 
There's yeah. nothing there. Oh, it's in the kitchen, so on the side, and I went back in and saw this tin, tin I says, and I went back in with it, and went, is that it? Well, it turned into a curry a few months later, when they turned up the house and they'd been out, and I hadn't. I said, oh, are you going to make us something? Yeah, yeah, I'll make you something. They're all eating away and really enjoying it until, <gasps> until I told them it was the present that bought me. That is... I, I'm not, mean, I can't I'm not tell say. you how they got me back a few months later, but really good friends, and we're still friends. And you are still friends. And we're still <laughs> friends. It's a group of friends, and we do play practical jokes on each other all the wow. time. It was only one tin shared between six with a load of like tomatoes and things so it wouldn't have like knocked them out or kill them. Uh, okay. <laughs> never uh, you know what? I don't I don't cook cook no me <laughs> met mental note, always cook for Charmaine. Never let her cook for you. No, just remember that if you're gonna play a joke on me, I will wait. Oh. <laughs> I will wait. I will get you back. I will wait. But uh. I can certainly handle a joke. <laughs> yeah, well you clearly can, yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's 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 a really good one. All right, one day special. <laughs> We're we just like in a story. Let's bring it back to the one day special. Uh, we have got the stamps. Uh, we have got 48 gorgeous uh, Dolly Tots, a uh, complete collection of uh, stamps. Now, in here, you are not only getting them, but you are getting, of course, you are getting the rocket, you are, uh, the space rocket, the, you know, the footprints. It could be, you know, to just just to reflect on children playing outside is art journaling is cards is i think this is really cool to create there was one sample i think with isn't when you can actually create oh no it was the houses but you could do the same with the magnets if you kind of oh, attach yes. them into and then you can do like a chart um shore do you know like for the chores at home Oh, so yes, whoever yes, it is, give doing... them a name. Yeah, yeah. And some, um, one kid has to hoover up, the other one has to dust, and the other one has to yeah, polish. Exactly. And Cinderella has to stoke the fire. Absolutely. <laughs> and this going to be more children now. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, now, of course, the dog will not be very good at hoovering, but who knows? Maybe you have trained him well. Oh, but the child could be taking the dog for a walk. Absolutely. Or feed the birds as well. Mm. And now, or feed the birds. And now, but the great thing is like the crown as well. Look at the how the way. That they color in as well how different do they look the flowers the different elements large and small cards this could be maybe for a game as well it could be a photo frame there are lots of different ways of decorating them i love that they have got personality i love that you can make them for a younger generation maybe for the cooler generation as well it's up to you how you use them but of course how you color them maybe you're like charmaine and you love your cupcakes or alcohol markers or maybe you prefer watercolors like emma blake you know it's, it's up to you how you color them the stamps give you that amazing impression every single time very fine lines of course and you are getting even more let me grab a piece of white card so you can see say how for instance you are getting that extra one that is not reflected on the uh, index sheet so you have got of uh, all those uh, elements in there now that is the one day special a 16 pounds saving 49 pounds and 94 pence however if you're a freedom member 20 pounds and 99 pence because you are not paying PMP which would be three pounds and 95 pence that means that it's a why not deal because you if you become a freedom member you will pay five pounds and 97 pence per month that includes a standard free delivery on anything that you buy here at Hachanda. That means that, of course, the saving is even bigger if you're a Freedom member. And, of course, if you flexibly, you only pay 22 pence and 48 pence today and you get all of it. 095-604 is your item number. However, if you hate fussy cutting or if you want more possibilities with your crafting, it's perfect to go for the complete collection. Now, here you are getting 48 dies that perfectly match the 48 stamps that you also are getting you have got a five pound saving here as well 94 pounds and 88 pence that you can split the cost not in two but in three easy interest-free payments of 31 pounds and 63 pence remember if you're a freedom member you do not pay p and p now that will make sure that you can use different techniques like including that one that was so cool i adored this one let me see if i can find it here sorry because it's just so cool i just wanted to show you that of course by die cutting and fussy cutting look i mean that that's because it has got a kind of a wobbler springs or something yeah, like that. springs yeah springs yeah 
but don't go. I like that. All right, if you want to go for the concert collection, you could do something like that. Of course, the donga is not included. Uh, eight to nine two nine eight five is your item number. Then we have got the frames and accessories. Do Dordas, uh, you are getting four sets in here included. You are getting two larger frames, then the borders, then you are getting the backgrounds as well. I love these. Uh, let me show you. Uh oh, you know, it flew away. If, well, uh, you're swinging, you know, it will, it will not fly away. Uh, anyway, so you have got here the flowers in different sizes, the borders, the words in here. Uh, I like that. Glad of I, lovable, be happy, be joyful, be sparkle, be true. You have got those words in there that you can bring into your projects. It kind of perfectly matches the Dolly Tots. And now if you want to kind of work in, let's show you. So you can stamp with as well the one the, the one day special, the, the, the birds, but of course the flowers are kind of featured in them. And if you have got here, you can see the frames as well that kind of feature as well. And you can see there as well how the flowers, you can mix it all up together. 29 pounds and 96 pence is your price. Uh, and now five of four to six to five is your item number now the papers I really, really love these ones. I love that Charmaine always brings us papers that are printed in full color, but on top of cream pay and cream paper. Now you are getting 30 printed sheets, 15 designs, two of each. So you can see the cream on the back of it. This you can cut them around. I love how you read this. But wild down, woman, small, all garden, wine. I love that. This is the, the way that you just line them up. I just love it. Uh, and then of course you have got words in here written that that kind of coordinates perfectly with some of the stamps, but they are different sizes. You have got the dolly tots here in miniature, and then you have got not so quite miniature, matching the stamps, but not quite in terms of sizes. So that gives you a more, even more versatility. Those backgrounds, gorgeous flowers, coloring, ready to use. And of course, you are also getting the words in white, which means that of course, like Charmaine has shown, you can colorize that white block any color you want, but or leave them as they are. 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price you're saving. Nine pounds, two, four, six, nine, four, zero is your item number. Templates. Uh, Charmaine has been using these ones on. Shall I start? Yeah, I'm well, gonna start here. So let's, <laughs> right. So in here you have got the gorgeous. You can see here the templates. Now you are getting four templates. You are getting the French oval, the ornate square, uh, the birdhouse, and the fancy edge card. Now let's have a look at these gorgeous projects that Charmaine did at 6 p.m. last night. So if you wanted to know how she did the uh, roof, you can uh, head back to hotchanda.com rewind and. 6 p.m. last night. Now this is a template. It's a proper nice size, and of course, perfect for the dolly, to dolly uh, tots. Uh, you know, kind of sizing in them. And then of course the templates for the cards. Now this is this is what I would call a triptych, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I would call that one a triptych. No, yeah. no, okay, yeah. good. I got it right for once. Uh, so you can see in here again how this be. This is very ornate. It can be very pretty, but also can be very funky and useful. And of course, the one that Charmaine her, uh, was using just now. Also, you are getting the fancy edge card as well here, the bracket style. Now, all four of them for nine ninety nine. They are templates uh, printed into cardstock. If you want to make them a little bit more durable, you can can uh, you know kind of uh, laminate them but personally I think they are durable because they are pr uh, printed onto a car stock. You have got a five pound saving 287404 is your item number. Right, happy hours. We do have got sale uh, the cars. I believe it is limited to stock though, so I would be quick, be quick. Uh, single figures actually, so be quick to check out your baskets. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. You are saving fourteen pounds, which makes it better than half price. You have about twenty-six minutes to check out your baskets because remember those savings of fourteen pounds are going to disappear at the end of the hour. The dice are also very popular, and I adore them. I I think they are really cool. You have got a mix of, you know, what I call it, 
funky and floral. Uh, you have got some beautiful uh, kind of leaves as well, like the labels, the ovals, the hearts, the arrows. 14 pounds and 98 pence means that they are better than half price because you have got a 15 pounds saving. 367789. Now, if you want some stanzas, well, Charmaine has brought them, brought some with her. We have got here three sets of A5, the screw heads, the nails and dots, dashes and shorts. This is my favorite, actually. I really, really like this one. 14 pounds and 97 pence is your price. You're saving nine pounds. And we also have got another set, which is the maze, the roses, and the cosmic uh, next, which you can see it in a second. Also with a nine pound saving. 14 pounds and 97 pence is the price for that one. And of course, ooh, let me show you a sample of the maze because that shows really cool how, oh sorry, upside down. He's upside down, hanging. <laughs> oh, you know, a left hand hang, hanging. That's what happened. Uh, right, so you have got the texture paste over the black, and of course the colors, are, and this is kind of using that's the- mop -up. That's the mop-up, that's the mop-up from a previous one. I love one. that. And it shows that how versatile the maze, is it this the maze, the one? Yes, both of them are the maze. So the maze and the maze. The maze and the maze, amazing. Uh, <laughs> five five one and nine nine three is your item number, right? Um, Charmaine, are you ready? Okay, I think I've just about finished. I don't really think it needs much else. What do you think? Uh, just a little bit of colour in the cheeks, um, yeah. che and they're good to go. Perfect. So it's an any occasion card. So it could be Valentine's, it could be a friend card, it could be get well, whatever. But you could mm. add another sentiment if you needed a sentiment. Me personally, I like nice chosen words inside, okay. and I glued it together so you can. see see where the score line is there so you run it across but the instructions are in the template and that's how it stands if I spin it around okay Perfect. okay fabulous fabulous right so that's that one shall we use another another stencil from the same set well you don't have to choose because you get them all okay yeah, yeah, the template. yeah. okay so I've drawn around I've, I've folded in half so fold in half, I'm using a mixed media card, which is on the show, and if you get the happy hour, it's in there, so it's a great taster. Mm -hmm. I've drawn around the stencil, and I drew it up to the top so I don't have to chop that bit, because me, that's just a waste of time, unless you're wanting to use this bit as a border, so you know, you could do. So draw around there, cut it out, cut it as a twofer, you can pin it and hold it, and then you end up with that shape. Uh, sorry, Charmaine, can okay. I interrupt one second? Uh, apologies for that, but uh, the happy hour with the car store has now technically sold out. That means that all the stock is allocated in people's baskets. If you have it in your baskets and you want it, check out your baskets and you will get it. Um, otherwise, the uh, basket will auto refresh and somebody else might get it. I will let you know if that happens, but um, do, I don't want anybody to miss out. Sorry about that, Charmaine. Can you imagine being in the supermarket and all of a sudden somebody and how you draw it. <laughs> well, it, it is known to have happened last year. <laughs> yes, it actually yes. has happened. It, uh, a couple of friends of mine had seen it happen to either them or somebody else in the supermarket. You would be really shocked, wouldn't you? Well, they were. They certainly were. <laughs> I licked that. Are you going to take it? <laughs> <laughs> so what I've done is I'm mixing it up a little bit. That's how the template is meant to be used. And you also get other little bits in it as well. So I've cut out two of the other bits so you get lots of bits in um, and I've cut two out that gives you the matting layer and that's going to be positioned on there but I then um, folded I'm making a posh card I folded a piece of the black and we pop that inside yeah. and I can still use these because we have these as individuals don't we we do. So we've got that in there and you can glue them together and we can pop that on, on there like that. I think I should have done it the other way around and I did have it die cut the other way around as well. But we'll run with, we'll run with this. I should have gone black and white but I'm not going to faff now I've done that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I will put on some black around the edge of it and that might sort it out. So I should have gone the opposite way around, but I didn't. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know, yeah, I know what I mean, as long as I know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That... this should have been black. Oh, okay. How many right. times does she have to say it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I got what you mean, meant, and it's like, because it happens so many, many times in my life, my crafting life, I actually think it's normal, the normal thing to do with things, like the wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is in my life, I yeah. can tell you. <laughs> right, okay, so I've got that with a little edge on it, which will, might make me a wee bit happier. Okay, so, so by doing this, I can then turn the card that way. 
Yep. So it stands that way because it's got a flat edge here, yep. whereas it didn't have a flat edge there. But I could have trimmed, if I wanted it to, I could have trimmed the back side like that, like the previous one as well. So there's options, but I quite like this. So we're going to run with that on there like that. We're going to have it this way around, or are we going to have it that way around? Mm, decisions, decisions. This is it. You can also take it up the top and wrap it around again, like we've wrapped that one around there. But I'm going to stick with this here for now. Um, yeah. Central. Yes, I'm going to go central, which is so not me. But before I do that, I have stamped... Um, I can't remember which stamp set. Let me move that out of the way. I have stamped out and coloured in one of the borders, and it's only a small. I think it's the accessories again. You see, I do leave, uh, use them quite a lot. And it's the accessories. Mm -hmm. And it's this one here. I so stamp, that. stamp, 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 colour in. And I've not cut it out perfect. I've given it a little bit of a white trim. You can cut it out um, so it's wiggling. It's nice and easy because it's wiggly. But I'm going to leave it like that and pop that underneath there as a border. There we go. Almost like a ribbon. Does that make sense? It does. It does. I so we would glue that down. Just bring it down a fraction. I would glue that down and then trim them off. So I'm just going to leave it there because I might change my mind. So I like to place things first. I'm then going to get a character that I've already stamped and coloured in. And she is going to pop over here. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to have Naughty Tom. Oh, Naughty Tom. Naughty Tom with his football. Uh -huh. And we're going to have the... Um, What's this called? Uh, goal post. That's him. <laughs> We're yeah. going to have the goal post just popping behind there. And Naughty Tom, my son's called Tom, so I can get away with that. Okay. He is going to be hiding behind here, just peeping out. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, we're doing a peepee -pee card. He does look he guilty, does doesn't look he? Look really really guilty. Guilty. So we're going to have to give him some hair colour, so we've got that to do. And then we're going to pop some little trees on. And I'll say, you can do whatever you want. This could be an extremely girly card. This can be a fun card. It could be whatever you want. You've got the basics um, to play around. And we're going to have balls in the air. Because why not? So no, we not. will have this one here. Now, that's been, they've been stamped, coloured in, and run through the die cutting machine with the coordinating dies that go with it. Then we're going to pop in the kite. The kite's been done exactly the same way. So I can pop that going up as if he's just let go of it and it's going up in the air. So we just might want to move him a little bit down here. Now, what's going to be on here? Hmm. So she looks like mother, doesn't she? Maybe she yeah. should be straight and stern. So she's looking like mother today. And uh, not my mother, but his mother. Yeah. Uh, having said that, Tom's my son. <laughs> so, <laughs> is there something you're not telling me, ma'am? So now I'm thinking, because we've talked about it quite a few times, that I really want to do the feet. Mm. Oh. So do, can I remember which stamp the feet are on? Can she have? Oh, she just plays with them all and forgets what's what. The footprints. So the footprints. On their goalie, yeah, and the goalie and the, the in rocket. The, in the toys. Yeah. In the toys. Let's go play with the toys. The to that would make perfect Can sense. Can you imagine having a space rocket as a toy? Oh, that would be absolutely amazing. Would you want to go to Mars or to the moon? I would go to Venus. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't think of <laughs> Venus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we only gave you two. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Would you like one piece or two pieces of cake? I want the whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why I like you. Yeah. <laughs> right, so okay, now we're I taking the little too. feet, which is just a small element. And I would need a brown ink pad. I think you know where I'm going with this one. So it's kind of a naughty, cheeky card. Oh, you so, like that. Yeah. But fun. Fun. Yeah, yeah you like could that. send this to somebody who's just about to have a baby and say, yeah, well, what you got to look forward to? Well, absolutely. <laughs> well, we have got uh, one member of our team, is, um, his wife is expecting. Ooh. Mm. It's all fun when they hit past four. <laughs> or well, or to Yanis, who has been, who was uh, for the first time for father uh, in, in last December. Yeah, nice Christmas present, eh? He did. <laughs> uh, here we go. New babies are cool. It, yeah. and Especially when other people's. <laughs> the ones that you can give back, yeah. <laughs> and when they're tossing about and into everything and you've got to move things a little bit higher. So I just adore these footprints. They're so dinky. I don't yeah. know what that is, a little bit of... Oh. Well, I think now 
see I didn't glue that is going to cover up we're going to do it the other way around which will hide the fact that I did boo-boos there so you're going to take these feet and you're going to pop them underneath there and you see how I've got the toe did, on yeah. the top of this one that's okay because I don't think we'll have the feet running up the um, goal post we could do if we wanted but it um, be a bit strange so we'll have some feet going up here okay turn that around pop yeah. mom back in or maybe auntie she's letting him get away with murder and then we put the feet back into the toys and the next one that I would like to use on there is the splats oh the splats right, now the splats is on Fred and Kane that I can remember you would definitely have it on with the boys so the splats are going to come in and we're just going to go with uh, we'll go with the turquoise just to add some more color in there and you're using archival ink, aren't you? I know, I love it. Yeah. By the way, we do have got a show at 7 o'clock which features archival ink, so uh, tune in if you want to get yourself some really gorgeous ink. I was eyeing them up. Yeah, you were, <laughs> so were I want you? some yeah. big ones. I like my little ones for coming no. here. I like my big ones for Well, we have got big ones and extra big large ones. jumbo. Yeah. Big Jump. is beautiful. <laughs> it, it, it is, isn't it? Especially in crafting, that's for sure. Right, okay. How is that looking so far? I like it. Okay, it? we still have to decide on what's going on the centre there. But before I do that, because I have an idea, before I do that, I'm going to start to put this together. If you want to do a recap where I glue it yes, into absolutely. position. Yes, absolutely. So let's have a look at the one day special, what Charmaine uh, kind of finishes that bit. Uh, right, the one day special, six stamps says that you are getting 48 stamps in total. All those different characters, you are getting 10 different characters. You are getting the splashes, you are getting the dog, you getting the bird in there you are getting the tree the bun bunting the goal post you are getting the football you are getting the rocket you are getting the uh, kite as well you are getting the footprints you are getting the American football there as well the splashes the pencils you are getting also the ball for the dog to play with the flower the crown the butterflies the hearts well, you're getting loads, aren't you? You are getting all those different elements to play around and create very versatile, very kind of fun and bright and cheerful. And, you know, the sort of images that kind of say, you know what, brighter days and colorful days are ahead. And we can, with a little bit of crafting, we can bring the smile to our friends. We can bring a smile to the little ones that want to have a play. Now, this is uh, such a cool one. This could be actually, you know, in child, uh, you know, um, school sweethearts and they get married this is the sort of thing that could be a wedding invitation as well you know that sort of thing it's kind of a joke as well that has got this kind of uh, innocence to it naivety but of course it has got that playful motif of course from the dolly tots now the one day special has got a flexi buy option to spread the cost in two interest free payments of 24 pounds and 97 pence but you have got a 16 pounds saving now if you wanted to go for these uh, you can but however if you're a freedom member you have got a further discount so consider becoming a freedom member because you have got an extra four pounds saving but on top of that you don't pay PMP which is three pounds ninety five pence so that would be seven pounds and seven pounds something uh, now if you become a freedom member you, you pay five pounds ninety seven which is less than you would be that saving so it makes sense to become a freedom member you also won't pay paying pmp on any purchases that you do at hutchenda during the month so it pays off to become a freedom member before you purchase this zero nine five six zero four that is the one day special then we have got the complete collection which includes the dies that match all the stamps that that thing is that extraordinary because not usually you have got some dies that fit in but not all of them now you have got 48 dies 48 stamps 94 pounds and 88 pence is the price one of payment however if you're considering splitting the cost in interest-free payments the option is to go for free payments and that means that you would pay 31 pounds and 63 pence with PMP but you are a free member that's all you're paying 31 pounds and 63 pence today then the 
next month the same and so in March. Now you have got a five pound saving, 892985. Remember this is the final life hour of the Dolly Tots one, um, one day special. But also we have got a, a happy hour. Now this is the dies that are half price, better than half price in fact. 50 pounds saving, 14 pounds and 98 pence is what you are paying. Both of these die sets, 17 dies in total featuring the hearts, the arrows, the chevrons, the tabs, the circles, the flowers of course and the leaves and scrolls. All of them for 14 pounds and 98 pence but that 15 pounds saving you only are getting it um, uh, during this hour so please check out your baskets 367789 is your item number. Now we have got also the frames and accessories you are getting four stamp sets, clear stamp sets and of course you can uh, go for them 29 pounds and 96 pence with a saving of 14 pounds. Now my recommendation if you go for the complete collection is to add them to the basket and then you can flexi buy them not in two but in three flexi buy payments that means that you don't pay interest but it makes it so much easier to to budget it for it's five four two six two five is your item number Charmaine we have got about five minutes left Speak are you ready color. yes I'm just um, giving him a bit of hair color and giving Tom color. a bit of um, t-shirt color as well. You're only going to see a little bit of him pointing, pointing out the back. And of course, you could do this in the, in your own football colors if Absolutely. you wanted, um, depending on whether or not you're into um, football. Or you can change that and put the rugby ball in there in its place. So we'll have the ball, and I've trimmed off the black edge of it because I didn't I didn't want that black edge in there. Uh, I don't know why, I just decided that I didn't want it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of colour on there around the outside edge because there's no point wasting time in doing the rest. That's a good point. <laughs> in fact, what I could do is I could chop his body off like that and I could have that popping out of another <gasps> card. So it would be like an extra, long, oh, an extra yeah. long body, you could put it in the other end? Oh, that would be really cool. Yes, that's not what I was thinking, but like he was like there and like there. Yeah, it has got a growth <laughs> yeah, spur. I was thinking, oh, he could. <laughs> yeah, there, that's what I meant. Yeah, oh, there. This is like the crazy crew, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So we got him popping in there. And then his body, his legs could be, he's a proper long boy. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, with his little, little legs popping out. You know, like he's wearing them really, really long shorts. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Those basketball ones that they wear sometimes. Yes, right, way down. Look like they're going to trip them up when yeah. they're running. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Now I've got a colour of socks in, but we can oh, do that later. You've got, you've got, no, well, you've got the idea. So there he is. Let's get glue on there. Yeah. So get that on. Do, do, do. Yeah, that, that's... Hey, naughty boy. This is what I like about crafting with somebody who crafts, yeah. is we can start to bounce ideas. I do. Uh, it's, it's sometimes I kind of think, you know, like, I, you know, it's like, oh, you could do this. And then I kind of think, oh, no, no, let, let, let. But I know that you are kind of, you like that sort of bouncing oh, ideas. Oh, yes, def and... definitely. You yeah, change it up, mix it up and go for it. Um, don't don't need to stick with it. So, some people don't think. Some people don't mind. Some people do, yeah. and you know each to their own. Exactly. So yeah, we go with it. They are such a cool images. I always think that it's just the kind of ones that you you know they are having fun, and then you use. They are fun. Fun. Yeah, there. absolutely yeah. fun. Yeah. Uh, cheer it. I mean that could have been in coloured paper, but you know that I wanted to do the reverse. Oh, so, yeah. But. Hey ho, it is what it is. It now. is. Okay, get that one on there. Come on, speedy, speedy, Shama. Yeah, I've got so like there about a minute go. and a half. And then we'll pop her on. So she's just going to go at the side there. So it's this side. Again, it gives me another shape to the cards. So she's just popping over there. Here we go. Okay. And just do the tail end. Go. I never realised how slow was it gluing. Then the trees, quick, 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 trees, trees, trees. The trees, oh, I love those. They could be topiary trees as well. I can yeah, you could chop design. it off and be a bush. There is a bush in there, but you could chop the top off and do a bush. Shall we do that one with that one? Yeah, we with could. A bush. Absolutely. Get a bit of bushage going on. There we go. So that one there. And down you go. There we go. Pretty bush, pretty tree, yeah. pretty Tom peeping out, 
counting that. Have I missed nothing? <laughs> naughty, naughty footprints. <laughs> What's the fun? Pippi and Tom. Sorry? Pippi and Tom. Tom. Oh, yeah. Hello, Pippi and Tom. <laughs> okay, be careful of what I put on here now, then. Um, definitely. I don't know. I think I would leave that for a sentiment after that one. Yes, I think, I think, <laughs> I think so that could be a good idea. Yeah. A sentiment. Uh, could yeah. be a naughty one for somebody lighter, or it could be a, a good one. Well. well, you could say, I mean, there is, uh, well, we, There's something... There's so much you can say. You can say, yeah. Uh, my eyes go to the same words, but better not for that one. Uh, <laughs> dream. Oh, what about big but, up yourself? <laughs> I've already got that on. I was actually, why not, you know, big up, like build up yourself. <laughs> I've actually got those words there. <laughs> yeah, big yourself up is the way it should be. <laughs> but, it's, but it's actually glued down, ready to okay. go. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's, thank you, Charmaine. Are you uh, when are you back? <laughs> Probably not at all. <laughs> no, we look forward and I hope I get the shows again. A pleasure as always. Uh, do check out your baskets. Remember the one day special will be here until 6 p.m. If you check out your baskets. Now after the break, well, we have got direct and a happy hour, I believe. So stay tuned. Well, it is Saturday surprises. It surprised me that it's not a happy hour. And then Fabric Freedom, both basics, one day special with our Haley Smith for that one. And then happy hour show at seven. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now, simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember, it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss 
the studio light shows on a chander. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etched that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Welcome back everyone and welcome to Saturday Surprises. I suppose I might be a Saturday surprise uh, if you haven't seen that I'm back here at Hochanda. My name's Derek, by the way, if we've never met. It's lovely to have your company if we're old friends. Welcome back everyone, it's nice to be home. Um, listen, we have got a brilliant big hour of, this is my ideal shopping list down this counter, let me tell you. Uh, I want just about everything that is on this counter, I know. By the time I leave here, my two shillings and sixpence in the brown envelope that I usually pick up on the way out when I'm finished, it's going to come straight back in. Going to come straight back in. Anyway, listen, it's lovely to have your company. Listen, we've got time to chat in this hour as well. So I would love to hear from you, studio at hochanda.com. I've got a couple of things. We've, we've been throwing around a few ideas, some of which I can't tell you about, but um, actually things that... Actually, we can talk about it in the next hour. Um, things like, what was your favourite crafty Christmas present? And that could have been a present to yourself, or it could have been one that actually, maybe you had to nudge the other half um, and get a bit of a, a Ho-Chanda order in. Maybe you got Freedom Membership for Christmas. That would be quite a nice little present, wasn't it? Thank you very much. That would be nice. Also, have you started a new craft this year? Have you been watching the shows and you've been an avid, avid paper crafter and you've seen one of our fabric shows and decided to get the sewing machine back out or the knitting needles out or the crochet hooks or whatever it might be? Uh, let me know. Keep me company. If you just want to say hello, I would love to hear from you. So it is studio at hochanda.com. Look, there it is down at the bottom. Studio at hochanda.com uh, is my email address. Right, OK, shall we have a little wander down the counter then? Because I've got everything you, everything you want, I've got. It's kind of like a pick and mix, a smorgasbord of essential crafty bits and pieces. Whatever you do, even if you're not a crafter, this hour will appeal to you. Right, let's start with watercolour cardstock. This is really, really good. Love, love, love this. Watercolour cardstock um, is brilliant if you get the right quality, and the right quality has got to be good and thick. Actually, I was watching uh, lovely Lou Withers on a Facebook Live earlier doing some watercolour um, painting, and do you know what? She inspired me. She inspired me. I didn't really know that half the secret to watercolour colouring is actually putting a bit of plain water down on your card first to help the spread of the paint. Who knew that? Well, me now, and probably you as well. Here, you have got 30 sets. So you've got 30 of these sheets, which aren't scored, but when you fold them in half, they make a 5x5 five five watercolour card black. Or you can just leave it um, open if you want, and I guess then it would be 10 inches by 5 inches, wouldn't it? Uh, <laughs> well, clever maths, Derek. Well done. You did that on your own as well. Um, plus, you get the matching uh, envelopes as well. The watercolour card is 3 300 GSM, so that's good construction weight, um, will hold lots and lots of uh, paints and inks. You can use it for 
stamping as well if you want to as well but watercolor is there when you want to get a little bit creative ni create nice wash backgrounds and things like that now it's usually 14.99 but it's a happy hour of saturday surprises so it's yours for 9.99 charlotte's very excited about this hour uh, saturday surprises which should have a sound effect really shouldn't it oh it's got a countdown clock as well so these prices are good for that long so be as quick as you possibly can because we could have sellouts in this hour as well so please be quick while you can 554770 you want to shop ahead of me by the way and see the other goodies there are lots of them including um something that is going to jump start your crafting if you're thinking okay i've bought some some dies or some stamps and, and a little bit of paper in this that and the other i need all the tools and gadgets and didgeridoos and things like that then i have got a brilliant brilliant there's no didgeridoo in there but there is everything you need to get crafting which is really really good lots of tools before we get to that how about this look at this for a variety of colors really bright really inspiring colors from jelly bean crafts it is your rainbow card and you've got 235 gsm so good strong card to work with um single-sided on the color which is brilliant great for die cutting it's a good strong card. look at that what a lovely lovely shade of color that is a lovely sort of creamy slightly peachy color i like that um 235 gsm so again good construction weight if you want to make your boxes out of this good for die cutting uh, lots and lots of different colors as you can see and you're getting 100 sheets in there usually 25.99 again paper not necessarily the most exciting of things to be shopping for is it so it's great to get a really really nice big bundle of lots and lots of different colors so you can just reach out and get them at just 9.99 which is really really good 904 455 remember that price is only good for now it's that now it's that minute we'll keep an eye on that clock we will uh, <laughs> it's really good two minutes has gone since we last looked it's amazing um, listen do drop me an email I'd love to hear from you uh, studio at hochanda.com the emails are literally not flooding in so far come on Come on, get yourself on your mobile phone right now. You can email from there, can't you? Drop me a little message. I would love to hear from you. Right, sticky Julie Jemmy wonders now. Um, and I love this kind of thing. <laughs> Jemmy Wonders uh, from Jelly Bean Crafts assorted sizes we've got clear we've got Aurora Borealis there are lovely colors in these as well I do like a gem they do make really really nice sort of accents don't they to cards whether you just put a couple in the corner whether you add some to the center of a flower as you can see you've got lots and lots of different colors there um, I just love them I love anything like this and all you literally do is just he says just checking just peel them off the backing sheet that's it they're pre sticky for you anyway and then you just add them to your cards I best not take those apart or I'll have to buy them I probably will anyway to be honest with you uh, 24 99 um, in the happy hour it's just 11 99 oh and you can still break that down into two payments if you like because it's over five pounds because we've got flex extravaganza going on at the moment so just six pounds today uh, plus your PMP you can split it down um, into two if you like it's up to you 406 205 is the item number have I caused a stir Charlotte says I've caused a stir what have I done? Janet on Facebook says, what's happened to Catherine? I'm seeing a new presenter. Actually, the schedule says Alex. And I am, I am standing in very shortly uh, for Alex today um, because she's, she's, uh, she was a little bit under the weather. Uh, so I'm standing in. I was going to be here tomorrow, but then I'm, I'm here today and I was here yesterday as well. None of that makes any sense. But Catherine is absolutely still here too. Um, and Alex will be back. Uh, as well but I'm standing in if you don't mind I'm sorry you know like I, I'm I'm cheap and available what can I say um, oh I'm a new presenter to who was it Janet I'm a new presenter to you well listen I won't give anyone's secrets away but I, I, I was here about six or seven months ago and I, w I went out for a sandwich and, uh, and I disappeared for six months uh, but anyway we all make mistakes and here I am back again Right, next up, I have got a jumbo reel of permanent foam. Well, you know, I followed the directions on the sat-nav, and some of them went wrong. 
Anyway, I'm back now. That's all that matters. Now, this is brilliant because <laughs> this... Have I said too much? Uh, this is a jumbo reel of permanent foam tape. This is brilliant for your card making because if you love your foam pads, this is like one great big reel of foam pads that you'll, you'll never lose this, will you? You think of all the bits and pieces in your craft room right now that you lose very, very simply. You could just rest it on your head, couldn't you? Apparently everyone does that. Um, but this is great for shaker cards, of course, because remember, it allows you uh, to lay down your foam tape and go around any kind of shape that you want to. So if you die cut something out um, that you want to create a shaker card from, then you can very, very easily. I think this is brilliant. So you've got 40 metres. Gosh, that's going to keep you going for a long time, isn't it? Um, probably not me, actually. Because I do, I do like a shaker, I have to say. I like finding all the different things that you can put into a, a shaker. This is three millimetre, is it three millimetre, did you say? Three millimetre in old money, one centimetre in new money, um, and it's 40 metres long. And I tell you what, that's brilliant, isn't it? Like, that's like industrial size, isn't it? Aren't we good? Usual price, 18 99 today is... 9.99. Someone's just emailed in and just asked, why, why was I wearing the same shirt as Paul Church? Do you know, it's funny, I bought with me, I'm here for three days in a row, yesterday, t today and tomorrow, and I probably bought about mm, five or six different shirts. And I looked at the schedule and my first show was the Clarity Show with Paul. And it must have been a subliminal message I got, because Paul and I didn't get to chat or see each other before the show. And I thought, this is a Paul Church kind of shirt. And lo and behold, he had almost a matching shirt on. Purely by chance. Purely by chance. Now, to next something that quite often you see sneaking into the seven day savers, and I absolutely love. I have to say, I have never seen the multicolored ones. Every time I've seen these on a seven day savers, I thought they were the white ones. And what they are, it's it's like a little pretend cork, and within that is a very, very thin, like, it's like a jewellery wire that somehow has wonderful lights attached to it, and multicoloured lights, so some are white, and some are green, and some are pink, and some are blue, um, and you put them in vases, and you put them around plants, and you know what, over Chris, oh, it's so, so beautiful. Oh, isn't that cute? Doesn't it add an atmosphere to, you know, it might be an old gin bottle or a whiskey bottle or a, you know, an oil bottle or whatever it might be. Yeah, it's the closest we get to a disco at the moment, isn't it? Isn't it? This is like a night out for us here at Ho Chanda. Let's do it. Let's make some shapes, people. Let's do it. This is the closest to a Saturday night out we're going to get this year. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> OK, that's enough of the dad dancing, I think. Oh, nice romantic mix there, Webster. Beautiful. Love it. Anyway, listen, back to reality. Bring the lights back up. Oh, I don't know. Put them back down again. I did look better in the dark, I have to say. You get, how many of these do you get? Four. So you pop the little corks in, and the on-off switch is within the actual little um, cork. Oh, do we include the batteries as well? We include the batteries um, in there as well, which is lovely. Do you know what I did over Christmas? I've got this little display of old pine cones and little bits and pieces like that, conkers and bits like that, and you can just intertwine um, around things like that. Just adds a little bit of decoration. Do you know what? You might have one of those um, flickering LED candles that you just want to decorate the outside of. You could hot glue gun these as well, because, of course, you're not talking about electricity here. I wouldn't do that with a real candle, but with one of those battery flickery candles, um, I would definitely go in for a bit of glue gun action around the outside, around the outside, around the outside uh, with that. How good is that? And you get four sets for $9.99. You'd be hard-pressed to do that in many places, wouldn't you? Um, that is fantastic. 453-579. We might have another little disco later, by the way, because um, that was quite fun. I quite liked that. Remember, the happy hour deals are good for this long, so we've got 47 minutes in the show if you want to take part. And if you want to drop me a little message, I would love to hear from you as well. I love hours like this. Uh, studio at hochanda.com. Do you know, when I was around here first time around, six, seven, eight months ago, whenever it was, I looked at red liner tape, and I wasn't a crafter back then, and I looked at it and thought, why would people want to buy lots and lots of, of, of rolls of, of what is double-sided 
sticky tape. Like, I, I really couldn't understand it. The more demonstrations I saw, the more I understood it. Then I became a crafter and started paper crafting, and then I really got it because this is so, so simple. I mean, it sticks to everything in sight. You've got two gauges of red liner tape here. You've got the three millimeter and you've got the six millimeter um, gauge there as well. So you've got 80 meters in total, so 16 rolls. I take it that will be eight of the three millimeter and eight of the six millimeter. Can I just tell you, for our 9.99 price, we are getting what, uh, 8.16? liner tapes. I bought one single one in a craft retailer before I came back here and I think that was like a couple of quid for one. And I'm not exaggerating at all. You've seen it, I'm sure. Um, when we could go into the, the crafty type stores and whatever, oh, I remember shopping, um, when we could do that, I've done that because I wanted to just top up. I'd forgotten what a great deal this was. 9.99 and it's good for how long? Let's have a little check on the clock, shall we? Where are we? Where is the clock? 45 minutes now. 45 minutes, which is brilliant. Now, a quick tip on this. This came from producer Charlotte, and, and, I, wish, and I wish she'd have told me this months ago. Um, don't stack them together um, on top of each other because they, they're sticky, and they're very sticky and very strong. So sometimes <coughs> you can have a bit of a wrestling match to get them apart as well. What you do, what you do is, if you've got your little anti-static bag for when you're embossing, what you do is you just rub your anti-static bag over the edge of your liner tapes, um, and then that keeps them. Or what you could do, I was just thinking, actually, you could use um, a, a couple of layers of acetate or whatever just to keep them separately if you want to. They're lovely. I tell you what, so I don't lose mine, here's something that I do, Charlotte, quite often is I actually, I've got a little cover, I'm hoping this doesn't stick, like, this is a TV screen. Don't do it as a TV screen, but I actually stick it to, it won't stick to that screen, but you can warm up the glue with your fingers and then I'll actually stick it to something, like a cupboard or something that's easy to hand, and that works. But don't take any tips from me, because I'm just learning. Anyway, so that's all of your liner tapes then. Um, loads of them. 80 metres in total. Um, lots of emails coming in, which is lovely. Um, studio at hochander.com. Right, we've got some stamps for you now. And all of the stamps that you're seeing here, every single one of the 99 stamps here, is this item number. I'll just let you take that in for a minute. While you see, you've got the little doggies there. And you've got the paw prints. And you've got masses of sentiments there, birthdays, best wishes, misses you just for you, warm wishes, so much more anniversaries, love and kisses. And then you've got all of your uh, names, mum, dad, cousin, daughter, grandma, and the significant age milestones. Then you've got little, little pussycat, there's that little pussycat with an apron on there. <laughs> How sweet. Oh, look, the little teddy bears there at the bottom as well. Very, very nice. Lots and lots of cute cats. My two little cats will be fast asleep at home. Oh, there they are with the fish that have been uh, well and truly chewed by the looks of it. You got the little fishies there as well. There's the little bear. Is that little balloons there? Congratulations. I can't bear not seeing you on your special day. My word, will we use that sentiment a lot this year. Um, have an unforgettable day. And someday your prince will come. And then we've got little, oh, little bears near the, the beehive, of course. And, and a bear sitting by the duck pond. Thank you, lovely Katie. Oh, the emails are now flooding in, thank you. I, I now finally feel home. Uh, I have emails and everything. £13.89 for 99 stamps. Can I say, check that deal out while you can, um, because it should be £50.89, and, and it is £13.89, and which you can split down into two payments, of course, with Flex Stravaganza. Anything over £5, you can split down into two payments. Right, I, <laughs> I have some emails here. Have you read them first, Charlotte? Have you? Right. OK, that's all right. I don't know why I'm looking up there. She's, she's not up there in the, in the lighting. I always look up when I think of Charlotte. Um, Hi, Derek. Glad to see you back on screen as your enthusiasm is refreshing for us old and experienced crafters. 
Enjoy your days. I hope to see you more often, uh, says Lou Price with hugs. Thank you, Lou. That's very kind. Uh, dear studio team, we love Derek. He's brill, just like Scott and Fiona and Haley and Janice and Alex, etc. Uh, don't let him out of the building until he signs a lifetime contract. Keep presenting, says Caroline. And thank you, Caroline, for the kiss on the bottom of your email. Thank you very much. Somebody else said on Facebook the other day, actually, um, Hochanda, build a little house and then lock him in and only let him out to do shows. No, I will stay this time. I will, honestly, I will stay this time. I will. Well, Hayley Smith won't let me out anyway, will she? Anyway, so that's it. And I had to come back to find out about the adventures of Frank the Duck, quite frankly. Um, hi, Derek. Great to see you back. I've got a taste for some Black Magic chocolates over Christmas. Other brands available in brackets, she says. Very good. Very, very aware. Very ASA away aware, Anne. Uh, being in shielding again, um, I've ate them all. Uh, and, and a wonderful lady bought me four boxes yesterday so I can eat and watch Hochanda and do the genius square game. It's a must now. Want the Genius Star, which is on tomorrow. Oh, Happy Puzzle Company, the Genius Square Game. Oh, I must have a go. I must have a go. We must have a go later, Hayley. Very good. Um, Anne also says, lovely to see you back. Two kisses on the bottom from Anne. Thank you very much. Of your email, of course. Thank you very much. Keep those coming in. Studio at hochanda.com. Honestly, I'm not worthy. I, d I don't like all of this attention. Let's look at something now that will get your crafting, actually get your crafting gear all ahead of where it needs to be. If you're new to crafting, and I am relatively new to crafting, I have to say, um, the last six, seven months I've really jumped in and, it, and it's done me the world of good, I have to say, through, you know, I don't want to linger on it, but it, during lockdown and all the rest of it, you sit there and you think, oh, I need a purpose, I need something to do. And I'm so glad that even later in life, <clears throat> 24, I've discovered something that I can get stuck into. Oh, you too, Charlotte. Um, something I can get stuck into. But actually, there's lots of tools and bits and bobs and gadgets and things that you know you're going to need for crafting, but you kind of pick them up piecemeal. Here's a way of getting a whole big collection of things that you need, things that you use all the time, things that you want on your side. Two different large sizes of scissors, which I think is really, really good. Ergonomically designed, you've got the... Uh, eight and a half inch and the seven and two thirds that's very precise that isn't it now these are your paper scissors of course you've got a little glue stick super strong glue stick it's funny isn't it um that actually that's really really useful it's it's funny because we think about glue sticks being something like it's only from our past that we don't use in proper crafting yes absolutely we do because the glue inside them is nice and strong it's fantastic you've also got a foam roll as well um, included in this one so again not quite as big as the, the other one in the happy hour but it's a good one to get you started so if you're thinking you want to make that first shaker card or, or whatever it might be then this is great you've got 10 yards on that and and that's a lot of yard that's a lot of yards we'll have to ask Haley, Haley about yards a yards about a meter isn't it no, about nine meters she said she's on the other side of the studio thank heavens um, you've also got now this is this is double-sided tape, isn't it? Brilliant. You always need double-sided tape. It's a nice wide gauge as well, which is very, very good um, indeed. What else have we got? We've got utility knives, and we've got those in different sizes as well, which I think is really, really good. You know, you'll find the right kind of cutting instrument for you. You also have a multi-use pencil as well. Now, I think this is a... Is this a propelling? Uh, propelling? Pro is this a propelling type pencil. I think it is, actually. Um, always, always useful to have. You've also got an erasable pen. Now that's good. Now you can use that. You can use that on your fabrics as well, can't you, your erasable um, pens. But again, if you're sketching something out and then you need to get rid of it again, you absolutely can. Then we've got, what have we got here? We've got a Hobby Plus pen. Ooh, let's have a little look at this, shall we? Oh, now that looks like a, just a very, very good marker pen. Oh, it's a permanent marker pen. So lots and lots of uses are around the house as well. And that's heat resistant too, which is very, very good. What else have we got here? Another erasable pen. 
inside. So you get a black and a blue by the looks of it. It's the same one as that one. It's just not in the packaging, isn't it? So you get a black and a blue. This is brilliant. Oh, scissors. Sorry, we've got another size of scissors. More. So there's three pairs of scissors. So this is more of an intricate. It's got a bit of a longer, slimmer profile on it. So these are your six and five sixths. The precision in these is brilliant. Stainless steel blades, of course, which is, which is the best. Um, and nice soft ergonomic handles so good for lefties or righties because I'm a lefty um, you've also got a steel ruler and these are really really good let's oh Derek can't get it out to the packet come on Derek you've had your you've had your wheaty bangs this morning there we go right okay so on one side oh right okay you've got a on one side you've got your measurements there which are in millimeters and on the other side you've got a very very handy I don't know whether you can see this I'll try and get it in the right let's go uh, let's go halfway. Oh, it might be difficult. Oh, there you go. I'll stop there. It's a conversion table. We did need that earlier, didn't we? So it converts inches to millimeters. Oh, look, how pre how precise is that? How good is that? Just to have on the back of your ruler. And the other great great thing about having a steel ruler is that anything magnetic that you've got to keep your bits and pieces safe. Like I have a, um, a filing cabinet next to me and I've put a magnetic sheet on it. Just put the ruler there and then you don't lose it. You know if you put it in a drawer, it's like which drawer? Is it that drawer? What was the last time I used it? What did I use it for last? Which, where could it be? Um, just use a magnetic sheet on the side of where you work and put your tweezers on there, put your steel ruler on there and things like that. Um, it's a really, really good idea. Right, but there's more. Oh, it never stops. Um, you've also got... Oh, this takes me back to school. These are going to be those things that I never knew what to do with the first time. You've got geometric tools in here. So you've got little... Um, is it called a set square? I can't get... Uh, shall, I, shall I get them out? I think I can go in and get them out. Yes. Let's get them out. Yes, one does look like a protractor. This does take me to school. And, and I, I'm not sure if I, I really paid attention the first time. Anyway, you've got a smaller dinky ruler here. So you've got a small dinky ruler. You've got one with, with a lovely... Um, is that a set square with the corner on it? You'll have to tell me. You'll have to, to email in and let me know. Then there's the round one. I never know what the round one did, but... It, oh, is that protractor? And that's got, as you can see, if I move myself out of the way... You've got all of your angles there as well. So you've got your 45 degree angles and thus in there. You never know when you're going to use these. We're trying to use the collective brains within the building to uh, work out the exact names. And so far, we've not necessarily come up with all of the answers. But anyway, always very, very useful to have. Now, if you think about everything you see there on the table, st good steel ruler, that's going to cost you a few quid, isn't it? straight away you think about you've got three pairs of scissors here i mean scissors you can spend as much as you like on you could spend 60 pounds pair on a pair, on, on a pair of uh, scissors scissors <laughs> no idea what he's saying um you can spend a lot of money on a pair of scissors the fact that you're getting three different sizes there because sometimes when you're if you're fussy cutting smaller more intricate you know die cuts then those longer, thinner scissors are going to be really, really useful. Again, if you're going through a whole sheet of card and you just want to cut the bottom off to use that and run it through the die cut machine, use the biggest scissors. Good to always have choice. The more, the merrier. To have the erasable pens. Erasable pens, pens with functions. So you've got a blue and a, ba a black in this. Pens with functions, they cost money, don't they? So let's say in a craft store or a stationer, we could be talking, what, seven or eight pounds? For something like that because it has a function it's not simply a pen so if you think about everything that's in this plus the glue stick plus the double-sided tape plus the the back to school implements plus the foam roll and all the scissors and everything else don't you think that oh hang on a minute right okay i hadn't actually looked at the complete price of this i thought the the price was this i thought that's where we ended up at 30 pounds 92 no the happy hour deal, which is good now for another 32 minutes, is just £14.92. So, if we, if we were in a craft shop, what, how much reasonably do we think we would get for £14.92? Do you think we'd get these scissors and you might possibly get a roll of... Is that fair to say? 
for that price for about £15, do you think? Or if you went for utility craft knives, even if you went to your value retailers, do you think you might get one utility knife and maybe a pro propelling pencil? So maybe two of the items that you've got. Because how many items have we actually got here? There's like, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen different items there. Now that really is, that really is a Saturday surprise happy hour deal, isn't it? Half the stock has gone. I am not surprised at all. I checked with Charlotte to see how much stock that we had at the start of the show. And it's quite a sizable stock, actually, and lots of, because I wanted to know. Because I was hoping that by the end of the hour, I will never shop before you, but I'm very interested in this set, I have to say. Um, so I hope there are some left at the end of the show. £14.92. Oh, actually, I'll have been too late by then, though, won't I? I'd have five minutes to run upstairs, Charlotte, tell me. OK, two minutes now. <laughs> well, I can run. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 st I'm still fit and nubile and whatever, flexible. Right, let's, let's add available. Let's uh, move on, shall we? That's really, really popular. OK, now here's something that usually no company sells together. You either have die cuts or you have embossing folders. You rarely, never the twain shall meet. Uh, because, of course, that's extra opportunities and extra item numbers and extra cost. So here it's quite nice and quite refreshing to see the two together. From Crafts 2, and I'll show you the embossing folders and just how... Oh, sorry, Webster. Uh, just how beautifully one goes with the other. That's lovely. So that's nice little sort of beehive honeycomb. Is that upside down? There you go, probably is. There you go. And then you've got the actual... Oh, oh, that's where it all goes wrong. Then you've got the little beehive and you've got the bees as well. Oh, yes, it was the right way around. You're right. Because the flowers would be standing up, wouldn't they? Why, do, why did I start this? Um, oh, it's the other way it opens. Of course, you're always going to open it the wrong way. Oh, actually, and yeah... And that's actually a nice deep embossing folder as well, actually. That'll go really, really nice with that jelly bean card that we started with um, at the beginning. So you've got two sets there. You've also got the flamingo there. It's funny, um, because in between the shows today, I shouldn't tell you this, in between the shows today, I'm doing a little bit of research for something that I'm doing on Monday. And I've just been doing some research on the Hawaiian Islands for a completely different reason. Um, and these flamingos would be just be absolutely... Perfectly in place in the Hawaiian Islands. You've got a big palm leaf there, haven't you? You've got the um, pineapple. You know you can plant your own pineapples. You, you just buy a full pineapple, cut the top off, and plant the top, don't you? And then you can grow your own. Takes years, apparently. This would be good for party invites. Remember parties, everyone? Yes. They will be back. They will be back, definitely. Um, yes, they would be good for parties, wouldn't they? For evening ones, for evening receptions if you're going to have an evening reception at the Copacabana with all the palm trees around. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Anyway, usual price. So this is a half price, isn't it, happy hour? Um, so you're getting both the, uh, all the die cuts there and the two embossing folders for 9 99 A marvellous deal in anyone's books. Oh, have you got an example there? Oh. Oh, OK. We've, we've just... Um, OK, we've got some... We've got some Lovely Sam has sent us some examples of makes made with those, which we'll come back to a wee bit later. But let's move on, because there's more to show you. There's more to show you. Uh, we've got pearl paper now for you. Pearlescent, I love pearlescent paper. And actually, it's really, really good to have strong neutrals, isn't it, in your card making. And this is a lovely, lovely variety um, of colours. They're 120 GSM. You get 250 sheets in total. Right, okay, so does that mean one, two, three, four, five colours? Is it, what, there's five? Oh, well I've got one, two, three, four, I think it's five colours, so that would be 50 of each, I think. I think, if the maths is all right, I think that's what it will be. So you've got this lovely, I don't really describe this colour as, because it's kind of got a gold sheen to it, isn't it? It's almost like sort of cappuccino colour, cappuccino meets gold. That's lovely. And then you've got this lovely sort of velvety kind of green, isn't it? Like a deep sort of forest green, but again, with a sort of m gold mull in the background. Then you've got more of a sort of coppery, bronzy kind of tone, like an antique kind of tone, would you say? 
That's really lovely. Uh, and then you've got this very, very soft blue. It's like a, all that's, let's bring that out of the way for a second. That's very bright, I know. Um, but that's almost like a sort of soft blue with a lovely pearly sheen in it. And then you've got a classic white in there as well. 50 sheets of each, which is lovely. Um, they are, they are double-sided as well, which is good to know. Oh, should we tear one just to check the core? Let's just check the core. Let's do it in the darkest colour, because that'll be, that'll be the best one to do it in. Sorry, I'm going to be 40. Yeah, this is the party we promised. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look. Look at that. It's colour core. Excellent. Really, really good. So no need, if you're die cutting this, to actually sort of ink over the edges uh, to have to soften them down, because you've got the colour core there as well. I don't know what to do with that now. Just surreptitiously slip it down there and take it home later and do something with it. Um, £11.99, pence. that's 250 sheets there as well. And they're going to be a great backdrop to your projects, aren't they? Because they're fairly neutral tones. Um, really, really nice for all times of year. I was just thinking, actually, um, the clarity die cuts that we did earlier, they would suit that very, very nice, the fresh cuts, wouldn't they? Lovely. Check those out if you haven't. Right, OK, flowers. Uh, whether you are forming flowers with um, paper, I know Heartfelt do lots of um, flowers, don't they? You can do lots of foam flowers or paper flowers. And you need stamens to go in the middle. And that's what we've got. That's what we've got. A massive collection here. Um, there's around about 400 stamens per bunch. And we've got... What, I know, that's what I thought. There's not 400 the total. So there's 400 in that bunch, that bunch, that bunch, that bunch, that bunch. And then there's five bunches. And they're all different tones, as you can see. So you've got, let me, let's make a bouquet of stamens. Isn't that lovely? So you've got lovely different colours um, running through there. So if you want lighter, or you want brighter baby pinks going on there. So they've got these lovely, delicate little sort of ceramic heads. Let me, let me pull one. Let me see if I can pull one out without wrecking the joint, just so that we can see how, how it all goes together. I'll just do a little bit of unwrapping. This, this could be a very big mistake on my part, and I'll apologise to Katie, who's my floor manager right now, for the mess I'm about to make. Um, but there you go, that's what you do with stamens, isn't it? Um, so that's how they come out for you. So they're very, very easy. So they're on a nice, strong sort of string there. So you can easily bunch sort of two together or four together. Or well, listen, you've got, if you've got 400 per bunch, absolutely go for it. Be a lot more generous than you might be otherwise. Um, and again, because they're, rather than being on wire, they're actually on a, on a sort of uh, thread. It's quite a strong, oh, this feels a little bit stringy actually, so it's a little bit stronger. Um, it means they've got that little bit more natural movement as they would be if you were to stroke the inside of a real flower. And I am a gardener, so I've done that. Because it's quite nice, isn't it, to interact with your flora and fauna. And you can see, lovely. And again, you could dust these with embossing powder as well, can't you? So if you needed to change the colour shade, if you needed to add a little, you know, dot of yellow in uh, for certain flowers or, or whatever it may be. See, how I wonder how they make these. How on earth? Because it must be like a little sort of plaster of Paris kind of situation, mustn't it? It must be something like that. And then it must be dipped in some way. I wonder how it's all done. I love that as a colour. That's beautiful, isn't it? A lovely sort of magenta tone. I like that. Right, OK. Now, we are going to... Um, who's? Uh, yes, let's show you the details of this. 508... 182 is the item number then, um, and these are the pinks. I'd imagine, as well, if you're looking for stamens, I don't know for fact, but um, I'd imagine if you have a little search for the word stamen on the website, I think if you're looking for other colours as well, I think you'll probably find them, you know? That's a nice little deal, that. It's good for another 22 minutes and 45 seconds. So um, check it out as quickly as you possibly can. Remember, you can even break that down into two payments as well with Flex Extravaganza if you want to. Back to our crafts queue, too, the dies and the embossing folders together. Um, and lovely Sam has sent us some pictures of makes using this. Oh, uh, now look at that. That's really, really clever. And how simple is that? That looks like that's been die cut out. Uh, sorry, embossed. Silly boy. Um, just onto, is that onto craft card there by the looks of it? And then the, the embossed has been, the embossing has been inked over. That's very clever. That makes that flower in the top absolutely jump out, doesn't it? Genius, love that. Love that. Oh, there's more. 
Oh, right, OK. So, die cutting out the little... What do you call those? Bee, bee hives? Yes. I'm sure, I, I don't know why I think they've got another name. You know when you think there's another name for them? Those, those dome-type things. You'll know. You can email in and let me know. Um, studio at howchander.com. But they've been die cut out, and you see one there has been coloured um, the same colour as the bee, which is, again, genius. Just on a, looks, again, like a, a craft card background there, but see how those two leap off each other. And bees are so popular, aren't they? They're a nice peace symbol as well, aren't they, these days, um, a bee? It's lovely. Um, oh, there's more. Oh, now, you, you can almost taste the honey in this piece, can't you? You can almost see the honey dripping out of the little, um, what do they call it, cells of the honeycomb. That's really, really nice. Oh, right, now to the flamingo. Oh, now look, that's been... So that's been die-cut out, um, out of mirror card, hasn't it? And then the embossing folder has been used in the, um, in the background there, and it looks like it might be something like a gilding wax, um, which has been uh, rubbed over the emboss in the background. That's clever. I like that. It's a good way to use a mirror card, isn't it, for a flamingo? Lovely, and, and another one. Ah, now look, that, that is your absolutely, that, that is your party invite, isn't it? We'd all go to that party, wouldn't we? We'd definitely all go to that party. Anyway, listen, uh, the reason we're showing you those, because they were all made out of these two, which are your die cuts and embossing folders together. You very rarely see them sold together. It's either embossing folders or die cuts, isn't it? This is the two together, 932... 214 is the item number there for you for both sets for 9.99. Right. Oh, I've got some news. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't tell me it's happened already. Okay. Well, listen, I'm so glad for you. I really am. Very, very limited stock now on the crafting accessories. Again, if we were to walk into, and I'm not here to knock anyone else, I would never, ever do that. But if we were to walk into the average craft store or even our value stores that we all have in towns and cities around us that we can't go into at the moment, um, for 14 92 how many of these bits and pieces do you think you would get? How much is the average stainless steel ruler, for instance? How, how much is one of those? Because it's not the same price as a plastic one, is it? Not at all. And, of course, that you can just put on a magnetic sheet as well and you'll never lose it, which is brilliant. You've three pairs of scissors. Oh, no. No, Charlotte, no. Don't say it. Technically sold out. If you have got this in your basket, please do check it out. And well done. Absolutely massive, massive. Uh, well done. Um, oh, I've got a couple more emails, so I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll just have a little read through those uh, while you find out all about Flex Travaganza, which clearly you've been taking advantage of in this hour. It's Flex Travaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6pm to Friday the 15th of January at 6pm, we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flex Travaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's good to be able to do that right now as well. We've got such a lot of more shows that are coming up um, this evening as well. I've got a woolly happy hour later as well. I have. I will. I, I will be, yes, all things, all things woolly coming out at 9 o'clock tonight, I believe. I'm looking forward to that. I am looking forward to that. Yeah, it's just me on my little lonesome, so make sure that you hear there's nothing on telly, is there? Apart from this, there's nothing on telly, is there, really, at the moment? Oh, honestly. Um... Emails, thank you. Keep them coming in. Studio at howchander.com. Uh, hi, Derek. Happy New Year. Remember you from other channels. Well, that leaves it wide open, doesn't it? He's been everywhere, hasn't he? Honestly. Um, welcome to Hochanda. I've missed seeing you. Good luck and best wishes, Christine. Thank you very much, Christine. And I must say a big hello uh, to Susan and Mary 
and Robin and Mariah and everyone who has come over uh, and is watching from stateside as well. It's lovely to know that you are there. And lovely Mary sent me a gorgeous Christmas card, actually. Apropos of nothing, I know. But um, she said to me the other day, your Christmas card, by the way, was Clarity Groovy. She'd made it with a groovy plates uh, system. So thank you so much, uh, Mary in Tennessee. Um, hi, Derek. Lovely to see you back as, the br as part of the brilliant Hochanda team. Uh, though also hoping to see lovely Alex back on screen too soon. Yes, absolutely. Uh, she's been a little bit under the weather, but she will be back bright and breezy soon, I'm absolutely sure. And lots of love, Mwah, Alex, if you're watching. Um, good to hear crafting helped you get through lockdown number one. Hochanda and those delicious chocolate eggs filled with cream get me through these chilly days. Ooh, ooh, that sounds nice. That does sound... I might treat myself to one of those tonight, actually, because I have to have a hotel picnic tonight. So, yes, I might invest in one of those. I'm sure they'll be available absolutely everywhere. Lovely to hear from you. Keep those emails coming in. Studio at Hochanda.com. Everything's so, so popular right now. If you just joined us... Let's rerun the fun. Well, minus the things that have gone, um, alas and unfortunately. Let's start with watercolour card. This is really, really good because you've got your watercolour card blanks, which are 10 by 5, 10 inches by 5 inches. But, of course, if you score and fold them in half, you've got a 5 by 5 um, card blank with matching envelopes. <coughs> Excuse me. And your watercolour card is, is 250 GSM, Charlotte? 300, even better. So construction weight. And again, if you want to get inky with this, you want to get your watercolours out and go absolutely crazy. I was watching Lou Withers on a, a Facebook Live do some watercolour um, art earlier. And it's not an avenue I'd kind of wandered down so far. I've got watercolour pens. I've got some watercolours. I've got water, which helps. Uh, <laughs> um, and I might have a go having seen uh, Lou today. Um, that's a really good little deal. And there's a lot of it there, if you think about it. 30 sets in total. So 30 of the, um, the sheets, which are 10 inches long by 5 inches wide there. So, of course, fold them together and you've got a 5 by 5 card blank. Oh, Derek's wrecking the joint. Oh, here we go. Derek's, I'm back again. That's it. He's back again, definitely. Wrecking the joint. 9.99. That's good for another 14 and a half minutes, by the way, that deal. So all the deals... Um, go pop in, <laughs> I don't know what that means, at six o'clock when we start uh, a new, brand new one day special, um, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, right, colourful card. Everyone loves colourful card, don't they? 100 sheets here of assorted colours here from Jelly Bean Crafts. It's your A4. Uh, really, really cool. Single sided colour, but so, so vibrant. I love these cards. Um, 235 GSM, so that's fine if you want to um, construct and make boxes or whatever. Um, out of these, you can. Good to have a good variety of colours around you. They are um, absolutely stunning. Single-sided, um, as you can see, so they're, they're white on the back. Um, but for your die cutting and for your detailing and for your matting and layering. And, and something I learned recently about matting and layering is don't use the whole thing. Gut, gut it, I think is the word. You gut it. There must be a more friendly way of saying that. Fillet, says Webster. Yeah, that sounds better. Fillet them, because then you reduce the waste, don't you? Love that. $9.99 is your price tag for that, as opposed to $25.99. So you're saving £16 on this. Yes, right, OK, that's enough fish talk. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> Let's go to Sparkly Gems. Love this. Love anything like this. And you can actually pay quite a lot for things like this. Again, this is one of those things that you look at, uh, bright and shiny and sparkly, you look at in craft stores, and you always love and you always want them, don't you? And then you look at the little price labels which sit on the back of them, and you kind of think, oh, I don't know if I like them that much. But actually, if you think about what you've got here, there are 10 packs in total. You've got a mix there of clear and Aurora Borealis, which means um, radiating out lots and lots of different colours like the Northern Lights. And you notice too that they're different sizes, so they graduate up and down in size, which is really, really good. So if you're using them in the centre of a card, part of a sentiment, if you're doing what a lot of people do, particularly with the, the groovy card that um, Mary made me from Tennessee over Christmas, actually had some, um, some gems, just smaller gems, just in the corner of a card, which I think is a really nice thing to do. So it's just an example of some of the colours. Um, that you get in these sheets as well. I love 
love those. And they're, and they're already pretty sticky, by the way, so you just uh, peel them off the backing and then straight onto your card. Um, of course, you might want to add some extra glues and bits to them if you want to, depending on what you're sticking them on. £11.99, but remember, that is good for only another... Oh, 11 minutes and 47 seconds, so take advantage of that. Next, the biggest roll, I think probably the biggest roll of foam tape you've ever seen in your life. It's like industrial size, isn't it? Industrial size shaker cards. Full windows that are shaker cards. Oh, that wouldn't work. Well, you can't shake a window, can you? Mind you, some of mine are a bit ropey these days. Um, but this is... This is very, very good indeed. So, it, 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 it is... It is three millimetres in gauge. No, was it three millimetres? Thick. Yes, thick, that, like me. Uh, three millimetres thick, that's it. It's one centimetre wide, it's 40 metres long, and it's three millimetres thick. There we go. So any kind of um, shaker cards, or if you just want to add dimension, where you would normally use a foam pad, you can cut these down into any size foam pad that you need, which means you can go right the way around the outside of a card, even if it's a big sort of 12 by 12. You know, you can go right the way around it without having to think about, oh, well, you know. I'll just put one in each corner. I mean, you can do that and be frugal with it, but when you've got so much, you've got 40 metres of it. You could go from one end of the house to the other, can you, with 40 metres? That's pretty good, that, isn't it? I'm trying to think what that reminds me of as well. I don't know if it's like back in the day, like back in the, you know, the dark days. Like, didn't vacuum cleaner filters used to look like this? That kind of thing. Anyway, there you go. Just the jumble of my mind speaking. Anyway, very, very useful if you're crafting. Very, very useful as well if you're making artworks like, like the ones that we saw with Paul in the Clarity Hour too. Right, next up, and I love this because I think this is so, so versatile. It's time for another disco, everyone. Oh, yes. We're going to light up the room. We're going to have a little boogie. Come on. Yeah, absolutely. Get your, uh, get your shapes made, everyone. This is the closest we get to a night out at the moment. I know. Live a little. That's what we're doing. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? We know how to live. We need to get out more. Alas, we're not allowed. So, while we're all inside at the moment, this is such a good idea because it just brings... You know where all of the Christmas decorations and the Christmas tree uh, is gone? Poor old Hayley Smith. She's trying to prep her show in the corner by the light of her sewing machine, which is quite fun to watch from the other side of the studio. She's doing it. She can do it. Absolutely she can. Um, these are great. You know, now all the Christmas decorations um, have gone down and whatever, and life's looking a little bit plainer. These are great because they're, they're like a little, they're quite long as well, actually. It's probably about, what, it's probably about a metre in length, I would say, something like that. And along this, you've got little coloured lights. So if you wanted to pop the cork into a bottle or a jar or a vase or something like that, how many centimetres, Charlotte? Oh, it's longer than a metre. It's nearly a metre and a half, 145 centimetres. This will go at full tilt. But it's actually, it's almost like a jewellery wire. So it means that you can craft it around pretty much anything that you want to, including yourself. So if, if let's just say, you've got like some kind of costume, because some people are having parties over, over the online, you know, Zoom and Skype and all of that kind of. So if you're creating a bit of a costume for yourself like that, this is probably not the right colour to wear for this costume, do you know what I mean? I didn't really think this one through. Oh, see, now it's coming to life, isn't it? As the lights go low, then suddenly I've got, yeah, I've, I've got this lovely, this lovely thing going on. I can't dance. No, not, not, not being seen, at least. Aren't the colours really lovely? Because they're nice soft pastel colours as well. Again, if you want to go round anything you want to. So, you know we put this in the bottle. Well, it's just as easy to sort of go round the bottle. Again, you can still use the cork and put it on. But if you wanted to craft that around something that was round, you could do that. And, and again, you could heat seal the wire parts of it. Because it isn't electricity, it's, it's, it's batteries. Obviously, be careful um, with it. Um, but you could actually sort of adhere it to the outside of something that you've decorated, maybe one of those uh, LED candles or something like that. Um, so it's actually very, very versatile. And the batteries are included, by the way, and you get four of them, and they're really, really good. I love anything like this because it's just good fun, isn't it? Just to decorate the house, just to bring in a bit of colour back into your world again. I think it's really, really lovely. So I'm going to pop that back in there right now. You get four of them, 
for 9.99 which i think is really really good because i've seen that kind of thing again in value retailers i've seen this kind of thing before um but you might just get like one for about four or five quid do you know what i mean and you're getting all four of these for 9.99 right just getting all of that in oh okay got an update for you Oh, it's the um, die cuts and the embossing folders. They've gone limited. We've already had a sellout in this hour as well. Well done if you've checked out so far. If you haven't, you still have time, but we are very, very limited. It won't be long before we're sold out. And we've actually only got six and a half minutes to check out in this hour. So we need to get a giddy on, don't we? A giddy on? A gallop on. I don't know what I meant. Um, giddy up. Yeah, giddy up. Um, only ever ridden a horse once. And it was a very bad experience in Epping Forest as a cub and my hat fell off and I screamed and was told off. That's the one that bolts if you scream at it, they said. Okay then, um, liner tape. Liner tape is an essential if you are a card maker, if you are a crafter, because it is so, so simple. You can create any shape with it. It is double-sided. It is super, super strong. If maybe you're not a great fan of tape runners, um, for whatever reason, um, liner tape is brilliant because it's so, so super, super strong. Actually, when you're adhering card stock that won't take the glue that you've got, the wet glue that you've got, if it's a mirror card or something like that, if you want to get that one mirror card onto another mirror card, then liner tape is absolutely brilliant for that. It's great for box construction as well because it invisibly disappears. In fact, doing your wrapping for present wrapping and things like that is really, really good with liner tape. You get eight rolls of three millimeter and eight rolls of six millimeter for just 9.99. When I was here last time around, I never really understood what liner tape was all about. And now I'm a crafter. It's in my world completely and utterly. And where's that hour gone? Where's, sorry, where's that hour gone? I've, I've got more to do. But listen, I hope you're checked out because there's five minutes to check out. Thank you so much for your company and your lovely emails as well. Stay right where you are. There's lots more coming. Starting with a brand new one day special from Fabric Freedom. You can see what Hayley Smith has been doing in the dark while we've been discoing after this break with our lovely Paula. I'll be back later on. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Hachanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Hachanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. 
So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-all. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Good evening. Well, of course, 6 p.m. here at Hachanda means one thing, and is the brand new launch of a one-day special. And today, you well, you can hear probably a sewing machine over there on the corner. And of course, Haley is sewing. No, it is fabric freedom. No, I'm going as quickly as I can because I didn't get my samples until I got to the studio. So I'm currently sewing things together for you. Well, <laughs> you fine. are a speedy sewer, a speedy it's crafter. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, absolutely. Well, we'll let uh, Hayley, of course, get sewing, uh, but let's have a look at what the one day special it is. Now, we have got plain fabrics. We have got half meter fabrics, six pieces of half meters. Now, this one day special, of course, is by Fabric Freedom and it's quilting cotton. Now, you are getting it with a one meter of fusible web interfacing as well. You have a choice of what color story you want to tell, what colors you want to use, what color you want to use for your binding, for your sashing, for your quilting in itself. Let's start with the options, shall we? Now, we have got those six options, and remember, you, whichever option you are gonna go for, you're gonna get six pieces, six different shades of it. So we have got the candy pink first. So we have got, of course, a deeper tones, uh, lighter tones like marshmallow pinks, and then you have got here sherbet pinks as well, and of cotton candy as well, can you see it? Those beautiful pinks are there. Then you may want to go for neutrals. Neutrals could be one of my choices. Why? Because, of course, the neutrals bring in those creams, those lattes, those ch chocolates, that kind of milk chocolate as well as vanilla ice cream. I'm in mean, I mean, you know, yeah, ice cream mode. But I'll, I'll, I am actually fine. I have had some curry. Um, but what I'm thinking about is, of course, those colors that will completely work with so many ranges of pattern fabrics. Then we have got another option, which is the spring. So this is the blue skies, the pistachio, gorgeous colors here, the bluebells as well. And of course, you have got here a little bit maybe of wisteria as well. You could think about it. The fields as well. 
gorgeous, beautiful colors of the spring. Now that is the spring collection. And then we are moving on to sunset. And this is rich, beautiful, kind of warm tones. Now you have got more of, I would say more tangerine color here, a beautiful zesty lemon and mango. This is definitely a mango, rich, warm tones, as well as kind of more, you know, ice cream, um, lemon ice cream, I would say, because it is a sorbet sort of color in there. And then of course that could be a vanilla or it could be just again, maybe, a, you know, one of those ones that have got a little bit more concentrated lemon in them gorgeous uh, sunset then we are going to the lagoon and the lagoon has got the more richer blues and this we are think about the blue lagoon and that kind of depth of color the deeper waters that you can see in there the deep skies as well the kind of this i would say is a light navy or almost indigo uh, because it has got kind of a little bit of purpley tones in there but of course you have got this one those blues that are warmer in turn then you have got the forest that surrounds the lagoon that kind of rich pine trees as well has the traditional greens in there with a gorgeous two-tone as well now that is the lagoon option and then we are going to the wild berry now here the rich purples aubergines we have got lilacs as well we have got that really this is one of my favorites because i love purple when it kind of goes into and you can see it here that's that's the one that I love. Do you have got the gorgeous rich tones and it has got a little bit more warmth? And then we have got that beautiful more blue purple and finally a very light lilac. As you can see, all six colors, whichever of the six options you are going, are six different colors. Uh, now you are getting them in half meter pieces. Now you are also getting, let me grab it, uh, you are getting a fusible web interfacing. Now, Hayley, what is this exactly and what do we use it for? Okay, so um, this is the same as the fusible webbing you'll be more familiar with, with um, like a paper backing on it. Yes. So with this, you can literally use a greaseproof paper or anything that is, is similar that's not going to stick to it. I wouldn't use something like a like a plain paper, it needs to have some kind of um, non-stick or greaseproof backing. So any baking sheets, those kind of things, is perfect to go with this. And what you can do with this is either sandwich two pieces of fabric together to up the weight of something. So say you've got um, a poplin and you want it to be more like a quilting cotton weight, you could put a lighter weight fabric on the back and just boost the weight of that. Or if you've got something and you want to make it much heavier, say you've got some of these um, one day special pieces um, and you want to boost the weight of them so they're kind of more suitable for things like upholstery or home furnishings or blinds, that kind of thing, then you can absolutely um, use that on the back of it and then maybe put a calico or a heavyweight fabric on to really kind of boost the weight of it or if you're just doing your kind of you know your nice you know uh, applique pieces or yeah fancy little bits and, and bobs where you're just adding fabric on the top you can just use it as your normal kind of uh, fuser web bonder web you know there's lots of different names for it Right, uh, that is one your day, one day special. Uh, Twenty five pounds and ninety three pence is your uh, your price. You're saving fifteen pounds. Remember, flex extravaganza. Yes, you still can uh, split the cost in interest free payments. So that would be about uh, twelve pounds seventy five pence, I think, or no, actually thirteen pounds. Thirteen pounds. Thirteen pounds. That would be what you would be paying today, or just under uh, four four four. four Four and nine five is your item number. You can see all the options on the website in there. You can see and now these ones, of course, remember they come with one meter fusible web interfacing. Uh, now this is of course the fusible web. The nice neutrals, the spring hues are the kind of sort of pastels. And then you have got the sunset hues, which are a delight. Lush Lagoon. Now, one question I would on Wildberry. Now, one, one thing that I would recommend, and I, I'm going to ask Haley in a second uh, if she agrees, is to go for a color that you either respond to, so for instance, you are a purple person, for, go for Wildberry, or one that is a neutral sort of tone. Because um, think about the colors that you use, the patterns. If you are going to use it on as a sashing or binding, this will be a perfect way to go for neutrals. Right, we do have got also other colors available. However, they are in sets of four. 
uh, and this uh, you do not get uh, the interfacing that's very important but they have got a fabulous fabulous price so four half meter pieces we have got four different options shall we go through the options here so we have got this is uh, our fabulous fuchsias it's one of my favorite options let's remove this little thread I don't like that <laughs> anyway you can see it here the hard beautiful pinks all four different shades and you have got like one which is more mauve one that is more darker tones one that is a little bit brighter and one that is a little bit more intense if you if, if that makes any sense now of course Haley, can you give us some ideas on how to use them oh, for shorter and um, yes so one of the things that we are going to use it for is um bargello quilting okay so bargello is where you have the same width of all the fabrics and that's what i'm busy piecing together now i'm piecing yeah piecing together all those long strips and I'm using uh, the one day special the pinks yeah the, option. the candy pinks yeah yes the candy pinks and the fuchsia option that you've fuchsia. just had there oh, and that's a great way to um, start out quilting this as well I mean I would say it's maybe a second step up uh, initially you know just piecing your blocks together is great this is a slightly different technique whereby you'll take strips of everything join them all together into a big loop and then um, uh, cut open that loop back yeah. out and then line them back up and you'll cut them different widths to get different kind of oh, effects and um, curves showing but that's what we're, I'm trying my best to get everything sewn together so we can do this oh. um, but yeah a Fabulous. great thing Fabulous to do idea. with these because you've got that graduation of color you've got lots of colors from the same family and this will lend itself so beautifully to Bargello Okay, fabulous. Thank you so much, Riley, for that. Then that's the fuchsia. Then we have got a lime cooler. This is really fabulous. All right, again, you have got more of a mint color here. Again, I would say this is a light pistachio ice cream. Then we have got the li definitely lime pie sort of green. And finally, we have got a mojito green here. I would say it's a mint, uh, you know, like a proper mint. Not mint ice cream, but a proper mint. Uh, hence the mojito. Uh, now that it would be the mint, uh, the mint cooler. Then this is a red maple sunset. This is definitely my favorite. Uh, now reds are, uh, I'll go and admit it. Red is, a, is my favorite color, but sometimes I find it hard to find different beautiful shades of red. All four shades are absolutely stunning. Obviously, the camera, I don't never think that the monitors rather than the camera, I'd never do it as just this. This is a deep, this is almost like my favorite color. It's a, a what I call it, and uh, what, what in Spain we call it a blood red, a deep, intense red. It's a really rich and, and uh, I don't know, there is something incredibly beautiful. Yes, yeah, scarlet, red. wine, red, but it's just kind of in between and it's just beautiful. Then we have got what I would call a Merlot or a burgundy color here. Then this is more of a terracotta red. It's definitely more terracotta than uh, the other ones. It's a more warmth. It has got kind of a little bit of orange into it. And then finally, I would say this is a watermelon uh, or a strawberry red. Uh, they are all beautiful shades as well. And that means that when you, if you go for one of these sets, when you're looking for a red, you know that you have got four beautiful shades that you can match up. And then we have got uh, the the are thick greens now the difference between this and the mint you can see it here one is very light and fresh and this is my earthy my more neutral as well so we have got here a more of i would say this is a fern green a light fern green then we have got what i could call it a, a mossy grain a really kind of it's almost like a pampa grass kind of uh, green and then we have got this one which is more of an olive green and finally, we have got, I think this is a sandstone, rather. You know, I wouldn't say that this is green. This is that, this, your eyes do not deceive you. This is definitely a sandstone sort of color. Now, all these options, all four options of four, uh, you will get them in say, a half meter pieces for £14.96. Remember, it's a great price. You can multiply it and flexibly it, spread the cost interest free thanks to Flex uh, Flex Travianza. 794-550 is your item number. Right, Haley, what have you got there? It's more stuff. More. <laughs> <laughs> so these are really, really bright ones. And these are based around uh, Fabric Freedom's Melody range, which um, you will have seen before. It's like a, um, a batik look, 
but it's actually a, a printed fabric so it's got a regular pattern to it underneath but what they've done is they've taken that and then put a print over the top of it so you're okay. getting even more interest to it so this one this is your sprigs and we've got lots of different colors within these but lots of the colors will match with other sets and we'll start pulling them out and pulling them across at the minute so um, i'm going to assume that these are like sensible names um, they're like brown. <laughs> Correct. Excellent. Blue? Blue? Yeah. I'm going to go khaki on the green. Olive. 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 Oh. Um, uh, pink or fuchsia? Pink. Pink. Yeah. Excellent. This one's like a creamy beige colour. I think they're going to go cream on it. Beige. Oh, well, kind of. Two de oh, how many How many did they get right? Three so far. Um, teal? Teal, yes. yes. <laughs> purple? A purple, yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> You've got the li really, really bright, zesty lime green. That's uh, lime. The yellow, again, really, really bright and zesty on these ones. And then we have the sandy brown Ooh. there as well. So, that's the first kind of set that we're showing you that is the uh, sprigs option. Now, these are the blotchy flowers, these next kind of four or five here. And you've got different, um, uh, you've got different pattern on the top, but you've got the sim very similar colors to you had before. So that is your sandy color. And you can see, oh, amber, sorry. And then you've got the two different patterns within there. So you can see you could absolutely match those up and although it's the same color this one looks a little bit darker because it's got more of that dark print on the top um, and there's another there's a match for the olive let me just grab that one. Oh, i see it so it matches perfectly the color yeah absolutely perfect matches on these and you've got pick and mix any two on these so you could go for ones that have exactly the same match or you could go for two with the same pattern that um, are maybe different colours. So you've got different ways you can work these together. Um, so there's all of, I think just about all of the colours are in that first option and then you've got different elements that come through with the other patterns. So the next lot of patterns that we have are uh, the filigree and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different options in this one. So oh, I can't remember, it wasn't cream, beige. it was beige. I forgot it was only really there. And I've oh, forgotten. You, so you've got beige. Um, hang on, Marcus, I don't know what my left and right is. Uh, towards me, I'm left. I'm towards left. Paula. Away from Paula. Away from there Paula, you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, we are about I'm really four sorry. meters apart. It is not the best thing to do to tell me to go left or right. I'm with you. Towards I'm... Paula or away from Paula is what I'm going to need. <laughs> We're all sorted. So um, you've got your beige, you've got the, that beautiful pink, and again, you're using those two together, you can have a, a really nice option where it kind of shows more of the background on the filigree one, so it looks a little bit lighter, but it's exactly the same colour. You've got your sand. Here you go. No. Ah, uh, yeah, that's gorgeous. I mean, just those two together and something quite yeah, neutral. Exactly. I mean, I know that we've got some um, bits and pieces coming up tomorrow. Ooh. Not with fabric freedom, no, but with practice how silly yeah. that will match with all of this. Absolutely. So um, cool. I can't. You probably won't be able to see it because it's not on the internet oh. yet. But yes, I might. I might sneak them on at eight o'clock so you can have a quick sneak. So because oh, I know God. there's not huge stocks on some of these. Okay. So I'll sneak them on so you can have a quick look. Um, okay. So you've, there's the other three that are still in the filigree option. You've got your blue, sage, and grey now grey is one we haven't seen yet but this one's a, actually a really lovely one because it's a new, really nice alternative to a black and it will match with lots of different grey colours because there's all of those different colours running through them last option that we've got are all of the fantastic spots and we've got so many options in this one and it, all of those really bright zesty colours one that i really love is this one is the beige is the beige one because i think the beige with the beige spots on because you've got that mottled background it's much easier to match with an awful lot of colors it does and also i was thinking from here it looks a little bit like animal print yeah almost especially these ones it, on. they do don't they so for like oh definitely those three those, those three together definitely yeah. look a little bit animal print 
Yeah. But then you can take it either way. I think if, if you're not kind of thinking in that vein, then you could put them with anything. I mean, I know Absolutely. certainly a few of these would work really well with some of the things we'll, we'll show you tomorrow. Um, but yeah, oh, broke it. Uh, oh. Lots and lots of different colours. Well, Mo <laughs> go and let Molly lots see that. Lots of colours to choose from. Uh, now, I'll go and fix this. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is a pick and mix, the Melody Quilting Cotton. Uh, £10.99, pounds, you choose whichever two pieces. And of course, it's going to be half metre pieces for £10.99. Even £10.99, you can flexi buy it. We do have got fat quarters as well. Now, I need to tell you that whichever option you go for, the colours may vary, but you will get the, the right pattern, if, if that makes any sense. So, for instance, if you go for the chevron, you might not get the colors that we display here or exactly the same ones but you will get them in chevron other spots and vice versa right here we have got so you have got a selection of 10 uh, fat quarters and you can see here that this is the chevrons and you can see them and now i'm uh, oh uh oh um uh, a poplin weight so everything that we've looked at previously has been a quilt and cotton which means that's a little bit of a heavier weight and a slightly wider weave uh, what paula has got there now is a poplin which is uh, still 100 percent cotton i think sometimes get people get confused with the name poplin and, and think polyester absolutely not 100 percent cotton it's just a slightly finer weave so i would say yeah poplin brilliant for things like your english paper piecing because with that tighter weave it's a little bit easier to get uh, nice crisp edges but you can use it for lots and lots of different projects now also is it the sort of fabric that they use for shirts yes yeah it's it's classed as a shirt in weight material so it's the same weight as you'd see in a, just an, an ordinary men's shirt indeed then we have got the spot selection remember that the colors may not be exactly the ones that you see here or maybe one to two variations however it will be a spots if you are getting the spots then you have got the uh that's the spots chevron we have seen then we have got the uh i think this is gingham or oh yeah gingham, gingham so you can see that there is a, a Gingham check. That's it. So you are getting both gingham and check. Uh, that's how you are getting them. Uh, now remember the colours will vary a little bit, but it will be the sort that exact uh, pattern. Then we have got the large dots. Uh, do as they say, which is um, polka dots or so this. So this one is will be the polka dot because it's a larger one. The ditzy yeah, dot the, will be. The I would say dots are bigger and more no, dots smaller. No. Ditsy, but it's ditsy, so ditsy well, is tiny. I, I know, but what, just generally, is a, a spot bigger or is a dot bigger? A spot is bigger okay. than a dot. I, I, this is what they're saying. <laughs> so I'm open up to the floor then, I don't know. <laughs> which is bigger, a spot or a dot. <laughs> yeah, that, that subtle differences of the English language escaped to me. But <laughs> definitely polka <laughs> dot is bigger than, you know, Yeah, you see a polka dot, I would say it's bigger than the spot. Yeah. But then I would say that, oh, I don't know. I've confused this myself is now. Part, I think it's the smaller. For and the purposes the of polka this. Dot is the, yeah, <laughs> we are going for the pixel. So definitely polka dots is a larger one. My dot. intention was not to confuse everybody there. It was just general pondering. Oh, well, pondering. We, we pondered. <laughs> I've uh, pondered you, everybody into confusion. I, and, and you are my English teacher. Oh, you, know? <laughs> you do not want that. <laughs> And then of you course, do not want that. <laughs> well, you all are my English language teacher. Oh, and, that, and then we have got, of course, the plain, uh, plain option for the. Remember, this is pop plain, unlike the other ones which are quilting weight. Uh, there is twenty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. You are saving at three pounds nine three seven four eight and four is your item number. Right, we have got lots more on the website, so do check that out, including the uh, Swiss rolls. Uh, basic colors we have got. So this is one roll of all the same color uh, now you are getting 20 strips of two and a half inches by 44 inches you are getting the, you you can go for this white you can go for the ivory you can go for the pewter which is the gray uh, black uh, then you can go for the navy or the christmas red those ones are your options 17 pounds and 99 pence which is saving of two pounds remember you can flexi buy maybe now, you are thinking I, of white and gray and pewter or, or something like that do put them in the basket flexi buy them and you only pay two for one of them before we go on to the next, one, next thing one. yeah and um, we had these just before christmas i think yeah. and they sold out just about 
instantly it, because these are a brilliant idea. It's 20 strips of the same colour, which is so, so useful if you're doing sashing or you're doing binding on a large quilt. So this, these are absolute essentials and um, I wish I had the physical samples because here. Because they are brilliant. Um, because they are absolutely brilliant. Um, be quick on these because I don't believe, absolutely. again, there's a, a huge amount of stock. Uh, 970822 is your item number. Now we have got also charm packs uh, of solids. Uh, now they are five by five inches. You are getting 42 squares. Now the strawberries and cream is the one you can see. Then you have got a uh, powder shades in there, which we have got beautiful greens and creams and blue grays. Then, and that's the, uh, the op two options. 1199 is the price. And yes, you can flexibly them. Uh, strawberries and cream appears to be green. So I assume that's easy limited stock uh, you are saving three pounds five seven eight eight uh, seven three uh, right and then we have got a uh, uh, more poplin we have got a uh, ten half meters uh, 44 inches wide uh, wide uh, five and a half meters in total you have got two options of which you have got the lights option or you have got the darks obviously i'm going for darks there that beautiful reds 27 pounds and 48 pence is your price you're saving five pounds five one seven eight one five is your item number all right of course we want to head back to Haley to see what she's doing so Haley, take okay it away. right so um the planes that we've got in these bundles as we said earlier brilliant for uh, Bargello quilting. So Bargello quilting is where you start off by uh, having pieces all the same size, so things like the jelly rolls are brilliant for this as well. Starting pieces all the same size, so I've just cut a standard size strip, it's around two and a half inches. I'm going to admit that I didn't have a tape measure. So um, all I've done is cut one, use that one as a template to cut every single other one, because what happens if you cut this one first, and then you cut this one from the first one, then you cut this one from this one and this one from this one what gradually happens is you'll find you either drift a little bit larger or you drift a little bit smaller so whichever one you start off with use that one as your template to cut all the way down and obviously if you're going for a certain size then you want to do the maths and make sure that you've got you started off with the right size and then you can work your way through so i have sewn together one two three four five six up to here which is the um all of the colors in the one day special Okay. which is in the candy pink candy option pink, yeah. and then these last four that i've got here these are from one of the um, other sets that you had that had the four fabrics in as well and with a barge yellow you generally want um, at least 10 fabrics to be able to start getting that kind of right. movement so six from the one day special and four from the perfect uh, six from four the perfect yep. you can have more that's okay. fine. You can have more than 10, but I would say 10 is about your minimum. That 10 is a good amount good. to have. So um, all I'm doing at the minute is just sewing these big strips together um, and just graduating the colour through. Because what I was going to do is, if we did have enough time, I've got the purple. Is it the wild berry option? Yeah, wild berry. Yeah. I've got the wild, wild berry. berry option here, which if I wanted to continue this on, then I could go through the wild berry and I've kind of selected my colours so that I could continue on with that next kind of purple that's there and then work my way through. So let me just take these out of here and we'll see if we were going to go on to continue on. Okay. Well, now from here, if I was going to continue on from the purple option, I'd probably head to the, the bluey... Uh, the, the lagoon? Either that one or the, the light blue. The, so the spring, the spring one. This one, the yes. One. Either of those two. So, if I was going to go um, ahead and end and go to the bright version, yeah. then it's probably kind of this deeper colour that I want to end with. Okay. But if it's going to go to those pastely blues, yeah. then it's probably something more like that one that I want to end with. Right. It's just one that's I know that's going to kind of work into the next one. So it's it's always worth just having a little kind of lay out of things and having a little bit of a play work out which way you want to go with it. So so if you went from uh, two one day specials, you still could do this yeah, technique? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely you could. Because if we didn't have these kind of pinky ones here, we could we could go straight in with the purples. I would maybe have gone um, and just swapped those two round and then come in with that one and then a little bit of a darker purple, darker again, darker again and then towards the blue perhaps um, yeah, I could get that one in, maybe get that one in there 
so you can kind of work your way through those yeah. color tones but it's definitely worth if you're either going to go for a one day special and one of the four packs or two one day specials lay the fabrics out first have a bit of a play make sure you've got that kind of graduation of color because that's what you're looking for and ideally when you finish you want something that's going to be pretty close to what you started with so for example if i go f if i maybe went through some colors and went through to the neutrals then that would be perfect because then i can link one to the other and then i've got that graduation of color that goes all the way through that is so important to kind of help you with your bargello effect so um once you've got all your strips cut out you would just literally going to sew them together once you've sewn them all together as i said before you're going to sew them effectively into one big loop okay so then you've got a big tube of fabric is what you've right. got and then once you've got your big tube of fabric you are going to cut them out so that would be sewn to there so i would have a big big tube big loop that goes all the way around let me just can i be very there. very naughty uh -huh. can i ask you to could you do that show us there uh, i want to add a few more on first oh, because I, I won't oh, get I the see. effect oh, okay that's yeah fine. i won't get the effect yet so um no, no, i'm no, sorry i'm know. gonna have to add a few more on before unfortunately okay. i could do that um but then we will we'll absolutely this is because i really on. love this idea and i just we'll wanted love, to uh, see well, it we'll, we'll get there we'll get there it just won't be today um, <laughs> <laughs> so once i've got it all in a big loop then i'm going to take a ruler and cut these into strips going this way right. and what that will do is give me long strips yes. with lots of patches on of all the different colors now the width of that strip is not a continuous thing it's not oh, always the I same see. size and that's um, what I'll do is I, I'll actually I'll see if I can print off a couple of Bargello designs so you can see how the graduations work because your first one may be say a two two and a half inch strip okay. then the next strip along you may have and it'll be a little bit narrower and then your next strip along will be a little bit narrow again and what that will do is every time you um, kind of move down you'll actually move these one further down so let me see if i can just fold this so you can kind of kind of see ah uh, so can see. you see your next, yes i can your see your colors perfect. stagger yes as you go down but those lines will be straight and varying the width of the um strip that you add on to the next one will give you a different effect on the stripes so very sorry this evening i will mostly be just putting strips together but then tomorrow uh, well hopefully tonight we'll start cutting that up um, and that'll give me a little bit of time Perfect. to be able to uh, well, put this together for you. Well, well, when you are sewing those bits together, let's <laughs> show you some happy hours. Now, we have got happy hours in every of the one day special hours. And these ones are no, or this hour is no exception to that. We have got meadow quil quilting uh, here. We have got different options, I believe. Uh, now, we have got here a set of four half meter pieces. Uh, now, two meters in total you are getting. This uh, is the blue yellow option and you can see the beautiful bees and the fur coat. oh that's no that's a, that, 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 I'm pretty sure that's um, oh well, I kind of uh, let, let's double check on that, that one's one. the blue, blue yellow that one's blue yellow and then the next one is blue purple it's, that's what I thought yeah. yeah no that's good 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price saving eight pounds that's what the option then there's a blue uh, purple because I think I'm pretty sure it is because it has got purple yeah, uh, okay, so, um, yeah, so you can see there. Oh, we've got yeah. the red option too. Sorry? Oh, we have got the red option too. Red, green, yeah. I'm going to go um, see if I can look in the, are these happy hour ones? Yes. <gasps> right, so then. I was going to go look in the cupboard, see if I could find the quilt. Oh, I see. Because it always looks nice when you can see the quilt. Uh, well, it's never sorry. mind. <laughs> well, I've got too much to do. I can't sorry, be running off to go fault. in the cupboard. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> we have got, of course, the red green option here. You can see all of them feature like a beautiful kind of fern in there. You can see it. Then the pom pom sort of flower. Then the bee. And then, of course, finally, the larger pom-pom flower as well. So there it co coordinates perfectly. Whichever option you are going to go for, you're getting two meters of fabric in total. Uh, four half meter pieces, 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You are saving eight pounds, 101451. Now, we do have got more happy hours and we are going to show them right now. <gasps> Love this! This is a meter piece by 63 inches wide. So this is extra width. That is 1.6 meters of width. 
you have got two options this is the gray of the small uh, small that be in the pattern and this one is the cream and that kind of works about the uh, background this would work so much with uh, the one day special in the sunset as well as the hues uh, the spring hues as well 618641 and remember happy hours they have got well they go they disappear at the end of the hour so grab yours by checking out their basket then we have got a pick and mix of blenders 11.99 pounds is your price you have got a four pound saving you have got different options you can pick any three of half meter pieces so you have got all these different options of different colors but of course the pattern is that beautiful floral vines from fabric freedom 6544 Six nine is your item number. Eleven ninety nine is the price. But remember, even happy hour prices, even those with amazing savings, you can flexify them as long as they are above five pounds. But that's because of flex extravagance at the event that we are currently on, right? We have got, of course, the one day special behind me with six different options. And we have got Haley sewing those strips of fabric <laughs> in there. Now, yeah, I'm so sorry. It is quilting cotton. It weight, is quilting it? cotton, yes. And what I would recommend is a couple of things when you are going to put these together. So, um, when you're sewing long strips together, you've got two different options because they may not always be exactly the same length. And you'll see that here with this one that I've got here. So, it comes, I'll pull it down a bit. There we go comes along nicely and then I've got one ah, that's a little right. bit short now if you look at the other end that one again lined up nicely but that one is the one that's really short so you've got two different options with this you can always line up from one end yeah and then kind of all your mistakes are down at the other mm -hmm. or you can try and line up from the center each time and right. spread the mistakes so there's you know that gap isn't such a big gap and you've got a little bit missing off this side and a little bit missing off the other side sure. If, if I mean, if we do like this, that yes. like have you have done it, I would think that you can you make more use of. You got you end bit. up with bigger bits. Exactly. Yes. You yeah. end up with bigger bits there, which you can maybe put into a, another project. So I do tend to prefer to line up all of one edge, and then have all my kind of all my mistakes at the other. Oh, I see. <laughs> so as you go um, along with this, you are going to want to finger press each of these open. Now you don't have to uh, press the whole thing at this stage, but I would recommend you press it before before you sew it into its little tube and get these all kind of pressed out really nicely. So first of all, I'm just running down with a fingernail and uh, pressing, finger pressing all of these open. Some other top tips, especially when you're doing these really long pieces, is to sew in different directions. So when you come, let me just pull this to the end. So when you uh, sew this one to this one and you've got them uh, like that, Obviously, you'll, you'll put it through your machine the right, the right way around. Ah, let's go this way, because then it, it goes through the machine the right way. So, with this one, I will sew from the top to the bottom. And then my next one, if you um, are doing this method where you're lining them all up at the top, what you're going to need to do is rather than push it through the machine this way with your uh, piece that you're attaching on the top, you'll actually want to put it through the other way I with see. that piece on the bottom because you want to come in opposite directions yeah. because you'll, you'll not realise you're doing it but what you'll do is you'll gradually drift off might only be by a millimetre per strip yeah. but if you've got 20 strips together yeah. then that's two centimetres that you're out by the, the top and the bottom but if you alternate directions can you see they're exactly the same width yeah I'll just pull it down there you go see they're exactly the same width and that's because the first row I'll sew top to bottom, and then the next row, I'll sew the other way, so that I always um, am going different directions, and that will help even it out. So if I am a millimetre out coming down this way, when I come back the other way, I'll be a millimetre out in the other direction, it'll square itself off. And that is what will give you that kind of really nice, even sewing, uh, sewing there, so that you'll have a really uh, like a constant width and you won't drift out and, and the thing what I was thinking um, now as a beginner quilter last year I started quilting and I saw it and one of the things that really kind of find it challenging and you know I still will go for pattern fabrics but it was the 
you know, the f uh, patterns usually have got a direction. Yes, uh, some they've of got them a direction, the direction or they've, they've also got a fixed um, size. To exactly. The you so then you're into pattern matching and you've got to kind of uh, pick projects that maybe, you know, the pattern might have a 10 centimetre repeat. And by that, what we mean is between, um, the, effectively, usually a square or a rectangle. And whatever you see on this side, then will repeat on the other side of that 10 centimeters. So say we've got a pink piece coming off that side and then there'll be another pink piece coming off the other side. Yeah. That's what we're looking at. Okay. And, and, and I think having that planes is my problem yeah, was that planes was is a great way to start. And even just as it is, absolutely. even I just as a like quilt that. Love, like that, it yeah. would be really, really pretty. Because you could do it, for, I was thinking, for instance, a cover of a chair, you know those fancy things. Yes. So you have it like this, if you cut it in half, and then you have got the lightest at the top, then going darker, and then darker again to the light. Yes, well, yeah, absolutely, you could do that, or you don't necessarily need to um, cut it in half. No, no. You could just cut, cut extra strips. Absolutely. So if I, if I wanted it to do that, then I would just cut extra strips and go from my darkest one, and then come back and do this colour, and back and do this colour, and work my way out, coming the other way, making sure I've yeah. got all of the colours in there. Now, one question we have is, with a half metre piece, uh, more or less, say, we are doing two and a half inches strips, yes. how many would we get? Um, considering that two Out and a half, half inches right. uh, would two be and half, about two and a half inch seven, seven centimetres. Yes, it's about seven centimetres. So uh, you're getting half metre pieces, so that's seven strips. Seven times seven is 49. Uh, and a spare one. Exactly. It was per <laughs> centimeter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Per centimeter. Oh, well, not the strip. <laughs> your mouth always is. I mean, you know, I love, I love you because you're just like kind of so quick, so on it. Uh, you know, definitely. You am, know, I the, you, am I the Rachel Riley of craft of China? You are the real. Uh, that means me. That, that that means that I'm the Nick, whatever his name is, uh, Nick Cure, the one that just sits there with him. <laughs> not very. You know. Well, I don't have the grey hair, so. Well. There you, you know. go, we're sorted. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, can we play Countdown? Do you huh? think? Do you think well, we, we could should play one, one day? day. Should we should. Okay. One day, maybe. Maybe let's leave it out for. Uh, See, I'm no you know, good with the letter part. ones, though. I can do the number ones quite quick, but yeah. the letter anyway, ones. Anyway, let's do. Uh, and the anagrams, let's... you've got no chance. Consonant, please. Uh, now we have got the candy pinks, everyone. Uh, approaching 20% of this option has gone. Now, quilting white, six pieces of uh, half meters, uh, beautiful 100% cotton. This is the candy pinks. You can see the deeper tones, the lighter per tones. Think about the strawberries and cream. Think about those gorgeous, beautiful mauves as well that appear here, as well as more of those candy floss and marshmallow. Then we have got the neutrals. And we are talking about, you know, a cappuccino, latte, caramel, toffee, vanilla. We are talking about creams and a tiny, you know, I would say ice cream, a lemon ice cream. And I really, really love it. So shall we go through? I would say this is more of a, um, you know, like a, a, a latte color uh, or a ca and then a caramel. I don't think that's correct, but caramel is a little bit lighter. But what's really handy about having ones like that that are so close in tone is especially for this kind of Bargello work, perfect. Absolutely. That. And then we have got more of, I would say this is more of a vanilla. This one, of course, we can see this one as well here. That is more of a lemon, I would say. That's this is really or a vanilla. You know when it's a really, I would say, this is expensive vanilla ice cream, and this one is the a little, seeds in. Yes, and then this one is a slightly the one that they put a little bit of coloring in, so it's a little <laughs> bit more yellow rather than cream. And then we have got the cream colour. Oh, so you mean that's the ice cream that you give to the kids? Absolutely. And then the, then the one with the white bit, the, the little one. black bit. And this is the vegan. And this one is the vegan one, the one that has got nothing on it. Okay. <laughs> that hasn't got any milk in. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> then we have got the spring hues here. And then the spring hues have got the beautiful skies, the beautiful bluebells, and of course the wisteria kind of sort of colours in here. Then we have got the mint green, and, and then those gorgeous sort of pistachio tones as well. Then we are moving on to the sunset, and of course that, that gorgeous uh, beautiful oranges in here, the yellow cream, and of course the yellows. And then we have got the yeah, I love the sunset. I really, really love that one. Yeah. Then we have got the lagoon. Sorry. 
you know, floral quilts. Think about all the flowers that would use all those yellows. Daffodils, perfect for that, because you could have the really oh. light ones that have the kind of light outer and the yellow inside, and then you can have the really bright ones that got that really stunning yellow outside, and then that orangey red on the inside. Absolutely. So lots and lots of flowers and things with that one. So really good for if you're yeah. doing your florals. Absolutely. Then we have got a lagoon with the deeper blues and hues, and of course this is kind of a dark denim color, or I would say indigo almost. Uh, then we have got the forest green, the bottle green, the crystal green uh, now then we are going into then finally the uh, wildberry uh, a wildberry is the most popular and I'm not surprised because of course is the purpley tones that uh, so many of you enjoy uh, now 20% of uh, the wildberry uh, is already gone if you want yours check out your baskets 25 pounds and 93 pence is your price you're saving 15 pounds and you can flexibly and pay just 13 pounds uh, today for four 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 nine five is your item number for the one day special. Back to Haley, who is oh, I'm still so sewing. I'm really sorry. It's it's just not exciting at the minute because unfortunately I've got to get all these pieces together before we can do the exciting bit. But I can take you through those um, other fabrics, and I think there's some beautiful options there as well. Let me just cut this off so I know where I'm up to. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Okay. So you can see it's cut, it comes together really, really quickly because all you're doing is sewing those long straight. I've got three few threads there that I just want to get rid of. And that's just because when I cut, well, I didn't cut, in fact, when I ripped the pieces, then sometimes you do get those little kind of threads coming through. And definitely press as you go with this because you can see the difference between the side that I've pressed there and this side, which is all a little bit lumpy bumpy at the minute because it hasn't been pressed. So it's definitely worth uh, pressing as you go. Okay. So, I have the, uh, the Melody collections and these are so beautiful because I think you can use these in a lot of different ways. And the advantage of having that mottled background, that kind of almost batik look background, is going to give you a lot more flexibility in the colours that you can use them with. Um, so, this one up to here, there we go, up to here, this is your, oh, I've forgotten, Spriggs, Ditsy Spriggs? Yes. Ditty Spriggs, Spriggs. excellent. Um, and you've got lots of different colour options in here. Now you can absolutely use these together because you can pick and mix them so that they go together and especially that kind of nice sandy one as well. So you have a really nice kind of neutral option with those three. Or you can go for those contrasts, the pink and the purple together. Again, oh, really, really nice option. And how are they to sew with? How does They're it... a quilting cotton. Um, they're a quilting so cotton, so really, sew. really easy to sew with. Uh, because there's such small patterns on these, you don't really need to worry about your pattern matching on these. You can just, you know, kind of cut and go for it and make the most of the fabric that you've got. So um, you've got, I think it's about two, four, six, eight, ten different options. Ooh, oh. Ten different options. So you've got your brown, blue, olive, pink, beige, still want to say cream, uh, teal, purple, You've got lime green, really, really zesty and bright, that one. You've got your yellow, sand, and then we're into our next set. So the next set is the blotch floral, or floral blotch, whichever way around you want to go. Um, and there's only five options in this one, but the thing that we kind of pointed out before was that they're exactly the same background colour. So if you want to use them together, so maybe you've got a project, you're finding a difficult match for it. These are perfect because they've got lots of different colours. If I just open that one right out, there's lots of different colours. There's really, really kind of dark, kind of almost a chocolatey brown in there. And then it's going right through into those really light beiges. So you've got lots and lots of different shades within there, which means you'll get a good match with a lot of different fabrics. So you have uh, your sand, brown, teal, and pink in that one. Yeah. Gorgeous. And then They're the next option is the filigree. Have to do the twill. There we go. Uh, the filigree, there are <laughs> two, four, six, seven options. It's the twill. It's, it's a weird thing, isn't it? It now? is. It's now you know my pain. Of do, oh, you, you don't like the twill? Part. Yeah. I, I just acknowledge the twill and power through. Um, so <laughs> you've got to power through. Uh, beige, pink, that sand again, I think that sand is available in all four of these options. So you're picking and mixing any two. So you could either go for two of the same pattern or you can go for two of the same uh, colourway in different patterns or you could just do 
completely random ones. It's entirely up to you. Um, so we've got brown, blue, mm, I called it khaki, but they've called it olive. Olive. Yes. And the, uh, well, they've called it black, but it, it adds quite a it's a grey it's a gray to it. It's really, really nice, this one. And it will go with such a lot because it's got lots of lots of different tones of um, grey and black in there. And this one is one of those ones that you can mix and match with any other colour as well. Yes, yes. So this is a kind of a universal match on this one. So then the last lot we've got are the spots. We have had already oh. one sellout of the spots, which is the teal one. Okay, I can do that. That's the nearest one to me. That's convenient. Good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Very well thought. Pop yeah. that over there. Okay. So um, in the spots, I think this is a lovely one, especially if you're kind of starting out as well, because the spots aren't even spots, and sometimes spots can be difficult to sew with. Sometimes it sounds silly, but they can because if those spots aren't dead straight, they can always look a little bit off. And I think we had either spots or some kind of pattern on a previous show where we explained about when you're cutting the fabric, because a lot of the times if it's plain fabrics, I'll rip it, because you're always guaranteed to get it straight because it will rip with the grain of the fabric. But with uh, spots like the polka dots that you've got um, over there, you need to cut with the fabric, with the, uh, the print that's on the fabric, because what will happen is it will look out. Even though you've kind of ripped it straight and the fabric is ripped straight, if the print is not straight, it will always look out. So this spot is a really nice option as an alternative to that because you've got, A, you've got different sizes of dots and then more of a random positioning as well, so you're not worrying about lining up all of your spots. It's, it's, working with spots is almost the same as working with stripes. Um, if they're, the smaller they are, the kind of easier they are because it's not as obvious uh, where the match is. But um, these are such a nice option and when you've got that mottled background as well so you're getting that extra benefit of being able to blend with more fabrics I didn't couldn't see the red one so I thought I'd just give them a little shuffle oh, there absolutely <laughs> right of course uh, that is uh, the uh, melody quilting uh, pick and mix you choose any two and you're gonna get a half meter pieces for 10.99 remember you can flex divide 544325 is the item number on the website we have got more poplin and you can see it's a pick and mix uh, pick any three for 14 pounds and 97 pence and yes you can flex divide even though it's half price you have got the felines main the felines pink pitch and the birds and bugs gray you have got the pixies mate oh, that's uh, a pic whopper of a pick and mix it, it is oh, i love the floral pop back that is really cool i missed there, it where is it the, the oh, one that one yeah okay that's yes, cool i like it that, i like it me too uh <laughs> then there is vintage floral lilac as well and the hop and matte white pink uh now oh, you can choose any three uh and of course for 14 pounds and 97 pence it is uh half price better than half price in fact uh grab yours and remember that you can flex divide if you wish to do so because we are the flex extravaganza right we have got about five minutes left okay so what i'm going to do is just recap what we've done so far uh, because yes we are with <laughs> this is a this is a long haul this is kind of real-time quilt making we're doing today so uh what i've done is picked out uh the candy pink option from yep. the one day special which takes me from here to here yep. that's the six in that option and then these six these four sorry um they're from the fabric freedom uh, uh natural moods quilting cotton mini stack these titles get longer and longer, they don't do. they? They uh, do. That's fabulous fuchsia Who writes option. This stuff? Yes, it's the one right next to you, which is, um, so they work beautifully together. Now, with the Bargello, what I need to do is get it so that the colour that I start with is pretty close to the colour that I finish with, because what we're going to do is take them round and sew them into a loop. So um, I'll get this last one on, and then I'll go digging through some of the other colour options, and then just pick a couple of colours just to get it back to kind of where we started. The other option, if you don't want to do that, is to just kind of come back the other way. So um, I could put another one of those uh, strips on the side of there and then kind of go back the other way until I match up and go around. Perfect. So you've got two different options, but I'm going to try and get it to go around. I probably will end up with about 12 um, strips in total, anywhere from kind of nine, I would say is your minimum, and you want to go upwards from there. You can have as many as you like, but when what we're going to do is sew these back round into a tube. So sew this one to here as a long strip, and then from that we are going to 
line it all up and cut through the strips to create long tubes, so long loops of fabric. Now the widths that we're going to cut will vary depending on the pattern that we want to create and you can either plan that pattern out ahead in advance. Um, we are going freestyling so that is fine so ours will kind of vary as we go but generally if you go smaller as you go to a, a point what you'll get is kind of a v-shape in your borgello so that's what we're going to do and we're going to do that a little bit later uh, at 8 p.m with Derek don't for, don't forget that if you wanted extra for like the fabulous fishes that of course uh, Haley was using here they are remember that there you have got uh, four different options of the set of four 14 pounds and 96 pence which you can flexify as well you have about uh, four different turns half meter pieces by 44 inches wide that's the fabulous fishes uh, then we have got the uh, lime color so we have got the mints and the limes in here vibrant beautiful greens then we have got uh, we can see here the you, that was a good one, that one. I like liked that, that one, yeah. yeah. Oh. I did. <laughs> All right, so we have got the red... Strictly, uh, I'll be on the phone shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Not with my heavy footing. Anyway, uh, right, we have got the gorgeous reds in here. And then finally, we have got the uh, the earthy greens. That really is proper greens. And uh, of course, the last one is more of a sandy uh, brown, uh, sandy... You know, it's kind of a natural earthy, earthy colors yeah, in that which one, works uh, very well. Fourteen pounds and ninety-six pence is the price. You are saving five pounds. Whichever option you go for, you can flexify courtesy of Flex Travaganza. Seven nine four five five zero is your item number. Remember that there is lots more on the website, uh, including, of course, the one-day special uh, that comes with a, the one meter of fusible, um, you know, fusible web. Uh, as well, there is other items on the website like the fabric free. Them, but uh, colors, the basic rolls. colors, quilting pattern. Oh, the yes. rolls. I yeah. wish I had these in the studio because those rolls are, are uh, excellent. We do have got some, some updates on that. Oh, have you? Oh. Yeah. Uh, we have sold out on the ivory and the Always blacks. Always go first. So please make sure that you check out your baskets if you want them. Please and make sure that do you do that. You also We also have got the ever popular poly mix sheeting, 5 meters by 2.4 meters. We also have got the mix, a pick and mix. Remember that uh, the one day special is once at 6 p.m. It's back at 8 p.m. And of course at 8 p.m. will be featured other happy hours and other items. Uh, do stay tuned for that. Hayley, well, you will keep I'm getting doing there. <laughs> I'm sewing as many on as I can but yeah I'm probably only going to need another two or three on and then we'll be able to join it in the next hour and then start uh, cutting those strips off well with that cliffhanger oh, cliffhanger <laughs> I don't know if it's quite a cliffhanger, but yeah, go on there. Yes, you know, it's kind of... Uh, we will see it's it. It's not like you, a, you know, Game of Thrones cliffhanger or anything like that. Other fantasy, uh, you oh, know, yes, mythical... Oh, yes, programs are available. are available. But, All right, yeah. I do stay tuned uh, because, of course, we have got more live hours here at Hot Chanda. After the break, I'm doing uh, happy hours, so it's just me <gasps> and a lot of ink and stencils. I'm actually very excited. Uh, Hayley, a pleasure Thank as you. always. Uh, Thank we you, will see Mrs. you at Paola. 8 and tomorrow tomorrow at 8 a.m., 12 and uh, of course 4 p.m. Stay tuned here at Hochenda and check out your baskets to get the one day special or beautiful fabrics. Well, it is a happy hour after the break, so stay tuned for uh, Inky Antics. Then Fabric Freedom, Ball Basics one day special at 8 is back and then Wonderful Wool with Derek. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture of this shows on Achanda.
It's Flex Travaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6 p.m. to Friday the 15th of January at 6 p.m., we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flex Travaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda. Free Spirit is the home of some of the biggest names in designer quilting fabrics, like Kay Fassett, Tula Pink and William Morris, and have been proud to supply Hochanda for the last 12 months. Join us on Thursday the 14th of January at 6pm for the Free Spirit First Anniversary One Day Special. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. To you, I like I like that. Uh, happy hour to you. Uh, well, what that means is the happy hour is a great for you because you are gonna get amazing products, and in this hour we are getting top brands at amazing prices. We are getting Ranger, we are getting Tem Holtz, we are getting uh, Deco Art, we are getting amazing. We are so Ciao Bella. We are, I mean, absolutely beautiful products at amazing prices, and we also we are gonna have like extravaganza, and I might do a demo or too. I mean, I cannot promise they're going to be good demos, you know me, but at least we're going to kind of have a look and how things work. Now, the first item, well, archival ink pads from Ranger. Now, 
If you are in Cook Eyed, you would have seen, maybe you were, were watching uh, Charmaine during the one day special, the previous one. She was using archival ink and is one of the go-to ink pads for many crafters. The reason being is, as the name suggests, it is an archival ink, so it's asset free, it's also permanent and waterproof. Now, I will say one thing, uh, manufacturers are very tight-lipped about their kind of, and so they should, about their kind of, you know, mm, formulas. The formulas, uh, because what they do sometimes in, in different inks is a mix of different things, right? And especially with, with archival ink, it's not really said what sort of ink it is, other than it is a dye base, so it has got a translucent nature, and that is permanent. That means that, of course, it will dry on acetate, on parchment, on non pure surfaces, as well as being fabulous on car stock, on paper, on, you know, watercolor cards. Now, the fact that it's permanent means that you can bring in or stamp in and then bring whatever water-based products and the ink won't bleed. Now, I really like to look at here because you can see that you can say it's allowed on glass cardstock, allow 20 minutes to dry or can you can reuse it. Now, of course, it's a non-toxic cleaner that you can use for it and clean your stamps. Another thing that is good to consider is that this ink pads have got a lid, of course, and it's a, can, you can see that it has got a, a double lip in here. So it's really important to make sure that you close it up so it doesn't dry up. You have got a felt a pad. That's really a good thing because it means that no matter how large or as small your stamp is, you can ink it up perfectly. The other thing that is important with having a felt pad, and I'm really, really fond of them, uh, is the fact that you never over ink a stamp. Um, if it's a sponge pad, the sponge can mold itself about the crevices of your rubber stamp, whether this will not. So you, it's more likely, uh, even if you're a newbie stamp, that you will not get over inking. Aside from all that, you have got a choice. You choose whichever three colors they are. Also, another thing, worth, uh, another thing worth mentioning with archival ink is that it's one of those ink pads that even for clear stamps will give you a really nice solid image. Uh, now, if you have got a, 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 um, what do you call it? a stamp platform, you can blend them in a little bit on top of your stamp and then stamp them several times to build up the intensity of the colors. So. It's up to you which colors you go for, whatever you want to build your collection to. Personally, I always go for colors that I tend to go for. Maybe a teal, maybe maybe you can want to go for maybe manganese blue, that could be one, or aquamarine. Or maybe you like deep dark blue with the cobalt, or vibrant fuchsia. It's up to you which ones you are going for. Or bright tangela right whichever colors you go for uh you remember you pick and choose any three of them 13 pounds and 99 pence is your price five two three three to five one now these are the standard size which is i believe two by four inches in no, no two, two by is it two by two, oh, i don't know two by three inches in here uh right but then we are going jumbo Jumbo. Now here you are getting, uh, which I think you have got a choice to go for the jet black or the emerald green. This uh, takes me back to another time uh, when I started crafting. Now, this is where the true main was I now uh, because, um, you know, jet black is one of the most used uh, ink pens that you can see. And now this is perfect for those larger stamps, for those larger projects. Of course, it stays wet longer. Uh, in this case, you don't have a, uh, you have got a flip lid, so it, you never lose it. You, it's always there. You can re-ink them. There are re-inkers available, so don't worry about, um, you know, kind of thinking. And of course, when you you get the reinker what you would do is always less is more so you would put different <laughs> they are very shy the ink pads they come at seven o'clock and they go all shy anyway you would put lines on here of, of ink and then another lines across it and then you spread it with an old credit card or shopping card or whatever something like that and then you let it dry Oh, but we have got some news, apparently. 
the blood black is technically sold out i'm not surprised it is a fabulous fabulous ink pad it's not very often that you see the jumbo size so if you have it in your baskets please check out your baskets and of course that you will get it that way right and we have got the emerald green here though that beautiful green now because they are permanent inks so this would be perfect for a no line coloring um no line coloring technique with the stamps especially if you have got like a forest scene leaves like this so you want to do them with fine lines then bring your watercolor one of the things i have uh, learned from playing with inks is the uh, the formulations formulations are very kind of as i was mentioning uh, is that quite secretive and because of my experimentation archival is technically speaking oil based dye based um, so basically what it does is it's permanent but it has got a tiny bit of solvent so what that means is for me, I would, if I wanted to use alcohol markers, I would wait until it's completely dry, they all have the alcohol, and then bring my alcohol markers. It's not my to-go-to for them. It would be my go-to for all watercolor mediums. So think about even uh, distress oxides when you want to color with them. If you want to do a background with distress oxides, do some fog bleaching, do that first, let it dry, and then stamp with the archival. It's a fabulous ink. Remember that Jet Black has sold out, and this is a really brilliant size. I would say that this is really nice size, actually. Uh, this is, what is this, four by six inches? No, seven inches, actually. Uh, so it is a phenomenal jumbo uh, ink pad. All right, 210522 is your item number. 999 is your price. You're saving three pounds. Also, once Secret. I remember um, Tim Hall told me this. You can, I'm not going to do it, but you, if you want it, if you are stamping a lot with uh, several people, you can and hinge it and hinge it back if you wanted to. Not going to do it because knowing my clumsy hands, I could have an accident there. Right, 9.99 is a good price as well. Right, moving down to some folk chalk paint. Now, this is from uh, Folk Arts and it's absolutely phenomenal. You are getting two options here. It's ultra matte chalk paint. How you are getting the in the first option, uh, you are getting um, this is uh, what is it called? White Adirondack. 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 Uh, Adirondack. Yeah, in Spanish it's the same. Anyway, and then we have got uh, Parisian Grey or Gris Parisino. Uh, that's the Spanish way of saying it. Uh, and then we have got the Rich black and that's just called rich black in any language uh now that you could use actually you could use that uh, over uh, almost like a gesso because it has got the ultramat now ultramat also means that it's a perfect for um you know using for your home decor so if you want to uh, upcycle maybe a beautiful piece of furniture like maybe a chest of drawers or maybe like a chair or something like that this would be a really lovely oh this is gone as well we are very busy do check out your baskets as soon as you're making uh, making your your um, baskets uh, check out your baskets if you don't want to miss my words lately have failed me anyway when they didn't anyway moving on uh, we have got the other option the option number three that is called although we don't only have two options and now we only have got one option that is option number three and then we have got here the Bavarian which is that gorgeous vanilla color it's like expensive vanilla uh, or custard yeah that probably is more of a custard yeah I agree with our director today uh, then yeah that's rare Oof. Then we have got cobblestone next, which is a gorgeous warm gray. I would definitely say that it's a kind of a pebbled color. It's gray, but it has that warmth. So if you mix it up with a little bit of um, babar, babar uh, that kind of you can see it there. Now, shall I open it or? Oh, it's sealed. It's sealed. I think it's sealed. Yeah, it is sealed. Oh, I can open it. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not looking. I like it. <laughs> and then the last one, of course, is Java, uh, which is uh, could be coffee job from Java or could be chocolate from Java. Either one is extremely delicious and rich and indulgent. And of course, um, 
if I open it, nobody's looking. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, that is hot chocolate Spanish style. I think I'm going to have some tomorrow. You know, when you melt a dark chocolate and then you dip the churro in it and then it's just all delicious and indulgent. Uh, well, this is not for eating though. Uh, of course, uh, this is for painting and decorating and of course, bringing it to your mixed media projects. $12.99 is your, pro your, your prize. It is um, extremely ultra matte acrylic paint. So water-based, but uh, you can dilute it. Uh, four, six, one, one, six eight seven is your item number remember yeah you can flexify it that 15 pound saving is there even if you want to flexify very busy for this is viva the core chalky paints so we have got a, f a set of five uh, colors here you have got two options here we have got uh, your classic which features uh, oh my look at that al rosa al rosa al rosa al rosa Oh, I don't know how to pronounce Alt Rosa. Well, in Spanish we would say Alt Rosa, but I don't know how you would say it in English or in German, as the case may be, uh, because this is, of course, Viva Decor is a German company. Uh, Ger yeah, from Salzburg. Uh, Hellgrün. Then we have got Hellblau. And then we have got Weiss. Weiss, that means. And then we have got Dunkelgrün. Dunkelgrün. <laughs> That's your uh, a classic option. And then we're going downstairs. Oh, sorry, not downstairs. <laughs> and then we have got a cappuccino. And then we have got, we have got a zielgarot. I don't know if that's the right way of pronunciation. Roche blau. Uh, probably a rich blue, yeah, that probably is rich blue. And then we are going grau, which is definitely grey. You know what is, um, I think grau is actually, I'm kind of thinking in Catalan also it's, it's, it's grey. Uh, and no, no, it's not, it's gravel in Catalan. Ways again, with with probably is kind of a, a white, and then uh, that's the colors that you are getting hair as well. So, oh, I like this red. Look at that. This is a beautiful color. This is me, very me. This is a Paula color. Zielga uh, Rot. Which look. <laughs> what is that? What? That's Zielga Rot. Uh, and that, of course, is the Christmas option. Uh, 054429 is your item number. 14 pounds, say, 14 pounds and 19, 19 <laughs> 14 pounds and 18 pence is your saving. Better than half price because you're paying 12 pounds and 19 pence. Uh, of course, you can flexify it if you want. 054429. But you also got, you also are getting of course, the sandpaper, and you are getting the blocks of uh, sponge, which actually they're really handy to paint through. So you can use them and use them with the stencils, which coincidentally we have got next. Now we do have got Tim Holtz, Stampers Anonymous. A little bit of like story. Tim Holtz is one of these very inspirational people that I'm sure you follow him and you know all about him. Uh, but one of the things I really admire is that he's very loyal and he works with different companies for different products. He likes to find p companies that he enjoys working with them, but also manufacture the best products that he likes or the way that he likes to do the products. And he will say, like, even though a Ranger will do other products that are similar, he will stick with the original company that did his stencils and stamps. And that company is Stanton and Stampers Anonymous. Now, all his stamps and stencils are made by them. Now, uh, these ones are the layered stencils. It's a pick and mix, you choose any two. Now, what it means by layering stencils. Now, if you look at, for instance, we are coming up next uh, to these ones, it means that you can use them in one side and then turn it or them over and you will have a two-tone if you're using different color inks or even if you're using the same ink especially the crosses or this one that we have got here can you see those crosses there now these edge lines 
are not stencils, right? But imagine that you ink through first, then you put the stencil and you layer the image that you have a stencil and you layer them with the edge once. Then you do it again, so you're creating a, a building, a pattern that is a little bit different. And hence why they are called layering stencils. So that's, it's etched already in there and you can build them as well. Now, of course, it's a very clever concept and you can do them as well with the square ones because they are square. So you can build those images, although these ones are not etched into it, but you could still get those F effects as there. 1099 gives you Two is your choice of which ones you want to go for. Two seven nine seven eight nine is your item number. Uh, now saving four pounds, and you can flex divide if you wish to do so. You could go for two sets, so you will have four in total, and you pay just half. To, well, pay for one today and for one set next uh, next month. Moving on to Ciao Bella. Uh, uh, I love Italian, don't you? Uh, and of course, we have got. Yeah, my dream is to be Italian or something exotic. For me, it's being exotic is Italian or something. Uh, right, and of course, we have got a pick and mix. Uh, now, you are choosing any two. So you have got 10 sheets in each. So you can see different ones. So uh, 10 sheets in total, right. So, so five in each. Now, these ones are different options. Uh, of course, the website, um, I just refer to the website to see exactly all the different options. However, one important thing to notice is that you are going to get five of, e for, of whichever design you choose. And of course, you choose two designs. So for instance, you would get five of this one, uh, or five of uh, the clocks, or five of, oh, look at this one, it's gorgeous. And you know, I actually really like that you are getting five foot because look at this. Isn't that just stunning? And because they are A4, having uh, five of them, it means that you're not going to be afraid of using them. Of course, you can multiply it. This is one of the ones I would go for because this is more of a background. So you can do that one and then use a feature one in which you kind of have the highlight. Uh, being A4 means that of course you can bring them into a smaller projects but having five of them means that you can also take them and make bigger projects or look at these ones for smaller kind of elements as well. Think about maybe for Christmas you got beautiful cardboard boxes. Maybe, you know, uh, hopefully you got something beautiful inside of them, but you know what I mean, the wrapping or sometimes the boxes got delivered, the presents got delivered in beautiful boxes. Now, of course, you can glue them, you can decoupage them, go for a book binding glue or, a, of course, decoupage glue or rice glue, all of them, you can find them on the website. Do a coat at first and then put the paper and then do another sealing coat. Or better than that, just watch her Leone doing her thing and with uh, any of the Chow Bella and Rice Paper shows. 002113 is your item number. £14.99 is the price. You are saving £4. Moving on to K and Company. Another little backstory about K and Company. K and Company were. Um, you know, an amazing company. The, uh, they were one of the kind of scrapbooking leaders. And um, this is a company that had, they made the most embellished and glitter papers. Incidentally, I have got some of them at home because I couldn't resist them when in 2004, I think it was, when I was working in a um, craft shop, uh, we used to feature them very often. And of course they went on and on to produce beautiful collections. In here you are getting stickers and design up paper bag but you have got also die cut pieces in here. Now, if you have got a little crafter in your house, this is fabulous because for 9.99, you are getting so many, many, uh, of course, uh, elements in here that they will have lots of fun. Beautiful dreamer. You have got, look at that, the book. look at that. Just look at that, gorgeous. Uh, and uh, look at the, look at that, a true friend and is a forever friend. So you have got all those different die cuts. You have got lots of glitter. So if you're a little bit of a magpie, this is perfect for you. And then of course we have got the tag book, so the tag pad as well, ready tags. 
perfect for gifts, but also mixed media, memory albums. Remember that a scrapbooking means that it's memory safe, asset and lignin free. So perfect for your memory books that you want to keep forever. Now we have got also the designer uh, matte papers as well. And look at that gorgeous print and it's not a print weave it's actually the texture from the paper have got that lovely book binding element into them and of course you have got different colors in here double-sided different patterns that you can mix and, oh i do like this one isn't it and it has got a nice texture can you hear that no, that's really nice, isn't it? All right, that's the pa pad in here. So all those stickers, all those elements, and of course you are also getting, um, is, this, uh, is this a hat or a, no, this is like for a memory album. So you could be like, a, you can put it as a page in there, or it's just a party hat. Yeah, not that we go to any parties these days, but you know, who knows? Anyway, 618531 is your item number. 999 is your price. Right, moving on to another K and Company kit here. And of course, this one is the flower and message embellishment pack with organza ribbon. 999 is the price. Getting all those layer stickers with those crystals in there that add a sparkle and interest. Definition, different elements in here. They are stickers. Now, one top tip I will have it because I do do have something with it. When you go to take them out, don't take them out like they are. Just bend the bottom off, lay the whole sticker. The reason is because you can see it's very layered. And sometimes what happens, although they have got like loads of foam tape in the back, you could rip the one of the layers and you don't want to do that. So hence why you just put it you know, just bent the backing off. Also, you are getting words like friends and joy and smile and thanks and amazing. Let's have another look about it. Let's have, let's, let's move that one. So we have got things like love, you're happy, ours, me together, perfect, new, journey, delight, sweet, us, true, love, dream see joy smile so all very positive uplifting words which i think we all need at the minute right then we have got some beautiful av coated uh, crystals in here obviously not crystal crystals but they are self adhesive uh, gemstones uh, without the gems you know what i mean the sparklers or you know diamond teas um you know you know, plastic gems. Anyway, uh, then we have one of the ones as well with the beautiful turquoise element. And then we have got even more stakes, of course, but we also are getting ribbon. Ribbon in organza with the solid uh, edges as well in here. So gorgeous in the lilac and of course in the green all coordinating perfectly. But of course, then we have got the stickers in here. I'm going to take away the film in here because I want to reveal that they are actually epoxy stickers. You can see the glossiness and they look like they have been kind of covered with glossy accents or something like that. And you're getting all those beautiful funky birds in there, all with a color coordination, um, the greens, the blues, the teals, the soft colors in there. 9.99 is your price. You are saving seven pounds and 28 pence. 239435 is your item number. Right, if you want to save even more, not just uh, FlexiVine, here is Leone to tell you more about freedom here at Hochanda. Have you heard of Hochanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. And I love that kind of becoming part of the official Hachanda family. Right, so I grab, uh, really, I grabbed some of the stencils and I grabbed uh, the, one of the layering stencils from Tim Holtz. And this one is the Shifter Burst. Shifter Burst. You can see it here. 
Check Diverse. That's one of the options. At least that's the official name. Right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over my card. And of course, this is going to be a quick and easy demo. So I'm going to go in with Vibrant um, vibrant Fuchsia. Now, these art inks are permanent uh, uh, quite fast drying. So don't think they're going to blend like a distress ink. But still, you can do a little bit of blending in here. So kind of you can go in and bring them in to there. And you still, when you lift them up, you can still have that gorgeous look in here. Now, I'm going to move them, and you can see how there's lines. Now, if I put it there, I can see it. I don't know if you can see the etching lines. There we have to see. Can you see the etching perfectly there? So then I'm laying them down in here. And then I'm going to go in with the orange, which is actually bright and jello. So I'm kind of going to go in with that. Now, because I'm using a permanent ink, look at that. How gorgeous that looks. Doesn't it look just brilliant? Brilliant. And even though they are not meant to, to of course, to to kind of blend together, they kind of do a little bit. Now, if you wanted, you could actually bring in even more pattern by bringing in a little bit of the red. So this, this was, well, not, it's not red, but kind of going to go very subtly around here. And then you can see that you are creating even more. And then it's going to go in there and then place them on top of here. And then I'm going to go in with the orange and kind of go in and like uh, that. Now, these ink pads have been this, oh, look at that, I love that. That really kind of soft mixing and matching. Now, you could then kind of come in here and extend as well and bring it in. Shall we bring a little bit of blue? Just so, because it's a bit. So I'm gonna go with Paradise Teal. Now, that's gonna come in here. Oh, I do like that because that kind of a suddenly and then I'm going to go in there the bottom. So again, I'm lining up the pattern. And then you can see how the pattern continues from here. So overlays in there. So you can shift the pattern. And then here, for instance, I want to go with the same color. So I'm laying it all over it and kind of going to go in. And now I'm going to go in softer. So you have got the different tones from one ink pad coming through the intensity. If you wanted to, you could then come back in, center it a bit more. So I'm going to go in there. And this is just with one stencil. And then kind of going to go in and look at that different pattern created there. So there is so many options with just one stencil, and then of course the inks that you use, just go for the colors that you like. Now to clean the stencil, or oh, this this now needs to go. This is when I'm starting to faff around, don't I? Yes, kind of. But look at that, oh, I like that, look at that. I just love, really love this. So this is just a quick and easy way of using them. But of course, then you can bring a, st a stamp in here. So I'm gonna, these ones are actually from um, Phil Martin. They were in some, a, a, I think it was a special, a special, um, how are you gonna, a limited edition. And then of course, for the hair, I'm gonna just take the Paradise Teal. Or shall I go? Yeah, I think Paradise Hill. And then use to sand them. Now, one of the things that I was meaning, it, just dab it in. You don't want to do this because then what happens is you can over ink. Whether you, if you dab it gently and several times, you will gonna get an even coated. And then kind of go in here and then stamp in there right between the lines and then perfect impression. These inks are phenomenal for in stamping as well. Right, this is one of using the inks, but you can do so, something similar. Shall we do with the uh, paints? Where did I put? So the paints, oh, I'm gonna grab them. Sorry, uh, I'm gonna grab the Viva the Core, and we have got here the Chucky Vintage Look uh, inks. And we have got Waste, which probably is white. Then we have got Grau, which looks like gray. Then we have got Rauch Blau, which is um, rich blue, probably. Cappuccino, uh, no explanation needed. And I love the Ziegelrot. 
which is now this is the Christmas uh, option from the that you can see on the screens uh, you are getting all five but also you are getting oh, look at that look at that uh -oh. Look at that. Isn't that the most beautiful red? It's a beautiful rich red in there. Now, what you can do in here is you can then dab it in here directly because, of course, it has been designed that it fits the right size. I would then take it into my either my glass mat so you can wipe it up or, you know, or a piece of paper because then you can create another background. So if you have got an, another piece of paper, you could just go in. And you can see how quickly and easily, how rich, you know, how how far it will go as well. It's highly pigmented, pigmented, pigmented. Uh, so you can see that just little dabbing, you will give you a lot of coverage in here. So that could work like this very well. But now that I know that it's kind of fairly dry, I can take. Right, so this one is the crosses uh, as well from the stencils. So that's going to look like a little bit like this, um, the correct cross. Um, shall we go for another one? I just think it's a little bit better. <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously, it's good to always to talk about the Red Cross. Other charities are available, but, you know, very good ones. Um, right, so we have got here, I'm going to go for this one. Uh, and then I'm going to go in. See, I haven't prepped, really. But you can go in. And um, just kind of, you can see in here that with the sponges, as long as you have already got a dry, dry sponge, you can actually create a really clean, a really clean uh, image in here. Now, just make sure that you dab it. See, I just dab it into the pot once, then dab it into the glass mat, and then picking it up. Why? Because I want to have as clean a stencil as possible. Uh, you could use, of course, a paintbrush. However, if you're using a paintbrush, because the contents of the acrylic paint, which it has got water in here, you won't get as cleaner edges as well. But you can use this paint to paint anything because it's a chalky-based acrylic paint, water-based, so you can use a paintbrush to paint your canvases uh, and so much more. So then, of course, you can go in here and you can shift a little bit of these patterns. So you could go in with a say, uh, I'm going to go for grau or rich blau. Rich, uh, which one shall I go for? Which one is your favorite um, voices in my ear? Blue, rich blau uh, or rich blue. Blau is in Catalan. That's why, because I get confused. Uh, azul is blue in Spanish, but Blau is a thul in, um, <laughs> it's blue in Catalan. So, you know, I have got a little bit of a mix in there. Uh, we do have got another question. Uh, you, do, do you need to mix it? Yeah, in this case, like this, um, uh, this is exactly what I was looking at for in a spatula, because here what has happened is, uh, did I mention that it was a water base? So basically what happens, it separates a little bit of the water content or the mediums uh, with the actual medium and pigment. Uh, what happens in any paint or, pe or ink pad, you have got the carrier, the vehicle, uh, the thing that actually evaporates, that could be oil, solvent, or water, in this case water. Then you have got, of course, the medium, so that fixes it, which could be uh, photo, uh, like it's, um, an acrylic paint, so uh, kind of a base in there, or it could be oil, or it could be in the uh, gum arabic. That's what it fixes. And then finally, you have got the pigment. So you have got those three components. Oil paint is uh, different because it's oil acts as a carrier, and of course, it acts as well as a um, as a kind of kind of uh, carrier and as a fixative. That's what I mean. Right. We are looking for the spatula, but uh, oh right. Uh, you know what? Shall I use my other finger? <laughs> no. Yeah, my hands look horrendous because I. Oh, Katie has found something. 
my hands have been horrendous because I have been opening boxes and carrying boxes and uh, packing up things and you know all that sort of thing that you have when you're moving and broken so many nails and so on. Uh, right, color options that we have got in here. We have got the classic, which is the one that you have seen in the screen in there, which you can see uh, there, which how you have got, I believe, uh, the cream, the white, you have got the kind of a cappuccino color. That is the Christmas option. Uh, and you can see it there as well. Uh, now, of course, the, you can, uh, all of the options will come with a set of sponges as well as the sandpaper. That is perfect, the sandpaper for projects as well. So now that I have got the multi-tool uh, from Teflon from, uh, of course, uh, Cool Cuts Crafts, it is, you know what, Maggie will be proud of me because she did say it's great to mix paints. So here I am. Right, so we have got the rich blue Again, I'm dubbing it in here. And of course, I'm just putting it in there and I'm kind of mixing it up to create that background in there. So there we have it. All that. Can you say I really like that mix in here? So you can then you can switch around as well and kind of blend it in here. I'm going to go, go in there. And this is how you can use the stencils. They have been des designed for layering. They have been designed to create the sort of backgrounds that layer on top of each other. And think about this technique with those rice papers that they are. Now I'm doing it onto white card because that's what I have got. But you imagine to bring it in as a background in here. I really like how this is starting to look. But look at the paint the paint has dried this is one of the good things about chalky paints it dries very quickly as well so you can bring in here and then you can mix them up as well the colors as well so you could create different colors coming through so we would have a purple or a mauve a little bit more mauvey because we have got more of the um, paint, uh, red coming through but as well you can kind of come in and you have got those kind of colors in there. So quickly and easily, you can create backgrounds as well. I mean, I'm not doing anything specific, but just creating a little bit of ways of using those stencils. And then look at that. I really, I really like this. And then of course you can bring another stencil. By the way, your stencil will be clean. I just pulled the one samples, but you know, you know. Uh, because I would like to bring a little bit of those dots in here in the background. So I kind of bring them in. I'm going to bring a little bit of the blue coming through. And then kind of layer them in here. This is really cool. I really like those ones because you have got them here. Then I'm going to bring them there. I kind of uh, and then kind of it kind of centers there and then I'm gonna go in and I wanted to do kind of I'm gonna bring in so can you see what I'm doing so I just want some dots in here but uh, I might go for this one so I don't want to go over them I just wanted these ones in here so you can layer them together and then you have got those little dots in there as well. There's lots of different possibles. Uh, right, right. Um, this is, of course, some of the ideas you can do with using the chalk paints and the stencils. Now, you know that you can flex about it? Well, you can because it's flex extravaganza. So here's Scott to tell you more. It's Flick Stravaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6 p.m. to Friday the 15th of January at 6 p.m., we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flick Stravaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. And it does indeed make it easier, including, of course, you can flexify bundles like this. 
the fact that it's a happy hour doesn't mean that you cannot even, you know, you can flex the by 9.99 and pay five pounds today. And if you're a freedom member, you don't pay PMP, even more of a bargain, isn't it? Right, what we are getting here is a bundle of embellishments. I could have brought some of them into my demo, couldn't I? Uh, but I got distracted with paints and uh, stencils. Now, you may be like me, a little bit of a lazy crafter that you like to get mucky around, but you also want some quick and easy embellishments. And this is it for you. You have got words in there that are epoxy, so they have got that glossiness. If you want some sparkle, well, the stickers have got a sparkle ready-made. And this is, I'm going to show it again, because the stickers have got well, you're also getting the diamond teeth, of course, self-adhesive. You are getting it in as well, and the epoxy beautiful birds as well as, look at that. You can have got here the epoxy stickers. And then we have got the ribbons as well. And uh, we have got them into different colors. You have got uh, the beautiful sage green and the lilac. And it's organza ribbon that kind of folds really nicely as well. So you can see that here. And of course, it kind of folds very nicely. Perfect for bows, whether they are for, you know, to embellish the clothes, um, you know, clothes or, of course, crafting. Then you are getting the 3D stickers. I, uh, you know what my mom used to call me when I was little? Manos de alicate, which means um, alicate is, um, what do you call it? Um, oh, uh, no, not clam hands. Uh, oh, no, but I don't know the words in English. Uh, you know, like the oh, wire cutters, wire cutters, hands, because basically I would touch everything and destroy everything. That's what they were saying. Oh, Butterfingers. Right, yeah, that's what I, my mom meant. Right, when you grab these ones, don't just pull them out because you you would run the risk of just taking the top layer off and leaving a bottom part. What you do is you gently fold down the big bottom and then exposes the full adhesive on the back. And then of course you are ready to go with that kind of glittery, uh, some of them have got glitter, some of them have got that gorgeous four stitching and glitter, uh, that kind of four diamond teeth in there. Now all of them for nine ninety nine is your price seven saving seven pounds and twenty eight pence now that you can flexify and pay just five pounds today two three nine four three five is your item number also from k and co that fabulous company that has got that, that used to make the most fabulous collections and it's great to see it back it's great to see different elements because they have got a sparkle they have got die cuts it's the cut if you like anna griffin these are perfect for you if you have got a little one in your house that wants to craft this is perfect because it has got some foil it has got some paint it has got some glitter it has got some labels all pre-cut and done what I would like to do with this is just put some invisible thread, fold them like this, and then do like a chandelier sort of thing that they fold, or have them on the window as well. You know, just to bring, and then, oh, I, I, I wish you love. That's a good one, isn't it? I like that sentiment. And then, and then you have got Home Sweet Paradise. I like that. I think this is quite, quite relevant today, isn't it? Home is a sweet paradise. And then we have got beautiful butterflies and here more. So you are getting several of the same ones, which is perfect if you are making cards to sell. And of course you can dream away and craft away. Beautiful tags, double-sided, so you have got both sides to use. Now, not only that, you are also getting the stickers in here, the three-dimensional stickers again in here you are going to see that they are three-dimensional, so you want to pull them like that. And of course, it has got that beautiful glitter, smile, wish, pride. Oh, I like that. Celebrate, adore, remember, cherish, trust, dreams. Then you have getting the tags. The tags, again, are uh, double-sided, uh, beautiful, uh, no, sorry, single-sided is the pad that is double-sided. These ones are, have got that kind of distressed, vintage, pretty, shabby, chic look.
Uh, and that is not a uh, stage, but it's such a good printing that it gives you the impression that it is. And of course, you could then use them as gift tags or just as elements for your albums, memory albums, and so much more. These ones are the ones that are double-sided. I believe I own this paper because it is what, you know, Kenko was one of these companies that I kind of adore it, uh, even though it's kind of, it's the perfect one to go for all those pictures that you may have from relatives and all, you know, like my great grandparents and uh, my parents, my, you know, that sort of images, bring them, print them out. Uh, uh, and it's a really good way of reaching. My mom sent me really lovely pictures of me when I was a baby. And I'm so old that these ones would work really well. It's those vintage pictures. 618531 is your item number. 999 is the price, saving three pounds and 49 pence. Actually, I'm not quite vintage, I'm retro, apparently. We found out this. Vintage is uh, 50 years old. Uh, retro is between 20 and 30. So, yeah, my youth is retro. Anyway, moving on to the Ciao Bella. Uh, Ciao Bella papers here with the rice paper. Now, this, of course, is... I'm going to show you the back because I always... Um, you can see the beautiful strands of the yeah, mulberry sort of uh, rice paper. Now, you're choosing two designs and you're going to get five of each design that you are going for. So 10 sheets in total. And these ones are the designs that you may go for it. You have got here the hummingbird. Is it a hummingbird? I think so. Oh, it's uh, such a beautiful bird, isn't it? Those beautiful reds and the long beak. And then you have it here. Definitely a hummingbird. Well, I don't know. I'm not a... a how do you call it? Twitter? No, Twitter. Sorry, how you call it? The ones who look ornithologist, probably. Well, if I'm wrong, blame the director, not me. I'm just, I think it's ornithology. I think it's ornithologist. If not, uh, you email at na 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 webster at hochanda.com to blame it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> then we have got here uh, the gorgeous beautiful flowers as well with the bees then we have got the daisies as well so these are some of the designs the other ones you have got here gorgeous beautiful florals the vibrancy of the colors are really really into it because sometimes rice paper can be a little bit muted not so with this collection i love this one it's more of a background more of a collage you have got the layering the you can see the bee is still there and of course you have got again the hummingbird but in this is a more of a composition uh, piece with those gorgeous i would say that is a chrysanthemum or it could be a peony i don't know as well uh, uh, and then we have got gorgeous uh, I think our team we need we need to go our team into a uh, learning the flowers learning our birds that's what we need to do that could be our 2021 uh, lesson uh, now you have got a four pound saving 14 pounds and 99 pence remember you choose whichever two designs and you are going to get five of each design 002113 is your item and number uh, right and moving on to the next one uh, and then we have got the layering uh, stencils from uh, of course Tim holes um, stampers anonymous manufacturers themes uh, stencils as well as his rubber stamps. Uh, right, uh, you, oh, Katie has done such a good job cleaning them. Wow, I'm mean, so impressed because I was thinking, um, she's the queen, she's the queen. She is absolutely the queen of cleaning. Uh, right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she will take it apparently. Uh, nothing more to say. Anyway, uh, right, you have got the letting dice in here. You have got two, uh, two essentials, whichever two you want to. I mean, seriously, I'm impressed. Can you come to mine and clean my essentials when it's safe to do so? When social distancing isn't a thing, you will be. Yeah, I have got plenty of jobs to do. All right, ten pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. You are getting these um, beautiful essentials. I really love that they come in that tag. That you have got the whole at the top, so you can keep them all together and layer them together uh, it's up to you which ones you go for remember there are some um, of course the the shifters which are the ones that I demonstrated but you can, of course have got those layerings in which you can um, position in them in different way 
And 10 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You select whichever two, as you're saving four pounds, and of course you can flexify them, and of course you can pay just 10 pounds and 50 pence today for them. Uh, 274, sorry, 279789 is your item number. Then, of course, the chalk pens, uh, chalk paints uh, have been really popular from, uh, from, of course, Viva Decor. You have got two options. You have got the classic, which you are getting the Alt Rosa, Hellgrün, uh, and then, uh, sorry, Hellblau, Dunkelgrün, and then we have got the Weiss. Uh, uh, Weiss, or is it Weiss they pronounce it? Weiss, isn't it? Because Edward Weiss. Yeah, nice. And then we have got, that is the classic, whichever option you're going to go, you're going to get with clean uh, three of these sponges. This, of course, is the one that um, I have been using. And then you have got the Christmas one, which you are going to get the vice one, which is the white one. You are going to get the cappuccino, which is a gorgeous latte color. And then you are getting the red the grays and of course that rich blue which is more of a gray blue that i would call it right 12.99 is a price better than half price but remember there is a happy hour uh, so that happy hour means that the prices will go up at the end of the hour so take advantage and check out your baskets use flex extravaganza if you want to 054429 is your item number right if you wanted more paint in larger pots we have got the folk art gorgeous ultra matte chuck paint you have got one of the options uh, sold out but here you you can get the java the cobblestone and the bavarian which is that gorgeous as um this one is like custard color which is absolutely glorious this cobblestone is a beautiful gray warm gray that can be more of a pebble color as well and of course you can mix them out and personalize them if you want to better the half price because you are saving 15 pounds and 80 one pence 12.99 is all you're paying and you're a freedom member you do not even pay pmp and you can flexibly it and just pay six pounds 50 today for them four six one six eight seven is your item number now archival ink is a very very popular ink pad now we have got the jumbo size the black did sell out earlier but we have got the emerald green for you a larger uh, ink pad means that you can of course ink up a larger stance much quicker but you still can use it for a smaller inks also archival because of its nature will work well on fabric however if you have to wash it i would always test it first it's not designed for fabric hence what certain fabrics will wash away the color however most of them will be fine just do a test as well 9.99 is your price you are saving three pounds two one zero five two two is your item number right now we have got a fabulous uh, selection of archival ink pads here and of course that is the archival inks that we have got for you is a the traditional size it's a pick and mix you choose any three colors you want shall we go through the colors you will get in sepia coffee you are getting then oh you're going to go to away yeah uh, monarch orange which is a rich orange, red, orangey. Then we are getting the fuchsia, the vibrant, vibrant fuchsia. Uh, then we are also, we have got the gorgeous uh, bright angela, which is one of the ones that I use. Then we have got the options of emerald green in the small one, of course, uh, the same as the jumbo. Then we have got paradise teal. Oh, aren't we all dreaming with a paradise that is teal and blue skies and aquamarine sea waters, which is one of the colors that you have got options here. Manganese blue, and then we have got the cobalt blue. I think, is it manganese blue? The first synthetic, oh, no, 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 it's, it's actually um, Prussian blue. Prussian blue is the first synthetic pigment that it was ever created. Blues are always, the natural pigments are very, very expensive always because because they are uh, developed from uh, gemstones and things like that. But uh, of course you have got here cobalt and um, of course you have got the um, beautiful magnesium blue uh, options. They are fabulous if you want to do water pro uh, pro projects, water based projects, and you want no line coloring. I would go for probably the um, 
coffee because that's sort of a softer color in here. Go for emerald green when you want to do leaves and you don't want to have that harsh line. And then of course, go for maybe for the vibrant fuchsia for those beautiful flowers as well. Right, remember to check out your baskets. Remember this is a happy hour, which means the prices will go up at the end of the hour. So you have got five minutes uh, to grab bargains. Don't forget to flexify it if you want to make shopping a little bit easier. Ranger products, same holds products. It has been a joy to do this happy hour. I hope you have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for another look at the one day special with Derek and Hayley. I'll see you tomorrow. Indeed, it is our one day special. Another look at the fabric freedom. Then we are going to have a fun with Derek and Wonderful Wolves at nine. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Echanda. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. 
Online Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Welcome back, everyone. There we go. We don't want that music. Save it for later. We're having woolly fun a little bit later on. But before we do that, let's dive back into the one day special from Fabric Freedom. Um, and they are absolutely lovely, lovely fabrics. You will be bowled over by the selection of fabrics that we have got. I'm Derek, by the way. If we've never met before, nice to meet you. If we're old friends, welcome back. Um, it's lovely to be back as well. Um, have you seen the one day special? Because this is a special one day special if you love your fabrics, because this is a chance for you to bag an excellent bargain, let me tell you. Um, and Hayley Smith, you have got some amazing ideas for I've us, been, haven't I've you? I've been working on. Been working hard. <laughs> it was a bit. It was a bit of a. Uh, it was a bit of a. Um, we left you on a bit of a cliffhanger, yes, didn't we? Yes. Yes. Well, fabric cliffhangers Paola. is what we're having today, um, because all of the samples arrived here, not up where I was. Oh, I see. So right. So it's fine. So uh, we are bargelloing because the one day special and the kind of variation of colours you get really, really lends itself to this type of quilting. So. Um, all we did so far was uh, pick a number of colours from the one day special and the other option of four, is it? Oh, it's the longest title for a, honestly, it's the longest title. So put bottom of the screen. It's we're, the longest we're working out, title. We're working out as we go along. So Happy I've, New I've Year, by the way. Between the two. Yes, that too. When do we stop saying that? I, 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 not yet, though. Well, I, well, this is the first time I've Ten? seen you in the New Year. Yeah, here yeah. Let's go tenth. Cut it off tomorrow. Forever. That's it. <laughs> let's enjoy it. It's a happy new year for a long, long time. Right, let's take you through the one day special because there are lots and lots of different options. There are six different colour options for you, which is really, really good. And they are curated into colour families, oh, which is really, really word, lovely. That was a big word, wasn't it? Curated. There yeah. you go. Yeah, I've swallowed a thesaurus since I've been away. So um, <laughs> we'll start then with candy pink hues then, shall we? And that's the selection of six um, that you are seeing right now. Let me bring that forward just a little bit because you don't get the pole. Uh, but you do get oh, the sucks. six fabulous fabrics um, that you see there. You get a half metre of each of those. And with the one day special, you also get the bonus of a metre of fusible web interfacing, which, Hayley, we use for... So you can either use it for... Uh, things like your, your pique, things that you, know, that you would normally kind of associate with the paper-backed fusible webbing. Or you can use it to kind of there it is. weigh up your fabric. So if you wanted maybe a canvas, but you couldn't get a canvas in that particular colour, you could use the um, fusible backing, sandwich that together with something like um, maybe a, a heavier weight calico on mm -hmm. the back, and then kind of upweight all of your fabrics. Lovely. So things like, um, ooh, maybe using it for upholstery, using it for blinds, all those kind of things. Fabulous. So with the one day special, um, whichever colour combination you pick, you will get a metre of that fusible interfacing as well. So that is your candy pinks. So six half metres, we're talking £25.93. and pence. So a saving of £15, which is incredible. You know fabric prices and you know that that is uh, pretty hot to trot. I love the way these all blend nicely together as well, curated into colour family so you can use them together. Um, like for instance Hayley is um, going to be doing with the Bargello project uh, that we're doing in this hour. Um, so from Candy Pinks 
let's move on to neutrals, which is lovely. Neutrals go from almost like a sort of deep caramelly kind of tone at one end and then work their way beautifully and, and start getting lighter and creamier as you go along. Now, it's a little difficult to see the subtleties of the tones um, on camera. Um, it might be a little easier to see them on the web at hochanda.com because then you'll see the subtlety between these cream tones that go slightly more fawn and then um, head down to a caramel. So that option is called Nice Neutrals. That's a lovely name, isn't it? Nice Neutrals, Hayley. That's nice, nice isn't it? Yeah, that's Cheerful. Nice. Right, let's go to Spring Hughes now. That sounds like a nice new village that they're just building right now, doesn't it? Um, this is lovely because you've got some sky blues. Um, It'll you've be got... next to one of those midsummers where you really don't want to live there. Oh, yeah, There's that's always true. Accidents. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, check out, check out the reviews first before you go. Um, yes, yeah, so you've got lighter sky blues here, heading to a, a, a deeper, richer blue. Now you've you got... sound like a weatherman. Yeah, oh, it is actually, <laughs> yes. And, and there's a warm front coming in from the west. <laughs> um, you've also got your lovely sort of fresh spring, like your spring onion green uh, going um, on there. What was, uh, Paul went pistachio on that one. I, a very light pistachio. I call pistachio a little bit darker, actually. That's more mint mousse, mint I would chocolate. say. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Oh, don't, because this belly's rumbling already. <laughs> uh, and you've also got a slightly tealy blue going on there as well, which I quite like. Again, blending beautifully, contrasting beautifully as well um, for nice spring projects. So that is spring hues, isn't it? Not spring muse, spring hues. You'll remember that forever. Same price there because it's part of the one day special. There are six options on your one day special, uh, which is really, really good. Next up, we're going for sunset hues. Sunset <laughs> hues. Now that sounds a, that sounds like a name. That isn't does. It? That sounds like a district of like Beverly Hills or <laughs> somewhere really sunny and or exotic. It, sa it sounds like a name. There was, uh, it was on, on the way down. I was listening uh, to the radio, and they were coming up with um, names yeah. that were things that you would do in January. Yes. Um, like uh, what, what was one of them? Like spring cleaning. Yeah, well, that kind of thing. And then they were looking them up to see if they could find actual people with those names. And they could. Oh, lots really? Of them, lots of them are in America. Oh, um, <laughs> I'll remember one of them in a second. OK, was, that'd be it good. Was very well, funny. Well, this one has a lovely sort of light sherbet um, lemon. Then you're going a, a little bit um, creamier on this one. And then you go real kind of, um, um, I don't know, sunflower. It's really sunflower, isn't it? Yes, daffodil. That won't be long before they're out, will they? And then you've got one that's a little bit darker, a little slightly more mustardy, I think, this one. Like and then you've got one... Sou'wester colour. If you had one of them big mucks. Oh, yes, other raincoats are available. Um, well, I and think that was a brand name. I think, well, I think so. I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm just checking. Know. Then you've got a, a, a kind of pumpkin shade in your orange there as well, which is very nice. So that's Sunset Hues. Next one... Oh, <laughs> Lush Lagoon. I'm loving these names. They are tremendous. That is totally perfect Bargello colours. And I know, um, Hayley, that's what you're working on, isn't yes. it? That's yeah, what I mean, this is exactly the kind of thing you want with Bargello. Those kind of ones that kind of graduate through the tones and the colours are perfect for this yes. kind of thing. And this is a really, really lovely combination, actually, um, because you've got a very, um, you've got a very sort of true green. In the media industry, we call that a green screen green. Um, and then you've got more of a, a beige green, more of a snooker table green. Then you go to more of a, a sort of deep olive. I love wearing this colour. I love shirts in this colour. Really, really lovely. Then you go kind of um, sapphire blue, I would say, sort of real nice sort of Cadet blue, maybe, sort of true blue, do you know what I mean? And then you go to a slightly lighter, lighter more, slightly cobalt. more sort of turquoisey. Cobalt. Yes, you're right, cobalt. -y. cobalt. Little I'm twist of turquoise in. in there, and then you are leading to an almost turquoise colour there, aren't you? Again, the distinction between the colours um, might be a little more difficult to see on camera, might be a little bit, a bit more easier seen on the website, so have a look um, there. But remember, with all of these, you'll get the six fabrics, six half metres of fabric, plus the one metre piece of the fusible interfacing, and that's not sexy to look at, but it's very, very useful to use as well, which is why I've left it down there. So... This one, which I think is the most popular of all of the six options of the one-day special, is your 
Wild Berries. Right, let's put berry names to all of them. Yeah. Well, actually, I think this one, the first one, is more of, it's more of a yogurty kind of colour. Do you know what I mean? You know when you get a light sort of blueberry or yoghurt, which is very, very nice. I like that one. Then you've got a very, very black currant kind of purple. Do you know what I mean? Very rich, yes. very luxurious. Uh, then you're going to a, a, a lighter... <laughs> A, li a lighter. It's Can sort I of between a pink Molly and a purple. Is so on you this. see she's that our floor manager between and she's one there and the on other, a little kind of thing going, blueberry, great. Yeah, we've got lots, <laughs> lots of ideas are coming through. Where did I, I get it. to? Uh, then we got to a, 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 a lighter, I would say a lighter purple, plum. that one. Plum. Bla black currants. I want plum. Yes, plum. Yes, very. It is a bit plummy, that one, isn't it? Very, very nice. Then you've got, I think this one is palmer violet, isn't it? You know the sweeties? Other sweeties are available, That's but it's not really a berry? Is that kind of colour. It's not a berry, is it? But it tastes nice. Okay. <laughs> Berries Bye. taste nice and sweeties taste Make nice. Make your own rules. <laughs> and, and then which berry are you going to put to this one, Hayley? Oh, it's got to be a blackberry, hasn't it? Yes, blackberry as opposed to black currant that we had yeah, earlier. There you go. We've really covered dark we've covered quite things. a few berries there, haven't we? Um, there you go. Twenty five pounds and ninety three pence. Then that's the most popular of your one day specials. Right, let's have a look on the website because there's a huge amount in this show um, as well for you. There are the colour options. We'll flick through those right now then for you. So there are your nice neutrals. You see, you get a better judgement of the um, of the colours there. Molly, our floor manager, amazing. She's just taken all of that away in one. She told me she could do it earlier and I thought, no, that can't happen in one. She's done it. She's absolutely done it, you know. Uh, there's the wild <laughs> berry selection and so much more. It's really, really good. So that's the one day special. Now we move on to our mini stacks. Now, these are your quilting cotton mini stacks. Now, these are almost, in terms of sort of volume levels, our one day special take us sort of up to volume six. And these four, or fours, should I say, sort of continue those colour families and take that volume up to level 10. 10? Does that work? Okay. Right, well, let me show you. So on these, you get just the four half metres in these mini stacks. So this one, we'll start with the fabulous fuchsias. And I think that name pretty much says it, doesn't it, actually? Um, you have some darker, slightly more burgundy tones going on here. And then you've got those more intense, fiery um, fuchsia colours, which are lovely. And actually, you know what? As a standalone for four half metres of fabric, £14.96, we know solids it's really really good really difficult to get good quality solids that have good vibrant colors yeah and you're getting so many different colors with yeah. this as well you're getting a huge range between all of them you've got um uh, six lots of six over there so that's 36 colors in the range and none of the colors are repeated in these no and then you've got four lots of four which is another 16 add those two together 52 different colors and you Max. can and you can feel that's very very good there she is, Rachel Riley strikes again. No, um, I can just lovely. add up. That's it's all it is. <laughs> Simple maths. Yeah, I know, but on telly, that's difficult. It's difficult to think and speak at the same time. Well, I'm a boy, you know. We don't <laughs> multitask, as you know. Try thinking and speaking and sewing. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, right, let's move on. We've got, oh, lime coolers. Oh, I like this. Oh, right, we, are we at the bar now? which we, I suppose we can be for this time on a Saturday night. I mean, if you're watching one of the overnight repeats and it's the wrong time, then always drink responsibly one at a time, I always say. So we've got <laughs> coolers this time, which are lovely. So let's That's describe your these. That's limitation, isn't it, Derek? One at a time. Yeah, one, always one at a time. That's all I can hold, my size. Um, doesn't take much to fill me up, you know. Um, right, so this is almost a slightly bluish, slightly bluish green. Never. Never, Molly. <laughs> um, slightly bluish green in this first one, do you think? Um, and then we're going to... Uh, I love the delicacy of this one. It's really, really nice. Oh, described as a mojito by the team. I don't know if I've ever had one of those. I no. don't think it's I have. It's because I can't to. spell it, you see. Um, <laughs> oh, you and, only drink things you can spell. Yeah. Like wine and yeah. beer. <laughs> Mar margaritas <laughs> are an anathema to me. <laughs> Um, then you've got like a, a very, very light, again, like that kind of chopped spring onion, you know, where you have it in the um, pancake rolls and whatever. I think that's lovely. And then a nice, again, a nice yeah, true green. Yeah, this is very, really, very really bright and punchy. If you such want, beautiful colours in all of these. If you want to, by the way, 
you know those video calling services you have where they if you can have a green screen background that's a perfect green for a green screen background <laughs> it is we said that earlier didn't we yes. um, so 14 pounds 96 for four half meters of fabric let's keep going then we've got the maple sunset shall i go this way i'll go this way there you go oh did you then, not do the twirl nicely, nicely balanced there's, there's got to be a twirl you see you, you don't do want to you don't do wanna, the green one yeah, you, you do this side but you don't want to see me from behind and then you have to do the twirl I, d I don't want to see no. me from behind, so I'm sure you don't. I'm, I'm even standing like that so that you don't see. Anyway, right, here are the reds. And the I'm reds are called Red Maple Sunset. <laughs> I think I'm outnumbered here. Yeah, we haven't done anything here. We're a quarter, a quarter of the way through the show. We haven't done anything yet. You were talking about the multitasking sewist as well. We haven't seen a stitch yet. Well, uh, you've not stopped talking. Right, so. OK. So here are the four <laughs> colours in this selection then at 14.96. You've kind of got a bit of mulberry, a bit of merlot going on in there, haven't you? you got a true kind of lovely flag red. I don't know why I want to say flag red. <laughs> but you know, like really nice and bright. I haven't made a flag in a long time. Anyway, all Poppy? four of those colours. <laughs> don't say it. All four of those colours, £14.96. And, and finally, finally, we've got to the end of the selection. This is the Earthy Greens. Um, these are lovely, very, very smart, very, very sophisticated. We'd make an amazing um, quilt design, wouldn't they? Um, more darker, sort of khaki greens going on here. Lighter ones going on here as well. And a very, very interesting sort of creamy shade going on um, at the end as well, just to work beautifully in, in what would be a neutral uh, blender for those greens. £14.96 for four half metres. Now, if you thought I had a lot of fabric on this <laughs> side, you ain't seen nothing yet because. Well, I'm, there was I'm, I'm 32 off. options. There are now 31 options. But 31. I, do, you, I do need you to do my numbers for me. I don't right. do the numbers. Okay. Not, you All right. don't have to do them right now. We can do them at the end. It's up to you. At the end. We we'll do them at the end. Right. right. Okay. So what have you options. got? So I've got um, the Melody collections. Now these have a kind of almost like a batik background, so you can see like a kind of patchy, almost mottled background to them. But then they've got prints on the top. Now you have uh, four different patterns printed on the top. So I'm going to quickly whip through these. Head to the website if you want to see all the different colours. Uh, this is the first one. This is the uh, Ditsy Sprigs option. And what you'll find is between the different patterns, you'll have um, ones that will match. So the, you can see these two here. So this one's from the Ditsy Sprigs. This one is from the, I think it's Floral Blotch or something like that. It's a horrible name. I don't know who picked that name. Um, floral Blotch. Blotch. Uh, it's not a nice name. I haven't had a blotch it? since my teenage years. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough, Derek, enough. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so that's your second option in your pattern. That's your floral blotch. Then we are going for the filigree, which is on this side. So we've got seven different options in this one. So these ones here to here have got the filigree on them. So this is a really nice, tiny little pattern. Um, and again, you can mix and match any of these together because it's got that patchy background, which means that if you haven't got a, a fabric that you can find a good match for, something like this with a mottled background is going to be much easier to match with because it's got lots of different tones and shades within there. Love that blue. Yes, a smashing awesome. blue. Awesome. Um, and lastly, we've got the spots. Now, I love these. I think these are so versatile and an easy spot to work with because usually if you get a, a polka dot or you get uh, quite a little dot, if you don't sew them dead straight, it always looks a bit off and a bit yeah. wonky. But yeah. because these are all offset in the first instance, you're not going to have that problem. Um, and I think it's that kind of, especially with those natural toned ones, it's just that step down from a leopard print. Yes. You know, that not, not necessarily leopard print, but you know what I mean. It's a, it's a step down from a, an animal print, but you're still getting those kind of, they go beautifully together, those three. But it is pick and mix any two. And Derek, please, will you do me some numbers? Uh, yes, you pick and mix any two <laughs> for just ten ninety nine, which is really, really good. Because again, <laughs> when, when you're looking at, uh, uh, at pattern fabrics, uh, the more they have to do to it, the more, basically, the more money you pay for it. It's as simple as that. And when you look at the vivacity and the intensity of those colours um, over there, that is a very, very good deal. So you can see all of the selections are on the website as well. So you can pick and mix any two for just ten ninety nine, And that means that actually you can break that down into two flexes as well. So if you put a few in your basket and get a few together, um, you can split that down by two with Flex Extravaganza as well, which is lovely. Now, I've got some happy hours for you. Hap, hap, happy hours. Let's start with these. Let's start, and I take it, are these half metres, are they? 
Lovely. Um, because, again, you've got a nice little um, tiny floral print going on here. You might, you might well say, if you know your fabrics, you might well say it's a little reminiscent of something extremely West End of London designer. I'm saying no more. I'm not at liberty to say any more than that. Um, what? What did I say? But what, what you're getting is you're getting a plain background with a darker print on the top. And especially in things like the black and the grey, which are so neutral, which will go with anything. I mean, the black looks quite black. And then it's got a yes. blacker print on the top. Yes, it has. Um, and really, really subtle, really um, uh, nice to work with. I'm grateful for things like your bindings and your edgings and all your kind of little skinny bits that you want to add in. Skinny bits. Yeah, One, skinny two, bit. three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten eleven different colors i do believe to yes. choose from pick a mix any two of those for 9.99 it was me i'd be going for that kind of goldy color i think that's beautiful yep. and i think that one you could really use in a lot of things yes and either the gray or the black because especially yes. if you're just kind of buying to stash build rather than buying for a specific project yeah, then those two I would together. always go for your neutrals. Yeah, I love that black as well because I don't know whether you see it on camera, but you can see, yeah, you can, there with the light shining on it. Look at that. I mean, that looks so rich, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it's such a uh, clever fabric. Without because just it's being quite a plain black. black. Yes, it's, it's quite dark. Could and you then dress make a... with these as well? Uh, yeah, they're quilting cotton, so if you wanted to ah. multi-order, yeah. then absolutely you could dress make with them. They're a nice kind of the quilting cotton weight, the same weight as all of the planes that we have up today. Sounds good to me. Thank you very much. So that's a happy hour. Um, so 9.99 uh, is good for the next 40 minutes. Look, we've got the clock in as well. Every, every hour is a happy hour here, isn't it? I'm loving <laughs> it. Loving it. And now for something a little bit different. And we have got jungle panels. Yes. So these are cool, aren't these they? These are uh, 60 centimetres wide. And I think we've got two different kinds. So you've got the, oh, it's the cushion panel and the combo pack. oh right okay i know which ones you've got so that's your cushion panel yeah and you are getting effectively six cushions now we did the zebra one uh, a while ago oh did and you and there were some pictures floating around of it uh -huh. it's no good because we will not find them in an hour okay um, but we made bob who is one of our directors little boy oh yeah um a uh, cushion with that one and we bubble quilted the animals so we um kind of kept the background quite flat and then put a slit in the backing and stuffed the animal so it kind of was a bit more 3D. Ah, oh, cute. So there are six animals on that one. So that is the cushion one. And then there is... Now, this is just one of the colours as well because there are three different colours to choose from. So this is just one of the colours. We'll go through this one first. OK. And then we'll um, explain which colour it's which. Lovely. So then there's a second panel. Now, the second panel is a big one. Ta-da! Here it comes. I, I, I may need to move my podium to one oh. side oh. to show you its full glory. Well, I can, you see. So this is see. a 90 centimetre oh, by 60 that. centimetre panel on this one. And again, you can have loads of fun with this, just doing a bit of, uh, you know, free motion around the animals, quilting those in. If I was doing it, I think I would maybe uh, just go around the edge of the animals and then put quite kind of detailed stuff in the background to make the background kind of stay back a bit and then make the animals kind of stand forward because the more you quilt it the more that it'll flatten down and then that'll leave your animals a little bit raised that's great fun isn't it that one <laughs> um, and i've got a finished sample here of is that one of those uh let's, yes let's have yes a i think this is the is there a navy option yes this is the navy this option is the navy sorry option. marcus i'm walking all over the place here is that all right i can't really see what i'm doing you see <laughs> Oh, he should have been here before when he told me to go right. I know, I, I saw like, that. Uh, <laughs> I can do the maths, but I don't know what left and right is. So this is the navy <laughs> option. This is the navy option. There are two other options. I think there's a pink one and a teal. a teal one. Yes. There you go. Oh, let me know when you've had enough, Marcus. Oh. oh. Feel the burn, Derek. Oh, oh that's, that's the most exercise I've done since Christmas. Um, lovely. Right. Let me bring everything back. Right, what do I need to show you? Oh, right, let's go to the website. Here they are. <laughs> right, so that's the navy. Uh, and then we've got the pink. Oh, that's lovely. And then there's the teal. So it's the background uh, colour well. that defines the, the colour options. So um, if you are looking at them just as the options, it's the background colour that will change. Lovely. Uh, that's very, very good as well, actually, isn't it, for £14. Pounds and yes. 98 pence right 
Okay, very, very quickly, I have charm packs here right. as well um, oh. as a bit of a... Ah, now, I'll tell you now, on. these yes. don't last long when no. we have them because they are all your plain colours. So you're getting all of your kind of uh, pinks and reds in the strawberry and cream option and this one is your powder shades Ooh. and you're getting all of your kind of soft colours in there. Now, I think, if I remember rightly, there's about 21 different colours and there's only a couple of each. Uh, yeah, 42, oh, 42 squares. It doesn't, doesn't uh, tell me what the uh, breakdown is, but I'll just... Just have, me, a little, have a little wiggle. Have a little flip. Yes, I think you get two of each. Two of each. Two of each, so it'd be 21. 21. 21. Yeah. So let's swap that for that for the other one then. Uh, um, because this is strawberries and cream. Oh, nice. Lovely. Let's see what's in there. Well, a lot Ooh, of look. these colours are in the ones that I've done for the um, sample that we're working Ooh. on at the minute. Nice. You can see the way they graduate down, can't you, as you bring the whole thing yeah. down. Look at that. It's lovely. So you get two of each, and it's 21, and they are, is it five inch square? Yeah. Yes, they're five inch square. So Fantastic. They're five inch. Love it. Very, very nice indeed. They're nicely cut as well. Everything's very, very nice and neat, isn't it? That's <laughs> well, lovely. That's because I haven't been near it yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. It's out of reach. Because I have them open, and they're everywhere. <laughs> to, 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 uh, we choose between one or the other for 11.99. Phenomenal. Lovely. Right. OK. You get shopping and get your basket together and then use Flex Travaganza and mm. cut it all down into, into two. Talking of cutting, well, look at how many colours you've got now. Right. We had about six before. <laughs> uh, in the break, I have added all the rest of them. So now we've got um, a really kind of nice kind of graduated. I'm going to move it along so you can see all of my colours. Hang on. There we go. You see? Oh. We'll just get rid of that and let's get all of those colours in. There we go, we've got the lot. So what I've done is taken it kind of um, through a range of colours and then all the way through so that when I join them back up, I've got fairly similar colours when they join back up. So the way that Bargella works is you'll sew all your strips together and all your strips will be the same height because when you come to uh, put them next to each other and see if I can just get this to fold so I can get it to show you how they should go next to each other. They'll drop down by one level. So to make your life easier and not have to keep cutting and keep cutting and adding, you know, cutting and adding a bit on, what you do is you sew both ends together and that's going to create a, what is effectively a great big loop. Did you find a picture? You said you were going to find a picture. I, Did I you couldn't ever... find a picture. Oh, okay. No. Well, and then you, you to get see into a finished the, one. And... You get into the realms yeah. of copyright when you That's haven't true. made it, and yeah. Uh, yeah. so it was more it was more trouble than it was worth. Yes. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to sew this all across the top to make that great big tube, and then um, I've got I would say these are all forty four inches to start off with. Now I've got one for some reason that was a little bit shorter. So this one here that's a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to kind of guesstimate it's probably about 42 inches that I'm left with. Yeah. So now I'm going to, all I'm going to do is a really simple bar jello and we're just going to create a little V going down the centre. So what we're going to do is cut strips off and my strips are going to get gradually smaller and smaller. But because um, I'm not doing this with a pattern uh -huh. and we are freestyling, yeah. what I'm going to make sure I do is cut two of each size that I do. Because if I cut yes. two off, then I've got one for this side and one for the other side. Yep. And then when I get down to the middle, you know, what's left is what's left. And mm -hmm. that's the size that I'll end up with. Yes. So my first step is to sew these together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now to get a bit tidy up. Now, one of the things that you do need to bear in mind is when you're working with big, long pieces like this, you do need plenty of uh, space to the side of your machine. Yes. Because if you're trying to fiddle about on the end of a table, it's just going to pull and pull all the time and you'll never get it straight. So what I do recommend is you have a big enough table to handle something that's this. Oh, that's my seam ripper gone. Oh, I would, I would offer to help, but... Yeah, not a lot. It's forbidden. Yeah. It's forbidden. That would make me too close. Yes. So I'm going to line those up and then we're going to run these top to bottom on the machine to join everything up into one big tube. You oh. don't need your seam ripper anyway. You get it right first time every time. I'll need it in a minute because <laughs> I've got to pull them apart. So I want to get all this up here out of the way, taking some of the weight off. Now, it looks like it's turning, but it's actually better that it kind of goes through that way and then it'll pull itself back even. 
and just do a little bit at a time. And whenever you're stopping and starting on long runs, make sure your needle fully stops before you move your hands off, because this is where everybody always kind of is a bit too giddy, a bit too quick to take the hands off, and then it starts going a little bit wonky. But if you make sure that once you do you see that with this particular machine as well, it always seems to put an extra one or two stitches in. Make sure your needle has fully stopped before you move. And then you'll always end up with a straighter line because so what will happen is if you don't, it'll kind of kick off a little bit or kick to the side a little bit. And then you'll have little kinks in as you go down and you have to kind of either pick those out or press them cunningly out. Yes. <laughs> And what, um, what was the seam allowance you were using there? Quart, quart, standard quarter a inch? Standard quarter inch. I've yeah. actually got a quarter inch foot on here. Don't okay. If I just give it a little wiggle round. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so you've got the guide there see. as well. There's a little guide yeah. on the side there. We've actually got these on on Monday. Ah, cool. Yes, so um, if you uh, need one of those, then you'll be able to get it along with Always good to lots know. of other feet on Monday. So. Oh. There you go. I'm just getting all of those through and just making sure that I'm lining it up as I go because I haven't put any pins in this. Uh, if you are you know, less confident, then yeah, absolutely pin it before you start and just keep keep on going until we've got this nice big tube. <laughs> he's um, he's trying to ask. be helpful, but he's just Made making it worse. It worse. <laughs> Just made it worse. <laughs> don't even ask. Don't even. Uh, yeah. Don't even. Okay. So we are almost there. And it is worth taking your time on this and getting these as even as you possibly can and getting them nice and straight. So <coughs> we're going to hopefully get at least the first couple of bits cut in this hour. Ah, okay. We we've had uh, oh, we've had a thank picture. You so much, Sheila, <laughs> we love you. Um, Sheila has sent us uh, an image of uh, a bar jello quilt. It's a very very That's complex, a very elaborate one. It is. She made this for her son. Ours is not going to be. That's as wonderful. I, I wouldn't even that. know how you started on a design like that. That looks like totally. It is very very good well done Sheila absolutely this is not going to be as elaborate as that this is a beginner's bar jello as well we're going mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah but, but you know what the first time you do um a bar jello you will look at the finished and you will think I can't believe that looks like that from where I started I cut strips and I sewed them together and I cut them uh, in a certain way and sewed them back together again <laughs> and then got this amazing looking quilt you it will blow your mind yes it seems illogical if you say it in words it seems completely illogical well, that's just it's quilting isn't it take oh right i have i've made an error right uh, i'm quite happy to share the error because i think that that's how um we learn yes so the error is you see how it's not sitting flat as i think you can maybe see on this darker side a bit better see how it's pulling across there and it's not sitting flat ah, right that's because I did not lay it flat properly in the first instance. What I should have done was pulled it from there and made sure it's all flat because ah. you can see at this end how I've got that. You know offset. what you're going to need now then? Now I'm going to need my seam ripper. So well. do some stuff while I go and rummage well. around on the floor for it. Right, okay, yes, <laughs> yes. Right, should we talk about the one day special? Let's. Now, the one day special, everyone tonight, just if you're joining us, um, is. It curated into colour families, and there are six colour families, um, six half metres of fabric that all work beautifully together in a design like the quilt we're going to do, or in any way that you want to right now. The thing about this is you get six half metres for this ridiculous price, but not just that in the one-day special. You also get a metre of fusible interfacing um, as well, which is really, really good. It's not the sexiest thing to look at, but that's it. Um, but that uh, um, enables you to be able to stabilise your fabric and actually give it a little bit more gumption um, if you need to it, uh, need to for it. And there's lots of different ways that you can use that. I mean, you so, can just use it as um, normal kind of fuser web, bond the web type yes. stuff if you want to as well. Yeah. But what you, you'll notice is that one is not paper backed, therefore you'll need to use uh, like a baking parchment or something on yeah. it. Make sure you get it the right way around. Yes. Uh, and use a baking parchment to when you iron so it doesn't stick to your iron. So you can use that for a plique and things like yeah, that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Can't you? You can use right. That. 
Oh, quick question from um, Wendy, actually, um, Hayley, for you about a bar jello. She's asking how you cut the strips. <laughs> do you do it from selvage or...? Yes, you, go, you do um, the width of the fabric okay. is how I would do it. Um, and, what, you... and what size did your strip start at? Uh, well, I didn't have a... Wh whatever you thought at the didn't time. didn't have a ruler. So but, I just but generally, well, it can be anything you like. want. Yes, can't they it? can start whatever width you want. And I mean, a really nice way to start off with one of these is one of the jelly rolls. Yes. That's a really nice way to start off with them. And uh, planes and things like these ones here that are just a little bit off plane, they're all perfect for this yeah. kind of stuff and they'll all work really, really well. But as a rough guide, what? Two uh, half these inches, three These ones that what? I've got here, uh, oh. I've got two and three quarters here. Two well, actually, quarters. it's probably three by the time I put my seam allowance. Yeah. It's exactly three. Wasn't intentional, just snip. Okay. That'll do. Lovely. Any, <laughs> any other questions? Keep them coming in. You can email um, studio at hochanda.com. So let's go it's through not these colour options. questions like the last hour about your shirt, is it? <clears throat> Who knows? What about whether my, my shirt uh, came from Paul, Paul Church's wardrobe? <laughs> <laughs> it was very close when we did a, a, an hour together, and we, we, it wasn't pre-planned at all. And, and he's in Kent, and, and we're in whatever county we're in right now. I forget which county this is. Northamptonshire. Thank you very much. Um, right, let's go through the colours that we've got on the one-day special then for you. This is the first colour family, which is the candy pinks, isn't it? Six half metres of fabric. Um, uh, fabulous, fabulous colours. Um, this is really, really good uh, because, again, these these fabrics just blend beautifully together. So you've got darker, you've got lighter, you've got nice tones to work with each other. Six half metres of fabric, 25.93, plus that metre piece of the uh, fusible Interf web interfacing. I always forget yeah. what that's called. It's big words, isn't it, for this time of the night? Well, Second colour option in your... Some of these titles are the longest titles that I've ever very seen. very long titles just... tonight, aren't they? <laughs> very long titles for very small people tonight. Right, second... No, you second. mean Paula. It's like all the <laughs> yeah, smallest people are in today. Now, this is nice... I want to say nice neutrals, am I right? A nice neutrals. So these are your creamies and your, and your fawn colours. These are your, um, your lovely fawn colours that work beautifully together. Um, and they are beautiful because you've got slightly more creamy colours that then blend into darker, more sort of caramel tones there. Right. Um, and again, it's better to look at the images of these, I think, sometimes um, on the website as well, because it gives you a, a kind of truer representation of the colours. Sometimes with the lights, they can some can blend into the others a little bit too much. So that's nice neutrals. Next we go to Spring Hughes, which is that lovely new estate that they're just building right now that we'd all love to live on. Lovely houses, thatch, roof, thatch roofs and everything. So, uh, yeah, Cotswolds probably. Uh, or on the outskirts of Milton Keynes. Who knows? <laughs> Milton Keynes is lovely, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six different colours there as well. Some are slightly more lavender, a uh, little bit more purple as well. You've got a nice spring green in the centre there as well. Uh, slightly greenish hue to this one, which is lovely. Um, again, nice blending fabrics there. That's another one of your options for your one-day special. Then we go to... Sun, <gasps> sun. Did you do the spin? Sun. I did I spin? It. Did I? Did I blink and you oh, miss it? I missed you it. You have to watch it on rewind. Okay, uh, I will. Very special moment. No, don't waste your life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> life's too short for stuff like that. Um, right. I'm this sure it'll make the bloopers. This one is Sunset. Or something. I want to say soon Sunset Boulevard, but I mean Sunset Huge, don't I? Yeah. So you're going from this lovely um, pumpkin through this slightly sort of mustardy tone through to your daffodil or sunflower, slightly more creamy, and then a lovely sort of sherbet lemon as well, which is lovely. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hang on. There's another one hiding under Hello. there. Hello. Thank you, Molly. Well spotted. There you go. There's number that six like as well. That looks like butternut squash soup. It does look a bit like butternut squash. I'm not sure if I showed you that the first time around now either. <gasps> But there you go. Naughty see, the value Derek. gets better. The more you see, the more you get. It's brilliant. £25.93 for that one. Let's now go to the Blue Lagoon. Lush Lagoon. Close enough. <laughs> sounds nice, doesn't it? All sounds like nice, nice holiday places. Uh, let's start at the, the, the beachy end, shall we, with the lovely blues. <laughs> 
absolutely beautiful. Um, lovely sort of royal blues, cobalt blues, deep, rich blues, turquoisey kind of colours. And then you're coming back on land there with the more sort of earthy tones there. That darker olive green, that lovely sort of snooker table green, which I, I love. Or a racing green, maybe. It's a very true green, isn't it? Uh, and then you've got a slightly more matte one. Beautiful, isn't it? All six of those, again, are one of your one-day special, and that is Lagoon... Lagoon... <laughs> Lagoon... Lush Lagoon... <laughs> Just keep shouting lagoon. And, we'll get and then I want to say very berry, because <laughs> it's something like that. <laughs> Wild berry. Wild berry. Um, there they all are. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's still the most popular, Emily, right now. Yeah, still the most popular, still in the lead. It's a beautiful mix of colour uh, on those six half metres plus your one metre of your fusible web interfacing. He finally remembered the name. Nearly 30% of the stock of the uh, wild berry, thank you, <laughs> has sold out and gone already. So if you've got a one day special in your basket right now, um, do check it out uh, as quickly as you can because that is a, an amazing deal actually for six half meters. Never mind the bonus meter of the interfacing as well, which is very, very good. Right, let's go back and find out whether we've been ripped, ripped and back together yeah, again. Yeah, 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 we're all good now. So this time, because last time I was naughty and I just managed, I just matched the edges and, and especially as I already said, I, it's a kind of do as I say, not as I do situation where um, obviously all the ends end up in different places. So always lie it so it's flat, even kind of pick it up to make sure that all of those bits have kind of dropped out. It's nice and flat. And then I'm just going to move that up just a fraction to, to get it to match up. And then this time I'm going to find that big pin I had. Maybe I'm not. Oh, I did have a big pin. Big pin. You've not gone dropped now. that as well, have you? <laughs> I don't know, but um, I will. <laughs> I, I will find it and put a pin in it before I sew this one. So I'm just gonna, just gonna make sure that these edges match up and that's sitting nice and flat before I go ahead and and stitch that. Do you know what? I'm going to press it, actually. It's going to make me happier, because now I've, I've already sewn it and it's wonky. I need to press that to make sure it's 100% flat and it's going to it's going to sit right. Do you, so. do you want to have a little press now? Have you got something to do? I can go through the charm okay, packs then, again. I've, I've, I've wheeled in my portable trolley and I'm ready to go. Whenever you need a break, you just let me know. OK. Uh, right, let's take a charm pack then, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you've got two different options here of gorgeous 5x5 five five, uh, or 5 inch square charms. Um, let's go through powder shades first, which is lovely. That sounds like another, another one of those new luxury estates, doesn't it? Does um, it? Yes, it does sound oh, a bit like a beauty be salon, estate. doesn't it? Yeah, it could be on the, yes, oh, the beauty you know about, salon you know on about the estate. Scott and I made a, a street. Did you? Yeah, we made a street. You called, made a street. Um, eclectic Avenue. And, oh, eclectic. Um, oh, and then yeah. we sent out a load of houses to people to right. decorate and send back, and some of them have started coming back. Have they? Yes, it's so exciting. Oh, nice. We've so, been, there's all the different colours that you've got, got then, weird, like lavenders and purples and creams and blues and all sorts going on there. I love that shade. Beautiful. Um, quarter of the stock of the powder shades has sold out and gone. I'm going to tidy that one up. There's a couple of little threads on that one. The other option is this one here. Strawberries and cream. Oh, now you're talking. This is lovely because this is lovely, soft, delicate, peachy pinks. And then it goes to the most luscious sort of Cabernet and Merlot and ooh, what are the other ones? Malbec. We'll go through all the red wine colours while we're here. Well, Malbec, I can smell. Okay, smell. So that's <laughs> it's got a K in it, hasn't it? That's, that's so can't drink I can it, smell then. and spell them. <laughs> They're all very, well, that very was your, good. Well, that was your rule, wasn't it? If you can spell it, you can drink yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, it's fine because wines are fine because when you when you see them on oh, menus, you're just blanketing them all under remember wine. Remember menus, you? you just go. I'll have a bottle of number twenty six, please. That's fine. <laughs> that's why I don't need to know how it's pronounced or spelt or anything. So that's your other option there in these charm packs. Then um, eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. That's your strawberry, and oh, strawberry and charm. It's called. Oh. Not strawberry and cream. Strawberry and charm. Oh. Anyway, well, listen. Either way. 
just choose the one with the strawberries in it. We've got some other pick and mixes to show you on the website as well. So let's go and have a look then, shall we? Uh, more, oh, summer, summer cotton fabrics. So these are one meter fabrics on these because they're summers. Um, and you pick any three here for under 15 pounds. Oh, look at those. Right, okay. Oh, this is great. Right, let me get closer to the telly so I can see. So <laughs> picks, this is great. I'll, I'll be back with you later, Hayley. I'm off into fabric heaven now. I love that one. Um, vintage floral lilac, really, really nicely detailed. Very, um, very, well, I can't say, but, you know, very, very designer-esque, let's say. Hopping white, mad. Circus with the little tents there. And what else is going on? What's, what's that between the tents and the balloons? Is that something jumping through? Oh, it's a lion jumping it's, through a hoop, isn't it? Yes, a, but above like that... It's like a circus the, one. Is it... Is it, a monk, is it a monkey or a lion jumping through the hoop? How cute is that? And then Pixie's Lilac, I love that. Oh, Pixie's Mint, that looks like an instant cartoon, doesn't it? I love all of those. Now, you can choose a one metre piece of any three of those. In fact, you could have three of the same if you wanted to, for just £14.97. The only reason um, that is such a, an amazing pick and mix right now is purely because the word summer is in there. And it's not summer right now. But you know what? That's really, really good. Now, oh, OK. Uh, the other good thing about this is if you buy any more than one of the same, it will come cut off the bolt as one continuous length. So if you bought three of the same one as your pick and mix, you'd have three metres long um, for £14.97, which is brilliant. Think of the project. It's a metre and a half. Oh, no, three metres it would be, wouldn't it? Three yeah, meters. So, would, I mean, that would even be... kind of curtains for a kid's room. Yes, that would be perfect. For... Oh, in one of those um... circus prints, that'd be good. Or the pixie prints. <laughs> What's the first nice. now? <laughs> I'd have that. Right, where are we up to? Okay, I am sewing down this big long straight piece. Okay, which is I not feel like exciting. we've been here before. We have been <laughs> here before. I'm going as fast as I possibly we've can. We've gone from cliffhangers to repeats. <laughs> Well, this is, is this that, is, is the that, thing, though. It's is that going it's measured in? twice. Cut. Is that, is oh that no! Has my bobbin run out? Oh, I hate that. Oh well, we'll come I've back for part three later then, shall we? Today. Um, I I tell you what I'll do is if I, I'll. Look, um, if I didn't thanks, think it would, I would break it, I would just sewing machine off in a tantrum now. It's good this, isn't it? This will be on telly all night long as well until 8 o'clock <laughs> tomorrow morning until you start Thanks, again tomorrow. Derek. That's all right, you're welcome. You are so helpful. Happy New Year. It's lovely to be back. For reasons like this, it's lovely to be back. Right, <laughs> OK. Let's go through your one-day uh, special then while, uh, while Mrs Bobbin replaces her bobbin. Mrs um, Bobbin? Right. <laughs> Mrs. Bobbin. I should call you that now, shouldn't I? <laughs> That's a nice name, actually. It kind of works for you, Hayley, as well. Thank you. Mrs. Bobbin. Mrs. Bobbin. <laughs> Maybe you should add an S to that at the that's, moment. That's like, uh, it's right. like we live on some kind of street where all the people have the names Bobbin that relate to their, to their job. Like Mr. Baker, oh, Mrs. Yes. Bobbin. <laughs> yes. Um, right. Let me take you through the options. Could you just re-thread your needle, please? Thank you. Uh, right, let's start with the candy pinks then. Six different colours there, a half metre of each, which is really, really lovely. So you've got a, a lovely sort of deep... a bit of a raspberry mousse going on there, isn't it, on that one? It's rather nice indeed. So all six of those colours, plus a metre of the fusible web interfacing... £25.93, pence, of course, is your one-day special, and that is your candy pinks. Right, let's go to nice neutrals now. Nice and neutral. Here it is. <laughs> nice neutrals. That does sound a bit like a hair colouring, doesn't it? Nice <laughs> neutrals. <laughs> I'm going to need that one day. Uh, right, OK, all six of these. So you're going from this darker, sort of um, caramelly kind of um, brown, going slightly fauna, and then coming lighter and more, and more cream. Actually, I might have swapped these two, these two around, actually, in terms of light to dark. But you see there on the camera, actually, beautifully, how, how they work. <laughs> oh, sorry, Molly. Got so far, haven't I? Oh, that's it. That's it. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all the help I'm going to get from Molly now, that ever. Oh, don't ever say things like that, Derek. Just think them, <laughs> don't say them. Anyway, that's nice neutrals. Let's go. Let's go to blue spring hues, <coughs> which is full of blues. 
So I was sort of right, <laughs> one way or the other. Um, again, beautiful, whether you go light to dark or the fact that they work all beautifully together. Um, you notice the texture of this of this cotton uh, as well. It's really, really lovely. Um, it's nice and stable. It's nice and fluid all of the way through. I love the fact that there's a spring green in there as well. Um, it's beautiful. Very, very nice. Um, and that comes with your meter of fusible web interfacing as well. Right, over here, sunset strip or, or sunset hues or <laughs> something with the word sunset in it. I'll show you all six this time. Um, Are so you, you go to... Are you making stuff up now? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, so you've got this kind of pumpkin tone, a very, very bright orange, actually. When you sit it next to that pumpkin tone, it's very, very bright, isn't it? Slightly peachy. Then more mustardy, then more daffodil, then a little bit more sort of um, light sort of cream, then a nice sherbet yellow as well, 25.93. So that is sunset hues. Then we go to the blue lagoon. Lush lagoon, that's absolutely, I wish you'd remember that. Um, <laughs> so the lush lagoon has your beautiful blues, a really nice choice of blue and then you go to your earthier greens as well, including your deep olive and uh, your, your sort of true racing green in there as well. And finally, very berry. <laughs> That's what I would have called it. It's called wild berry. Yay! He remembered without prompting. Um, so all, have I got all six there? Yes. One, two, one, two, three, four, five and six. Yes, there you go. All six of those are that option of your one day special called wild berry oh it's fun this i'm glad i'm not doing this at eight o'clock in the morning i'm not an eight i'm not a morning person you see right uh, plus you get your um web interfacing as well of course right now can <sighs> we can we yes all fine now can we we're we all right now yes oh yes, have you have fine. you done yours have you I got have, your tube now i have restitched and now i have a big tube of fabric so from this step where you've got the big tube now you're going to cut uh, through the whole lot. So we're going to, again, flatten that out nicely. And then we're going to start cutting our sections out. Now, uh, remember what I said, because we're going to just make a, a really simple bargello, which is going to end up being just a big V shape. Uh -huh. So whatever size I cut, I need to cut two of, because um, I'm going to kind of gradually make them from larger to smaller, working their way in so the V has a nice curve on it. Now, yeah, we're not going to have a lot of time tonight. Um, no, we've but, got just that five minutes. Yeah, to I know. I've pro to be honest, I think I probably left it a bit late to start this tonight. So I think what we'll do is we'll start cutting oh. these tomorrow. Oh, cliffhanger! <laughs> oh, I tell you what, cliffhanger number two. <laughs> that is brilliant. Um, I wonder whether we should whether we should have a quick look at, at Sheila's again. Yeah, so that maybe would you be great. I mean, talk through this one is a Sheila lot. Sent a picture. A lot more complicated oh, yes, than much the one more that complicated we're doing. Than the one we're going but to do. But the what principle you can see that is uh, the principle is the same that we're using. So it's lots of strips together, and then it's cut apart again. So you can see all of those little squares forming. So you don't have to. Um, you know, if you were to cut and sew all of those individual squares together you would go bonkers. Yes. It would send you bonkers. Yes. But using this method, you can cut those strips down. Now, she looks like she's used a more or less even spacing on each of them, so it's the same size square that she's getting throughout. But what we're going to do is use different sizes. So mm -hmm. we're going to maybe start off with a uh, maybe a two and a half inch, and then we'll go down... Not by much, because we want a nice kind of gentle uh, curve coming in. Yes. So we'll only maybe go down by a half uh, an inch each time. Now remember, whatever size you cut it to, you're going to lose half an inch, because you're going to lose a quarter inch off one side and a quarter inch off the other. So mm -hmm. if you want it to start off as a two and a half inch width piece, you need to cut it as a three inch. Yes. And kind of generally slowly work your way down. And just to make sure that you are going to have enough, you start with your big pieces and cut two of each. So say we start with um, a three inch piece. So we'll cut two three inch pieces. So that'll take six inches off there. And then we'll go down maybe just by half an inch, mm -hmm. say. So that'll take us to um, two and a half inches. So we cut two of those. That'll be another five inches off. So we're up yeah. to 11 so far. Yeah. And I've got 40. Yes. So, you know, I've got, I've got yeah. plenty. Because by doing that little bit of a, a check And you're getting first, smaller as you go. Yes, I'm yeah. losing half an inch every time we go down. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is actually, I'll... I was going to wing this, but I think I am going to do a little bit of maths so this actually comes out right. Right. Okay. Well, you've got you've got something like eleven hours. It's not going to take me that long to figure that I'll out. I'll work it out in the car on the way back, then. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to suggest is your overnight homework. 
until the next show because uh, Hayley's back, of course, tomorrow at eight in the morning. Oh, I'm not setting homework. There's enough people got to do no, no, homeschooling no, no, at the minute. No, Nobody no, wants homework. No, it's no, it's dead easy. This one, <laughs> okay? Because all you need to do is go onto your search engine of choice and just search the word Bargello. And I think we should spell that word so that it's Are you clear. It? B A R G E W -L, L O, I believe, is the correct spelling for it. I think it's Italian, isn't it, Bargello? I think it is. Yeah. Um, so if you um, search engine some images of finished Bargello quilt, you'll get the idea of where Hayley will hopefully well, be heading. I'm going to set the alarm early to find out. Tomorrow we'll just start <laughs> cutting it up and then once we've cut it up we'll start uh, stitching it back together and then you'll be able to see how that kind of graduation works. And when you vary the width then that's going to give you another look again. Don't forget your fabulous happy hours as well. These wonderful, wonderful um, animal patterns, which are just brilliant. Jungle safari um, panels. You've got them in different colours and different options as your happy hour deal as well. Um, and you've got about six minutes if you want to check those out. Um, in this hour, by the way, and there are a few different options of these panels as well. Obviously, this one has been fully made up and quilted as well. Yeah, so that's so the navy are... option that you've got there. There are two other colour options, which is your pink and your teal. And they are brilliant. You'll find them all on the website, but only for about the next five minutes. Now, normally, this is the part of the show where I'd say, when are you back, Hayley? But I know when you're back, don't I? Tomorrow. And the day after that. So, Sunday. Let's talk with Sunday and the first. the day after. Yeah, no, Sunday, Monday. OK, so tomorrow... So we're doing one day special, but yes. then there's two Craft Yourself Silly shows in there where we're launching brand new fabric collections. Very exciting. So, so by the time I arrive at, at two o'clock on Sunday afternoon, yeah, I'll have there, been should, there should be some Bargello action going on there. Over should there should be Bargello action. Thank you, darling. Have a good sleep. Thank enjoy, you. Your, enjoy your maths. Uh, thank you for your company as well. Do check out what you've got <laughs> in your basket as well. And don't forget, Hayley will be back and she will be making that Bargello on Sunday. Well, hope springs eternal. Anyway, I'm staying for another hour, actually, and we are going all woolly next with a happy hour, and then we'll relive the fun that was this hour in an hour's time. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan, and I bring Spellbinders products here to Achanda. Spellbinders are an American-based company, and they have been in the industry for well over 15 years. Spellbinders have always brought us dies with stunning detail but today you will find tools dies and stamps within the spellbinder range what i love about spellbinders is their partnership with licensed designers this always keeps my creativity flowing to inspire you with lots of hints and tips on how to use your Spellbinder products. So join us for the Spellbinder shows here on Achanda. Did you know you can watch Ochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Ochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app 
and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. I want Paula to be back for this hour. Well, it's, a, it's an hour of yarn balls, and, and quite frankly, Paula should be here. I'm going to have words. Uh, welcome to 9 o'clock on Saturday. Yeah, is she, is she back home yet? Give her a call. Get her back in. Get her back in. These yarn balls here to be done. Um, listen, this is always a very, very popular hour on um, Hochanda. I'm going to put my cards on the table straight away. Do you know what? I can knit, but the only problem is I can't cast on or off. I can do the bit in the middle, but it's just the start and the end that I can't do. Maybe I need your help with that. Uh, so we've got a woolly hour for you right now. Uh, and it's a happy hour as well. Um, happy hours are where I love to hear from you as well. So please do feel free to drop in an email um, and just say hello. Um, studio at hochanda.com because it is a happy hour as well. It's timed. So that means that, well, it's timed. Every hour is timed, isn't it, really? But, but here, it means that the deals that we have for you are good for this hour. So this will turn into, I think this turns into a clock, does it? Yeah, look. Right, so already, come on, Derek, get on with it. You've wasted a minute already. Will you get on with it? Um, so that's... Um, how this works. The prices that we've got on screen are good for that amount of time. So at the end of the hour, everything will re revert to its, uh, its uh, regular... Oh, we're on Facebook Live as well. Oh, wait, hello, Facebook Livers. Hello. Uh, I'm Derek, by the way. If we've never met, it's lovely to have your company. Uh, and if we are old friends, welcome back. Right, let's start then, shall we? I'll run you through everything that we've got in the counter. And you can shop ahead of me, of course, on the website. Right, let's start with... I love this. Very, very nice indeed. This is Chic Unique. And this is... Uh, like variegated, it's called unique wire, w unique yarn. <laughs> it's good job the words are on the screen, isn't it, really? Because they're not coming out of my mouth correctly at all. Look at the colours that you've got going on here. And you can see it's kind of variega variegated all of the way through, which is really quite cute. It's quite a chunky yarn as well, isn't it? Now, let's see what its makeup is. Let's have a little look. The packaging is recyclable, which is really good to know. It's a 200 gram ball uh, and it's 75% acrylic. It's 15% wool and it's 10% polyamide. Uh, yes, that is the same as nylon, I'll take it. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It's just another, another way of saying nylon, I think, isn't it? 
<laughs> I'm going to go with that as a yes. <laughs> I couldn't say that that was a fact, Emily. Yeah, we'll go with that as a, as a fact. So, it, it looks like you've got there four different colour options, which are... This is pastel. This is one, so lovely um, oranges, greys, pinks, lots of different choices there. Then we have fire. Fire. That's nice, isn't it? So that's, a, again, slightly more um, stronger colours. That would be a nice scarf, actually, wouldn't it? I wonder how long that scarf would end up being. It would be super warm and super, super chunky. And then let's go to the uh, bottom ones. I'll try not to confuse things, Emily. The, let's go to the pinky one, shall we? This is candy. Oh, yes, it's like pick and mix, isn't it? Ooh, yes. Um, oh, now what were the um, what what were those sweeties that? Um, oh, two tone they were. Fruit salad. That's what I was thinking of. They're like fruit salad colours, aren't they? And then they're going into these more sort of candy floss colours and then they go back into these kind of fruit salad. Fruit salad. Oh, I could just do a fruit salad now, couldn't you? Uh, this one is called Terror. N not as in fear or worry or nothing to worry about. Terror as in the first half of terracotta. What does that actually translate to, Emily, I wonder? Ter it might Let's have a look, shall we? It's probably something to do with ceramics, I would imagine. Terror. Land. Earthy. Right, let's look at the colours then. Now we know. Yeah, so, te yes, terra firma. On, on the earth. Wow. Marcus, what would you do without you? Look at that. Right, OK, so nice earthy tones there. Um, deeper greens. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? Like, um, oh, what was that squishy sweetie that used to be a bit yellow and had a little bit of brown in it? One of those like, squishy ones. Like a... Banana. Yes, banana something or other. Lovely. Well, there you go. Well, we've had a nice journey down memory lane there, haven't we? So there are the four different options for you. They're all 200 gram balls. Um, well, I say balls. They're not quite balls, really. They're more sort of barrel, really, aren't they? Yes, wheels. That would make one bus and a half, wouldn't it? Now, how, Molly, did you get those to sit there without moving? Oh, that's it. Right. Don't breathe, anyone. Let's move on. £11.19. pence. Um, only, though, for the next 54 minutes and 49 seconds. Right. Next up. Now, is this the one where I need to go and grab the bag from down there? Because this, this, I, I couldn't believe. And, and, again, not being a knitter right now... The deal on this, so you see you've got this big stack of, uh, of yarn here. You just choose your colour and we send you ten balls of that yarn. You won't get the bag. The bag's coming up later. You, you can buy the bag later, actually. Um, but Molly's put ten in here. No! Really? We don't have that colour. That's that colour, isn't it? I can put that one in there, can't I? I can, I can pass that down to, to Molly down there. Right, so, which colours do we have there? We've got Rust, which is back in stock, I'm told. Been very, very popular. OK, Molly's going to get Rust. Now, we had this... Do you know, we had all these conversations earlier. Here comes Rust. Rust has arrived as if by magic. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Oh, listen, we've all slept since we prepped this show. Uh, right, so rust and chocolate and grey and charcoal and navy and black and dark cyan, stone, electric pink and a couple of others. Royal blue and leaf green. Now, so you just buy once, but you get ten of these 100 gram balls. Let me tell you the, uh, the makeup. They are 100% acrylic. That feels super, super, super wonderful. Do you know, actually, I mean, I, listen, I'm no expert in this kind of thing, but they just feel so lovely and cuddly and soft. Really, really nice. Uh, great for washing, of course. So wash and wear again and again and again. Let me show you the different options. So, uh, actually, yes, you'd probably best do that. So that's rust there at the top, isn't it? Then we've got charcoal, which is this one. Then the royal blue. And then as we make our way down, it's the leaf green. And then in the middle is the 
Is that the cyan one? Yeah, dark cyan. Let me protrude that a little bit. There you go. So that's dark cyan. Uh, and this one is pinky. It's electric pink. It's very bright, actually, isn't it? Very, very lovely. Um, down here, this one here, that's stone, which is lovely. It's sort of biscuity, isn't it? Which is lovely. Down there, I'm guessing, is the chocolate. Yes. It's a nice. Actually, do you know when a lot of things say chocolate and you think, you don't, um, none of my chocolate that I eat looks like that. But actually, that is very, that is very chocolatey. You know, most, most things that are called chocolate, you say, why don't you just call yourself brown? Where that is, is because it's lustrous, because it is, um, because it's acrylic, it's got that little slight sheen to it. That is very chocolatey, isn't it? You know on the Bake Off, when they're tempering their chocolate and they're just melting it in the bowl over the, over the water, that's the kind of colour we see, isn't it? That's the colour you want, yes. Yeah, it never happens. That's why you just buy a cake from the shop. Um, this is the navy, uh, which is lovely. Again, very, very nice luster. Hang on, I'll excuse the grey hair. That's, that's optional. It's not one of mine. It must have been Paula, having a little look through the yarn balls before we started. And this one uh, is your grey. But you can you see in that grey as well, it's not a singular grey. It's, it's kind of like a marl, isn't it? So there are there are some essences of darker shades in there. It's not just a singular colour, which I love. So remember, you, um, you get 10 in this offer. So 11 99 if you're thinking, oh, gosh, that's a lot, isn't it, for, for a single ball of yarn? No, you get 10 of these. I've now got the bag has now been repacked by Molly. You don't get the bag, bag not included, but bag, bag available later. But inside the bag, oh, there's a lot of lining on that bag, isn't there? Um, so you, 10 balls of rust are in there. That sounds all kind of wrong, doesn't it? So there you go. There you go. That shows you what three looks like. Uh, and, and so you just have to picture the other six. Uh, but that's, that's what happens, minus the one that I dropped. Right. OK. The recommended needle for, for this yarn, by the way, is a four millimetre, by the way. Shall I leave that there, Molly, just as a, as a challenge, Annika? Um, right. Shall we move on? I think we should, uh, because the happy hour will be disappeared. We won't be down there. It'll be at the end of the happy hour, won't it? Right, next up, socks. Now, these aren't any kind of socks, though. These aren't your, your run-of-the-mill, oh, you know, your Monday to Friday socks. You know what I mean? These, these are super, super lovely, comfortable, very designer-looking as well, aren't they? Aren't they? And you could be doing it yourself. Um... Uh, beautiful sort of loungy socks or they could be your before you put your um, your big bo boots to go out for the wet walk kind of socks you know what I mean nice you've got your ankle boots on this could be the you know the the bit that goes over the top of your boots as well just gives that extra little flair and look now with this one with the um, with the the yarn for this you've got the choice of three different colour options here. Um, so let me show you. I love the way they're, they're arranged there as well. That almost looks like um, like um, oh, um, no, it looks a bit like a pheasant feather, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Just the way it's wrapped around there. Um, so it is washable at 40 degrees, which is good to know. It is 75% wool and 25% polyamide nylon, as we said earlier. Um, and it's 100 grams. And you can see how it changes in colour. So it's not variegated. What it does is it, it changes as it goes along. So when you make the finished sock, he says just sneaking the picture in there, you can see as you come up, your, your colour of changes of sock. So it becomes, sorry, your colour of chalk, sock. Well, do you know what? I, I know what I meant, but the, the mouth won't say it. Now, there's a, choice, there's a, there's a, a variety of different patterns as well. Um, and you will, you will get one of those um, sock patterns at random. So your choices here are, I wonder if these are named. We've, okay, Emily's just trying to work out which is which. This is Woodstock. This is the one that looks a little bit pheasant, pheasant feather from there. Don't try and say things like that this time of night, Derek, for heaven's sake. Um, and then let's see, let's see, Emily, if you can work out what this one might be. This is good. I like this kind of guessing game. It's good, isn't it? There's a bit of red, there's a bit of blue, 
It's a bit more pheasant feather in there. It looks like a bit of a dodgy toupee from there, actually, doesn't it? So close. <laughs> like a hair beast gone wrong. Um, like a bad comb over. Um, anyway, what, what colour? So I've given you plenty of time to find the colour now, Emily. Montreux. We think that's Montreux. And then the third option. This is good, isn't it? Does it, does it show you on the website? I hope when you're choosing these. And, um, and this one, or should, we, should we just call it Wilderness? Oh, OK. Do the pictures on the website give you a bit more clue? Let's go to the, let's go to the website, see if we can work it out there. Let's do that. Right, there's Wilderness. It bit, looks a bit more like the purpley one. Well, that's the pattern that it's sitting next to, isn't it? And, and that's Montreux. And Woodstock. Good. 9.95. Lovely. Well, that's as... That's, uh, yes, that, the thing is, the colours change as you go into... In fact, if I... If I show you, let me just take the packaging off this one. So you can see that, that the colours change as, as you go in. So sometimes what you see on the outside is very different to what's on the inside. Oh, I love this game. It's good, isn't it? Can we play again next week? Right, 9.95 uh, for the rest of the happy hour. Let's move on, shall we? Because that was so much fun. Let's talk newborns now. Let's talk new arrivals into your life. Be it a little baby girl or a little... Oh, I'm thinking that's a baby boy, is it? I don't, do they both, no? Are they both baby girls? Are they? Sorry. Spot the man with no children. <laughs> I've got two cats. Yeah, and apologies if these are your babies. They're beautiful, both of them, whether they be boy, girl, or otherwise. Uh, right. <laughs> OK. Shall I just go home now? Well, it's been lovely to have you back for two days, Derek. Now, could you, could you uh, disappear again? Yeah. Uh, never mind. Only 45 minutes to go. It's all fine. Right. What we're making here is either this little cardigan, which you can see there um, on one side, or the little, it's more of a pullover, yes, pullover on the other side. But you're doing it in this yarn. Now, this yarn is a sparkle yarn, which is beautiful. It's a lovely sort of soft green, and it has a real sort of um, glittering within, <laughs> within within the yarn. I think you're right, Emily, actually. It is quite gender neutral. You're very, very right. <laughs> Nicely observed. Uh, it is washable also at 30 degrees, which is good to know. And it is 65% polyacrylic, 30% polyamide, and 5% polyester, which adds up to about 126%. No, it doesn't really. It does add up to 100. <laughs> it doesn't. And you get two 100 gram um, balls with this. And we worked out, didn't we, from from the patterns that you could make one of each um, of these, but it's a lovely sparkly yarn. Listen, if you've got other ideas for the yarn, then take it, because that's a great price, isn't it, for a nice, um, for two 100 gram balls. And you get both of the patterns as well. So you get one for the little little pullover and one for the little um, cardigan. Obviously, you won't get the buttons. You'll get the, um, the yarn, but not the, um, the buttons. Or the baby. <laughs> uh, just point that out. Oh, I laughed so hard I blew them over. Um, what size needle do we need for these? 3.25, please. Um, two or four for those. Right, let us move on. Bye, girls. Uh, on we go. On we go. Now, more baby, baby goodness now. These are lovely. So you've got four 50 gram balls of your choice of colour. So you've got the little baby blue there, you've got the peach, and you've got this lovely 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 sunshine color which is lovely you get you get four of whichever color you choose you've just got four of those uh, right now because it's late Saturday night isn't it <laughs> you see uh, there's what we can make there's the little <laughs> there's the little six <laughs> that we can make with these which is very very sweet so you've got the little booties and you've got the little um, the little top there with the with the hood very very fashionable you could personalize that as well couldn't you in lots and lots of different ways I just love it. Size is three, oh, th three to six up to 18 to 24 months. So really from three months up to two years old. That's pretty good, isn't it? If you fancy a little bit of, uh, oh, let me tell you the makeup of these. Did I do that already? No, I haven't done that. 55% polyacrylic and 45% polyamide and washable at 30 degrees. Very good. 
especially with baby with baby bits and pieces because they're in and out of the wash all the time aren't they phenomenal 3.25 to a size 4 needle um, for those 9.99 and remember whichever color you choose you get the pattern plus 450 gram balls of the yarn in either the baby blue the sunshine or that pink i don't i don't know does that look a little bit more advanced i don't know so, so i'll have a look at the pattern it, it'll 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 help me probably not at all um 22 stitches times 30 rows equals 10 centimetres. Four inch in stocking stitch using four millimetre needles. Take time to check tension gauge. I hope that's cleared that up. Right, should we move on? I have no idea whether that's more advanced or not. Right, more. Now this is, as a, as a yarn, this is fascinating. Because from a distance, from that distance, this looks like it's packets of face wipes from a distance doesn't it in a supermarket what it is is this most fascinating it's almost like jersey t-shirt material in a yarn it's really really clever um this is oh it's a it's a five millimeter needle you need for this by the way um it's washable at 30 degrees and it's makeup let me just check it's makeup it is 62 percent cotton so it's cotton rich and 38% polyamide, um, which is really, really good. So these are 50 gram um, balls and you will get six of them in your chosen colours. And you can choose from peach and pink and blue and mint and chartreuse, which is a lo lovely name for colour, isn't it? Um, and this is beautiful. I am, I am trying to think of the kind of thing that this would be really, really nice to make with. And I think because I'm not sure about scarves. I think something more s flexible than a scarf, do you know what I mean? Something like a, like a snood or something that was a little bit bigger than a scarf because I'm not, I'm not sure how it would sit as a scarf. Maybe you know, maybe you've got yarns like this right now. What do you make? Tell me. Studio at hochander.com. Um, I would love to know. Um, but you have got lots and lots of different colours. And it is really interesting because it really does feel like jersey t-shirt material. It's got that same kind of flexibility and stretch to it as well so i think you can have great fun with that which is lovely so um let's just check out the colors then shall we let's see what we can work out chartreuse is a yes is it right it's this one here chartreuse is this slightly off yellow it's slight of sort of greenish yellow slightly mustardy heading to a little little do you know i i would quite would quite yes Yellow with a hint of green, yeah. I'd quite like some shoelaces that colour. Maybe you could, maybe you could plait the... Uh, actually, hello, sorry. Oh, man with a little bit of other experience with his hand up. If you do macrame or kumihimo or any of those kind of crafts, these would be brilliant. Paracords, alternative to paracords, something with a bit more stretch and a bit more give. So you can make lovely friendship bracelets with this. Oh, no, we're on to something now. We're on to something like that. Yes, wall hangers. Yes, they would be really, really good for that. So you've got the chartreuse as an option. You also have the, do we call this one peach? Yes, peach. It is a lovely colour, actually. It's very, very nice. Then we've got the pink, which is a nice soft pink, actually. It's not too bright. It's not too neon. Um, yeah, these would be lovely. I wonder what kind of things you would you would make with it. Actually, you, I guess you could, because you can knit with them, obviously, and you can crochet with them. So anything you can crochet, you can, you can make with this as well. Maybe like little um, uh, table settings, something like that, this kind of material might be nice for, because it is washable as well. Yes, little animals. You could make little animals, couldn't you? Because you could stuff whatever you'd knitted as well, couldn't you? Um, the green, we're calling uh, a mint. That is lovely. It does. Doesn't it look like face wipes from there? Oh, it's funny, isn't it? Uh, they've all got those kind of um, packaging colours to them, haven't they? So this is the mint. So you get four of those. Oh, hang on a minute. Details say six times 50 grams. Oh, you get six. Oh, right. So we've got four on the table. I beg your pardon. We've got four on the table of each colour. You get six. Oh, it's amazing. 
um, £12.94. See, every time you look, it's, this is like watching a film several times over, isn't it? You know you watch it the second time and say, I didn't see that the first time. So you actually get six of these rather than four. Right, we've, oh, we've got a picture. Thank you. Linda. Oh, Linda. They are gorgeous. She knits and crochets. Oh, as physiotherapy because she has arthritis. Wonderful. They are lovely, aren't they? How cute. I love the colours as well. Her next project is going to be the socks. Ah, oh, brilliant. Would you make sure you send us pictures? It, was it Linda? Oh, that's the first time I've ever remembered her name so quickly. Uh, Linda, would you send us a picture when, you, when you've made the socks? Would you send, please send us a picture? Love it. And, and tell us which option you went for. And then we'll know what it is in the future. That would be good. Uh, right, OK. We've got your Odin yarn right now. Um, this is lovely. This is, oof. This is really, really luscious. Very, very luscious. Who's Debbie Bliss, Emily? She certainly knows her stuff, doesn't she? And this is your Odin yarn. Um, let's find out. Oh, she's a knitwear designer, apparently. Um, you'll need a, a 10 millimetre knitting needle for this. It is suggested. She's got an MBE, has Debbie Bliss as well. 30 degrees wash um, for this, and the makeup is 75% uh, wool, 25% acrylic. So very, very wool rich. Very gorgeous. You can feel that. That's lovely. That's the kind of thing you want to snuggle under right now where it's minus whatever it is uh, where you are. So we get three balls of whichever colour you choose in this one. Susan has emailed in. She says, hi, Derek. I don't knit, but these look soft and plush. They are. They're absolutely beautiful. I mean, ev everything that we've seen is, is soft and plush. Oh, it makes her wish that she could knit. You and me both. Well, if you can start me off, Susan, then I can pick up from there. But I can't finish off. That's a bit of a, that's a, bit of a problem, isn't it? So I can do the bit in the middle, that's it. Anyway, uh, let's talk colours, shall we? Because there's a big choice of colours here. Claret be berry, black teal coral, chartreuse sage, red teddy, teddy, denim blue, cream grey, and blush. Sorry, I was reading the details on the telly there. Uh, right, sh should we go through that? Should we go from top to bottom? I think that's, is that berry? Oh, claret. Should have known that from the wine talk in the fabric in the last hour, shouldn't I, really? So that's your claret. Then we have, it's got to be teal, that one, hasn't it? Lovely, gorgeous, deep, rich blue. Where should we go next? Let's see where Marcus points the camera and I'll follow. That's the black. Yeah. It's, it's got a grey there. Do what I do, pluck them out. Uh, next one. I do. Honestly, I'm so vain. I'm not colouring it because that's too obvious. So I'll pluck them out instead. But apparently you pluck one out and then three reappear. Anyway, sorry, which colour is this? Sage. <laughs> <laughs> like a fresh sage, that, isn't it? Lovely. Fresh sage. Uh, next one is your... Yeah, red. I, well, I can't see the names at the moment until they come back on the telly. OK, let's go down one. Berry. Very berry, that, isn't it? We had lots of berry talk in the, uh, in the last hour, didn't it? Didn't we? Didn't it? <laughs> didn't it? It was me. Uh, the blue there is the powder blue. Yes, N nice, nice and soft. And, th and then I think that might be white. I'm, I'm only, I'm only having a wild guess. Cream, close. Single or double. Then there is your chartreuse as well. You can see that that's slightly... Actually, it looks a little more true yellow on camera than to the eye. It's a slightly greenish yellow, like a little twist of lime has been added to the lemon. Very, very nice. Right, let's go to the bottom. The bottom looks like a little pumpkin there, doesn't it? <laughs> and that is, <laughs> that is your coral. <laughs> and moving on. There is your denim blue. It's a nice mid-denim, actually, because some denims are too light and some are too right. Then the next one, oh, that's the teddy one. 
Me and my teddy bear. Ah, that's cute, isn't it? Uh, again, remember, this is 75% wool as well, and you're going to get three balls each, of whichever colour you choose. And the next one is grey. And I think... Oh, there's only one more. Just one more. Uh, pink. Lush. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, right, powder blue. Oh, no, it's right in the middle. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Give, give me a red cross to put over that one, because it's gone. I'm not picking that out of there, because I'm going to come back here later. Uh, so, so, that one is gone. Yeah, there's no point you zooming in on it. It's gone. That's it. Don't make a feature of it now, Marcus. It's gone. Uh, £10.85. and pence. Congratulations um, if you are in right now. Remember, you can split the cost, by the way, of anything you're buying in this show, pretty much. Anything over £5 um, with flex extravaganzas, you can break that down into two flexes. So that would be, what, just over f uh, £5 um, in two payments, which is good-ish. Right, next up, do you remember the bag that I showed you with the rust yarn balls in over there? ages and ages and ages ago, and I said bag not included. Now, it is yarn not included, because we're talking about the bag. <laughs> um, so this is your wool bucket bag, which is really, really cool. And let me show you what's in this bucket bag. Now, not included, but there's one, and there's two, and there's three, and there's four, and there's five, and there's six, seven, eight, nine, and there's a bit of something else in there as well. Oh, that's... That's just a yarn doodah. The great thing about this bucket bag is it goes beyond the size of the bag because can you see there's a lining which is bigger than the actual bag itself. And can you also see it's like a dolly, dolly bag, is it like we used to call them? A drawstring bag, that's the what I mean. Um, because you can actually draw everything in there. So it's almost like twice its size in a way. It's, it is brilliant. Yes, do you know what? It would, it would be good, also, a bag like this would probably be, be quite good for things like, you know, swimming kits and things like that, or, or even sort of a secondary laundry bag in the corner that you could sort of draw string up uh, at the end of the day. Yes, of course, fabric paints or inks or pens, you could colour that up if you wanted to as well, uh, which I think is really, really good. So let's pack it back up again uh, with the one and two and three pack up my old kit bag pack up your troubles isn't it in your old kit bag and oh sorry i've somehow managed to unwind a bit of that one sorry molly all right all right right so i can get all of that in there nice and neatly then i can bring the drawstring board <laughs> drawstring up and over look at that how neat is that 15 pounds 99 it was, it was worthy of that round of applause. That's for the bag. That's not for me, by the way. That's for the bag. Um, oh, oh, I, sorry. I thought that was the next item. Oh, you get this with it. Right, OK. Well, we'll have a bit of that there as well. Um, you know, if you've got a little, uh, little tablet, they'll go in there, you know. This is actually um, a little craft bag to go with it, your little pro project pouch. So, so you could get your patterns in there, but you could also put things like your crochet hooks in there and the little rulers and pens and, you know, bits and pieces that, that you have. And look, it's even got a pom-pom trim, and we all love a bit of pom-pom trim, can't we? And that's got to be the phrase of 2021, hasn't it? Cla craft, sleep, repeat. Yes. Yes, I, eat should be in there, yes. Well, you can draw that on with your fabric pens, can't you? Or smear it in chocolate. Uh, it's up to you. Oh, that sounded wrong, didn't it? Let's go to the website to cover that up, thank you. Honestly, don't know where your mind is right now, but it's certainly not in the yarn. Right, OK. Um, so, there is everything that is available in, the, in this show right now, plus lots, lots more. Plus, oh yes, we've got book bundles there as well, actually. Oh, we're going to show those next, aren't we? Oh yeah, they're behind me on the rack. I've now turned into a news agent. Here I am, um, as a news agent now. Well, let's go to the top row first, shall we? Right, OK, let's see, let's see what we've got here. We've got um, shawls and wraps. Now, is this knitting or is this crocheting? Oh, this is crocheting, isn't it? Now, Molly's just taken up crocheting, our floor manager, um, over Christmas. What have you crocheted so far, Molly? A beanie hat. A beanie hat. A head wrap. A head wrap. And a little octopus. And an octopus. I think we need pictures of all of those. 
Are, are any of them here? Are any of them here? Oh. Oh, we need we need pictures for the next show, I think. So there's a there's a, a shimmering ripple. That's what you need to crochet next, Molly. Everyone everyone needs a shimmering ripple. <laughs> I can't believe you've lived this long without having a shimmering ripple. <laughs> and then you've got you stepping out. <laughs> Well, we've got all the yarn on the show. You'd have to be quick, though, Molly, because you've only got 27 minutes to check out uh, if you want to uh, if you want to end up with a shimmering ripple. And and these are Tunis Tunisian shawls. Why Tunisian? I wonder why. Yeah, maybe it's the design or the. Oh, it's the tech. Is is it a ripple? Oh, is it the little? I don't know what it is. Let's go in and have a look, shall we? We meet the designer, and we can we can find out all about her. Cables and heart. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? We've got that colour in some of the yarns, haven't we? The sort of deeper greens, which is lovely. Shows you the levels. Um, autumn embrace. I think we need a bit more than that right now, wouldn't we? Hot pink lace. Very nice. Silver shimmer. <laughs> Tells you everything you need to do. It's got the stitch guides in there as well. Pop, pop over wedges. Pop over wedges. I thought wedges were shoes, Molly. Oh, now I see. Look, because every every section is like a, a little wedge. Re a red hot wrap. There you go, Molly. There's something else you need: a shimmering ripple and a red hot wrap. There we go. So you get both. <laughs> you get both of those books there. Sorry, you can see I've never picked up a crochet hook in my life so far. I'm going to though. Listen, uh, Molly's going to be my inspiration. Uh, Nine ninety-eight. For both of those right let's go let's go to the next the next row shall we is this knit oh this is crocheting again okay we got four books this time i'll wish you through these a little quicker i think so we've got baby afghans terrific to touch what's an afghan is that like a quilty kind of thing oh it is it's like a mini kind of sort of baby kind of quilty affair isn't it sorry i'm trying not to flare these so you can see them Everything at granny blanket. Oh. oh, it's a woolen blanket or shawl. Love it. You could do that with these yarns, couldn't you? With these um, t-shirty yarns, because that would that would be quite nice. I love that design. How cute is that? Really, really nice. Uh, anyway, just a quick flick through that one. You've also got oh man. So these are all Afghans, are they? Mandala um, Afghans. Just show one book at a time, Derek. That'd be that'd be the thing to do. Oh, okay. So you've got little templates there. Do you, so you follow that, do you? Do you know what you could do, actually? Um, as a crafting thing, this book would be quite good to have because you'd happily photocopy that and turn that into a crafting project, wouldn't you? So that's a Framhurst Afghan. That sounds a posh place, doesn't it? Oh, how cute is that? How cute is that? Beautiful. So there's just one or two examples in that one. Um, there's also Granny Square Baby Afghans. We didn't look at this one already, did we? No, no, we haven't seen this one. Oh, so this uses Granny Squares, which is, is that a, cro that's a crochet thing. Granny Squares, right. Very, very popular. Playful Stripes. So you make those one at a time and put them together. Oh, it's like quilting then, a little bit, is it? I had no idea. But crochet, crocheting comes together far, crocheting, 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 that comes together far quicker than knitting, doesn't it? Yes. That sounds good to me because I'm a very impatient boy. And then there's another one. Sweet, I know. So there's like four books here. Sweet and simple granny squares. Oh, nice. Oh, right, so there's all sorts going on in this one. So you've got a little um, checkboard, checkbook cover. Checkbook? Checkbook? I can't remember the last time I wrote a check. Your phone, your phone could go in there, though, couldn't it, these days? Or a little notebook. Checkbook. Uh, they've even spelt it wrong. Um, it's the American spelling. I'm, jo I'm joking. Uh, this is the pop-up diamond scarf. That's quite cute, actually, as a scarf design, isn't it? Uh, a little f fuzzy mug cosy. Um, a Fleur Shaw headband. 
Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't a bunting. It wasn't bunting. There is some bunting though, because look, banner friends, and you've also a pillow cover or cushion cover, as we call it. How cool is that? So you get that book, and you get that book, and you get that book, and you get that book for eleven ninety six. All very, very useful resource resources if you crochet. <laughs> Why is crochet such a difficult word to say? Right. Okay. Another one. Right. <laughs> We're moving down the shelves. Right, let me show you what we've got here, and I'll run through these even quicker. I keep saying that and never doing it. Um, so, crochet tops. So, there's quite a few different um, designs in there. We'll have a quick flip through and see what uh, lots of stitch designs in there. Oh, not so many pictures in that one, but that gives you an idea. Of that. There must be more pictures in there, are there? Are there? No, it's a lot of it's pattern. Oh, hang on, there they are. Hang on, there you go. Ta-da! There you go. Oh, is that just do a bit of crochet trim there at the top of a top? Oh no, the whole thing's crochet. Crocheted. <laughs> it looks very cosy. Uh, okay, next, learn to crochet. Right, maybe this is for me. This bundle then. Learn to crochet. You get a hook in this one. Look inside. Hook included. <laughs> um, that's very clever play on words. So a quick start guide, so that will show you how to, that would be me <laughs> for a long time, I think. Um, so it shows you how to get started and shows you very, very simple ways to get started. How did you start, Molly? How did you learn? YouTube. Oh, okay, so she used a video online. Very, very good. Okay, so that gives you lots and lots of simple starters. So this is a nice little bundle if you're thinking about starting a new craft for the new year. Here's learn to crochet Learn to crochet the easy way. Uh, so getting started. So again, it takes you through in very, very simple pictures. Just how easy and just how simple it is to get started crocheting. Oh, it even tells you the wrong way to do things. That's a very, very good. And that's what? That's book number three in this bundle. Oh, Molly! Never mind your, your rippled whatever it was earlier. You can crochet your own slippers. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what. Yeah, that probably is me in the middle there, isn't it? <laughs> My legs never reach the floor. <laughs> no matter what the furniture, never to the floor. Um, look at those. Now, they probably lack a bit of hanger appeal, but I bet when they're on, I bet it's a different affair. Oh, and look, oh look, yes, for, for boys and girls, lovely, there'll be a design here, here for everyone. Oh, look, now, at Christmas on telly, I try as often as I can to get the old elf outfit out. <laughs> so now I can crochet the elf sock. How good is that? Right, and there's a fifth book in here as well. Beginner-friendly crochet. <laughs> so... Oh, what's this called? Crochet hood. That's quite, um, that's quite, um, it's quite, um, oh, you know what I mean? All of those mystery programs with those younger ladies. Like, yeah, one of those, like, subtitled Norwegian series. Looks very, very, yeah. Secret agent, she looks a bit there, doesn't she? That's a nice cowl. <laughs> Is that, is that really what I think it is? Delightful dishcloth. Delightful dishcloth. That's true, it is eco-friendly. A lot of these yarns are washable. Absolutely. We giggled at that to start with, would you believe? But you're not giggling at now, are you? Imagine a chartreuse dishcloth that you've crocheted yourself. Um, there's your pocket scarf, saving the world. Make mine mink. <laughs> Don't try and say that ten times fast. Uh, <laughs> a, a wonderful, what's it called? Ear warmer. Oh, that's a good idea. Do you know what as well? That would keep your mask on as well, wouldn't it? Because those masks slip off your ears so easily, don't they? Either that or they pull your ears forward. That's the thing about masks at the moment. You get the ones that pull your ears forward and either make, well, you just get vain about it, don't you? if you're me. Um, 
Sunny coaster, anyone? We were talking about coasters, weren't we, and placemats and things like that. Sunny coaster. That's good. Now, this yarn would be perfect for that. Yeah, that's true. What, what is, what's in, it might be lemon tea. It might be lemon tea. Has no, has no milk in it. It could be beef tea, couldn't it? Uh, uh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, beef tea. Like, it just sounds all kind of wrong, doesn't it? So, anyway, how did we get from crochet to beef tea? Well done, everyone. Um, OK, so five, and, and actually, in all seriousness, if you are a, very much a beginner, or not even a beginner, at least two of the bookers, bookers, books here actually teach you how to crochet. Right, we'd better move on, <laughs> apparently, because our life is only so long, uh, <laughs> even in lockdown. Um, we have got 16 minutes... Just under 17 minutes uh, left to check out in this hour. Let's talk about freedom. It's so worth being the time to make sure you're a member. Here's Leonie to tell you more. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Darling Leone, um, I tell you what, it is a good time to uh, become uh, a Freedom member as well because there are so many advantages to it as well. It just makes sense. In fact, it doesn't make sense as a business to do something like that, but it makes sense to you utterly and completely to do it. Right, uh, let's go right back to the top. It seems a while ago since I was, we were this end of the counter, doesn't it? If you've just joined us, um, welcome to the happy hour. We only have 15 minutes left for you to check out the deals in this hour. So let me run through what we've got. We are starting off with the uh, Chic Unique. And we've got Pastel and Fire and Terror and Candy as your option here. And this is the um, yarn which variegates and changes colour as you go through. And funnily enough, you could probably team this up with those sock patterns if you're going for one of the sock yarn options, actually. Because it would, yeah, because that would be super, super fluffy. And actually, we got lots of inspiration from the crochet books there, didn't we? Of different projects, wearable projects right now as well, um, where you don't really want to have the heating up all of the time. You can knit yourself, crochet yourself warm. So, shall I show you the options? Let's talk about names of the options then, shall we? We have got Pastel. Uh, which has lots of lovely sweetie colours, as you can see. Um, this is beautiful. The makeup of this, by the way, is 75% acrylic, 15% wool, 10% nylon. Then the second option, or one, this option, is called Fire. This is lovely. Um, nice purples in there as well. <laughs> Love heart colours. <laughs> no, that's what we were both thinking the same thing, Emily. Um, right, down at the bottom, we've got Candy. I love candy. Oh, and there goes fire and the other one. There they go. <laughs> um, so that's candy. And the last one we've got here is terror. Te terror. <laughs> Not terrible. It's terror, as in terra firma, as in earthy colours. We looked it up earlier. Let's see if we can do the balancing act again. Right, OK. That's it. Nobody breathe. Nobody move. Nice, thick, chunky yarn. I think candy for me. What do you, what do you say, Emily? Pastel. Uh, Molly's going fire, which is this one here. Marcus. Fire, just because he can sing it. That's the only reason. Uh, the most popular, Candy. Candy's this one, isn't it? Yes, Candy's this one. Not surprised. Oh, there you go. I picked the favourite without even knowing it. Whoa, what do I get? To move on to the next one, 989-913 uh, is the item number then for you. They are, by the way, 200 gram balls and they recommend uh, a size 6 crochet hook or knitting needle. Do knitting needles and crochet hook sizes correspond, yeah. roughly speaking? Because it has 6 there. It's got the needles crossed and then it's got a hook. 
a, a hook. I tried to do a hook then. A hook. Right, let's move on. Let's move on. Right, OK, these have been very, very popular. Remember, this is the one where you get ten balls of the colour that you choose. Right, most popular colour, uh, Emily, so far. Will it be the rust that we introduced late because it was um, back in stock? Makeup of... It is. Makeup of this one is 100% acrylic. And it's super, super lovely and soft. And the colours are very, very true to their colour name as well. So let's go through them. We start at the top with rust. Remember, you get ten balls of whichever one that you choose. So that's the rust, which is absolutely gorgeous. A little fleck of something on there, which I'll get rid of. Uh, then we've got the charcoal, which has a little lighter fleck in it as well, which gives it a little bit more depth. You've also got the blue, which is your royal blue which is lovely. Then we go down to the hot electric pink. I'm making, not making these up. It's electric pink, not hot pink. Then we have your navy. Uh, no, this is navy. This is the dark cyan. That's the one. Yes, because it's a little more sort of tealy, isn't it? So a dark cyan. Then you have the green, which is leaf green. It's like a holly leaf green, actually, isn't it? It's very, very deep and dark. Then we have the grey, which, again, is, is like a slightly mild grey as well because it's not one sort of singular colour. It's got texture and depth to it. Then we have got the navy. And then chocolate, of course, and let's never forget chocolate, tempering chocolate, which is a really true chocolate colour. And then we have the stone. Stone, which is very, to me, little little biscuity, a bit oaty, a bit wheaty which is lovely. Yeah, a bit digestive biscuit. Other biscuits are available. Very, very nice. And you get 10 of those um, uh, yarn balls for 11 99 which is really, really good. But you only get it for the next, oh, funnily enough, 10 minutes. 10 minutes to check out uh, your baskets on that one. Uh, we'll come back to the bag a little bit later on. But you can get 10 yarn balls in one of those wool bags. We'll come back to that a little bit later on. Now, the mystery of the socks. The mystery of the most stylish designer socks. When you get these socks, these types of socks, and there's there's variety of different patterns, by the way. The, ra the, the patterns will be random as they come to you. Uh, but they will all work with these lovely sort of variegated um, yarns that we've got. And there are three different colour options, which will essentially make you a sock, which ombres and changes colour as, as it goes up the sock. <laughs> that makes any sense whatsoever. Well, we tried. Uh, there are three colour options. There are Wilderness, Montreux and Woodstock. They are lovely. It's, it's difficult to identify from the balls that are in front of you which is which because, of course, that yarn keeps changing colour as you make your way through. Um, so there's... So that, yes, they probably are wrapped a little bit differently um, as well. So you see the colour changes as, as you go in and through. But if you like the general the general feel of that. Um, it's lovely. Best to have a little look at those on the website. It's a size uh, 2.25 to a 3 on your knitting needle there. It's washable at 40 degrees and it is 75% wool and 25% polyamide. <laughs> no, I just, poly, polyamide. Um, and you've got Wilderness Montreux and Woodstock to choose from at 9.95. And at, at the end of the day, you end up with a pair of socks that you would pay um, a lot more than 9.95 for. If you went to retail retailers that do socks that are lovely and luxurious like these, you pay a lot more than 9.95. Um, it'll be, as I say, the the pattern that you get will be at random. Um, but that's a lovely little offering, actually, to someone you know who knits. I think that would be that would be quite good, especially if you're after a pair of socks like that. Lovely, that would be nice. Right, okay. Ah, here they are. Here they are, Here my twins. Uh, <laughs> here they are. Um, so this is the patterns to make uh, this little uh, cardigan and this little pullover. And here is the yarn to make these, which is beautiful, which is a lovely sort of mint green sparkly yarn. Can you see the sparkle that is within the yarn? Which is very, very nice. So these are 100, 100 gram uh, yarn uh, balls. They are 65% polyacrylic, 30% polyamide, and 5% polyester. 
and the, there is enough to make one of each, did we say, from the patterns as well, didn't we? So one of the cardigans and one of the little, um, the little pullovers there. We checked earlier, and it tells you what you're going to need and talks you through the whole thing. Next row, knit, for instance. That's what that, that's what they say, is there? Next row, knit. Next row, rib to last six stitches, cast off two stitches, rib three. Wow, sounds like sailing, doesn't it? So that is just $9.99, and you get both of the patterns there as well. From there to more baby goodies, which is really, really lovely. I love this little set as well, because you've got the little hooded top there and the little booties as well, which is really quite cute. Um, you can choose your yarn colour here, and you get four 50-gram balls of your yarn. So either the baby blue there, the pink... Do we call it pink? Peach, that's it, of course it is, peach, or the sunshine. And you get four 50 gram balls. The makeup of that is 55% polyacrylic and 45% polyamide. And the needle you need is a 3.25 to a 4. Lovely. That's, do you know, I feel like I have learned something from this. Usually when we come to a yarn hour, um, I kind of think I, I, I feel a little bit out of my depth. I have learnt what an afghan is and a, what was the, hang on, I have to go back to, I have to go back to what um, Molly needs in her life. Not an autumn embrace, <laughs> it's not a silver shimmer. What was it now? It was a wrinkled something. Was it a wrinkled something? Ferrar winter capelet. Oh, capelet. Our Paula likes a capelet, doesn't it? There's a good thing to um, crochet. Maybe it's the other book. Maybe it was this one. Because we've got lots and lots, yes, it was a, a shimmering ripple, that's what we need. Uh, that needs to be the lasting and the final shot of the show, I think. Is this is, I'm gonna set Molly, this is a, her next um, crochet project to create. The next time we do a show like this, I want to see you in your shimmering ripple, Molly. Fabulous. How much, how much yarn do we need? 50 grams, you only need 50 grams for that. That's all right, isn't it? Listen, this show has been a joy, and this day has been a joy as well. Um, unless management have seen this show, I'll be back tomorrow at some stage during the afternoon. I hope so, anyway, because there's a big day happening um, on Sunday for us as well. Thank you to this wonderful team. Thank you to you as well. Make sure you check out your baskets and stay right where you are because you're about to have another glimpse of the one-day special. Yes, more of me, I'm afraid, in just a moment, as uh, lovely Hayley uh, Smith leaves us with another cliffhanger with the one-day special. And then cricket and lots more coming your way. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Uh, 